I to make sure you didn't leave a mess and break tables or something. <laughs> that Friday was Jim, brutal. You, you saw this shit last week. What did you think of your wayward son, the golden boy? No, I, I well, I am a I'm, I'm a flamenco fan, you know, but understanding that he needs a dummy mommy to suck his prostate out, you know, I mean, some people, I guess, just really need that prostate play in those wooden horses. Oh, no. Who would have flab? Who would have who would have thought? No. Who, who would have thought a flamenco having his entire port history drop at all the degenerate shit he's in would uh, would turn from an L to a W because Ralph is such a retard I, that he just destroys it. I know, Jim. I know. I'm like, I'm watching this shit. I'm almost getting flashbacks to a certain thing involving boulders or whatever. I was watching. I'm like, and then it's literally like the next week it's reversed. It's insane. Instantly. Absolutely it. instantly. And by the way, we had all this shit planned for the show. And then we we're telling Jim right before we started. Ralph starts his show, right? He fires up his show, doxes Rand's family, pulls out his gun. <laughs> <laughs> he's okay, high so, as fuck. You know, and and you know, after being a hundred bucks on, soon, it's like he's, going, he's going like, you know, fly, you know, Rand, your wife's a Jew, Rand, and she's a pat piggy. She's got quite the gun on her, Rand. You know, they call me the gun. You know, I got a huge gun. I bet you I have a gun off with your wife. She'd give me a run for my money. And he pulls up his shirt and shows it all. He has this flip back. He's, oh. he's displaying the flesh apron for everybody to see. It's just <laughs> jiggling. <laughs> It, it was amazing. And, and you can see the slit, the one that's under his belly button. I don't know what that is. Oh, the, the bifurcation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the nice chunky bifurcation going down the oh. death gunt. Yeah. It's, it's so fucking bad. Now, I want to let people know before we get into all this stuff, because there's a lot to talk about tonight. Uh, we're going to do segments of the donos will be 20 bucks and up. We're going Ricada styles there, folks. Uh, just so we're not reading like a thousand donos interrupting the show constantly. However, if it's a hundred dollar dono or like a massive dono, I'll read those instantly or like in between um, or whenever. And then at the end of the show, we'll read all the smaller donos. Thank you all for the support and all that. But real fast, Vicious Vickers, before we even started for a hundred dollars. And this is, of course, uh, Jim, you probably know him. He's, he's the... The grandfather of old well, Xander. This, this would be no, well, this would be the lovely father of the, uh, as I like to refer to it as the buffet girl, the the sampler that Ralph was going through. <laughs> oh, no, no. oh. <laughs> is, that, is that is that? Do I have the correct uh, person? Yes, the one where he kind of stuck his thumb up her ass and sniffed. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. He, he went truffle it. hunting. He, he went truffle he hunting. He sucked the shit off of his thumb. Oh. I've seen it. I reviewed it frame by frame with crowd of all fucking people. For God's sake. <laughs> crowd fucking puked. You know, and we know the sort of shit crowds into. Okay, oh. so if crowds fucking puking at your sex tape, you've got some problems. Bro. Well, I love the, the thing I love the most about that is like. She's not even faced that direction, so it probably came as a shock to her. <laughs> and she she probably can only hear that finger licking sound, like he's at KFC oh. or some shit. And she's like, What's going on back there? It's finger licking good. Dude. Oh fuck. The best part of the sex tape is the the image of Gator. Like the little uh, <laughs> the little parts to cut out some gator that are up in the corner of his room gating the dad in him. Is it that? Yeah, and, the fucking oh. And I I just want to believe that there was like a zoom camera and the gator cut out and gator could watch it at all times. Like, no, it's, maybe well, he made a secret deal with Ralph to be able to watch. I don't know. I was like I remember I was doing my old show and I was like blackout drunk. I was drinking that night yeah. and someone sent the link at the end of the show. So I click it, I'm not showing it on the screen, but I'm like, I'm so drunk, I'm like, what am I looking at? <laughs> what, what am I this? looking at? Yeah, I'm like, wait, is that I see the fucking Zidane and Gator thing, and I'm like, That's Kyler. it was real, because I, I didn't believe, oh, at first, God. it got sent to me, I didn't even believe it was real. And then Godwinson says to me, he's like, no, PPP, it's real, look in the top right corner, you can see Gator. And I'm like, yes, you can. 
<laughs> yes, you can. And so we fucking fired it up on Bitwave, did a full review of it. And the, and the theme song was, I wish it could be Christmas every day. That's the sort of sick person I guess I am, is that that's like my version of Christmas is when Ralph fucks up his life. God, do you but, think he was uh, so? Do you think he was so meth methed out while he was doing that that like he could hear little Gator soundboards in his head encouraging him to go on? He could like hear Zidane <laughs> cheering as he's huffing shit. Ah, my king. Dude, oh, yeah, he, he, he's on something. But yeah, Vicious Vicar says, "Will Mr. Medicare head on to my show, The Good, The Bad, and The Vicious in the future? He seems smart enough to figure out that I could give a shit about E Fame, and it would really irritate you know who." So uh, that's the offer uh, there. Uh, my counter offer: I will come on. I will come on your show if we review the sex tape together. Oh! <laughs> Yo, you got him! You got him! Yo, he's just... gone. Where, where, what platform can that even happen on anymore? Like, Jim? We're gonna call Xander. You guys line to Xander to bring Bitwave back. <laughs> you think you think Pornhub will let it happen? <laughs> So, so, uh, Vickers, you can DM me what you think about this counter. <laughs> yeah, offer. Tell, him, tell me your offer. Tell me how you like that. Yeah. He's going he's gonna to oh. counter it. He'll be like, well, what if we only watch half? <laughs> Not the stiffing part. the part where he eats the shit? Can oh. we skip that part of Daddy Jim? But, uh, oh, but no, yo, yo Jim, you were tweeting about this. Is this true? Because I was thinking about doing this for a dono goal. But is it true that someone took that sex tape and made it like the 180 vr like i, know, like I, I, I saw i saw somebody say that i don't know how true that is but uh how fucking horrific oh dude oh dude i have the vr sitting there ashton's like you should do it for the 1500 goal like just look at the oh dude i don't, I don't even know if i could do it the sniff is the worst part it's uh, more than a snack. I know. It's, it's more. It's, it's not more. Even, he sucks the shit. He does. He, 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 he eats the poo. Oh. He eats the poo poo. Eat the poo poo. And he does it. He does it, bro. But it's not even that, bro. It's like his belly jiggling. <laughs> it's like the rhythmic like vibration of the, the fucking belly. Like, He's like a waterbed. His and, gunt is like a waterbed yes. to ease her well, into no, relaxing. This <laughs> is like the Cope, the Cope Godwinson had to say, PPP, surely this is on a waterbed. <laughs> Adam, I... I don't think it's on a waterbed. I, I don't think anyone's had one since like 1992. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was. Uh, I don't know. It was fucking crazy. Here, here, I just have two more massive donos. Then I'll do the twenty dollar ones later once we find a, a, a spot. Just D Shattenry for a hundred dollars. Thank you so much. Holy saying, shit. saying, holy hell! I was just checking in on the kill stream. When did trashing someone in the internet go from fun and entertaining to over the top, a malicious and uncomfortable to watch? It was insane, D. Shatner. Like, it was nuts. I, I, I was losing my mind. And we got one more big one here from Squat Man for $50 saying, Hi, Let's Roller go. Daddy Jim in the casino. Let's fucking go. Wait, and I think we had one more hundred. Uh, no, I think we're good. Are you sure? You sure there's not a second one from Vicar saying, I rescind my fucking offer? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll get a second one from Vickers for $200 being like, I appreciate the offer and I accept. <laughs> I accept. You, you, know? you wait and see. Oh, he Mr. Vicar, uh, he, he never DM'd disappoints. Me. He DM'd me. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, but so uh, my counter offer is that Jim is funny, but he's not that funny. I'll pass. Oh, God. Oh, God. oh, oh no, bro. Oh. I honestly, I thought there was a good chance Vickers would do it, honestly. I Vickers, it do it, it for the content, dude. <laughs> It would make it would make Ralph upset, but I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh shit! Uh, I think it's a great offer. Don't you want to teach Ralph a lesson? Let's watch that porn tape together, buddy. <laughs> Let's watch it together. Shit! I, I'll, I'll join in for that. I'll, I'll watch it again. Oh. Look at a whole fucking group. How about that? <laughs> Yeah, you know, Twenty guys I'll, sitting down I'll watching the tape of your daughter get it, well, shit eaten out of her ass. I'm sure it'll be a banger I mean, stream. <laughs> The good news about the tape is there wasn't like like Dick Masterson wasn't there also, and you know, and like 
God only knows who else. At least it was just Ralph. Oh, I'll, uh, Count so, your blessings. So I'll find a segment to read that shit later. Let's get into oh. some stuff. Like, first thing I want to add, uh, 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 talk about, because you did it, a stream on it while I was on vacation, the bowling event. Okay, that was amazing. Now, do you really believe that Dick Masterson broke his arm and had bicep surgery the no, other day? I, no, I don't. No, There's I don't no believe. way. There's no way. No, no. <laughs> Dick, Dick has found the perfect. It's like you know, oh shit, man, uh, I got another a tragic injury, Ralph. I got to get the fuck out of here. Uh, everything's going south, and your event is once again turned into a fucking disaster. Oh, uh, yeah, shit. Oh god, you know, uh, rapidly exploding onset arthritis. It's a real medical condition, Ralph. And my arms have fucking uh, don't work anymore. My girlfriend had to had to drive. She sat in my lap like a toddler or something, and just fucking got me out of there, Ralph. I, you know, I couldn't. Trust me, buddy. When I was on stream with him, he's like, we're doing the stream. And he, he the camera, if you watch the stream, is like, you know, fucking neck up almost. But there's like a few moments where he, he was like, no, my arm's really busted. And he like lifts it up like the most method Hollywood acting. Like, oh, oh, you see this? It's like no. crash did test dummy arm. Did he have a prosthetic sling? Like, was it like full on pro wrestling? I think, like I, I think it was a foam it. arm. Like he, you know, had his oh arm God. stuck down his T-shirt. And there's a foam <laughs> arm hanging out on the other one. <laughs> Oh. Know, by the end of the year he's gonna be in a full body cast like <laughs> like after the next six ralph meltdowns that burn dick he's gonna be a full body fucking cast man in a fucking wheelchair he's gonna have to be i don't know what the next excuse will well, be, what's but... what's ralph's next fucking event okay so we've got what he's gonna do an rv <laughs> with baked he's gonna do wrestlemania and he's gonna do a wet t-shirt contest correct yes yeah. ralph ralph mania dad ralph mania <laughs> get it right it's ralph mania Okay, I'm gonna wrestle. Like, who the fuck is he gonna wrestle? So now, uh, is is Ralph Mania wrestling a contest between who can scream for the police the loudest? Arrest him! Arrest him! <laughs> is that is that is that the competition? That's what? Do you get a belt for that? Is it Ronnie's belt? The same belt that Ronnie used to beat you, Ralph? Is that the belt the winner takes? <laughs> oh no, that's, Jim, you're going too low. Jim, that's wrong. You can't make fun of my dead daddy. Ronnie oh my god! Really, I haven't, I haven't even gotten that. I, I love, I love Ralph. It's like uh, he got, he, you, he's like, oh, I, nobody will ever go lower than me, and you can, you can't. Oh, oh Jim, Jim, Jim. You know, uh, I haven't even, I haven't been mean yet. Like I haven't even said the no. mean stuff yet, Ralph. Well, you didn't even bring up how Ronnie Holocausted those puppies in the oven. <laughs> Even, you didn't even bring that up or how Ralph strangled the dog to death off the back of a chair when he was 12 <laughs> to torture some child. And, the, and then the, the kid come back 20 years later with the Kiwi Farms account to dab on him, get his revenge. I was on That's his show. That happened. I was still on his show and he's trying to like, he's like, I just jump in. I remember I wasn't watching and I jump into the kill stream. He's like, I swear, Andy, I did not kill that dog. And I'm like, uh, yeah. what? Did I just come into? <laughs> like, what the fuck? You know, it's, it's one thing to, like, be Bill Clinton. You know, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. But when you're at the point where you're like, I did not hang dogs and put them in ovens. <laughs> you know, you may have to rethink, like, your PR strategy. No, he's... Like, you may need to rethink your whole life at that no, point. No, no, he, he had an excuse. He said his dad did put the dogs. The dogs had it coming? What was his excuse? <laughs> Uh, they wouldn't stop barking. <laughs> those dogs, do you understand? Those dogs desecrated the good name of the kill stream. I interpreted their barking as a slot to my authority on the internet as top of the sector. I remember, I remember. So he's like, I swear, uh, my dad put dogs in the oven, but it wasn't on. It's just that that's where you put a dog that is pregnant, no. right? So then he starts searching. Like, people do this, right? He's searching and can't find one result. And we're all like, oh, what is going on? So wait, wait, is this, is this all projection then? Like, he's been going on for a week talking about uh, Jade cooking dogs. Is this like a, a hidden flashback <laughs> PTSD memory of Ronnie cooking puppies? Oh, my God. Oh my God. Ralph, is that why you've been going on about Labrador soup? Because daddy would make you a fucking Labrador, you know, uh, baked in the oven fresh every day? <laughs> There's Ralph, snickerdoodles, no. you fat fuck, not labradoodles. You're not supposed to cook them, idiot. <laughs> oh, no. Do you, do you think in, like, West Memphis, there are fucking signs outside that, you know, are the, are the vets and, like, pounds and shit saying, don't let these fucking people in no matter what they say? I guess this is one, this, but this is one thing I wish I had asked Gator. Like, 
I wish I had asked Gator when he was on, like, what was it like to have to defend that? Like, what was it like to have to get out the broomstick for that? Like, that's fucking insane. But it just, it, it just, it never stops with him. Now no. it's Ray. You know? <laughs> Oh, speaking of rape, uh, Akil Alpedos, uh, aka Fake Jim, has a little special surprise for us. He's rendering it right now. He'll let me know when it's available. <laughs> it's, it's ready. Well, look, but, I, I have it in, so, you know, I was going to you oh, know, man. start in chronological order, but I guess we're just going to Tarantino it here. We're going to start with the latest clip. Okay. If you look in the folder, it's the Guntoff competition. Uh, so I guess what God. happened today is that Rand bought dared to criticize Ralph or something like this. I don't even know what he said. But uh, now Ralph has pulled up pictures of Rand's wife, which I have done also, okay? Because I'm going to agree with Ralph that Rand's wife kind of looks Jewish. Okay? <laughs> okay? But, but look, okay? Rand bought was like this guy's best friend or whatever, one of his best friends. And he said tonight, like, I would have took a bullet for Rand bought. He was my brother. And he's just going to, like, out Rand's wife and shit all over her. It's weird how he always goes to the wife. Isn't he it? also... Every, every single time. Any female in the family... Uh, what was it? Andy, your sister, right? Yeah. I'm going to uh, rape uh, your court, sister. I'm going to fly to Portugal. Wife, <laughs> yep. Quartering's wife. Rand's wife. My wife. Um, I think he went after uh, Monday. Matt's wife, even. You know, I just... But, re but remember, yeah. when Jesse points finger guns at his wife... Can't... That's a fucking crime. Okay. Okay. That's fucking. I have to ask him. I have to ask you while you're here, okay? Because yeah. you because you haven't mentioned or really talked about it, but I'm sure you watched like at least some of the Fuck Ralph Festival. Now. Oh yeah. No, I I, I saw it. Yeah. Uh, okay. What did you think about the diaper delivery? Come on. What I, you... I thought it. I, I thought it was pretty fucking harmless. He kicked some diapers on his lawn. You know, pretty... Let's go. Right? <laughs> I, yeah. I mean, Ralph is a guy that like, uh, look, like, look at Ralph's show, right? After he got back from his uh, bowling spectacular when he was on with Pat Dixon, yeah. he's because he thought Jesse's brother was dead. He went on and on about, I'm going to find his grave and I'm going to yearn. I'm going to desecrate his grave. I'm going to shit on it. Only on the kill street. Ah. So he was all, you know, like he <laughs> cried about fucking diapers getting kicked on the sidewalk. And then he's like, I'm going to go find a corpse and desecrate it. Well, well no, he, he, uh, even before that, like a few months before that, there's a clip people were passing around where he goes, Jesse, you piece of shit. Uh, come to my house. I dare you. And then he says his address. Like he just says his ad I think I was there. It was the me versus Dick Masterson uh, fucking debate on, on cuties. It was that one. And he goes, he says his full address. He shows up throws diapers on the fucking thing and then he's like oh now he uh, i'll put a restraining order on jesse uh, uh from may because oh, I mean, of the figure that's, that's what gangsters do Andy. that's an og thing i'm to a do. gangster i'm a motherfucking king you don't even understand i am unfuckable with you heard about my grandpa clyde he was an unfuckable motherfucker Okay, and now I have Grandpa Clyde's ring. All right, like this way he does this. Way. Uh, well, I really like how I really like how now that uh, Ralph has transitioned on to Cozy, Beardson's rubbing off on him. He's coming more and more wicker. Oh, yeah. It won't be long until I he's like know. reviewing until he's reviewing Yeezy shoes and shit. Like he's <laughs> doing rap music songs and shit. Oh, uh, the, the Beardson stuff. But you gotta be careful co-signing the Jesse stuff because I'm gonna go to your house, Jim. I'm going to pay you a visit. I'm going to go to Gator's hometown and I'm going to put up flyers saying he's a white supremacist. Uh, that still blows me away. How is it that people like Mark <laughs> Collette and uh, Ramsey Paul are showing up on a show when this guy's saying, I'm going to put up posters calling uh, you a white nationalist to try to get you blacklisted? I'm Adam Green and shit, too. Know. It's just like, I, I don't think they know. No, I, they do. They I, absolutely fucking they, know. They knew. Everybody always knew. It's just, it's convenient for people to ignore it because it's a business connection. I don't even know why they do it anymore because he doesn't have any viewership. Like it was one thing four years ago. There's no guest that goes on his show that has uh, less viewers than him. <clears throat> yeah. Like and he's, like, there's hey. no benefit. Uh, Flamenco, like, again, here's like Flamenco who has his mommy dommy fucking wooden horses. Uh, let me lick those prostates. Um, you know, all this embarrassing shit, Pornhub achievements, all this shit come out. And look how Flamenco's handled it over the last week. Got a ton of shit for it. 
took most of it, gave his uh, really terrible double hacker, super hacker, or any hacker excuse. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But he still, he rolled with the punches like a good boy, you know, like uh, the the little mommy dommy slave he likes to be. Rolled with the punches, oh. and and Ralph could have taken that and made it into a W, and he like he completely just. Well, he did. <clears throat> he came on last week to shit on him, <sighs> and I was like praising Ralph. It's like it's Stone Cold Ralph. He's come in. He's felted flam with his. Fucking... Is that why? Is that why he was playing? He was playing Stone Cold uh, fucking window break. Yes, yes that's yes. why. No, he really liked that I said that. I know. I know how to get into his heart and into his soul. <laughs> what you is know, with I... what is with everybody when they start to fucking implode? They want to be Vince McMahon. This is like the Tonka cycle over again. It's really fucking it weird. He challenged Don't me to a fight and shit, shit again. See, and I'm like cursing me with this shit. You know, everybody that he gives the mandate to. Do you notice they all die? Like a horrible fucking like crash and death. <laughs> you notice like everyone, like Flamenco, Sargon, uh, Tonka, Ralph, you, Andy. Now it's gonna be me. Now it's gonna be <laughs> six months. You watch the scandals that'll come out now. I'm fucked. I'm well, fucked. But, but you look at like like Flamenco. So yeah. So all this shit comes out about Flamenco, right? And. Uh... And, and the you know you're Ralph is doing like a celebration like Flamenco's done oh I taught him a lesson all this shit, um and Flamenco's still pulling four or five times his fucking numbers getting four or five times his donations, to the point Ralph loses his shit and starts and, and this isn't even like speculating oh does Ralph flag people, literally doing it on air and dancing and celebrating and waving his trophy around like a fucking putz. <laughs> well, we have that clip. We're gonna we're gonna play some of these clips. Yeah. Uh, but a, a redneck surfer for fifty bucks, massive dono, and I'll read the other oh, ones on the segment. Support from redneck After, surfer. Uh, he says, "Great show, guys. Been a fan of all three of you for years. Keep the keto coming. Thank you so much." And I'll read the arrest uh, during a segment for the donos, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, appreciate it, man. Uh, yeah. So, do you want to start off with this? This is what happened today. So we'll. Yeah. Well, yeah. you gotta you gotta specify today when because he's been melting down <laughs> all day. Was- this Dude. was, I, I think it was 50 minutes ago that this happened. How are you not blocked, Jim? I, I, I like, I see all your, <laughs> quote, I'll see all your quote tweets. Oh, he blocked me uh, in the beginning when I made fun of his Portugal trip. Um, and then he unblocked me to beg me for three hours drunkenly like a bitch on Twitter uh, to come on his dying fucking show. And I guess he forgot to reblock yep. me afterwards. Oh, please, Daddy Jim, please give me the red He did, he did, he did that again for the last please. two days. Come on, come no, on the kill stream, did. Jim. Well, the invitation is open for Ralph to come on here. You oh know, my God, I'd love you. that. Please, Ralph, come I on to this please. show. Please, and I'll shut up. I'll be silent. I'll, I won't I'll, say a fucking word. I won't word. say anything we, either. Last week, we gave him his respect with flamenco. We let them go or whatever. I'll, I'll mute. You know, he can come on, and he can simulcast it on the kill stream. I yeah. won't strike it down. Yeah. You know, I'm not like you, you piece of shit. <laughs> now, we'll see We'll see if he strikes us down for playing this. Well, he, he, he uh, now, I don't know. I, I don't know if he'll take you up <laughs> on that, because during his tard rage today, uh, all four fucking hours of it this morning, at least. Uh, he took uh, direct shots at UPPP, so <laughs> he was well, he was really going in heavy uh, about you. So I don't know if he'll show up today or not. He that's that's far. You know, I was almost. I banned. don't know. It's 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 true love in his heart. Like the thing is, he lashes out at those he loves the most. He lashes oh. out. At then you, he, he mu- then he wants to marry me. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know wants, other. He wants to thumb you. He does. He wants to get up there and truffle hunt. <laughs> Please, Bad Jim, pig. please let uh, me eat the shit from your ass. Please, Jim. Oh. Please, you're my daddy. You're my internet figure. You're my I'm just trying to game. I'm trying to imagine a fucking obese midget trying to eat my ass, and the thought makes me want to fucking go head first through a wall. I just, you know, it's a terrible thought. Especially if they're like well, gator this... sound clips playing in the background and Zidane posters on the wall. What a nightmare <laughs> scenario. Well, he used to call Milo <laughs> Masters, so it might not be the first time, you know. Is yeah, that how you get the club? Only... That's well. That's apparently how you did it back in Gamergate. I love you, Master Milo. Please let me on a stream with Jim. Please, Master Milo. I I, I wish I was there for the stream with Brian denying the Holocaust and Jim Finger <laughs> Jane. I, I, I wish I could have been there. I, I don't understand the mentality because he wants you on the show because obviously you're a draw, right? So you bring viewers, blah blah blah. So I like in his mind, in his twisted worldview, he thinks you'll go on his show, your viewers will come to watch, and then stick around and donate. <laughs> like, he, he he spent the last three hours today, like um, 
uh, just tarred raging out against fucking everybody on the internet, essentially. But uh, uh, screaming about uh, a low IQ. Uh, my 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 viewers are low IQ and the stupidest around. So I, uh, is he expecting donations from that? I don't know what exactly his master plan is. But I'm not the southern genius that he is. So who knows? <laughs> the southern well, honor. I, I don't know. Maybe he's playing 4D chess. You know, we just don't understand. We just can't even comprehend. He's owning all of us right now. Plan. He's owning all of us right now somehow. Well, his his new plan is to become the new DSP. It's oh. to encourage the hate. Oh, you see. okay. It'll work out so well. I mean, what could go <laughs> on with this brilliant idea? No, no, he's he's the villain. That's what he said today. He's like, I'm the villain. I get paid regardless. In fact, I get paid more when you hate me. Why do I care? I get paid regardless. Jesus. Okay. Uh, would, I mean, would Ralph like to explain to me what the uh, like his monetary plan is here? You have to stream for three hours a day to make a hundred dollars to stream for one extra hour a day. So you work four hours a day for a hundred bucks. I remember you on the YouTube, you know, on YouTube streams, Ralph, where you were making a hundred bucks every. Uh, you know, I oh. fuck these guys started their show off today and they were already at two fifty, three hundred. Yeah, Ralph. Uh, they didn't have to stream for three fucking Daddy hours Jim. watching Red's Tucker. Six forty now. Jim, <laughs> my sweet summer child, let me in. Let me let you in on something, okay? Uh -oh. None of those donos are real. They're all fake. <laughs> There's no more money coming into the kill stream, okay? You know he claims that he's making like a thousand dollars a day, okay? Remember the brags at the height of the kill stream? Like I'm making a thousand a week, or I'm making two thousand a week. You know, nowadays he claims he's making like twice, three times that. Well, but the viewership's in the toilet. Well, I'll like, tell you something. Like he puts in fake chats through power chat. That's yeah. That's what you're going to say, uh, right, in. That's what Kyler, right? Um, he told me, so you could do a test dono uh, on power chat. But you know how in like Streamlabs and all these other places, it will say test dono. Power chat, you could type in anything and write anything and then donate. And we've noticed a lot of the donations that say anonymous or random, like whatever, 1488, uh, will say like, you're a king, Ralph. Like, oh, you're the Ralph of mail. I, th I thought you were gonna say it was gonna say uh, $100 from uh, Test. Uh, I love you, Ralph, you're the best, Ralph. Fuck no. mayors. I swear it's Pantsu sending them from the other room. Like, I swear to God, it's Pantsu in the other room. I you know? You're so, you're so, you're the handsomest man in the whole world, Ralph, and you have a nine-inch penis for $25. <laughs> well, well, he'll be at, like, the two-hour uh, you know, two hour and 56-minute mark, and miraculously, a $60 donut will bring him to the fourth-hour fund, you know? Like... Yeah, dude, and and also he was offered. I don't know if, uh, if you know about this, Jim. The Odyssey contract, thirty thousand dollars. Can can I just say uh, if uh, who's the Indian guy that runs Odyssey? Uh, Julian Shashir or Shashir uh, or something. Oh, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call him Chakram. Julian Chakram, um, are you fucking retarded? <laughs> You're going to offer $30,000 for a rage pig that brings in 200 viewers? Who the fuck is going to ever use your platform if that's what you're bankrolling? Uh, well, Where's just... our money, Julian? Where's our oh, offer wait. for the free speech alternative? I'll get up and down on the street corners and preach that free speech gospel, wait, Julian. Yo, hang on, did, Where's... The best thing we ever did, okay? I don't know if you saw this, but you'd find this really funny. So when the Portugal thing happened... Uh, Everyone started hating Ralph, right? Everyone started watching our show and hating Ralph. So Kyler and I and our Discord and a bunch of people we know, we realized every tab on Odyssey adds a view. So what we did is... So what you oh, no, I, I I saw you guys do that. Okay. By the way, that, that was probably one of the best mind fucks I've ever seen somebody do to Ralph. It was so... We had... A th oh, yeah, over a thousand viewing all week. Thank you all so much. Our he was so happy. Out. He was so happy. <laughs> Dude, our, our, our CPUs, like I wasn't doing it that night because I had to run all the shit. But what you yeah. do is you just keep adding Andy, tabs. Andy, have you ever thought, what if you and Kyler are responsible for that $30,000 deal? What if yeah! you saw that? And he was like, yo, I swear, <laughs> I swear. I headed to my Discord and they're all doing it all day, like for like a month. I'm like, guys, like you guys are like, no, we, like uh, it's, we funny, started it's funny. We doing it on Cozy to encourage like them to fight with each other. And they did like, like, uh, you know, what's his name? Um, Nick's boyfriend, Jaden. 
Jaded, Jaded, okay. Jaded. He would start fighting with Dalton and Beardson about viewers and accusing them of botting. I remember we botted Kai up to 800 viewers and just crashed it on him. He was so sad. He was so sad. But these are the these are the platforms of the future, folks, and they're totally legit. All the numbers yeah. are legit. God, when Nick gets you guys might have done thirty thousand dollars in financial damage to Odyssey with a prank. <laughs> no, 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 no. But here's the thing. So you didn't hear the update. So after our show's release, uh, specifically after the Fuck Ralph uh, Festival, which I believe was episode four, we release it. His views just tank. We do that little prank thing. Views tank even more. And then, so he was saying all week, I'm heading exclusive to Odyssey for 30,000 bucks. So he's saying this all week. Then after we do our fucking shenanigans, he goes, actually, you know what? I'll be staying on Cozy. Cozy's the best. And I'm like, yo, he just lost a $30,000 deal? No. I don't know if he did or not. I wouldn't do you think be he, surprised. I don't even think do you, it happened. Do you think he tried to play like hardball? Do you think he got all cocky with them when he saw those numbers? He's like, I want 40000 I'm the Ralph. You see these yeah. numbers? Yeah. Well, he he almost got kicked off when he threatened to slit my throat on Andrew's no. stream last year. No, he I almost got banned for that. <laughs> Odyssey, right? So no. we, we, we're, we're doing Twisted Mind. PPP's on this show. And then Ralph jumps on. He goes, if I see you in public, I'm going to slit your throat. I get an email from Odyssey the next day saying, hey, Andy, if you platform stuff like that again, we could ban you. And I'm like... That's your guy. That's you know who else is. Child for the city. What the fuck? Oh my god. I, I I don't get it. I don't know why uh, Julian would be going with that. Like, go pick uh, fucking YouTube VTubers. Uh, sign a fucking contract with Flamenco. At least then you got four times the views. <laughs> How about you our know, then fucking Ralph is pulling That's in. True. How about our show? I mean, hey, yeah. Julian, Julian, show us an offer in the casino. I might go over to Odyssey. God, then... do you know? Do you know how hard R Ralph would literally be throwing chairs through windows if you got a fucking deal at Odyssey? Um, Even if you didn't take it, <laughs> if they put an offer on the table, this yeah. guy would fuck it. There'd be a a news report coming from his fucking uh, local area <laughs> about a man screaming and destroying property. <laughs> Yeah, and our so deal there's is a money. crazy man with an axe going around fucking <laughs> smashing up people's homes. Attacking pet stores. <laughs> <laughs> our our deal is money plus Ralph is not allowed to stream while we're live. That's our deal. There you go, Ralph. When we go live, we'll just stream 24 hours a day and Ralph's not allowed on Odyssey. <laughs> you do the, we'll the, the baked house, four, four cameras to nothing. <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, a big dono here from Pills and Bowling Pins for 60. That's okay. funny, man. Saying, so, Jim, give us a step-by-step -step rundown of what you would do if Ethan Ralph tries to come to your property. Will you throw diapers at him? Or will you uh, throw uh, slop and pills through the mail slot? Or, or just castle doctrine let loose? I, I, I literally explained it to Ralph. and I, like he, It's like he's mystified by the idea of somebody coming to your house. It's a step one don't open the door and step to laugh at them from the other side. Yeah. Like, does Ralph think that, uh, you know, like it's some magical thing. Like the door opens itself for any visitor that stops by maybe the rental property he's at. There's no hinges or the fucking uh, doorknob doesn't work. I don't know. He, he, maybe that's why he was scared that uh, Jesse was going to finger gun his uh, bang his way in or something. <laughs> or the door is that weak. Oh shit! Dude, I mean, let's be so real, Jim. You wouldn't even hear him knocking at the door. You're down in the anime dungeon with the I VR am. headset on, <laughs> like... watching my watching yeah. my uh, perverse hentai, as Ralph said today, and yeah. uh, just completely tuning him out. You're in the pleasure dome, paid for by <laughs> the Sweetie Squad. Do you, do you, do you know it's what I was crazy. thinking? Of, you know what I was thinking of doing though? Just, yeah, just uh, I was like, because for a while I was like, oh, I'm gonna come out there, I'm gonna stream myself going to your house. I was going to go, I was going to see if Kinko's still exists or not, but I was going to get a life-size printout of Ralph uh, and post it on my uh, glass door that right. just said, warning sex offender in the area. So the only thing he could do when he walks up to the door is see a picture of himself that says, warning sex offender. <laughs> and he can't take it down because that's destruction of property. So he'd be filming this the whole time. Oh, dude, that would be so... Dude, I, I, I don't know, like, what he was thinking. Uh, I don't know what he was thinking at all. Like like threatening you like that it's like what are you gonna do if he does anything if he were to touch your door <laughs> he's in jail for a year 
Like he, he it's, not, it's, not, it's not even that I really cared that uh, he was like, oh, I'm going to come up to your area, Jim, and interview people. Well, they're not even going to know who the fuck you are. It's like 30,000 people live here. You're <laughs> no, nobody cares. Right. Like, who's this fucking weirdo Southern? Why is, why is there here? this this guy with his fucking stomach dragging on the gravel, screaming about the internet? I don't know what the fuck's what, going on. What's that smell of shit in the air? It just doesn't go away. Hello, 911. Like, There's a man attacking puppies and shoving his thumb up uh, women's asses <laughs> down at the local Walmart. Do we need fucking police response immediately? Uh, oh, my God. Uh, a, All right, we got to get into yeah, this clip. Uh, Nurox for 50 saying Rand and Gator oh. want on read DMs. Nurox, thank you for that 50. Uh, maybe a bit later, we, we have so much to go through right now. We're not even, like, we haven't even started, actually. We haven't like, even yeah. started the show. We're yeah, well, thank you, Norax. Um, um, if we have time, um, I'll do that. And Korean Kitsi Kino Casino Valet for 100. Thank you the so Korea much. The Korean, Korean ca Kino Casino Valet? <laughs> <laughs> the Very fuck? specific. Oh, it's Jim's a girl. <laughs> Is she, is she Korean? I don't know. I thought she was Japanese. I don't know. She's I Korean. Mean, making an Asian joke. I uh, saying, oh. uh, thank you so much. Saying Ralph and Jim in the casino, old school IBS style. No more pulling punches, uh, Daddy Jimbo. Let's fucking go. Thank you so fucking much. I mean, uh, I, I again, Ralph. The, the offer stands. I, I mean, you can you can oh, come hey, on the casino, casino. Um, but boy, do I have a lot of fucking material to work with that I haven't. <laughs> I haven't even fucking touched well, him. So. He's got a lot of material, Jim, about how your wife's tits are really big. Yeah. That's one of the owns. Yeah. Uh, what else well, does I, he I, I really uh, like the last time before we went on stream, he was like, uh, he threw out like five things like, Jim, Jim was doxing people. And uh, what was he? He had like a bunch of shit. But every time I bring even it up. You name one. You'd be like, can you name one? Can you show me anything? So now it's, uh, it's my uh, wife was uh, sending her tits out to everyone. I mean, I, I'm unfamiliar with this, Ralph, so go ahead and present the evidence. And it's where like, are the nudes at? Yeah. yeah. Like, where are they? But, 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 like, no, like, he thinks, he projects, right? And he thinks that. Are you stuff... telling me there are nudes of Ralph out there? For <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I bet. Imagine. Oh. Well, well there was that well, there are nudes of with the a mother of penis. his child. No, no, well, he literally that? leaked the sex tape well, well, of the mother of his child. No, no, but during Gamergate, no. there was, for a while, up on Encyclopedia Dramatica, there was a picture of a very small dick, and people were yes. saying that was Ralph. Yeah, and it looks, I mean. It was it, Ralph. If you overlay it, if you overlay it with like. Are we doing a forensic you know, analysis? Are you in Photoshop? Yeah. And like fucking Sherlock. You're arranging the tips. <laughs> I have to lower the opacity of one and then, you know, put it over. Uh, wait, actually, before we watch this, we have to just see the threat that, that Ralph made today at the end of his show in the morning. Before the first fleet. Okay. Okay. All right, play. Is, All right, play. Hang on. I, I have to, uh, hang on. Let me just put it on, on my screen. I'm using a new thing, everyone, right now. Uh, so I have to, like, stop presenting and present something else. So it's a little yeah. bit weird. Thanks, Jim. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, Thank you for getting one. us on this archaic technology. Yeah. Uh, well, you got to love it. All right. Here we go. All right. All right. You guys see that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. This is, this was honestly like, like somehow one of the best things I've ever seen. So this is what, how Ralph decided to own all of us today after his show. I don't even give a fuck about this world at all. I want to oh. live because you don't like it. Oh my God. This, yes, I've seen this. This is so good. This is so fucking good. I haven't laughed when, when I, I don't. Oh my god, okay, I don't know if our I will. call ends in 10 minutes. Free group calls have a limit of one hour. Oh, okay. It if it ends, I'll put my screen only. I'll send the link back to all you and then we just sure, come back sure. in, same call. So this guys, is the this is the best fucking I've never heard a man make a threat like this in my life. It's the funniest I, fucking shit. I was like, this is not real like am I dreaming? Am I drunk? I, it's early. I'm not drunk yet. Like, like, I, I love how he wants like, like you said this is his first statement, like I want to live because you don't like it. Like, like, so he doesn't want to live because he enjoys his life. You know, like he doesn't want to live for his new child, like, or to see his son or to build a future for Pantu. So I, I'm going to, I want to live. So PPP doesn't like it. And Jim doesn't like it. And Andy doesn't like it. 
It's There's so... a specific line where he screams. I think it's when he says, for two miles. He says yeah. it in such... I want to no, clip it. It's I so good. I have that clip. I have that clip. Yeah. It's in the folder. Okay. Okay. Saying, okay. I'm going to walk two miles. <laughs> <laughs> like, even I, I, like, the fat fuck I was, was when I was trying two to lose miles. weight, I was walking three miles. And that wasn't even shit. That was being a lazy, fat piece of shit. Wait, wait. Two okay? miles is the average miles. when you're walking in the world, to, like, through a mall? Like, you know what I mean? At work, when you're at work all day, walking around, like, two miles is not... And he, he didn't say, I'm going to run well, for two America, miles. Well, in America, that's... In America, it's fair. kind of strenuous. Fair, I fair. don't know if you're aware. I mean, even pause, look how mad he is. Look how fucking angry oh, he is. Pause. Like, just see. How, how, well, Jim, how if your are... eyes got fucked up by Portuguese people and you had to wear sunglasses all the time because you looked like a Down syndrome mongoloid, wouldn't you be a little upset? Well, here's here's my theory why he's so mad. I think he tries to ignore chat when they're laughing at him, but because his eyes now go in two different directions, he's always looking at chat, even if he doesn't want to. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I swear to God, he's like, that gonna... left eye is going ninety degrees in the other direction, while his right eye is trying to be mad in the other one. Oh, did you hear? <laughs> he can't stop it. Did, did you hear last night? So you know how how Polly the Frog sixty four, the picture with him, our thumbnail, the one with the hat, and he's like this, right? So you know how one of his eyes is fully ninety degree up, right? So yeah. Polly the Frog took a a, a a a screenshot from the the bowling event. And he used an AI upscaling. Well, yeah, that's a, that's uh, a right? picture I'm using as my profile. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes, uh, yes, yeah. yeah. Yes. So, so, so he starts, he's like, that's a Photoshop picture. That's not real. That's, he starts, like, fucking seething about the AI upscaling of his face. But, Did you see that the uh, the picture I put when I put him in a fake article about Down Center Man wins bowling alley yes, tournament? Yes, yes, yes. Somebody, somebody, somebody put that up on Funny Junk, and they thought it was real, and they upvoted it by like a thousand points saying how special he was for winning. <laughs> <laughs> they were all so proud of the retard for bowling the 300. <laughs> Dude, that fucking shit with the guy. <laughs> you where's the bathroom? Like that's fucking gold. Like I was like dying on Flam Stream. All right, all right. Let's watch some of of this. I promise, guys. I'll read the notes in a bit. Thank you, everyone, very much. Uh, we hope you're enjoying the show. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah. Me too. The new generation of hatred. I Jim. want you to feel it for you. It's already been years. How can we lock Ralph up? How can we lock him up? Oh, God. Can we put the Batman in jail? Can he stop streaming? Wait, did he just call himself the Batman? The Batman. <laughs> <laughs> the Batman. He, he meant to say Batman, but now he's living his LARP in his head. He thinks he's Bruce Wayne or some well, shit. Well, he's like Beard. Did you see Beardson who said he was Batman last week? That was his big thing. Uh, no, Bat listen, I, I can't watch a dude that fucking reviews Yeezy shoes. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that, but like that's where I draw well, the line. We got a clip. We got a clip for you of some of his greatest hits uh, later. Uh, uh, I think we got with, it's. We got one where he's the Aryan super soldier. Jim. Yeah, it's so, it's it's good. It's Please, we don't like it. He's saying things about people we like. He can't say those things. Please stop him, please! God, he wants to be Sam Kinison so bad, I but want... he never will be. Yeah. I love the Portugal banner always reminding us of who, like... Makes... It's like a fucking wall of losses. <laughs> Bowling trophy, Portugal fucking poster. No, but this, this is one of the things about, that I just find so baffling. If, if his show was just this, like him just screaming at the sky all the time, I would actually watch it. Like, people would watch it. But it's not. You know, and he could just do this all the time, but instead he chooses to watch Tucker Carlson all day. I don't, th I don't think he has that much money. I mean, he can't afford the amount of cocaine he would need to keep this energy <laughs> level going up with that amount of cholesterol weighing him down. There's yeah, no I way. He might be right. I oh, think he might be right about dude. that. Fuck. Put that five years from now, ten years from now, and I'm going to fucking have it. Motherfucker. <laughs> he might and not, I'm he's not going to be alive in reason. five years. <laughs> He's and I'm getting so healthy just for that reason. Look at this. I'm getting healthy because of Jim. I tell you, fucking a hogs, I'm gonna get healthy I mean, and fuck all it's you. As, it's as delusional as me to telling you I'm a really healthy guy. Okay, <laughs> like look at this fucking guy, man. Okay, I'm one to talk, but look at the fucking guy, man. He looks like he's dying. Whoa, whoa, like, whoa, whoa! <laughs> news, breaking news. Uh, a, a casino glory hole for fifty dollars. Awesome <laughs> name. Saying. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Ralph has confirmed 
the wet t-shirt contest and wrestling that's going to happen in Tampa, Florida tonight. And the RV trip is also 100% happening. Strap in. I, I don't believe you don't I don't believe, believe it. it. Well, at least he said it. it. At least there, he said it. There's no chance that this fucking RV is ever going to take Dude, Let's cause... fucking go. Let's do it, Ralph. Dude. I want you to get an RV with baked Alaska and drive around hitting fucking potholes and fire hydrants and people. No, no. I want to see a wet t-shirt contrast where we hear an awkward story from a crying girl that her ass got thumbed and she didn't know what happened. Oh. <laughs> I want to hear, I want to see a wrestling match that involves you uh, uh, suffocating a man with your gun accidentally in a fucking mishap. I'm like, let's do it. I want to see it all. There's no this way. Ralph's ego will never survive the RV. He'll no. have trophies Anything? for all of them. A Mario Kart trophy oh. for the RV. <laughs> Uh, wrestling belt for the wrestling participation uh, trophies for the fucking tards yeah well he'll he'll win he'll win the wet t-shirt contest oh. it's that size but i mean the other ones yeah participation trophies maybe i, I heard him i might give him a run for his money i might show up but i might take his crown from him on oh that. could you, he would fucking spaz out if you guys showed he up he would spaz if i beat him in the wet t-shirt contest i don't know how his ego would ever recover <laughs> nobody has bigger tits than ethan ralph nobody <clears throat> No. I have the best titties in this sector <laughs> from the top all down. No, no, period. We, we had a theory though. The reason he's doing the wet t-shirt contest is because he wants to hold an event that Dick won't want to leave. <laughs> That's the only reason. All right, all right. Is there like how do we get any women to actually participate in this shit? Like, are they just gonna like roll behind an Arby's and try and find meth heads or something? He's gonna hire like, hookers. Yeah. Oh, say they're yeah. killstream girls. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna have fucking cold sores on their mouth and shit and fucking uh heroin veins. <laughs> it's gonna be eight, great. Yeah. Eight ball of coke, you don't even wanna do, you wanna suck my dick. Alright, alright, let's let's see what he has to say here. It's like it's skinnier. Compare it. Compare it just a couple months back. Two fifty five. Look at man, god what damn I'm doing? pretty <laughs> god, He's damn. having a breakdown is what he's doing. <laughs> full-on mental breakdown jim if i ever saw it i'm so pretty i'm so, I'm so pretty. pretty he's trying to sound like it's almost like muhammad ali doing like a fucking yeah. pre-fight bullshit you know like what are you doing Ralph? i have wrestled with the alligators tussled with bears i have handcuffed <laughs> lightning thrown thunder in jail i'm so pretty i'm so <laughs> handsome ain't nobody can beat me i must be the greatest i shook up the world i made monday matt cry on stream but really it was dan and jim you know, like, <clears throat> oh, and by the way, to everyone uh, who's <clears throat> donating, uh, the rules are today we're gonna read the 20 <sighs> buck donos in segments, and we'll read the smaller ones at the end of the show just because there's so many. And big donos like 50s and up, we read instantly. Oh, uh, hey, so Andy, you um, it, you, the thing's gonna cut out in two minutes. You want to just uh, this is yeah, we better all preemptively right. do that. All right, yeah, yeah. all right, S sweet, sweet. All right. We're going to have to start a new Leave call. I'm leaving the call. All right. Yeah, same here. Okay. We have to just leave the call and then rejoin. Join now. This is fucking hilarious, by the way. All right. We just got to use this, uh, <clears throat> this ancient tech here. I think that's good. So you're gonna hop back. Okay. Oh wait, do I have to start a new one? I might have to start a new one. Sorry, everyone. What one sec? I don't even know how this one works. So uh, Ashton's just typing to me. Hang on. Yeah, I just phone Ashton on Discord. Hey Ashton, do I have to uh, start a new call? Yeah. Oh, you have I have to start, start a new meeting. All right, all right. I'll do that right now. Hang on. Boom and call for everyone. Turn to home screen, new meeting. There we go. Okay. Uh, boom. Okay. I'm going to link it right now to you. All right. I right, see you there. Okay. Let me message Jim now. Every hour we'll have to do this. Sorry, everyone. There we go. So we apologize for that, but you know, it's a fucking fun show. So who cares? Now, let me jump back in here. Uh huh. One sec. Oh, boy. There we go. Uh, view all. 
All right, we are back in business. Yeah, the call. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, sorry. God, I, so I, God, I've never I can't done that in my wait life. until the kids watching this like idolize me and I force them to use Skype or some archaic bullshit <laughs> from my past. Ten years from now, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I swear to God. I, I you know, I, I know everybody loves Discord, but I don't know a single person that's used it that hasn't had some tranny fucking drama explode from it or dick pics leak or some kind of fucking scandal erupt. Wait, I was well, not, oh no, I wasn't. <laughs> oh shit. No, you're right. You're right. You got a point there, I guess. All right. We are back in business there. All right, cool. Uh, at least for an hour. At least for an hour. Yeah, at least for another hour. For an like hour. for another hour, Jim. Like, are we gonna have to put folders in? Are we gonna have to put? <laughs> it's like an arcade shoot phone. box, old yeah. man. Like, holy fucking shit, man. I don't. Uh, all right. So, uh, okay. So he decided he was beautiful. He was beautiful. All right. He's all so right. sexy. Cassius Clay up there. Ooh, ooh, that looks so good. Mm. Oh, oh. Man, God, does he do that when he's fucking his wife? Do you think he's like, oh, you're so lucky. Look at me. Look at this me. is like some Buffalo Bill shit. You know? <laughs> Would you fuck me? I'd Would fuck you fuck me. me? Are, we, are, are, are we watching his masturbation habits in front of the mirror? <laughs> mm. Look at this. He's a ring now. You see that ring he bought? Oh, you see my dad? You see my uncle's ring? Mm, oh, it's the one. Okay. Oh, do you think it ever gets lost? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> gets stuck up there, he's got to dig it out with his tongue. He has to shove it. Fuck it. <laughs> Yo, dude, I love when he smokes cigars, right? Every time he lights a cigar. The wrong end? Yeah. The wrong end of the, the cigar? The wrong end. Yes. And then he puts it in front of the camera and waits for it to focus. The entire time, he's like... And then, like, it's, like, five minutes of him showing a cigar, just lighting it for, like, five minutes. Oh, it's content gold. Okay, let's see what he has to say. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. God damn, so fucking sexy. Panties just drop just all around the fucking world, just coming down. Like, just coming what? down, <laughs> dripping, soaked. They throw them in the trash. Well, you know, I think the reason they're they're soaking wet is probably, uh, you know, uh, urinating due to really ethanol in your system. <laughs> Might be what's going on. I, I don't know, because that Alice story, uh, allegedly, she said she drank around you, Ralph, every day, no problem. But that last time, suddenly something was weird. She okay. couldn't, you know, couldn't stay awake. Sounds can, a little can we just get like, like a, can we get a mental health check? Like, do you, do you guys think he actually <laughs> believes that? Like, who is he trying to convince? Is he trying to convince us himself? Around the world. Around oh, the, all the, all the, the women all the, around all the, the world. Bitches. Oh, so wet. And, like, oh, they love me. I'm so trying to hot. get that underage prostitute in Portugal <laughs> and got his ass kicked. That underage Cooney was drifting. So were those, were those uh, DMs real? Now, I saw that yeah. uh, somebody had said uh, Alice had told Gator the story that there were there were uh, young prostitutes and a pimp involved in his beatdown was yeah, that real yeah. DMs from Alice? She she told us the same thing in the private call. So yeah. we were like, "Oh, do you have it? Like like any evidence of it?" She said, "May told I think May told her right, but it was like a walk. They were walking or something, and it oh, wasn't like funny. through DMs. It was like they were actually like like together. <laughs> so I mean, from how is that you're in for a threesome? Hey hey uh. I, you know, I, are you interested in maybe like having a threesome with this fucking morbidly obese troll with me? Let me tell you a story about how sexy he is. He got beaten by a, a pimp in Portugal for trying to fuck underage prostitutes. <laughs> like, what, what? What kind of conversation is that for a Sunday walk? Like, who does that? <laughs> well, do you remember Alice wanted to go to church and Pansy was like, "No, you must get down on all fours for Ethan and wear this. Get oh, in the confessional like... and drink." <laughs> 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 so like There's some oh, evil shit man. I want to know I can just hear Alice beads. crying saying are those rosary beads and them saying no <laughs> these are different no. kinds of beads Alice <sighs> fuck alright alright here we go oh, 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 they I can't use those, those, those anymore he'd he'd the shit off those beads wouldn't he the fucker man like, oh, oh like God uh, just it. licking them down mm, like Ooh, oysters oh, oh, little, oh, little oh, oysters oh. little Alice oysters <laughs> oh, oh, oh bro ugh Use those anymore? Do you fucking understand? This is amazing. This is gold. I, I just look, look at the faces he makes. He postures like a dog about to fight another dog. In the <laughs> I don't 
<laughs> well, it's either the face when like you're the dog in the yard, or like when you're taking a real mean dump. Man. <laughs> like that's if like on the toilet. It's so fuck. I love it. You're dude. trying to get it out, man. You just can't. It's turned sideways on you. Like Ralph, please never change, man. <laughs> never do you change. think he gets like? Do you think he gets mad? I bet you he most regrets being obese when he's constipated because he can't like contort down there and lick it up himself. Oh. If he was in better shape, maybe it's like a buffet waiting for him. But that's why he's getting angry. <laughs> He likes to recycle. He's kind of like Chris Chan in that way. Instead of we'll Fanta get to the... and sperm, yeah. Yeah, it's it's shit and ice cream. Oh, like, you know? oh he oh, doesn't want to wild. taint the flavor with ice cream. Yeah, <laughs> he I wants it natural. <laughs> thank you, thank you for clarifying, Jim. I, he wants, I, was, I went he wants, too far. He wants raw milk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gonna... The raw oh. sewage, only the finest for the Ralph male. Oh, he mixes and makers mark. <laughs> He gets both. He gets both of his addictions at once. You gotta satisfy those cravings. Holy shit! You know? what if, wait, Maker's Mark is whiskey, right? Stark liquor. Yeah. yeah. What, what if? What if he's actually drinking vodka and it's that color because he's mixing it with his shit? <laughs> oh god. God. Only <clears throat> a pop off. Only a pop off drinker like Jim would fucking come up with shit like that's, that. That's, that's instead of a white was... Russian, it's instead of a white Russian, it's a dark Ralph. <laughs> dark Ralph. There you go. Alright, let's, let's get through this You're shit. Oh scat, my God. Man. Oh, I'm getting healthy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. I'm getting healthy. I'm gonna fuck you guys so bad. I'm getting healthy. Okay? <laughs> He's like Scarface in like fire. You know, man, you cockroaches, I'm getting healthy, man. I'm taking over this town, man. I'm getting healthy. <sighs> oh, I can't do it. Oh. Oh yeah, I'm getting healthy just to spite you motherfuckers. Do you understand? Is it yes. making sense now? This is no, it's not. This is amazing, Ralph. It makes no sense. Yeah. What? This is like, like, this is so unhinged. No, it makes bro. perfect sense to me. The guy's having a mental breakdown, and we get to watch it. It's pretty good. This you know? makes aim aim look like, oh, that's pretty crazy. Like, well, not I like go that almost... far. I didn't go that far. Maybe. I almost and murdered a man live. He hasn't crazy. pulled the gun out yet. You know? Yeah. To be, to, to be fair, to be fair, I think Ralph Spiral over the last, I, I mean, this has been two months now. Yeah. Uh, surpasses aim aim. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it really, it really, it really. I like, mean, aim, aim thing was up there, but like this, it doesn't end. It's every day he's fighting with somebody. He can't stop it. It's like an addiction. It's fucking. Oh my god. At least I was like, okay, I'm gonna like stop streaming for a while and figure my life out. Him, it's just like, how do I go even deeper? Like, I, I, I don't even know. Because every day, by episode five, we're like, there's no more talking about Ralph. We're like, no more Ralph. And that we just can't stop. Like it's a, it's it's a magic magical experience. And Ralph Mania, the wet T-shirt contest, the like all that shit. If it does happen, which I pr I pray it does, I cannot wait. That's gonna be amazing. I mean, this God is gonna end with somebody dying. Yeah, man. someone's dead. In the like it's the only way. Like you know, <laughs> Jesse's gonna get shot trying to go to the wet T-shirt contest. Yeah. Ralph's gonna pull out his black powder rifle that he has because he's a felon and. Or the crossbow. Well, that's the thing. Like, so we were trying to get Brian to fight Ralph, and they were gonna fight or whatever. Brian said he was gonna go to Ralph's door with boxing gloves and try <laughs> box him, right? And then Ralph said, "Brian, if you show up on my doorstep, I will shoot you with this crossbow, boy." <laughs> you know, he's like afraid of fucking Brian. It's, it's like, is Ralph gonna like uh, meet people at his door wearing like fucking armor and a flail and shit? He's got like a fucking uh, broadsword. Well, when you get a felony on your record, Jim, you have to go back to like the 15th century, you oh. know, in terms of protection. This is so funny. Fuck. He's got a fucking trebuchet in his uh, garage. Oh, fucking like catapult fuck. on the roof. I'm going to go walk two miles right after the show. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> this is my favorite place. Can you back it up? Can That's you my... bring it back 15 it. seconds? Yeah, like yeah. Seconds. Oh, yeah, yeah. That whole clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'll start from right here. Okay. Dad! Is it making sense now? God damn, I swear to God, I'm going to go walk two miles right after the show. <laughs> oh. I'm not fucking kidding. <laughs> Evidently, he was because he never posted any proof he did it. Yeah, he said he was going to take his watch out, his little Apple watch that can't fit around his fat fucking wrist, and he was going to uh, do his little... Uh, oh. what is it? I, 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 I know there's a term for when people walk, but he'd use an odometer. He's car-sized, right? So he'd <laughs> use the Apple the Watch feature for that. Yeah. Oh, it's 
I'm I not swear. similar to watching a penguin news. Imagine no. yelling, I'm going to walk after the show. I like, whoa, you really it's got it. It's not us. even that he's going to like pump some irons. I'm going to bench three plates yeah, after exactly. the show, eh, logs. I'm going like, to walk. He's gonna, He's gonna walk at a leisurely pace <laughs> on gym. Are, are we gonna like see uh, like is the inevitable result of this gonna be like an American first Weight Watchers with him, Mersh, and Baked Alaska <laughs> trying to get into shape together? <laughs> Fuck, this is the oh best. my this, god, this is the best day of my fucking life, man. It's so funny. I, I, well, I, like, I wouldn't say that yet. I mean, well. Every day that Ralph does something is the best day of my life. First, it was when he posted the picture of his beat up face, minus yeah. the sex tape. When he posted his beat up face, I'm like, this is the best day. Nothing's going to happen after this. The bowling event, this is the best day. This, this, him walking to own us. Best day ever. Come on, Ralph. Yeah, keep it's, going. it's been a horrible year for him. I, like, Portugal, what? That was like January, what? Uh, or the end four. of January? When was it exactly? Yeah, January. Well, no, that was, that was in February because we started <laughs> our show, what, January 20th? And then the Fuck Ralph Festival was like the next week. So it was like the very end of January, beginning of February. So, yeah, it's he... been the whole year. It's been nothing but nightmares for Ralph for the whole year. <laughs> it's already a fucking yeah, four months in. We ended the that stream with like a eulogy. Like it was like a parody eulogy. With, yes. Right? And then... He came out of the grave and he keeps going somehow. Like, well, you know. I, well, he said today he is eternal. So. Okay. <laughs> what did you see? How fucking did you see how fucking mad he? He was like, "Oh, Jim, you can't see. You got shaking hands. You're dead, Jim. You're fucking dead." Uh, and then I posted the the tweet of him. He had a heart attack. A, in a Vegas. fucking heart attack in Vegas, <laughs> yeah. and that sent him off on the diet yeah. shit. Suddenly he's exercising now. Oh no, he's not exercising for shit. No. I mean, look, in order for this guy to lose any weight, he's got to stop drinking. Because yeah. his drinking is probably a <clears> 1,000 <throat> calories a day minimum. Yeah. So even if he was fasting, not eating anything, and just drinking, like, he, he he's fucked. Like, he's screwed. Cause oh, do you think he's, he's going to be like one of those Tumblr bitches when the doctor tries to explain his, he's going to die from a fatty liver? He's going to go on there and be like, see, it's just my liver's fat. All I got to do is get in shape and lose a little weight from the liver. I'll be fine. I, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I, I'm in between like he's not even going to live to next year or that he's going to live to he's like 70 years old just off his pure hatred and his like white trash genetics. Because like those genetics that Ralph has, they're like designed to survive like alcoholism, like drug abuse. You know, it's just like genetically they've been bred for that and they're white trash trailer fucking park. Do you know what I mean? Oh. So sometimes these guys live a long time. I don't fucking know. I, I don't know. I'll put this out here. There are certain scenes from like the last two days when he has his hat off, especially. He's got like a wild kind of multicolored, like almost uh, like Jufro kind of haircut. Uh, okay. And with the with the glasses, he looks like Lotax. If you go look at Lotax before he blew his head off, he looks exactly like Lotax in the last few weeks of Lotax's life. Do you think Ralph will ever actually blow his fucking head off? You think he, he can't afford a gun? <laughs> so he can't even own Legally, one. You're right. Yeah. Would he oh, use a crossbow? No. <laughs> okay. Can you imagine that, a live leaks video of a crossbow to that? Has that ever actually happened? Somebody Ralph, just fucked premiere it. content for the kill stream. <laughs> Please do it, Ralph. We're begging you. Please. Well, well, I heard, I heard yeah. Alex was in his chat the other day, so you can call Alex from AMA. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, this this clip is great. The best. My fucking Apple Watch. I'm gonna post it on Twitter, motherfucker. Twenty pounds down. And I got about 75 to go, bitch. The 20 pounds he lost is because he put his bottle down to record this. <laughs> do, you, do you know when I did my weight, I lost 20 pounds in a week? Like, it's not hard to lose 20 pounds. Like, when you're a big fat fuck, like, you just stop eating. Well, oh, does he understand that his, his flesh skirt is going to grow in size if he loses weight? Well, he's like, fucked. he's, he's going to need... Look at Boogie. Like, Boogie it was like, when he talked about weight loss, he was like, oh, if I lose weight, I'm going to have to spend, what is it, $40,000 to get the skin removed? Could you imagine how much it'll cost to cut the gunt off? There's no way he's going to do it. There's no way he's going to do it. There's no there's absolutely there's no doctor like... that's going to do it for any amount of no, money. No, no. I mean, he's... like, even, mis even Dr. Shaq. Oh, God, if he like... cuts his gunt off, do you think he'll hang it on the wall next to Portugal and the fucking uh, bowling trophy? <laughs> It's like a rug. It's like a rug in his house, man. You turn it into a coat and wear it around on the Ralph Mail. Look at my gut coat. No, you know, he oh. put it up on eBay. Somebody might buy it, you know. Oh, oh, oh yeah. God. Oh, you saw me that day I came out of jail, Jim. You saw me looking better than you ever looked. Were you the one? Wait a minute, Jim. Were you the 
one who picked him up <laughs> at the fucking jail. I, I don't know was... what the fuck he's talking about with this. He's like, you saw I was so pretty when I came out of jail. Oh, I bet you were. I bet you were a pretty boy coming out of jail there, Ralph. Why well, is he, he was saying somebody's this? pretty boy. In yeah, jail. very pretty boy, uh, huh, Ralph? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why is he saying this? Jim, what did you do to him? <laughs> you faggot. You saw me. You retweeted it. I still remember. Oh, Ralph's back. Can I, can I just say I love that he's 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 so obsessed, right? He's so obsessed with my affection, <laughs> like wanting my affection. He remembers, he remembers tweets from eight years ago. Oh, you Jim, retweeted me eight Tuesday. years ago. For Jim, it was Tuesday. It was an overcast sky, Jim. And I looked at my phone and there was Jim. Oh, my God. Daddy Jim retweeted me. And I just got Daddy out of the slammer. Jim's, yeah. Daddy Jim, leader of Gamergate and protector of the realm. Fuck. And I was Slayer just waiting. To, uh, I was waiting to come back to you and uh, Daddy Sargon's arms, and we could all go and fight the women together. <laughs> we were gonna do Gamergate two together, Jim, and it was gonna be beautiful. I, but you had to, you had to turn off Sargon. I, oh, who the God. who the fuck remembers a retweet from seven years ago? Get your life in order. You have a kid downstairs. What are you doing? <laughs> I, I'm just picturing you with like a cigarette hanging off, off your mouth, like looking at this video going, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck? Okay. You remember that, Jim, don't you? Oh, yeah, you were on my nuts back then. I remember when you were promoting the Ralph. Oh, wait, wait, yo. He, oh, it's fantastic. He, he made Jim. you, Jim. I, I I know I would be nothing without the the numbers you, that kill stream. You were sucking on his nuts. The platform the kill stream made you. Before 2018, late 2018, nobody knew who Internet Aristocrat, Mr. Matt. Nobody knew who any uh, of that shit. Uh, never never heard of. Yeah yeah. Uh, he made he, he made me. He made Andy. Mm -hmm. uh, he made uh, he made every yeah everybody. He paid exists. for your anime pleasure dome, Jim. He, he wouldn't did. even have the anime pleasure dome without him. At the rate he's going, he's going to be paying for an expansion. <laughs> That way. He's gonna pay for me to get my version. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's but getting yeah. an anime dungeon. Thanks, Ralph. <laughs> what do you say? Yeah, we're all getting them. Yeah, we saw this. He, he was saying the other day. He goes, "If it weren't for us, these guys would go hungry. Like, I'm, like we're feeding them, and we're just like, yeah, you are. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, Thanks, but guys, yeah. yeah, it's really good. Yeah. I love this. Do you do you realize on his uh, Kiwi Farm sub forum? Right, that's existed. No, put that up for like what five months. Uh, He's yeah. it's half the size of DSP. DSP has had a sub forum for fucking years, and Ralph is already half the amount of content in five fucking months. It's nuts, dude. Whenever he has like one new thread pop up, it's got more like pages on it than most anything on the site. It, is this the dimensional merge that Christian was talking? Has the spirit of Christian gone into Ralph? <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Well, this is this is the oh, thing. What he... We're gonna speculate about that later on. We have oh he captured the footage and the soul seeped in yeah. him. You know the CPU uh... goddess descended into Ralph's body and said, "You are the Lolco now, Ralph." <laughs> yeah, he was wearing the shirt. Maybe it was like some sort of Freaky Friday, some statement. satanic fucking <laughs> ritual. <laughs> Look at me, Ralph. You are the Lolco now. You are the Lolco now. <laughs> Maybe that's why Chris found God in jail. He's like confusedly waking his way to Christ. It's because the spirit of the CPU got us possessed, Christ Ralph. Is king. Christ Christ is king, is king, souls. Or dot com. <laughs> Drop it in the kill stream. Okay. You saw how right. pretty it was. You All right, him. wait. Okay, so let's read some of these of, of the massive... All sure. right, Adonos here, just real fast. Lord Aragon for thirty dollars. Thank you so much to Kill Casino on Good Friday of all days. Sweet, thank you so much. Iron Wolf Spear for twenty bucks, saying, wow. "Let Goo shout out my ends on Twisted Mind, Jim. I love you. Watch my video. I tagged you on Twitter, Andy. You the man. And PPP Batman rules." Uh, I think Iron smashed right now. Well, thank you, I, uh, Iron Wolf Spear. No, he knows the truth, Andy. The Batman was good, and oh, you're coping, bro. Garb. No, you were coping. Okay, anyway, uh, okay, Jack. You're coping. Jack Tuxin uh, for twenty bucks, uh, saying, "Can't wait to get nice and comfy in bed and enjoy the keto." Good luck. Thank you so much, Ocean Redux for twenty. I'm a holler. Can I get a suey? Suey. There you go. Uh, Casino Farmer for 20. Daddy Jim loves his baby hoggling so much. He wished him a happy birthday on TV. It touches my heart deep down. 
Which, by the way, that fucking news report with happy birthday. Uh, it was fantastic. Whoever did that was so good. That was such a fucking just stupidly funny shit to do. Uh, it was perfect. Oh, they have it on... that, was, that was life ruination tactics. <laughs> just like what I'm trying to do. That was the equivalent of what I was going to oh, do. Oh, oh but, ne but next time, if you do a birthday shout out like that, don't just say from Daddy Jim and uh, friends, uh, uh, Ralph Flamingator. Also say from Mommy Adrian. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Adrian Blair. Actually, yeah. if Let's you had remember she won, folks. If you had to channel a Rochester's YouTube channel, they have it as a separate video. It's got more views than any of their videos. <laughs> <laughs> and, no, all, no. All, and all the comments <sighs> are just like being positive but slightly shitty. Like Adrian Blair says, you know, happy birthday to uh Ralph. Oh, this guy looks so healthy. He'll never do pills and drink makeup. <laughs> Mark. like it's just like all over it's so funny um um enabled diamond for 25 saying ralph i'm not a flagger takes down multiple streams here's to the kia casino remember ralph the house always wins Sue the memphis Sue micro for 20 bucks saying maybe it was you who sniffed shit i'm a haul over this trash burger okay thank you a perturbed son for 20 andy real talk uh, your redemption arc has inspired me to quit cocaine and instead start huffing shit like ralph okay there you go uh like cleansing off my hooves right now it's scrotum looking good i'm gonna holler now sweet i'm gonna have a like, fucking busted voice after this show a good senator for 20 thank you so much appreciate it a casino a concierge for 20 hey boss there's a rage piggy out back eating trash burgers from the dumpster should we call animal control okay uh oh Whiskey helps for 20. It's good. Ralph's a constant implosion has brought the old IBS dudes back around. Uh, Jim, please bully Ralph into being the next Sargon level of failure. Work your magic, homie. Ethan Ralph for 20. Not my daddy. Not my Ronnie. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kayla Shaper Nova for 20. Uh, I guess hush puppies are a completely different dish served in the Ralph Mail house. Purple Haze for 20. Hey, Jim, I'm just wondering if you were a fan of Total Biscuit. If so, your cosplay is spot on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. That was good. That was a good one. Oh, because the cans. Yeah, because you got a Yeah. Shit. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Uh, Job for 30. You guys are funny. Thank you so much. Uh, and two more for now. Um, Manfred Von Karma for 20. It, it really warms my uh, heart watching the Cancer Man and the, my two favorite Canadian uh, grifters dunk on Ralph. Thank you for the laughs. By the way, did oh. you hear the subtle flirting between Destiny and Nick Fuentes lately during the uh, infrared <laughs> haze debate? Infer I, did, I actually didn't see that. Some people have linked me it, but I, I didn't get around to watching that yet. But I, I guess they are, you know, in some sort of weird gay bromance now, Destiny and Nick. I don't know what it's all about. It's very interesting. And one more for now and then. There's so many, and I'll, I'll, I'll find a spot for it. Mr. Deadman for 20. Ralph is reminding me more and more of Champ from Anchorman when it comes to his gay love for Jim. Oh, fuck. Do you think he's the author and editor of the uh, Milo uh, X Jim fan fiction might be possible, right? Okay, one more. A Christorian X for 20 bucks. Fantastic show, gentlemen. Thought you'd like a joke. What do Ethan, Ralph, R. Kelly, and Bill Cosby have in common? They need uh, uh, adult diapers. All right. Okay, uh, real winners from the super shots tonight. All right. Daddy Chim brings it in. I gotta say. All right, I'll I'll read more donos later. Okay, so what do you want? There's so much. Okay, so uh, I'm just okay, I, I just I like the the fact that your your total now in donations has eclipsed Ralph for a week. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Do I haven't I even know. added like I'm hearing See, Bing 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 the whole time I was reading. I, I haven't even he added. He can't even I, add. He can't even add it. I'm up. too low IQ. But I, everyone. I'll say this: <laughs> Ralph has to do ten shows a week, streaming for like six to eight hours a day. We do two shows a week, streaming for at most eight hours. In total. Okay? And and we yep. make more. Like you work smarter, not harder, Ralph. But Ralph has to work hard because why? because he's fucked up his life completely. Honestly, Ralph used to have life on easy street. You know, all he had to do was fucking read super chats, host a fucking drama show on the internet. That was it. Now he's got faith vickers and the California fucking parental system <laughs> claws in him. And the money won't even go to see his child. 
because of the way the California court system is set up. It's actually disgusting. The state is going to take it all to pay the Medicare bills for when she was in the hospital giving birth. So I, I all of that money doesn't even go to his fucking child. It just goes straight to the state of California. Now he's got another child that he has to take care of in the house, crying every day, bothering him disrupting his life his lifestyle is not one where he wants to fucking be raising a child and let's get real no. pantsu's ass is gonna leave him and then she'll take even more of his money so ralph completely fucked up his life and all he had to do was listen to me back in the day when i told him that faith vickers was a crazy cunt that supported blm you know and was whacked and had about 40 different rape allegations against different men did you hear jim that Faith one time got raped on a school bus in front of 40 witnesses and nobody did anything? This was a story <laughs> what? told? What? Yes. Okay, another counter offer to Vickers. We watch the sex tape and then we talk about the, the uh, school bus gangbang. What do you say? The school Aww. bus gangbang. It was a school bus gangbang and the principals covered it up. The school covered up the rape even though there were 40 witnesses to the crime. That's fucking and this crazy. Wasn't is that, is that, are, is, that's true that's, too yeah it's that, a real story yeah that is yes. real that is 100 no, see, I, I, see, I, I, see unlike ralph like i don't uh, like i know his whole thing is like uh he gets mad at somebody or he wants to fuck with somebody and immediately wants to talk about every single family member like i i don't usually do that so like i've never really like looked into to faith or vickers or it, you know like may or any of that because ralph is just on his own such a fucking dumpster the man eats burgers out of trash cans he eats he, shit he out of assholes. Yes. You know, like, uh, he has heart attacks in Vegas, probably from, I, I, we could speculate what caused the fucking heart attacks. Andy, do you remember, uh, uh, there's a video clip. God, I wish somebody still had this. It's probably up on YouTube. Uh -huh. It's Coach Red Pill. I think you and uh, Ralph all in sitting down. In the diner? Oh, to yeah, have yeah, at the yeah, diner yeah, yeah. And, and and coach makes some remark about wow not everybody's staying faithful and ralph fucking goes ballistic yeah. <laughs> at that. what do you mean coach i love my wife i, I love, love my wife. wife i love my wife coach i oh. love her that was um, fucking crazy like the okay the antics the antics we have we got into the flam shit we got to get through this clip this gun to off clip though oh, oh yes okay so this is from to, today yeah like literally I, like I would... when he started okay so here it goes you're gonna need to you guys are gonna need to run like a casino 24-hour network to handle this <laughs> like he's dumping so much I shit too much shit you know we might not, we, like i don't even know like jim's gonna have to be here forever i don't <laughs> know we're never I mean, I saw like Cog did a stream earlier today where he wanted to go over it, and like he he could only get through like a half an hour of one stream from the last three days. Like Ralph is losing his fucking shit nonstop for hours a day. Yeah, he yeah. He, he actually did. Uh, I saw Cog's video. He did like a he has a new channel called Backwards Internet. He did like an internet historian style video. Oh, um, I've contact for years of this guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We did like the bowling event, just like Internet Historian. I was impressed. Yeah. Far. I was very, I'm very Talk's impressed. He's gonna actually. be able to smoke weed and stay in government housing for some time. <laughs> exactly. He's gonna have, he's gonna have a ton of pot at the end of this. He's gonna right? have so much weed. Whoa. He's gonna have pounds of it. Build a chair out of it. Yeah. This, this is so crazy. Oh, a big dono, a crazy diamond for fifty bucks. Thank you so much. Saying I feel sorry for Pansu. She has to put up with the baby crying screaming throwing fits and shitting itself plus she has a child to take care of <laughs> you know serious uh, serious question whose diapers do you think she hates changing the most the babies uh, or ralph's ralph's obviously dude no know, man. he says he goes commando by the way he said i never what? wear underwear you didn't you didn't see that i never wear underwear that's why you almost see his like dick for a second in the fight can, can you just for can we take a moment to appreciate the smell Oh of, my god. Of obesity and cottage cheese wafting from those sweatpants. No, when those officers showed up at his house, they probably thought it was a chemical weapon being deployed against them. That's why they showed up with gas masks on, Ralph. <laughs> they could smell your balls from down the block. I was blessed oh. to be a cokehead at that time. I've been three years clean now. So your sense time, of smell was dead? I, I had, like, it was just like a rock in my nose, like, blocked. And when I left Ralph's house, when I was with, like, a failure at Alex, we were at, at, like, a, at, like, an Applebee's or some shit, and I blew my nose in the bathroom and a giant rock of, like, blood and all this shit came out because I was off it for, like, two months or three months at that point. And when I walked in uh, the restaurant, I'm like, oh, I could smell. I could smell. 
thank God when I lived with him, I couldn't smell anything. Thank God that didn't happen uh, when you were living with him because he would have thought it was a he would have thought it was a ketchup packet. Tried to eat a trash burger with it. Oh, oh, my God. oh, oh no. <laughs> Andy, mm, mm, God, that was the best ketchup Jim, I ever gonna, ate. Jim, are you trying to like fucking make me lose weight? Make me <laughs> I would have lose my appetite? Jim. It's Donnie Jim's tough love on PPPs. <laughs> okay, can I just say Fuck with son. the pause with the pause screen? Um, I think Ralph is making that face because he's jealous. Remember, he lost his crown after being beaten like a bitch in Portugal, and now he sees a helmet <laughs> crown on her. And he's mad. Look at like, that. That's my crown. That right, bitch took like, my crown. He looks like he's trying to cast some sort of like telekinetic spell. Like he's like <laughs> Professor Xavier from X Men, Jim. Like, look at this. Like, his I his eyes are standing. going in circles, <laughs> like washing machines. <laughs> Uh, and and actually, I saw Rand was actually watching him watch this, and it was actually really funny. But um, so, yeah, can, can you tell me why he suddenly like what exactly made him get mad at Rand again for no reason? I don't. I I, I honestly Rand was I, on a stream with Gator, and I think Rand said that he wasn't a very good father because he couldn't see his son. Oh, I don't know what prompted this. See, what's retarded is like Rand and Ralph do this like back and forth where Rand gets kicked from the show every couple months, and then he's like back the next week, and that it's just it's like the days of our guns or some shit with Rand bought. Like it's just he always comes back. So even after this, even after Ralph puts his wife on blast and shit. I won't be surprised if Randbot's calling in again next week because of his lack of self-esteem. Like, he has to, know, he, he has to stop. And Dingo too. Like, I'm like, they're always like in this lovers like, well, like quarrel. Ralph like... went on this insane rant against TRS today, saying, you know, about Mike Enoch's wife, and just said he wants nothing to do with anyone from TRS. They can all die. He said he was the cozy hitman. And then he's gonna do Nick's dirty work for him, doxing and swatting people and fucking flagging it down so that Nick's hands are clean. Like crazy shit like this. Like, I don't know how Dingo can defend it. Like, I, I get it, Dingo. You want the platform to spread white nationalism or whatever. But the it is, platform but like... is dead, dude. Like, like his chat, even if he has like 200 viewers on YouTube, he has like the same four or five people in chat. And everything else has message deleted because the mods are having yeah. overtime there. It's so oh fucking amazing. Okay. Uh, All right, we got to play clips or we're, yes, fucked. we're yes. never going to go. I would be, I would be afraid. I, I, I would, I guess your wife. Normally, I, I would just count chalk that up as just an automatic victory. It's going to take a nigga like PPP. It's going to take, it's going to take an unholy gunt. To beat me, but sure. Can, can I just say, uh, with how pale he is in that black shirt, he looks like a, a fucking malformed Muppet that you see on like a seventies <laughs> children's show. Look at like look at the size of his head. Doesn't it look like a balcony Muppet, like one of the old men? I just want to say, it looks like somebody's marionetting his little arms. <laughs> he does, man. He does. This, this tiny hands. Have you seen his hands? Like, like to his Walter. face ratio. It's so crazy, dude. <sighs> Your wife has an unholy gun, Rambot. All I really... can see is a Muppet now. <laughs> That's all I can see, yeah. His, his hands, like, just up there. I love it. You're really out of control, buddy. It is really wild and wacky, dude, I have to say. And, uh, of course, I can't see where it stops. I can see I can see where mine stops, but I don't know I how, how far those fat rolls go, buddy. And I say just fly her at big ass over here. We'll, we'll front the cost. If we have to do a fundraiser, two tickets I think should be enough. If we need three, we'll make sure to cover that. We will fly her big ass over to the United States, the center of the universe. We'll put her on a big stage. You know, I'm putting on a wrestling show as it is. Get her big ass. There it is. See? Ah, there we go. There That's a wrestling is. promotion. There yeah. it is, the wrestling show. Let's have a gunt off. And if she wins... She can take home some money. Can, and can we just be honest? More fun. Uh, uh, the only reason that he he's putting this offer out there is he's just trying to see uh, you know another woman naked. It's just that's all it is. <laughs> oh, have her come out. We'll do a gun off. He just wants more. He's just any way he can try to get. He's a sex addict. Oh yeah. Oh. Wants to buy makeup to cover up your Here spousal we go. abuse. Here we go. It's a win-win. Come or on. she can feed that little brat. Whatever. I don't know. It's it's a win-win. I am a generous man. I don't want to let. You? 
animosity. I don't want to let. He's generous, but never paid any of the calls. No, he like, never you know? paid anybody. Anything. <laughs> so generous, so uh, generous, Ralph. Bad blood interfere with good entertainment and good business. Do you understand? So, can, can you explain to me why old... in this clip, um, he's like hunching over like an old Jewish man? <laughs> is there like his shoulders have like lifted up and his neck is like sunken down? <sighs> Well, Do you notice well, some that? people like, have um, the Kiwi Farms. Yeah, you saw said that? that they've had. He's what is the condition? It's called a, 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 retardation. <laughs> Good guess, Jim. Co what? A co uh, a couch? Koche? Koche no, syndrome? It's not that. <laughs> yeah, it's Andy, not, give us your medical. So he's it's got it's the couches. Co the it's, couches. It's, um, Come on, come on. It starts with C. It starts with C. Come on. Cushing. 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 I was close. I was close. Cushing syndrome with the Buffalo Home. Andy, Dr. Andy, he's got the couches. Okay, Andy. He's got couches syndrome. I swear, guys, I stopped the coke. This man has the couches. Oh, fuck. I hope this doesn't cut off. I have the other one. Just the, the isolated him pulling up his shirt, but I think it is in this clip. Just keep uh, playing. Okay. Yeah. To me, you know how to get in touch. The Ralph at the Ralphertour.com, just in case we lost uh, some of our usual means of contact, which we did. You just email me, buddy. We will get that money in order. Okay, we will bring one. her over. We will have a gun to off. Okay, yeah. To, uh, so it's yeah. the next one. Yeah, yeah. I sent it to you just on Discord there. It's it's the it's the next one. Oh, okay. I cool. don't know if you're gonna uh, try and download. give me one second. I'm gonna have to do like the uh put my face there so I could grab Well, I, I know I know you wanted to do like a year of the Chud stuff and talk about a few other things. I th I think this is gonna be solely Ralph. Just based yeah. On... It's looking, it's, it's looking I, I, I'm fine with that. If you guys want to go three or four hours. Uh, I'm com yeah, of course. I'm Let's, do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Chat. Uh, international chat, what do you think about that? Because we're an hour down. and a half in and we're on clip two. Yeah. I, I don't know. Let, let me pull up your chat. Let me see what they say. Chat, chat, chat. Andy and uh, PPP go for five hours. Let's say. Yeah. How about, how about how about six hours, chat? How long can we make? Oh, how, how long can we six talk hours. about, Ralph? The stamp cancer man's got stamina tonight. I guess. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ralph is using his uh, it, Ralph is using his dark Chris Chan powers to resurrect me. I guess I don't yeah, know. Yeah, man, you just. Well, you're like the actual cigarette smoking man from X Files. You just never actually die. You always return, you know, and reinvigorate. Except and instead of Mulder, yeah. Instead, instead of fighting Mulder, I'm fighting Malding. That's what Ralph is. <laughs> just this Malding, fat, angry man on the internet. Yeah. yeah. And his scully, his scully has been date raped. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so, I you do me a fate uh you'll have to upload that to the fucking drive bro all right g give me one because the way this works you can't share it unless it's on a browser uh, so if I download it well so... that, that's fine we we can just talk we can just talk okay old fashioned Ralph don't worry it, it should happening. be there in in less than a minute here here, be here you there know what right now it should be there right now okay. it's called Ralphie gun talk okay right? cool cool let me reshare the tab then all right this is so fucking crazy dude i'm so i'm so happy he fucking did this like for the last month i thought it was gonna end like soon he can't he he like ralph um is more fragile than i imagined right yeah like i it's i insane. thought after the portugal thing he would kind of maybe calm down a little like because you got oh. beat up by you got beat up by children <laughs> As <laughs> if the story's true, <laughs> the pimp yeah. and children beat you in Portugal and took your purse. Like I thought, oh, okay, it's fucking done. Um, but like, it's just once once you started anything he thinks is an accomplishment, if you poke it just a little bit, fucking death spiral into sparking out that bowling shit. Like he once he knew that Flam and Tux were filming that, he lost his shit and just death spiraled the whole night. All right, right, here so it is. Wait, is it okay, perfect? Okay. This is it. We have it. We have it. All right. All right. Here, here we go. Let's check it out. International with a big freight like that. Uh, but fly her ass over here, and I will have I will have a gun off with the big bitch. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 yeah, look wait at a this. minute. Is oh. that his belly button, my what? dude? Or is that like is that's, it cut? That's uh that's the second pair of tits. Okay, oh. so his tits have sagged and you know like how you get a double chin? He's got double tits. So he's got tits under his tits. It's like cow udders. Oh my god. He's literally becoming a, a lolcow. He's growing more tits <laughs> on his chest. 
<laughs> Daddy Jim, I'm a very fat Poor man, and I've yet to experience this. I guess in 10 years, it's coming for me, the double tits. Oh Once you hit your mid-30s as a morbidly obese gentleman, it's game over. You get the double tits. Chat, what do you, you guys get the double think? gut, too. Like, come on, chat. This is nuts. Like, why did he what do is, like, there's, like, look at this extension, like, off his belly button. There's, yeah. like, a crease. <laughs> He's like two it's, creases. It's, like it's, a it's, a, it's like a it's a card slot. He puts his wallet in there. That's how <laughs> that's how he, well, he, he had money. Items. Well, no. Apparently, he went over to a guy's house and stole his vape. He stuffed the oh, vape in his gun. No, I want to say this story. So his old his old buddy, who was like the kill stream secretary, is in my Discord, and I hang with him, right? Okay. So I'm showing them. I don't know if you saw the the picture of of Ralph in the pink shirt where he was interviewing all the uh, the AFPAC people. And it was like the picture of him holding a microphone and he's like this. I think you said he's gonna eat the microphone or some shit. Uh, but he's like this, right? So we're watching the interview. So, so we're watching and my buddy starts freaking out. I'm like, I know this is crazy, right? He goes, no, no, look, look. Ralph lifts his gun up, right? And has a vape. And he leaves it and he's putting it during the interview in his gun and pulling it out throughout the whole interview. So we're all laughing. He goes, no, 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 that's my vape. When they had met up in Vegas <laughs> on New Year's, Ralph goes, I lost my vape. May I borrow yours? And he goes, sure. And the next day Ralph's like, ah, dude, I lost your vape. I lost your vape. He Smash cut away in his four gun. months later. Pulls it out of his gun. So the question is, was it in there the whole time? <laughs> well, like the thing that fascinates me the most about like the gun pictures, aside from them being like uh, disgusting and funny, is what's like. There's got to be like organ displacement going on, right? Like his intestines must roll. Like they must have pushed out and now go down. Like that has to be filled with something more than just fat. It's yeah, it's, it's it, mush. It's, it's weird. It doesn't look like a normal fat person. It doesn't. Like, I don't at all. know what it is. Is it the alcoholism that makes it this way? What? Yeah. What? Because it's like, because he's like small arms, small legs, and just the fucking middle of his body. It's like all the fat just heads right into the middle. And that fight with Riley. Remember when he's like punching, and it just like swings. It actually. By the way, someone at the kingpin oh. saw when he walks. Right. Like, do you notice how he walks like this? It's because he has to lean backwards while walking to like. We call that uh, Andy. We call that the West well, Memphis Waddle. <laughs> I, I guess because the way. I guess Ralph. I guess Ralph and Rand Bot are blood sporting live on his show. Oh, I don't think. Can, can you can cut in? Oh. Uh, should, should we be? Should we show it or is he gonna flag? He'll it down? he'll copyright strike. He he can use the link and copyright strike this whole. Can screen. you ask somebody in your audience to 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 record their fight so we can watch it in a little bit? Yes, yeah, someone yes. please record it because if we watch it in parts, stream sniping, he could DMCA it so easy. Like it takes five seconds to DMCA. So <clears throat> someone in my Discord, I know you're all watching. Please OBS it right now. Oh, Squire. And then Squire, DM me bro. or Squire, and then DM me or Ashton, and we'll watch it after uh, these ones. So okay. we'll we'll watch that one live. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My God, his tits, his tits. Like if you if you touch your your chest right now, it's like right at the diaphragm. His breasts, that second pair of breasts, are at his diaphragm. Like it's going towards where his belly button should be, but his belly I'm button is where his. It's like, it's like here, fat, Jim. I'm yeah. trying to figure it out on my fat body, and it doesn't even make sense on me, Jim. I'm confused. I'm fucking. And, and, and the thing to remember, I guess, like Andy said, is all of this overhangs his balls, which don't wear any underwear at all. It's oh. just, it must be like a sauna. It must be a fucking sauna oh, in there. Oh my god! Just cooking man. there the whole time. But look at him. Like, why would he do this? Uh, we can have a big gun off live here on the kill. Like when I saw that, I I DM'd Ashton, and he's like, I know. I know, like, no, like, okay, Andy, like, we all saw that. That's insane. Uh, that's fucking insane. That How long, that. by the way, do you think? Uh, we, you know, he wants to do a Deadpool bet. My bet, I would rather do is a sunglasses pool. How long until he can cope with the fact that he's got Looney Tune eyes when he take those fucking <laughs> things off? Like, how many days are we gonna see these sunglasses on before he just deals with it? I don't. Uh, I think he'll have it on forever because he thinks it looks cool.
and badass. Like I, no, I, think... I don't, no, he's not wearing it because it's badass. He literally can't handle the fact that his eyes go two different directions now. Yeah, it's... yeah, he's he's coping on a massive. If he scale. and Mersh had a staring contest with one another, it would open a dimensional rift so... to hell. So Mersh back the um, wrong horse, by the way. You let's... have to admit. <sighs> I don't know. Mersh is just a broken man. Like he, I don't even. He backed the wrong say. pig. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's try and recap what happened in the last twenty-four to thirty-six hours. Real fast. I'll go on it. Hundred yeah. bucks from Signal Boot. Let's fucking Signal go. Signal Boot. That's all he said. Back. Oh Thank boy, you. Captain. Our our homie. Holy shit. Our, our homie. Thank you so much, Signal the Boot. The owner and proprietor of KinoCasino.com. The Signal. Yes, he actually owns it. He bought it. Uh, and to anyone who's watching who just who just hopped in, twenty bucks. We're gonna read in segments all the smaller ones at the end of the show. We're gonna at be here for end. a long time, Ashton. And uh, yeah, so yeah, thank you everyone gone. for the support. T- taking a way. page out of Ricada's book. Yes, we are. Yeah, literally- we'll see. See, Jim, I apologize to you and Rakeda. Mm. The grift was the way all along. Mm. I was wrong. The way is just to grift it for everyone. Once penny, you got that first paycheck, you're like, fuck yes. this. <laughs> yes, Daddy Jim, I realized. I was like, this I want an anime dungeon daddy. too. What he, <laughs> never, he would never leave, like, lead me astray. I knew. I was wrong. What can I say? Oh, fuck <laughs> Let's just start to stack it up. Those principles go out the fucking window real quick. Man. Wait. The... May I show one thing? It's, it's ten seconds long. So you know how we bash America first all the time and bait Alaska, right? And, and they're all losing their mind and they're like melting down. So you know who's a baked roommate? Someone sent me this video. Check this out, chat. You're gonna lose your mind. Here's Wooza. So this is this is uh, Baked Alaska's sidekick, then. Yes. This is Baked Alaska's manservant. He does his laundry. Uh, he actually has given no. him foot rubs yes. on stream. Uh, he, he does. He cleans the house. I swear to God, he does. Not even exaggerating. And he does it just so he can get high every day and smoke weed. And he spends like every moment of every day high out of his mind. So is um, he a streamer or a maid? Both. <laughs> I, no, he's not even. Is he a streamer anymore? I, well, he's like Bake's like sidekick manservant, but like Gator didn't actually ever do Ralph's laundry, so it's like beyond even that level. Well, you know, like well, Baked. I don't know if you saw this, Medicare, but Baked was just like, um, you know, we're demons. So Ashton and I are now demons. He was running on the treadmill, and God talked to him and told us that we came from hell to destroy yeah. him and America first and patriots everywhere. Then smash cut to two days ago, I'm sent this. I watch Kino Casino and then I watch The Rake Back and then I watch America first. Mick- Done. Oh. He watches, <laughs> he watches three shows in a week. Well, are you Kino telling just... me, are, are you telling me that Kai, your inside man has converted Wooza to the, yes! to the cause? Yes. yes! Yes, yeah. our guy, Kai the Spy, has been converting people all throughout the America First movement. We've got Wooza now. Word is Dalton's flipped. I mean, it's well, just crazy, no, man. No, we saw that, remember, live. He was just like, you know what? I respect what they do. So how, yeah, did, you get, how, did, you, how did you get Dalton to flip? You just bought him a clean pair of underwear? <laughs> We, yes, was that the Jim, offer? He, was that the offer? We, got him, we got him a box of adult diapers and we got him a Worski autograph. And he was like, yes. Worski, my internet daddy, I watched in high school. He said I was his hero who <laughs> red pilled him. Do, my face. do you know, Jim, the fact that you've mentioned Dalton's name has probably made his penis grow three times in size? Wow, That's probably it. like his childhood <laughs> fantasy. You just keep making wishes come true, Jim. Do you know? Uh, well, that? I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I think, I, I don't think I'm well received over at uh, America uh, First. At America First, no. I, I did get no. along with uh, uh, Michael, right? I did a stream with him. He seemed like a nice oh, guy. Oh, that guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but Ooh, I, I saw I don't you think, over uh, there. I don't you think were I don't telling think him that fan. that picture was you. That was fucking. <laughs> you had him going for like. You had him going for like a half hour about that. I swear. Well, to God. and then we were talking about. Uh, he talked about. Yeah, it was <laughs> Legos and his parents yelling at him. It was kind of funny. You're, you're telling him all the lore, you know. He's, like, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a he's a nice kid. He's a nice kid. That's uh, a good kid. Yeah. Daddy Jim's on the Make a Wish tour right now. You That's know? right. A Make a Wish. Right now, this is he's my the make opposite a wish. of a Make of a Make a Wish because he has the cancer, but he makes the wish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
like how selfless, Jim. Like you're dying of cancer, and you're the one going around doing maker issues. Like, well, you, you, you see, I mean, Baked was right. Satan came up and said, "Jim, you need to cause a uh, uh, division out there by making wishes for uh, streamers talking about Legos." And I was like, "On it! Oh, I'll get on that on right it. now." So fucking good. Okay. How how mad do you think that made Baked that he just said that he watches you guys? That must well, fucking no. send him through a roof. Well, yeah, because we... Uh, have you ever heard of Casey, Content God? No. So Casey, he's the one who started all the Ice Poseidon RVs. He's the one... He, he's like a... He's like, oh, is that the guy that funded all of them? The rich guy? Yeah, yeah, the rich dude. Yeah, yeah. So me and him are friends, right? And so he was streaming... Hang on, do we have the clip? Or he's streaming with a baked last week or two weeks ago, right? Uh, and the entire time he's like, "Baked, you're a fat piece of shit. Kill Casino rules. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Uh, you're a Warski disrespecter. Go fuck yourself." And baked looks like he's gonna cry for the whole time, dude. Like baked, yeah, is, like losing his mind. Well, cause no, because remember, like Casey <clears throat> bought out baked and made him his slave, right? So the story is. Uh, uh, Ethan, or what, sorry, uh, Baked Alaska's RV, he spent 10 grand on it. It broke down instantly, and he had to sell it for $1,000. So he's down $9,000 on the RV. And by the way, every day the RV was operational, they lost money on gas and food. So Casey came in and said that he would bail Baked out of this and get him a new RV, but he had to be his bitch and take all of his shit. So then he started pressing him about Warski and the casino, and I don't know. If is that there why? Is, is that new... why? Is that why Baked is now streaming to forty people playing Elden Rings because he couldn't <laughs> handle it? Yeah, but the, no. This is the thing. So now, if Ralph and Baked get the RV, it won't be them paying for it because they're broke. Because Baked says he's twenty thousand dollars in debt, thirty, and he can't afford thirty thousand in debt. Okay. How how can somebody and... whose parents are rich be in debt? Well, that's what Ashton Birdie said to me: is that the debt is fake. Because his parents oh, are so you rich. I think he's just sort of like hint, hint, he's wink, wink. In for donos. Oh, but guys, I, guess... I, need, I need your credit card to fix my generator. I'm so poor. Oh, oh, I'm so no, poor. No, he did he take start... a credit card. Smiley. Yeah, from Smiley. From his big like, cock Smiley. <laughs> Smiley had to put $1,500 on his credit card. And then Bake sells the fucking thing the next day. <laughs> yes. 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 They fixed, okay, left. So they fixed the generator. He pays fifteen hundred to fix the generator, and it breaks the next day. And then Bake calls up the mechanic to shit on him, and the mechanic is like, "Look, I told you right well it would cost actually five thousand to fix it. I just did like a ramshackle job because you were too cheap to pay to have it actually replaced. So I just I did what I could, you know." And Bake's like, you're a piece of shit. Like, just like shits on the mechanic and like demands that he fix it for free. And the mechanic's like, well, you know, if you had been nice to me, I might have done something, but uh, I won't be doing shit for you today. And Bake just fucking spiraled. And then he had to sell the RV to the mechanic for a thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Like, my understanding of it was like in the last three weeks, right? Because he was going to bring Alice on and then she shit on him and he freaked out. Uh, Then his RV wouldn't work and he begged for money, got it repaired. I didn't know he sold it. So basically, he just wasted a ton of money, and now he's stuck at home playing Elden Rings while his manslave watches you guys shit on him. Yeah. So it's nuts. Word this, is, this arc is crazy. Word is that Ralph has now said on stream that he wants to purchase an illegal firearm and come to your house and kill you, Jim, and kill Gator. And Look, Rand but, but, has but now Gator said... Does, but Gator doesn't live with me, Ralph, you stupid drunk. <laughs> Yeah, like, I don't know how... I'm going to come to your away. house, Jim, and I'm going to kill Kate. I know he's there with his soundboard. So... I, I guess Rand bots out a loss for words, which is rare for him. He doesn't even know what to say. So he just said he's going to assassinate Jim live on Odyssey? Yeah, he says he's going to he's gonna get an illegal firearm and kill Jim. Oh, this well, I'm, is... I'm, I'm, I'm super scared, Ralph. We're real terrified. This is really uh, big-brained. Uh, Jim. I mean, the guy, Mr. Victor's... You, the, the guy Mr. with the Vickers state might get that clip. <clears throat> yeah, and send it to the DA. Uh, um, yikes. So, okay. hang on, Mr. Vickers, if you're watching, you might want to go rewind on his chill stream more. Kaz, pick I'm up the sad broom. we're missing out on this crazy shit. We, uh, we can't get, get fucking. To, we can't get hopefully fucking. Hopefully we get to it in a minute. So let's try and go over what Ralph did. So, oh, oh uh, I just uh, two massive donos here. Casino supervisor for $50. Uh, thank you so much. 
Press one in chat to grant uh, Jim an elite card membership at the Keto Casino. Uh, everyone hit one there. Thank you so much, man. And um, can, can we use it to fund my funeral when he shows up with his crossbow? <laughs> So, Ralph, this is the quote from Ralph. I would pull the trigger on Gator right now. That's the truth. I'd kill all of you. That's the quote. Uh, wow. so, uh, He's so the, mad. He's so mad. Is he going to be heading to jail? Please don't go to jail, Ralph. We want to. We need more content. Ralph, what are you doing? Ralph, I need my anime pleasure dome, Ralph. Please. <laughs> please. You're fucking Ralph. with my expansion. This is our final Ralph, episode like, if you have to jail, bro. Like, how am I going to afford my mansion? Yeah. How am I going to sell felted hats like my daddy? You, oh, you oh, know oh. Julian is losing his mind right now watching Ralph threaten Julian. to murder on Odyssey? Can, can you can you guys... Oh, what people should start doing is take every stupid uh, threatening thing Ralph says and then just put a presented by Odyssey sticker at the bottom of it. And not <laughs> the clip. Yes. Yeah. We'll retweet it. Go, everyone. Add us with the presented by Odyssey. I'm going to kill those motherfuckers. Presented by Odyssey. Sponsored by Odyssey. Uh, <laughs> Julian's the biggest fan of the kill stream. Just slap that shit all over it. Let Make that $30,000 worth it there, buddy. He, he has to be high as fuck right now. Like, like Somebody's got to get me some clips of this shit. When he Ooh. started, yeah. Um, more breasts. Uh, tip 51 bucks. Thank you so much. Mad love. Uh, a Drew Medicare's request of Flam trying to wrangle the rage pig. It's on my Twitter <laughs> at more uh, breasts. The guns blocked me 20 minutes after posting it. Sweet! Man, my voice. Hold on, let me just check my Twitter real fast. Let's see if we did receive. Uh, hang on. And Ralph, remember the uh, the offer is still open to come on the show and, and yell at Jim or. Uh, or Mr. Either. Vickers says. Uh, he has, he has the clip. Well, Ralph, instead, oh, of, it, oh. instead of instead of screaming impotently on your stream like a, a big drunken rage pig, why don't you get the balls to show up on the Kino Casino? You were here last week. Are you like, scared, Are you scared Ralph? Are you scared? Okay, we have I mean, Polly the Frog. Our... He's recording right now. Uh, no Thanks, clips Polly yet. So I'll, so I'll let you know when we have the clips. Uh, Polly, no worries, man. Take your time. Uh, find the best ones there, and we'll watch that. Somebody but... on your chat said to check your Twitter DMs, Andy. <sighs> oh, okay. Let me check that out. I'm getting a lot of DMs, too. Uh... Holy fuck, man. Oh, is it message requests? Let me see. Need a diagram. Uh, Whoa. I can't. I don't know what I'm looking for. I, I have no idea. Yeah. Oh, they're, it... they're all just full of shit. It was the Cushing syndrome thing, I think. Was that Cushing? Yeah. yeah. Uh... Fucking someone posted fucking I didn't have it open, thank God. Fucking Ralph like the sex thing. <laughs> Chris, on, on Twitter. Oh Does it say present oh, Odyssey? No. <laughs> oh no. It says, it says the four horsemen of the apocalypse. I'll describe it for chat. And the uh oh you know what? But can I share it to you guys safely? Don't don't even try it. I'm not gonna don't even try it up and it'll come. No, don't like... no, we don't want to watch his it's, it, no, it's right at, now. at Ethan Ralph's Gunt on Twitter. Uh, oh, actually, he linked it to your tweet on, on Wish Me Luck at the Casino Board. <laughs> okay. This is the four horsemen of the apocalypse, and the first picture is fucking Ralph with his double tit out. Dude, hang on. I, I, oh, the, you're talking about the diagram? That, that no, he said? no. Hang on. I, I could share this, make sure there's no nude. Okay, yeah. Check. Let me put only my face here. Chat, you're going to lose your mind. There was an extra clip that you missed here. Stop. Oh, there's more. Look at this screenshot right here. Tab. I don't even know if... Okay. Is this going to be some Chithulian thing? Holy... I was right! It's a double tip! Yeah, it is! Whoa! Chat. He's got... He's, it's a real double tip. It really exists. It's the world's what? saddest pancake. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I am genuinely baffled. What the? As a morbidly obese. Man. There are tits did... growing off his tits. Whoa! Man, I better lose weight, boys. This has happened to everyone, or no? This has happened to him. I don't know. This is some fucked up shit, man. Here, here. I'm gonna I... put only my face so you two can see it. Uh, chat. I, I told you how to find it. So there's the, our four horsemen of the apocalypse. Him. 
and baked with the shirt on. Oh, There's baked. <laughs> so hang on. I'll, I'll show chat that one. That's safe to show. There you go. That's the second horseman. The third <laughs> horseman is. Oh, there. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna show that because I can see sort of in the background there. But the fourth one is there. There you go. <laughs> Okay. No. Uh, I'm gonna hide. Oh, oh Andy, Andy, uh, you want to redo the call thing again? One minute. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We gotta, All right. We gotta put another quarter in for. We gotta put a quarter in the fucking uh, payphone. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. All right. Uh, I'll pop out. Just send me a new link. Sounds right. good. Holy shit, chat. All right. Leave call. Uh, and call. Holy fuck, guys. This is fucking ridiculous. <clears throat> And I promise, like, like, I don't want to interrupt the show too much with donos, but I will read a bunch of them in a minute here. Okay. Boom. Boom. Holy fuck. This is funny. Uh, da -da -da. Switch account. All right. Now I'm going to send it to Ashton. Every hour, guys, we'll have to do this. Boom. Send it to Jim. I have to, like, be careful with, like, this sex tape there, you know? All right. We got some, some ringing. All right. Ralph and Rand right now. And it's fucking, like... We have, we have a long show ahead of us, dude. They're oh, arguing gosh. about if that's actually Randbot or not, and they're like, "So this is what's going on 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 the cozy street." I just checked into it while, during this brief intermission okay. as we were putting quarters into the payphone. <laughs> so, so now there's there's like a ten thousand dollar bet on whether or not that's actually Randbot's face, which it is. We all know it is, but Rand is saying it's not, and Ralph is saying that he will pay Rand. To fly out to America to reveal his face. And that if it's not, if it is, if it's him, that he has to pay him 10000 Like, it's just retarded. Like, they're just, like, hollering at each other like belligerent oh alcoholics. Thank you. Thank you so You know, Andy. Yeah. Um, congratulations, I guess. Because from the start of the, like, you put him in a death spiral with a tweet. Yeah. You realize that, right? Yeah. It was because I uh, I even told Ashton this when we started the show. I left his show after he was convicted of the sex thing because I'm like I don't want to be part of this, right? And then I told Ashton because he phoned me up. You want to do a show? I'm like, yeah, cool. The one thing I'm like, I don't want to talk about Ralph. I don't want to like you know. I don't want drama. He goes, fine, fair enough. We'll talk about America first and other shit, right? And then I think after the first episode, it just took one tweet. All he said was some people need to stay loyal. And then I wrote loyalty, like go fuck yourself or something. And then ever since then, then he went 30 minutes about how he wishes I was dead. My head was caved in and all I was like bloody on the ground, making up all these lies and exaggerations and murder <clears throat> threats and shit. And then the Portugal, him flying to Portugal was literally a meme me and Ashton, we just went, there's no way he's going to fly there. So Ashton went, dude, just say you're the chapel of Portugal, and they won't let a pig like that in Portugal. I did that, and bang, here we are today. Holy fuck. This is okay. a, he's, he's, he's lost it. So I mean, like, this is Ralph just... has now, he has now bought, Rand bought a ticket to the United States no. on air. And he is now saying he will fight Randbot in August. <laughs> wow. Oh, now, wow. I've up I've just uploaded the clip of Ralph threatening to uh, shoot Jim and Gator. Oh, uh, no. it's called uh Ralph threat.mp4. I just I, I like the fact I, I really hope he's so drunk and high he really thinks that Gator lives with me. That's fucking amazing. Uh, well, did you not sorry, adopt where is it? him? I mean well, you know, he said today earlier, he was like, uh, he was like, oh, Jim, Jim, DM me. And he, he wanted to apologize. Oh. I was on uh, the kill stream once and I made uh, a bunch of jokes about Gator soundboard and I felt maybe I was a little too mean for it. So I apologized a little bit. So I think maybe at that yeah. moment, 
that's when I adopted him. So yeah, he's been living here well, now for the last five years. Yeah, it's still yeah. Well, Ralph said that it's still Ralph processing. said that you buck broke him today, and 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 he said that the soundboard was really funny, and that you buck broke Gator <laughs> from using the soundboard. And then you ruined the show because Gator couldn't use the soundboard anymore. Oh, so Ralph is I admitting mean, that he doesn't have a show without Gator. Well, that's tough. Uh, right? Is that that's, that's what he's admitting? I mean, that's yeah. basically, yeah. Yeah. How, how would I the share how do I share this to you guys? <clears throat> Fuck. The video? It has to process before I could play it, you see, like yeah, as this. Oh, yeah, well, that's let's, fine. <laughs> let's give that a minute. Let's uh sure. so let's try and explain to people what happened with flamenco. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna have a drink. Uh, give me one sec, okay? But you can explain. All right. you, you can explain. So basically, what happened was was this yesterday? Ralph was streaming, and Flamenco decided he was gonna fire up a stream snipe. It's an old jolly tradition in this side of the internet to stream snipe. E everybody Ralph. does it. Every, well, Ralph everybody, does it. Everybody, everybody stream it. snipes. Yeah. Yes, everybody stream snipe Ralph. I mean, eventually you realize that it's like so boring and shitty that there's nobody on earth who can make it entertaining. Like, there's no one. Even this panel, like, we couldn't do it. I swear to God, man. It's fucking awful. Like, most nights. But anyway, Flam's fucking stream sniping Ralph, and he's getting like four times the viewership. Yep. Four times the money. Mm -hmm. So, what does Ralph do? He fucking files a DMCA copyright strike to take Flam down. So and this is coming from the fucking man whose entire career is built on the cornerstone of Jarbo's Boulder Stream. And Jarbo copyright striking down fucking uh, Dame Pesos or reporting other people's shit. Like, this is his whole fucking career. And well, it now goes, he's it goes, into that. Yeah, it go, well, it goes beyond Matt. Like, Matt wasn't, um, Matt didn't brag about it, right? Like, he, he got embarrassed about it, right? He humiliated getting caught, but... Matt wasn't like listening to Wigger music and dancing with a bowling well, trophy. Play the clip, Andy. So we've got the clip of that. It's called Ralph celebrates. I think flamenco. Yeah, Ralph celebrates. Well, there's Andy. why like, Ralph flagged first. No, the the first. The, this, we're one? gonna do it in chronological order. The celebration. Oh, oh that's first? first. Okay. Yeah. All right, so here. look at him here. Pathetic, dude. Like, what the fuck? Look at this. <laughs> On your door and blow your ass up. Drop it up, drop it up. Bitch, I got a saw it off. Now, is that is that is that sped up? Because that's the fastest I've ever seen a move. Yeah, it is. That's... It is sped. Okay. I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't find the clip in a non sped up version. I don't know why people like speed shit that's, up. That's now. like that's that's like normal people speed. And I was like, that can't be right. There's no way. Oh There's no way he's moving. Like, oh my god. Look at I love how uh, I love how fat people dance with just their shoulders because it's too much effort to move the the rest Look of it. Go, so he's just, he's, just, he's just shaking his shoulders. I thought he was scared of finger guns. No, he has one. You you hear me, Jesse? I'm ready for you, Jesse. I got my own finger gun. Come on, Ralph. This is. Bowling <laughs> trophy. No. <laughs> to celebrate, like this is a trophy that he won by default because he everyone else left his event by the time the bowling tournament happened. He bought he it. He gave this piece of shit trophy to himself. He bought it for himself. I really thought he was going to return it for the money. But, uh, it's too much. It's too prideful to let it go. No, it's too. Well, this is the only trophy he's ever won in his life. Like, let's <sighs> think of. I mean, in school, he was probably no good at sports. God, he's that's never a, exceptional that's, at anything. That's a dark thought. Can you imagine? You brought up school. <sighs> Can you imagine being his kid ten years from now, and there is somebody on the schoolyard finds this shit? Uh, <laughs> no, find this okay. stream. Because by then, because okay, by then, right? They're going to have, like, kids are going to have VR headsets. So can you imagine if, like, as a prank, one of his bros found the sex tape and was like, here, bro, try on my VR headset. And he saw his, his dad thumbing Faith in full VR. Like that's From, not from even, his like, perspective and he doesn't uh, know it. From his perspective, uh, uh, bro. Like, uh, the fucking, like, the, the, like, the mental torture and anguish. Like, 10 years from now, can you only imagine the level of interconnectivity? We may all be in the singularity. Do you know, like, Xander <laughs> may, like, like, when Xander commits a crime in the future, 
it might be like in Black Mirror. Do you know the episode <laughs> White Christmas? Yes, yeah, where he's, yes. for, he's forced to spend a thousand years listening to the sex, watching the sex tape. <laughs> Well, I wish it could be Christmas oh. every day. Fucking oh. plays like oh, God that is knows some dark shit. they might force him for a thousand years to watch every episode of the Kill Stream on repeat. Did you guys ever think that when the Boulder Stream happened, that four or five years later we'd be seeing Ralph flagging someone holding a bowling trophy he bought for himself in celebration? This is like what is going through his mind? Like this is like crazy. This is the, the craziest well, this, shit this, I've this, ever seen. This completely washed away. Like, right, like, Flam was all embarrassed. Uh, the porn achievements had come out. And Ralph was going to be, that was his big W. And then he does this, and he washes it all away. He can't take, he always snatches uh, defeat from the jaws of victory. That's the Ralph Amel way. Oh, I just don't God. even know, like, how you fuck up this bad. How like, do you fuck up the spot? But oh fuck! Let's let's. This is <laughs> a, this is absolutely the craziest thing I've ever seen anyone have, do. But but uh, have you noticed though? Uh, uh, especially for chat, have you noticed over the last three or four weeks, the more he streams on cozy, the more fucking wigger music he's throwing in and rap shit he's doing. It's well, I mean, he has to appease the Catboy Fuhrer somehow. Oh, you know, he's it's... already had children. He's no longer. He can't be considered an incel at this point. So he's on the outs because if you're like getting any amount of pussy at all, well, like, I want to know. I, I, I want to know because he always loves to say I'm childless. <sighs> uh, what's his opinion on Beardson? What's his opinion on Nick, Nick Wentz? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any of the Groipers? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's okay. It's okay when, but they're saving the white race. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that's so it's true. Mm -hmm. it's rules for thee, not for me. You know, they don't have to have white children How? because they're. <sighs> They're saving us. God, can you imagine him and Bake coked out of their minds in an RV, speaking in tongues, trying to channel God, oh. talking about the Kino Casino coming after them you from set the by the devil? Bake screaming out he loves cocaine shirtless. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like panting like a dog. Oh, dude, it's so good. RV6 oh, was, was Kino, though. RV6 almost, was amazing. Almost, hold on. I actually have that clip. Upload whatever so it processes because we we have a uh, whole. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can we go back to the fat man uh, shoulder dancing with his bowling trophy? Yeah, yeah. Yes. What's up, my dick, bitch? Here's my response. You think I give a fuck? Ah, dude. So, like, his Smoke excuses. That flat his excuses you made fun of me for three weeks so i can flag down your channel like well flag has to, has to uh do a counter in 10 days he'll have it back which sucks though it's still 10 days but you know what this slander me as a rapist and everything else for three weeks smoke that flat red ass bitch you like it fuck up the ass how'd you like taking that rob dick mom up your ass tonight bitch with the moss bird bookshelf bitch this is uh, fucking. I love how, I, I love how he de he defaults to ass stuff. Anytime sex is mentioned in yes. any way, it, immediately to ass. I'm a Benjo. Sharp over. call, Jim. Sharp call, <laughs> Jim. No, I just I love how he fucking like talks about how Flam slandered him, as though the kill stream hasn't slandered anyone before <laughs> or ever gone low before. But you remember like making fun of Sargon's angel baby with Ralph, but somehow like motherfuckers are slandering him, going too low on him. Oh, yeah, okay. well, I mean, Ralph got really mad about the paper abortion comment Josh made, right? Yeah. Uh, and, 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 but but yeah, he he would he went on about uh, Sargon's uh, wife having a, it was a one or two miscarriages. Yeah, mm. angel babies. So he does it all the yeah. It, it, it's just the weird thing is, I, I don't know if it was taking a pipe to the head in Portugal, but like it's gone from subtle to just overt. You know what I mean? Like the 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 switch has been flipped. There's no going back. Well, well let's flip. Let's, well, before we well, do well that, he said. Before well, we do that, he said that flip. we all condone swatting because none of us tweeted out sympathy for him. But <sighs> let's like be real. I mean, this guy ordered swattings in the past. Yeah. Presume of his own financial supporters. Like this is something that he did in the past. So like, the weird, the weird it, thing to me is, I thought the swatting that he's going isn't like everybody in AF getting hit right now. Yeah, that's what I heard. It's like and they blame us. They blame us. Even they though, blame like, us. why would we do that? Because now we lose content, and swatting's not fun to watch. It's like five. Seconds. And I don't, like, oh. I don't even play their fucking swattings, like, because there's nothing there. Yeah, it's like they got swatted. Like it's bullshit. 
you know, at the end of the day, to quote a, to quote a cancer man, they swatted themselves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's uh let's go here uh, why ralph uh, what is it fla- called why ralph uh, ralph flagged. explains why he uh flagged down right here <clears throat> yeah all right here we go are providing uh free independent Hello, democratic dollars why did you flag flamenco stream also unblock me on twitter you fat bitch <laughs> <laughs> just to hear this shit all day, by the way. Just to hear this shit all day. I will not unblock you on Twitter. Uh, and I flagged it because I wanted to. If you don't like it, suck my dick. So he he right thought now. it was real funny. He thought it was real funny to spread those laws about me. He thought it was real funny last week to repeat that lie in front of a couple thousand people. So I thought it was real funny last night to strike down his channel. And I'll do it again if I want. And and the thing here for the context is, uh, because I'm pretty sure this is a clip I put up, because you could see the timestamp down. There's a minute missing. In between the minute, the reason he admits he got really angry Uh um, is because Flam, he he alleges, I don't know if Flam even talked about it, but he alleges talked about Alice. Oh. Anybody that talks about Alice and what Alice said, he fucking goes into a spiral. Hmm. That's that's the lie. Hmm. I wonder why. Flam's not the one making that up. Alice is the one that fucking is dropping DMs and talking about shit. He said, I, I was the one who exposed, I, I exposed it. I'm like, we brought Alice on to talk about baked. And then she went off the rails and then and yeah, did no, that. We, we, we yeah, because I, I, I watched baked. that. I, I yeah. watched that episode because I wanted it laugh at baked. Like I was, I was expecting, you know, um, like funny stories about baked, uh, you know, and sex. And there was the one where he was jerking off with his legs. Up and she's the crying in the corner eating noodles. Yeah. <laughs> well, have you noticed? All, did you see also? I think you did tweet about this this week that Baked had like his mods trying to flag down our channel also. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. So somebody posted a bunch of screen caps. Uh, yeah. CWC? Was it? Uh, yeah. C- CWC leaked all these screen caps of it. It's just very interesting that it's coming out of, like, these political dissidents that are super persecuted, apparently super in favor of free speech, these guys on Cozy, that they want to flag people down. Well, that's two now. So that's Bake going after you, and then that's Ralph going after Flam. You know what fucking Ralph said to Baked on, I think, Tuesday or Monday? He's like, they they fire up their stream and say we're criminals. And we're like... You are. You guys are literally criminals. Like, what do you mean? Like, we're not lying. All we do is play their shit and go, whoa, holy shit. That's it. So it's not like we're lying. But it's the same shit that they did in the past to other people. This is what I really don't understand about it. Like, Beardson used to shit on Spencer relentlessly, Cantwell. On the the Weekly Sweat. uh, On the Weekly Sweat. Yeah. And that was righteous, apparently, right? To purge the optics, right? So, but when I like try and check their optics and purge that, suddenly there's a problem now, right? They they need to be flagged down. They need to go away. I just find that, that you know the term is what is it irony, ironic, irony, bros? I just don't know. <laughs> it's just fucking bizarre to me. But they've outright come out in clips and said we don't care about other people's free speech. We just care about our ability to say what we say. And Mike makes right. So again, folks, if you're really supporting America first, understand that that's their vision for America. Well, they also will... said that we don't matter and we're useless. We're irrelevant. Irrelevant. But then we yeah. need to be flagged down. And then you've got Ralph talking about how he's the cozy you assassin not? or the the cozy. I, I, I whatever need. Talk. I need that clip. Oh my god! I need the, the clip of him being walk. the cozy assassin. I'm the cozy, the cozy assassin. assassin. It was like the beginning of his stream. Like, dude, I was like, Nick is is gonna have to like. Has to clean this I, up. I, to, I mean, I I told him. I told him if you go around making those statements and doing that shit, you're gonna get fucked with. Yeah. Like I warned him. Well, I warned him openly. Uh, if you want to play that game, people, other people are gonna notice and want to play with you. Well, but when, where does it stop, right? Like, because it keeps escalating. Like, it's beyond just like shit talking back and forth. Now it's I'm gonna hurt your business. I'm gonna flag down your shit. Then it escalates with like Jesse and Ralph going to each other's homes or like shit like this. Like, where does it end? It well, started, now, apparently, like, they're going to fly out Ranbot and uh, have a fight over guns. And, uh, yeah. well, <laughs> well, dude, it started even before. So when I uh, did the first episode with Ashton, 
before he put his tweet out, uh, it's been proven that these are his Twitter accounts, like the ones he was using to like follow Faith and shit and all that stuff. He was like adding YouTube. So um, I have a channel called Subcultured. We, oh, we do video game like dissections and icebergs. So he got 30K subs, like it blew up, right? Sure. Um, and then he's adding YouTube like fucking trying to get me fucking banned off of that. So me and Kyler, we work our, our fucking asses off like hours of editing a week. And he's jealous that that channel blew up and we could do something like more mainstream. And he always hated it. He always hated. You could tell even when I was on his show, when I would promote it, he goes, yeah, 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 just promote it. You could tell he's pissed off that, oh, oh our new video has 100,000 views. And he's just like, you could tell he was angry. Then he makes all these accounts to at a team YouTube. Luckily, uh, all those accounts were flagged down because he was posting like the most heinous, like like death threats and all this shit, like crazy shit. So it even started before all of this. And he uh, has been flagging forever. Ashton, remember when he was in the car and almost crashed the well, car with <sighs> faith in it because of you? Yeah, no, I mean, and he said 10 out of 10 would flag again. Now, Jim, at that Jim, would you would you just admit that he flagged me at that time? <laughs> Please, because you said that I flagged myself back then. I I will admit that if you admit I was right when I said, uh, remember when our first conversation we had, I was like, uh, you're an attention whore, and you're like, I'm not an attention whore. I'll never make money doing this. So I'll admit well, I was wrong if you admit well, you were I'll wrong. I'll admit I was wrong. I already admitted I was wrong. <laughs> then, I, mean, I, I will I admit admitted. I was wrong too. Let's and yes, go. it's more than likely he flagged him. Yes. Thank you. There God. we go. Okay. So yeah, That's our I, tete -tete. Gonna... there's our tete a tete. But look, I'm selling hats too now, Jim, so don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to get that anime dungeon? The felted well, hat. Well, I don't know if it'll be an anime dungeon. It might be like a. Are you kidding me ball. with the amount of with the amount of fucking uh, well with the amount of content you're gonna get off Ralph and Bakes? You'll have it both might, a sports ball a sport and an anime ball. dungeon. Oh, okay. I can be the full degenerate. Okay. You can be fully I, do it. Yes. I can be both both sides of the retard consumer. Coin. While we're on grifting, the gum road, everyone, ten dollars a month for tons of extra content. <laughs> Links down there. Uh, Casino Supervisor for $50. Mad love. Thank you so much. And we'll find a spot through the uh, uh, other 20 spots in a in a bit. Uh, but Casino Supervisor for 50 Thank you so much. Praying, uh, saying pr press C in chat to comp Jim for tonight's five-star five star day <laughs> for, at our fine Kino Casino. Everyone, uh, press C in chat. Uh, and, and Jim, so now... He's going to find you, and this is from. Oh, is this this is a clip now? This Here is, this is we yeah, go, we it, finally got it to process. It process. Now, I love I love uh, how every clip you you're going to play. And I'm sorry to interrupt, but I love how every clip you're going to play, no matter what it is, it always starts with a still frame of him looking fucking pissed off. <laughs> yeah, it always is. Um, I'm gonna mention quick. So Squire, when he captured this, um, it cut off the first little bit where he's threatening Gator, but we have the part where he's threatening Jim. Okay. Um, just... So hopefully we get some better clips later on, but uh, this uh, is... Uh... All right. And uh, yeah, so <clears throat> anyone who has any clips, send it now so we can upload to the uh, drive to process it faster. Uh, thank you, everyone, so much. We appreciate it. Uh, it's been a wild, wild night. Like, this is not the show we had planned at all, by the way. Like, it just keeps expanding. Not really. I was going to I was gonna bring up it's like, good, though. It's a whole good. bunch of shit from the year, but whatever. It's good. Now, as fucking honest as I could ever be, I don't regret as it at all. As honest as you could ever be. If I could get away with it, I'd put... The phrasing, Rand, then. if I could kill him without penalty, I'd kill him. Look at his eye, by the way. He's blinking with one eye. <laughs> 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 that's, that's, can you can you zoom in, Andy, on that? Can you, uh, yeah, can you like on, like he looks like? Yeah. How do you describe this, oh, Jim? Shit. I'm at a loss for fucking words, actually. Hey, 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 oh it looks, shit! It looks, like, it looks like a dude that huffed paint. Uh, Have you ever seen yes. people that would like do air duster? That's what he looks like. Yeah, just... I could kill him without penalty. I'd kill him. Okay, I got it. He looks like he's walking on something. No, that. the player like zooms okay, in. Okay, that's fine. The player is fucked, but his but, eye is like chat, fucked, man. Like the eye is fucking crazy, dude. I always sleep with one eye open. <laughs> you got hit with a pipe. You got hit with a pipe, idiot. That's why you do. Oh, by the way, let's just say real fast, he fought the four Portuguese men. I I fought 
uh, the doctor said that I I held myself like uh, I held my own against four people and I fought like harder than any other human ever would. Bowling tournament, one elbow, like slight, like missed punch. <laughs> Arrest him! Arrest, Arrest him! He's Arrest stunned, him! Stunned, you know. So now, so now, Ralph on the air is threatening Randbot's children, and he's saying that unless Randbot turns on his camera, he will aggressively go after Randbot's children every day on the show. Oh, can so we get through now. one? Can we get through one Coke fueled uh, rage spurt at a time? Because he's going so quick this, here, we can't even clip it's him. It's not possible. <laughs> He's not possible. Guys, 24 hour possible. stream, let's go. <laughs> While Ralph's losing his mind. I will I will I will do this shit for six hours because by the end of it, he will be naked slamming a wall. I'm telling you. I think he might, dude. Like, I don't know where he's gonna be at tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe the drunk tank. An asylum is where he's gonna be he's at. Tomorrow. Up, I feel, let's hope. Let's you, hope. Your gym's end of the month stream. On the wall. 18 hours of Jim talking about it. If I could kill him without penalty, I'd kill him. Wow. I'm dead serious. Would you kill me without penalty, Ralph? Probably Would not. Would you kill but Jim without penalty? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, I think so. How That's, many people uh, would you kill if you could get Quite a few. It? Quite a few. But thankfully, Whoa. there's laws out there, you know, stopping folks but like thankfully, me. thankfully... Thankfully, like maybe your laws. conscience or your morality might stop you or just So like, I, I would just like to say for the record that to drive him to the point of wanting to execute me, all I had to do was rat or rattle a pill bottle. Whoa. No, you didn't even do shit. Like, that's what's just, crazy. Just rattle, rattle. And that's that's where we're and, at, is him wanting to execute me. And, like, fuck, man. You even, like, you, you turned a blind eye to him for years and, like, just let, like, you let him go. Like, it was only after he really turned against you and started shitting on you. I mean, you made fun of him for the Portugal stuff, but who couldn't? That's the thing. Yeah. Well, like anybody well, would well, turn that into content. Like a lot right? of people, like like me as well. There was some shit. I'm like, I don't know if that's true or this or that. And I was sort of just doing my own thing. And then when the sex tape thing, the conviction, I was like, holy fuck, it. this is like, dir I feel dirty even just like being on the show. But a lot of people did because you know we want to like have faith in someone they could like you know turn around have a redemption. Ralph has gone so deep. I don't think. Like, do you think there's any chance of redemption here? I really think it's beyond the fucking... It's done. No, because he, he, he envisions in his head that this is like... He's got like a delusional cope along with the drugs and the alcohol that makes him think that this comes across like he's Vince McMahon rather than an insane person on the internet. Like, he can't process yeah. that he's not Vince McMahon and he's coming across like a lunatic. Oh, it's, well, it's this fucked. Isn't, this, isn't, this isn't wrestling. You know, it's not, it's not, you know, as much as I wish it was, because well, I'm also a delusional wrestling fan, <laughs> which means that very soon, you know, my downward spiral is, is nigh. This is probably about as good as it's going to get for people. <laughs> You know, now that Jim's on, I'm cursed. I'm fucked. Like, you need to, you you need know, to build your, your anime sports ball dungeon quick, buddy. I know. How the fuck is this motherfucker Irish, but curses everyone he comes to? <laughs> How is this fucking so? You know? Oh. But, uh, but no, like, I think, Jim, like, I honestly think you liked Ralph. You know? Like, I know you say you don't have internet friends, but, I mean, I think you liked I, I, Ralph. I, I enjoyed the show. Like, I'll watch a show that I enjoy and tune in for it. Like, with Tonka in the morning when it was knew and he was doing it and it was just was letting there. people scream yeah yeah good uh andy when you were doing your stuff early on it was good uh ralph when he was doing his stuff early on it was good but then like shit comes in it, it really was with like the, the you know the blood sport shit all you had to do is let two people yell at each other and collect the money that was yeah. it if ralph had done that he would be living in uh a nicer mcmansion than <laughs> fucking um dick is yeah, I, 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 I had lost my, I, I, by the end of Warski Live Days, dude, I was so coked out, like, it was over for me. Like, flying to America and, like, not having my dealer around was, like, a lifesaver, even though, like, the aim aim shit happened. Like, and this, like, I can see he's past the point I even was. Now, I, now and, I Andy, 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 since it's been long enough, can you finally admit to us all, based on the clip that's out there, that you suck that dude's dick. I did not. There's... No, ew, no. Because <laughs> that clip Are is out sure? there. 
Are you sure you're shirtless I, and you had your head in his lap and he was giving the I camera passed, weird looks? I was passed out on his lap, okay? I was drunk. I was. Did I he swear pull a, to God. Andy, did he pull a Ralph on you? Maybe he, he raped me. I mean, maybe I was raped. Did, did failure ever pop a chubby in the cuddle streams? Or? No, no, no. No. I swear to God. I swear to God. That never happened. That's disgusting. I just, we all that, no, no, wait, wait, wait. wait. The time. Actually, actually Med Medicare, it's funny. So me and Ashton are talking. Okay, what do you want to do the show on? And blah, 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 right? So we're talking for a while, like a few hours, and planning the show before we even started it. His last thing is, did you suck that guy's dick? I'm like, no, no, I did not. Like, I swear <laughs> to God. No, no I did I not. Was, I... No. You know now that I made a joke about it, Andy. Ralph is going to go on stream tomorrow morning and be like, "Andy Morsky's a cocksucker. I got yeah. fucking proof." I suck Even dicks all day. Jim says that all, you all, suck all, cock, all Andy. day, every day. I'm sucking it. Let's go. Right? And then the next story after that will be Andy Morsky offered to suck my cock too. Well, I stayed over <laughs> Ashton's house, member for that week. You need. I think he knows what happened. Right. We'll tell the story. We'll tell the story of when I came. Oh, this is hilarious, towel, okay. Andy. So. <laughs> So we're drinking for like a week straight, okay? And I guess Ashton one morning, he fucking like was sick from drinking and smoking weed all week. I wake up, I just hear all this like fuss, like it's like noises and all this shit. I open my eyes and Ashton is standing I'm at my doorway. Naked. Naked, holding a miniature towel like a fucking washcloth over his dick. He's like, "Surfer, surfer!" He's running around his house naked, yelling "Surfer!" And I'm like, "What the fuck?" I'm like Ashton, what was that? Why were you screaming for Surfer naked, holding? I don't a little... know. I don't know why. Well, that was probably a common occurrence in that household from all the. Reasons I think you there. two owe Flamenco a bit of an apology. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are talking a lot at of least, shit about the, flam. <laughs> the, pe the penises flam were into were at least plastic in his defense. There, it was no. a woman, you know. The, no, no, but, real uh, dex, no real dicks. All right, so I, let's watch some more. <laughs> Oh fuck! All right, all right. I remember that tweet by you. You're like, "What's Andy doing down there?" I was passed out. I was blackout drunk. Apparently, though, because like uh, Alex's mom was there too. I got so drunk, I was running around his house like a rhino, smashing into everything all night. What? And they had to hold me down on the vent till I passed out because I was so. I was wait a minute, Andy. Now we've got a great story here. So you're telling me. The guy you were on stream with, drunk with your head in his lap, his mom and him held you down on a bed while you were uh, rampaging in their house? <laughs> no, because, no, but she was like, wasn't able to walk, by Was the way. she on top of you? She wasn't able to walk. She was like... What did you do to this woman? <laughs> no, no, no. Andy, she what had, did you do to this yeah, dude's mom? She Andy, didn't walk. No. No, she had like a Andy, disease. No, we she, had, she had a disease, dude. She was like dying or something and couldn't walk. You didn't get tested before you had sex? <laughs> Andy, how could you transmit? <laughs> this is this old lady in a wheelchair and I'm running around her house like a rhino, breaking everything. <laughs> Holy fuck! Holy apparently, shit, uh, yeah. that that night was brutal for them. Apparently, because I was just well, we all know away. Daddy Jim with his Irish genetics has probably some similar stories. But yeah. he won't yeah. share them. He won't share them. He's not sharing the those smart. on the internet. He's he's the the he's smart. Uh, There's just the one that Ralph brings up, but we'll sweep it under. Uh, we'll sweep it. <laughs> sweep it up. We'll, I'll sweep it up sweep for you this time, up. Jim. Okay. I, I, I do like um, how I do like how I went into that story, and Andy's immediately hot potatoed that shit right to you. He's like, hey, remember that time you were naked in the towel? Yeah. Oh, oh shit. All right. All right. Here, oh, we, here we go. Uh, murder threat. We're on the murder threat. Well, there's two they, more clips they... that have come in hot off the press. Have you, also. have you, are, wait, are there more murder threats? Oh yeah, there, there's more threats. There. Let's fucking go. Okay, uh, 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 are you processing them? <laughs> They're uploading, yeah. Okay, but cool. let's get Fantastic. to Fantastic. They said, Ralph, here's the gun. Have, have the, if they have said, the laws stop if they the said, post? if they said. Apparently you have a problem with laws. If they said, Ralph, here's the gun, there's no penalty. There's no nothing. Do what you need to do. Uh, yeah, I would. Let's ask the question. If 
if there was no penalty for murder, how many people would kill Ralph? <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I, I want to understand. Can somebody explain the Crisis King Griff to me? Because uh, if you're going to say that you're religious now, then you don't need the state to give you morality. It should come from God, right? Yeah. So if right. if the state said it's okay, Ralph, you can kill people, shouldn't he say, "No, I'm a Christian. I wouldn't do that. It's wrong." He's evil. Well, I mean, shit. I mean, he's shit. pure evil. Like, like, let's be fair here. Like, Ralph is like, actually. Is there evil anybody guy. who actually believes that this guy is a Christian? Like, bro, I, oh I no, I don't. I don't. I don't believe that the, the, it's a grift. There's. Sh- I mean, there has to be somebody out there that's so stupid that they actually believe that Ralph and Baked are Christians. But like, I mean, this is why people go into the religious grift in the first place, right? Like, let's get real. Like, Baked has has never said shit like this before, though. Like, let's give Baked a little credit. Oh, no, Baked's, Baked's not this stupid. It's like, yeah, yeah, like, this is nuts. Especially yeah, when you have a fucking... Yeah, he's fucking meds today. Uh, uh, he's on a, 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 a suspended sentence. Is that what it is? Yes. Yeah. Suspended. Which one? Both of them are. <laughs> One's got a state yeah. sentence. The other's fucking waiting for his appeal. All these people are waiting to go to prison. I don't understand what the fuck <laughs> is going on over there. Christ is king. Christ, Christ is king. <laughs> We're just persecuted. We're just like uh, the Apostle Paul in chains in Rome for preaching the gospel. He was given 40 stripes, and I'm just like Paul. Christ which, is king. Which, which was the one that martyred himself? He was uh, uh, crucified upside down? That's Peter. So, uh, can so, you imagine so that happening? Yeah, can, can you imagine that happening to Ralph? The gunt would just slap in his face nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his tits would be drooping on the Romans would be like, what the fuck is going on here? What a visual. What a what oh. a picture to paint. No, uh, okay. you sound Let's like a great it. advocate for a conservative platform. <laughs> Rand with a fucking oh, look, at the face. look at his face. Look at oh no. Bruce. I'll give up. I'll give up. Let's see what he says. I mean, I'm just telling you the truth. I don't lie. Like great response. Like I'm you. just I'm, I'm just telling you the truth. I don't murder lie. people laughing at me. Yeah. I don't lie. I don't lie. That's his like the truth. If I could smoke that fucking rat, if I I could smoke that rat for what he did and get away with it, and I would have no penalty, and they told me there would be no penalty, and there would be no impact on my life, my daughter's life, my son's life, all that, I absolutely would pull that trigger. I would pull that trigger. I would pull that trigger. I would pull that trigger with zero remorse. Ralph's response. I'm sorry. Ryan's response. Mm. Mm. All right. Hmm. Like even Rand bought like the drunken fucking like low impulse control guy like one eight hundred n word Rand is like, huh? Uh, That's a bit fucked. So we have, so we have like four more clips that have come in. Okay, let's smash uh, a few twenties because they're yeah, all right, they're coming in hot. Um, all right, guys, Athian Jane for twenty saying, are you too? G- g- are you going to review the 90 Day Fiance? The 20% fem demographic would love it. P.S. Uh, I recommend watching Mike and Zimia. Yes, we're going to do it on the gum road there for the female. Jim, help me out. This guy's uh, telling me that I need to watch 90 Day Fiance with him, Jim. What do Why? I do? For the females. For the females. Uh, well, I mean, if you want to watch 90 Day Fiance, you're watching it. It's called Ralph's Love. <laughs> How, how many relationships have imploded in this fat fuck's face? He's got one ex-wife, one ex-girlfriend. Pants is going to be running out the door. He's upstairs right now, drunk, screaming about murdering people as she's downstairs with the baby. You don't need to watch TLC. Just watch this fat retard. Uh, a Holy project's done shit. poorly for 20. I think Jeremy Hamburglar Quarter Pounder should weigh in on the Rage Pig after he sucks Ethan's K-line. I don't know what that means, but thank you. Project's done poorly. Juju the cow for 20 saying, if it's big enough, I'll suck it. <laughs> Help oh, that's what Dick Masterson said. Jim, did you ever read that where Dick said if a dick was big enough, he'd suck it? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. how, how about the bur- he sucked how about off the- a guy at Burning Man. <laughs> the Burning Man where he blew the guy? <laughs> he blew a guy at Burning Man. Yeah. And his girlfriend found out. She found the text or something. Uh, healthy. I, if I go back on the Dick Show, uh, that's the first question I'm gonna. I'm gonna have him tell. Ask, the story. ask him about Juju, Juju the, the cow. cow. Apparently, apparently. So Jim, I'm gonna blow your mind. Apparently, Dick Masterson role plays as Juju the cow in bed. He dresses up as a cow, 
and gets pegged with a sparkly purple strap on. This is what Jamie Lynn Hughes said to me. In I, is this, this so? This is like an ex girlfriend of his. Yeah. Yeah, but who knows? Uh, I mean, uh, there's she a pot could awful. just be jilted. Oh, there's a pot but, awful uh, episode with Jesse uh, where she hopped on and told him that too. There's a full on like expose where she was on the show. Uh, so yeah, healthy Ralph for twenty dollars saying love you more, skippy pp and Medicare. Keep Ralph seething. Thank you so much. Anonymous for twenty bucks. Hey Jim, uh, do you have any uh, criticisms for the Kino Casino? Uh, I asked this preemptively because I know an internet weirdo with a boring show will see because you never will go on his morning shows. Uh, hashtag let's go Kiwi sisters. Do you have any criticisms of our show? Well, you guys are like a month into it. I mean, it's going to take a while to like get your format nailed down, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, the problem is like we were supposed to have a format where it was going to be a new joker every week, right? We were going to like bring in new low cow or whatever the fuck each week. The problem was that Ralph you know, exists. The Ameri <laughs> yeah, Ralph exists. <laughs> Beardson exists and Baked exists. And so it's very profitable to fuck with them. And they keep delivering every week. So I don't know when we eventually get out of this arc, which may last for, I don't even know how long, then maybe we can get the episode on Hollywood God or Mersh. the episode on DSP, the episode on Mersh. Well, you, like you can this. go back to your format. I mean, yeah, if it's, if it's ongoing currently, I'd cover it like this crazy shit that's going on. How could you ignore it? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, and we're having fun doing it too. So it's like, and the audience likes it. So let's do it. You know, um, Garlock for 20. Uh, thank you so much. Ethan Ralph's wet t-shirt contest will resemble those news stories of whales getting stuck in trash bags and tarps at sea. Fair <laughs> Card counter at blackjack table 12 for 20 saying, uh, first time viewing live. Holy hell, the house just rakes it in. Congrats on the success. On the success. Um, and shame it has to only be about the gunt all the time, but he's just a content machine. Keep up with the well, awesome breaking work, news, gents. by the way. Randbot right now has three times the viewers Ralph has on Odyssey. This is, a, this is Ralph, amazing. Ralph, Ralph has 120 viewers right now. He's at 1.2 1. dongas. And 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 Rand is at three point two dongas. God so damn! It's, it's uh, pretty amazing. <clears throat> hey, uh, yeah, again, Julian, brilliant thirty thousand dollar investment. Really, <laughs> <laughs> really, Just really making big moves. Yeah. Oh shit! This is so good. A Chris Storian X for twenty. Time to make the announcement. Ralphamania.com is live with a preview. Check it out. Hang on. Ral Ralph of well, Mania. Wait a minute. Don't, don't pull it up. I'm not going to show it. I'm not going to show it. Yeah. Please yeah. tell me he's breaking furniture, screaming at the top of his lungs right now. Oh, okay. If you head to Ralph of Mania uh, I'll, I'll show it later, but someone made me and you, Ashton, in, uh, <laughs> In WWE, in WWE versus yeah, Ralph and, and Nick Fuentes. Yeah, but, I saw this. But he DM'd me it, right? And I'm like, no, you, uh, you have to lower their stats. So we destroy them. So he put it, ralphamania.com is a real website now with us. Well, I, en I end up pinning Ralph. Spoiler, I end up pinning Ralph. I mean, he couldn't escape from under the girth of the PPP guns. <laughs> Holy it was just shit. the gravitational force of it was immense. I, I just am flashing back to the fact oh. that he has tits growing on his tits. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't think you know. It's a, I've never seen that before. I mean, you called well, it. Tesla said you will live to see horrors beyond your comprehension, Jim. And <laughs> Apparently, despite the fact you only have a year to live, you had to see this. They're body. cramming I'm them sorry. in. Yeah. Oh, I'm shit. sorry, brother. A uh, Fed post Malone for twenty. Please <clears throat> image search. A Cushing syndrome. I swear it's just a cartoon of Ralph. Yeah, we were talking about that. Um, it's like the way it looks. If you search Cushing syndrome, it looks like Ralph. Let's just say that. And it's done, it's it's because of alcoholism, so it makes sense. Uh, Nicholas Littlefield for $50. Thank you so much. $50. Mad love. America First is great. All I have to do is spend 10 minutes in the closet alone with Beardson. All right. Thank you. Um, Alex Jones for 20. 
Uh, this is amazing footage right here, people. The Rothschilds have engineered a pig gecko, Shimura, to pilot their black helicopters. Uh, you will see the suit in your cities. Mark my words. I th believe it was the tit shot. Uh, Polyfrog64 for 20. I uh, see Andy, check my Twitter. I have clips up now. The video should be done rendering as well. All right. So, a Polyfrog. And I and I have some clips in the drive already. Um, we probably won't get to Paulie's ones because we're well, gonna have to download those. Yeah, or they might be like just yeah. I will see what we can you, do because you could play them through Twitter, but I don't know. You're having trouble with it, so. It's yeah, um, Ema Shrew for fifty dollars. Thank you so much. Holy shit! And remember, we're reading the twenty and up. Anything below, we're gonna do a final count like a final read of them. Ashton, I'm going to share the screen so you can read some because my my throat is <laughs> we'll, like dying. We'll be here all night. We'll and, here Andy, all night. Andy, what's your uh, tally at so far right now? I have 1,500 out of 1,500, but we're probably at like 17, 18. I haven't even added in these ones at all. So we're, I, I'm going to, hang on. Hang when, on. You, when you read your Let's super see. chats, can you just put a picture of Ralph crying on screen? <laughs> that well, that's what we, that was the tagline. Every dollar cent, Ralph sheds a tear. Okay. Which he does. Let me keep reading these because a big one's had in right, right here. Ema Shrew for 50 bucks. Thank you. I've laughed so much tonight that my daughter is angry for keeping her up. Sorry about that. Um, Raziel Mutant for Maybe. $50. Thank you so much. This is $50 to own Rape It Ralph. All hail Daddy Jim, the you one making him. wishes while he's the one with cancer. What a giver. Thank you so much. Anonymous for 50. Uh, this has been my Woodstock gentleman, LMFAO. Cheers. Thank you so much. Signal Boot for $200. Okay, we're at $2,000. I'm going to put $2,000. We love you, Signal Boot. Signal, Signal Boot. Boot. Signal Boot, come in hard, brother. Make this the highest grossing stream of oh, all time. Holy shit. He says, We know you can do it, buddy. So, a uh, bad love. He says, What a shit show tonight. In a self-defense situation. Uh, Johnny Arcade, fantasies of killing people, never played back well in court. Yikes. Uh, exactly. Shin Chan 256B for 20. I haven't laughed this hard in a long time. Uh, uh, the casino is always, always gives the Kino. I got 20 on J. Caesar 187 black, and I think it will pay <laughs> off. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Let the Kino roll. I am for 2112. Can you just picture Ralph sweaty hoof trying to grip a firearm as, as his pulsating gun swings to and fro? Every bullet would send a shockwave rippling through his shit bag and four titties. P.S. Uh, oh, Andy, it's pronounced... E M, not I M. E M. Sorry, E M. Mad love. Thank you, um, Miguel O'Hara for twenty. Uh, uh, you two are doing the Lord's work, or you are doing the Lord's work. Thank you so much. And that's it. Okay. Whoa, my voice. Okay. <clears throat> so. Uh, okay. We have, we have now four clips. clips. We have four clips. Uh, 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 Ralph. So we went through Ralph threat. There's Ralph says I didn't rape anyone. And then there's Ralph versus Rand Meltdown 1 and Meltdown 2 that's in there now. Fantastic. Ima imagine being in a clip called I Didn't Rape Anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to play it? Do you have your own recording? or Like I said, I didn't hear it through you're, my you're end. You're the one making the allegation, you dumb fucker. Well, you make allegations all the time. I'm saying you literally yelled at your wife there was some type of physical altercation on air. This happened on air, by the way. Yeah, Ralph has never yelled at a woman. <laughs> you, you <laughs> oh, my God. Ren, everyone. The man's a plot. got an ammo box dropped on his head, but he still has the vance. <laughs> They're still there. Those fucking Australians, man. You know. We see Ralph's response to that. Definitely. Boy. Yeah, Ralph has never yelled at a woman. I mean, you, you've Silence. definitely yelled, like, suck my dick to, like, a drunk woman to, like, get a blowjob. What? Wait, now he's playing coy, you know? Like, oh. Uh... You know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't, actually. Uh, all right, so you're similarly confused why people call you Rape It Ralph. <laughs> I'm not confused at all. <laughs> I like how he's like, I'm not confused Stop, about that. Yeah, he knows what he's talking about. Oh, there's a lie out there that I raped somebody, which didn't happen. And so, 
you know, the well, usual you suspects. Have to say that the usual suspects ran with it, and so I'm not surprised at all that the usual faggots also ran ran with it. So no. what's with uh, what's with all the DMs and you buying a shit off a of wish list and crap? <laughs> The DMs with the person you're referring to, I'm not going into all that. Oh, oh, God. oh come on. Oh, Ralph. No, Ralph. Ralph. Why not? I thought he don't, I don't scare. I don't, I don't scare, motherfucker. <laughs> Arrest him. Seems like oh, that's con- scared. <laughs> I, thought, I love that. The DMs with the person you're referring to, I'm not going into all that. Won't even that. say her name. He won't oh, say her name. Con- yes. Whoa. He's scared to say her name. She's the new Adrian Blair. <laughs> Convenient. I also would not like to go into things that are embarrassing. The reason I'm not going into it is because I have my own uh, Because record. you don't want to go to jail. No, what a cult. no that's not it. It's because of very serious. Right. Rand's on I, fire. Let's fucking. Yeah, he is. He is. Yeah, so at this point, okay, so now at this point, Randbot has actually left the call. He said that Ralph is beneath his dignity. And now Ralph is oh. arguing. He is now arguing with Randbot's jannies. So oh. Randbot has now sent in his janitorial team <laughs> that are his laws. And Ralph oh. is now arguing with them because Rand has decided that he's like three donga or his one donga, so it's over. Oh. He's like, I'm three times you were like, Ralph, you need me more than I need you. So you Rand, Rand literally dropped an ammo box on Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> I don't even know what is going said- on. This is the best. A very serious false accusation was made against me, and I would be a fool to try it here in the court of public opinion. Although well, I will God say, you ever look like a fool? Well, I'm not going to go to jail for a God, day he's on like fire. you on some fucking horse shit. Fuck Obviously, good. I'm not going to get out here and no, say a bunch just of shit. You're going to go to hospital. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> holy shit, man! There's a home run after home run. What the hell? So I'm going to get out here and say a psycho hat purchaser for a hundred. I'll read that right after this clip psycho, but holy shit. It's, it's just like the money is coming in. It's like a hundred dollars. It's not even like ain't even shit anymore, but yeah, we appreciate you making it rain here. I, no, no, no psycho. I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to read that. Um, and by the way, every like a hundred buck dono is an entire 10 hour day for Ralph. Like, no, it's it so is. Good. It's like 10 hours of him slaving over Tucker clips. Oh, we have All 10 fucking minutes. 10, 10 minutes. We minute. have to put another quarter in the fucking pay phone. Uh, in 10 minutes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I want to hear more about yeah. Rand just dunking on his ass. Yeah. Shit. Oh, yeah. dude, this is the best. A bunch of dumb shit. No, I know for a fact I have never raped anybody in my life. Never would, <laughs> never could. And that's a statement on the record. <laughs> never could. Uh, I couldn't even rape if I tried. It's like the new Sargon. I wouldn't even rape you. It's like I couldn't even rape you. I well, couldn't. no, that's gonna be his defense. Is he's like, look, like you think I can lift that gun cup to rape? Oh, it's not possible. Never can. Yeah, how's he gonna hold her down? Like, never can. like how is he? Fuck! This is the best. And I will prove that in no, court to the end of my you life. Know what, no. Can you prove that he can't rape in court? That's the, the new if OJ. The gun, if the gun does not fit, you must have <laughs> They're going to do a demonstration with Ralph, like, having to lift his gun to Ralph. And he, it's like a, a mannequin be, with her, her exact and he's proportions. he's going to be smiling like OJ. He'll be like, ha see, I couldn't lift it. I couldn't carry that gun, so. God damn. I'm sorry. You know what? I believe you. You never could rape anybody. You know what? Okay. Well, <laughs> it's a serious... oh, 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 fuck. Oh, God, that's savage as shit. That's like the, two of the most savage minutes ever. Yeah, listen, like, that's. Even, there's even, more. Yeah. There's Well, there's Ralph versus Randbot Meltdown 1 and wait, 2 wait, still. Wait, yeah, hang on. Oh, no, and you I'm know what? I believe you. You never could rape anybody. You know what? Okay. Well, if it's a serious <laughs> shot. All right, a psycho for a hundred. Thank you so much, the hat purchaser, saying love to uh, uh, love be to brother Ashton and brother Andy. Jim, I've been a big fan of you for years and years. You groomed me through high school and helped me through a lot of shit. So this may seem strange, but I need you to say, psycho, you're a retarded faggot. Is it psycho or cycle? A uh, psycho. 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 <clears throat> uh, psycho, you are a, uh, a retarded faggot. Hey, can I say it one more time? Psycho, you are a retarded faggot. 
So wow. yesterday on Discord, he told me he's gonna donate a hundred bucks for you to say that for the soundboard, and he goes, "I know it sounds weird," and I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> so psycho, there it is for the uh, for the soundboard. Just, Mad love. They love. They love you, Daddy Jim. They love you. A casino supervisor for a hundred dollars. God damn. Saying, "Say it now. Say it, Ralph. You raped her. Say her name. Her name is Alice. Say her name. You say raped her." her. <laughs> Well, I like how he's trying to be like detached about it. Like he won't say who it is. He he was like he's trying to act like this is some crazy chick he's never met. This was somebody that he was trying to get into a threesome with, that yeah. he was DMing, buying shit for like a simp bitch, um, and talking about his heartfelt feelings like a little pussy, a little beta bitch. Oh, you gotta tell women, oh you suck my dick, lick the grease off my gut. And then in DMs he's like, Oh baby, I love you so much. Like, can I buy you shit from your Amazon wish list? Oh, I just want to talk about her feelings and shit. Well, you He's said such this. such a fucking pussy. How she added to the Amazon wish list? Because she, she, she knew she had a sucker. She's like, this fat fuck oh, will buy me anything I want. I'm going to triple, quadruple the shit on my wish list. He'll buy it all. <laughs> Holy and fuck. he did. Great. Let's leave the call. We'll start a new one. Uh, just because on the next one, we'll need more time. We have like, sure. like six minutes all left. Right. All right, guys. We'll... Another quarter bit. for the payphone, yeah. Let's go. All right. Holy fuck, everyone. God damn, my voice is hoarse. I'm, I apologize. I'm going to make Ashton read the next few. Like, whoo, I can't, can't even speak. Uh, return here. New meeting. Boom. Boom. All right. Uh... Okay, switch it up. Join. All right. <clears throat> oh, wait, I got a message too here. Let me. All right. We are in. Sorry, guys. I had to focus there a little bit. Um, make sure we're all set for their entry. I got a message here. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Yo, hang on, guys. I'm going to wait until the boys are in. Update. This is so funny. Hang on. Oh, my fucking camera. <clears throat> I have to, like, not scream so much right now. There we go. All right. You guys know okay. that we yeah. are now the proud owners of Ethan Ralph. Huh? Kyler bought my my homeboy, my coworker for Subcultured, my friend Kyler bought EthanRalph.com. We own it. It's a shame because the previous EthanRalph.com was really good. Uh, Wait, you you own, the, you own the domain to his name now? Yes. 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 Oh, he is going to lose his fucking shit. No. It was Kyler, my buddy. Kyler. Oh, seven's in chat for fucking Kyler there. Like, that is, he's going to be so mad. By the way, uh, Ashley, I was saying the next set of super chats, I'm going to share this yeah. and you're going to read them because goddamn my voice, all right? Oh, okay. All right. Just for the next set there. That is funny, Kyler. Thank you. He's a fucking homie and uh, mad love there. Okay, so we have uh, to our Ralph Discord shout outs. All right, Rand Meltdown one and two. All right. So it, was this uh, before uh, uh, before what we just saw or after it? This is part? after. Okay. Uh, okay. So we're watching the continuation now. Now is apparently he... Rand's Jannies have left and Rand is back to face Ralph for round two. This Let's, is happening oh, come in real on. time right now. This is amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm blown away by the fact that Rand just curb stomped his ass for two fucking minutes straight. Yo, it was I like perfect. It was like, like he planned those. Like he had those written already. Like oh. He's been saving them up for years. <laughs> you know? yeah. yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Wow, that's very interesting. Yeah. Well, it's very interesting that you would lie about me and Correct. attack my family and do all that. The, that was pretty interesting, too. The it was pretty in interesting to me when you attack my son and you attack my daughter, you attack my family, bitch.
Nothing oh, listen to is this off the fucking now. shit. Gonna, hold on, hold like, on. You can't. I'm so sick of his fucking faggotry. Oh, you're attacking my family. You're coming after my family. That's all he does. Yeah. That's the rules you laid down, Ralph. Don't cry like a fucking bitch. All you do yeah, is attack well, people's families. What are you crying about, you fat slob? No, his whole motto is when they go low, I go lower. Right? But I mean, he, he lives by the prison. I live by the prison rules, PPP. You know, it's not all he ever like jail, jail rules. He was too much of a <laughs> yeah. stay puff to go to prison. He went to jail, county jail, <laughs> where his fat ass had to eat broccoli every day. That's why he lost yeah. weight. <laughs> I know. I, uh, know. I, 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 like, that's why, like, the feeling bad for him being swatted is like, you wanted to see me dead on the streets. You threatened to rape my sister, and I'm gonna go. Oh, you were swatted. I'm so sorry. Yeah, fuck off. He would now, be so happy if we were swatted too. So. This isn't. This is an option. We could potentially stream snipe Randbot stream, but if we do that, I mean, it is Randbot. It's, it's very risky. No, it's very risky. Let oh, the clips are, are are good enough. I'm just telling you, yeah, this works. like on yeah. the you. Um, on the YouTube, like, and, and the people will pick the best parts too for us. Yes. Like, like chat, like if we stream tonight, our channel might be t like fucking gone and that's it for us. Like for a while. So like, we're just trying to like play it safe here. And how, how sad would it be if this whole stream was fucking taken down? Like it'd be fucking misery. All right. I'm sure Medicare's Lunicorn archive there is filming it. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. For sure. Right. For sure. <clears throat> understand zero rand is off the table when it comes to you do you understand nothing is off the table when it comes to fucking with you whoa Ooh, after you scary. said what you said tonight. Ooh, so, so nothing. Scary. like is anyone actually scared of ralph no and, and no. everything's already off the table by default who's he it's he he does this shit right where he does what he accuses other people of and then if they respond in kind at all even slightly then he acts like that's justification and they did it first that's his whole gimmick so Do he'll... you see how his pig slits are so pinned? Like... <laughs> well, they're trying to be, but because he got hit with that fucking pipe, right? So sometimes they're open, <laughs> sometimes they're closed. And then the Xanax, you know, fucks and dilates his eyes in weird ways. So it's like some kind of weird surrealist there's painting. Just something, there's so, something about this image here. It's almost like the angriest I've ever seen it. <laughs> like, like, he's so angry there, man. <sighs> Because wow. he's, being, like, he's being disrespected by Rand, right? Which was like, you know, he's supposed to be beneath Ralph. That's what's yeah. driving him nuts. Rand gets bigger numbers. Flamenco gets bigger numbers. Andy and you are getting bigger numbers. Give Gator a while. His anime boomer podcast will get bigger numbers. And Ralph will keep sinking. And he can't fucking stand it. It's driving him crazy. Yeah, so, dude. Breaking news alert. Ralph is now threatening to rape Randbot's wife. And then <laughs> Come on! It's like, what the, the fuck is this? I would never rape anybody. I'm going to rape your wife. Yeah, you're, you're, I, I have to use the bathroom. Uh, excuse me. And I'll be fast. Next, the next piece of breaking news is that when Rand said that it wasn't Christian for Ralph to rape his wife, Ralph said that Rand supported the Me Too movement and was a feminist. And then oh, Ralph... So like, based and red-pilled. And then Ralph kicked Rand from the call and claimed victory. Oh, he ran like a bitch like he did with Jerbo. Yeah. So once again, Ralph has now run away on the internet from me, from Matt Jarbo, and from Randbot. Can you imagine running away from Jarbo? Well, like, I, he, he absolutely got bodied by him. He couldn't he had no answer. No, he had no answer. I mean, he knew he was getting his own version. It was like poetry, Jim. It rhymed. It was like amazing. So I, all, to, I all tonight, Ralph, all he's done tonight, he's got anger and anger throughout the whole day, leading up to him threatening to kill people and rape people. Yes. I really hope he comes on to holler at one of us. I really oh. hope so. My God, I, I hope I, I hope at his live events, people just play clips of him saying this shit. Well, they're going to be played in court. That's the craziest thing about all this internet shit to me. Like, when I did a live stream of Baked Alaska's court appearance... Like, the fact that a judge has to sit there and watch Bake the Alaska Mesa Bouncer and talk about, like, internet memes and shit, and it gets, like, submitted into evidence. Like, it's fucking crazy, man. Like, right. holy shit. But you're, you're right, though. I mean, Ralph is, ang like, his anger levels, he's going to have another heart attack. Like, it's going to be another repeat of Vegas. Look how fucking mad he is. His blood pressure and just what's going on internally, it's probably not good. 
I'm Rollins shocked he hasn't had one. Addressing the masses, he's claiming that he is a Caesar and that he has won and proved his victory definitively tonight. And that nobody can top the kill streak. And top it for uh, what? Making unhinged rape and death threats? Well, Wait. he's got us there. Hang on. Uh, someone said, I. Oh, I'm so sorry, Cyber Taz. My bad, bro. Um, He said. Um, oh, for 20, I missed that one. It was on stream elements and it was like scrolled down saying the poor hookers and e whores like Alice knelt in terror as Ralph staggered up to them so that they could oh. service him. He didn't need underwear. Oh. His gunk covered his junk. His tiny arms oh. flung the gun over them like the raft monster from creep show two. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I think we know based on that super chat, we need to talk about the real issue. How many hooker babies are across America that were made by Ralph? How many little hooker babies are out there? I hate to be the cringe bastard, that, but this is how idiocracy happens. Isn't it? Is it like, this is like the fucking beginning of the movie. It's like somehow daddy Jim doesn't leave any offspring, but Ralph has like 12 children. So that's what we're, we're fucked. Thanks Jim. You oh. piece of shit. How could you do this to us? Uh, you, know, I, I, you know what I find funniest? Because Ralph is into black porn. Is it like 20 years from now, there's a chance one of his hooker babies will grow up to be a black porn star and he'll be watching her videos and not know it? <laughs> uh, yo, Cyber Taz, I'm so sorry. Thank you very much. He threw three to uh, ask me on Power Chat. My bad, bro. Uh, all right, let's uh, keep watching the Feltoning from Rant, who's on fire right now. This is amazing. Motherfucker, and it never will. Wait, wait. Let's go back. Rand is off the table when it comes to you. Do you understand? Nothing is off the table when it comes to fucking with you. Nothing. After you yeah. said what you said tonight. Nothing, motherfucker. And He's it never will be. Me. Do you understand? I love, I love it will never be off the table, bitch. Ain't him. nothing I off the table so with much. you, motherfucker. He was so close to me. I would tell him about yeah, anything. That's how I felt back in the day. And I was an idiot. I was a dumb no, motherfucker. Like well, that. my God, I'm fucking... He was an idiot, by the way. I love how he does the Yosemite Sam shit. The angrier he gets, by God, I'm a holler. <laughs> by <laughs> God. Like a, like I mean, this is a fucking cartoon character, man. He kind of looks like a fucking Easter Island statue mixed with a fucking Looney Tune, man. Like a Yosemite Sam and a fucking Easter Island head. Like. Uh, by God. Like, oh. he, looks, he looks like an extra from American History X, like one of the skinheads in the background. <laughs> But he's like at the fat one at the basketball game, the exterminate. <laughs> glory, hallelujah. No, you can pick any, like, watch this. Look at that. Any, <laughs> any screen, like, any, any cell frame. But this is why, like, this is why somehow to this day he purchased. <laughs> oh, look, look at his eyes. Hi. Yeah. His eyes like white. Two He's like Blofeld from James Bond or something. He's like been permanently scarred. His eye is fucking No, you, you had it right earlier when you said he mentioned the Batman because he's one of his villains. Yeah, look at that. It's because <laughs> of Two Face shit going on. Two Face, yeah. It's so oh my funny. God, man. It's, it's so funny. Like, okay. okay, let's go right here. <sighs> so close to me, I would tell him about <laughs> yeah. That's how I felt back in the day. And I was an idiot. I was a dumb yeah, motherfucker. Like well, that. my God, I'm fucking woke as can be look, right now. Him, look at him well, pretending he's right. on played. Yeah. I am the wokest motherfucker. Clip it. What? I'm the wokest motherfucker. He just said. Send it to Nick Fuentes, bros. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the wokest motherfucker. It ever lived now, and I want to see you in the ground, bitch. I will dock That's where I want to see you. Condition, to step off a plane, to slap the fuck out of you, and feed you. you so, what are you gonna do? Red <laughs> <laughs> Bond said that very calm and like matter of fact. You know, that was actually like how you say it when you're tough, kind of. So, not to give Rand too much credit, but like he he did actually serve in the Australian military, and he is actually not morbidly obese, oh. so he probably could whip Ralph's ass. Not to mention the ammo box probably damaged his nerves, so he doesn't feel pain, and he's he also no drunk fear. all yeah. the time. Yeah, he's no fear, man. You know, no impulse control. But he wouldn't want to fight Rand. Bot. He's Australian too. It's like plus ten to fucking like depravity, man. <clears throat> Do you need anything else? Yeah. Oh, 
What else? Someone to explain to what me else? why you're so willing to get the shit kicked out. What else, Rand? No, 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 just, 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 just. <laughs> what do you need? Plane ticket? I'm, I'm writing it down. Plane ticket? What else? He's gonna put it what on else? his wife's yeah. credit card like he's that. He's buying app. his plane. He's buying him a plane ticket. This off. is so good. I love this. This is the best. Ralph, we what else do you need, faggot? Camera. Don't, don't, don't throw anything else. Look, Just I tell me what you I need to show up in the United States damage. to have me fucking kill you in the middle of the octagon. What? What the oh. fuck? The octagon. Oh, no. The octagon. <laughs> the octagon. Not the octagon. Not the guntagon. Oh my god! Please, Rand, come. I will fly to the States, dude. I will fly there to watch this. They're having your head used as no, a No, just tell me. Just tell me. Rand, just tell me what you need. Rand, chill. <laughs> Rand, do you want to come or not? Do you want to come here to no, the United States or not? Okay, well, oh, what do you I'm need? I'm come. Okay. Well, oh, I'm yeah, I'm come, sure. But oh, the, I'm sure you'll go. Oh, Annie, oh, can you I'm pause it? Okay, uh, this is, again, uh, the shit that Ralph does. He'll cry about people showing up at his house, dropping off corn cobs, and here he is screaming like a banshee, seething fucking coping non-stop saying come to come to america come fight me come to my house i want to kill you and then arrest him arrest him is he is he not like it like yeah this is played out but it's like full donga isn't it oh is it's it beyond donga it's well beyond it's donga beyond. this yeah. makes donga look tame by it the makes way it look fucking reasonable yeah from andy or he yeah yeah what the fuck sure here's the bit that eludes me here's the bit that eludes me why are you so convinced that you're not going to get the shit kicked out of you? Really? What the, the thing is, <laughs> me and you, man. I don't give a fuck. I can <laughs> die in that fucking ring and I will have lived. Do you understand? What? Wait, hey, okay, like, chat. Like, why does it have to be this dramatic? Like, I could die, but I've lived. You've never lived. I've, I've lived a full life of releasing sex tapes and masturbating and eating shit. I was in Gamergate. I was in E-Celeb. Dude, like, dude, the, the the peak of this was him at the bowling alley after the, he stomped that dude's face, running up to the camera going, you're going to have to kill me to get out of this alley. Like, like, like anybody's gonna we're going to go like, murder Ralph to get him out of the bowling alley? Like, like this is fuck, fucking ridiculous. The delusion. I'm not a bitch oh, like you. Now, I, I, I would I damn wanna... sure love to fucking die on my feet, you fucking You're coward. You fucking oh, idiot. Shit. I would fucking take pride in you oh, killing shit. me in that ring. That... <laughs> I wanna, I wanna, oh, wow. I want to bring up, so this clip is zoomed in on the far right-hand corner. You can see that just on Ralph. And the reason why is because during this entire stream, Ralph had pictures of Rand's children up on screen. Oh. And so and so we cropped that out. That's why like stream sniping is not a good idea. Right, right. But again, this yeah. is the shit he does. And then he cries about my family, my family. His kids. Oh my family. My 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 kids and my wife, they're off limits, my family. Yeah. And, and what does he do when his kid's born, first thing? Takes a photo of it and then puts the name <laughs> and yes. tweets it. Like he knows. He knows like, the, the Kiwi, Kiwi farm. Like he knows. It's such Come bullshit. On. And then he cries about it. His I love. How, I love how mad he is. He's so fucking angry. He's so goddamn mad. Can you mad. imagine you were born and on the day of your birth there were already memes about you on the internet no, about what a piece of shit you are? Even crazier, the baby is how how old? Uh, two a three, month. Three, a month has a Kiwi Farms thread. <laughs> like her name is the Kiwi Farms thread, and then she's got forty pages already for the baby, a baby. That's the difference between me and you, you motherfucker, you, you fucking really coward. I don't want to choke the life out of your fucking. <laughs> 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 wait, wait, rewind it back. That's pure rage. That, that is, is legit rage. That is, he's legit pissed. That's insane, dude. That is what fucking. fucking like, the, I've you never... talk about internet insanity, Jim. Like that's fucking. No, no, he is. That's he's that's that, schizo fucking territory. The, when the hand motions and shit, like he's uh, fantasizing about it. Whoa! Take pride like in you killing me in that ring. He, he didn't have a heart attack. That's the difference between me and you, you motherfucker. You he's fucking really coward. I don't want to choke the life out of your fucking goddamn throat. You fucking piece of shit. Tell me what you fucking need Andy, to Andy, get. The can you imagine being the hooker that has this as a client? <laughs> Trying to negotiate Holy the price. Shit. <laughs> oh, no. Holy shit.
Yeah. She's like, okay, uh, I'll do it for half off. Okay. Okay, fine. Like, I'll let you eat my ass. Okay. I'm just, just gonna ask me. Nick, like, is this what cozy TV is meant for? This is cozy TV. Is this, right? is, this is optically optical. What are you talking about? It's very optical. We definitely had to kill the alt right for this. Oh. You know, it all had to die for this. Babe. In the United States, or shut your fucking mouth. Whoa. What do you fucking need, bitch? Have Just... you noticed, by the way, he has had no donos coming the oh. entire time because he has the pring. Tell me the number. Tell me the fucking price because I want to fucking kill you in the middle, legally, in the middle of that fucking... I, I want to legally murder you. <laughs> Damn yeah, ring! You tell me what me. the fuck you need, bitch. You're not even gonna land a hit on me. Okay, well, what do you need then? Okay, plane ticket. What else? I like how he calms right now. Like, is there more? Please tell me there's more. And then he's like, yeah, no, I put in another one. It's called uh, Ralph Me Tude. Oh. Dot MP4. I, I'd like to just focus on the fact that he's trying to be a high roller, saying he's gonna fly Ranbot in when he got chastised by his wife for buying a three hundred dollar hat using her fucking credit card. Wait. So he's not he's not buying that plane ticket. His wife is. Wait, what happened? Yeah. Oh, uh, when when Ralph did his wigger dance outside of Elijah Schaefer's studio, you know how hardcore rapper he is at yeah. 37 and obesity. Um he bought a cowboy hat and it was like a $300 hat and his he he, he had his wife chastised him. She's like, "I saw how much it was on the credit card." So uh, <laughs> Ralph can't afford to fly Ranbot out. He needs he needs his wife to do it. He needs to ask him, Mommy, can you open the purse strings, Mommy, and, and let me fight the internet man because he makes me mad? That's Aww, that's you know, that's I mean, Pansu, well Pansu's making the big bucks now. She's the breadwinner working at Subway. <laughs> dude, dude. Have a... Hang on, wait. I'll, I'll just check one thing real fast. I I wanna see if Polly if I got like eight hundred DMs right here. Holy uh, fuck! I got another one. Okay. Uh, well, while you while you do that, I'm gonna grab another drink. Yeah, um, yeah, do yes, it. Up. You, I'll, uh, you I'll take I, a, a quick yeah, break here. Yeah, I'll read. Okay, uh, to anyone who's just joining us, uh, welcome. We are reading all the twenty bucks and over during segments. Anything below, uh, Ashton and I, we will read because there's so too many to read. But thank you, everyone, so yes. much. We will stay around for a few hours and read the rest. Um, after, but for now, Reziel Mutant for 20 bucks. Thank you so much. Saying rape it, Ralph to Ralph loses his internet. This is what happens after all the things he's saying. The law will tell him he's not allowed on the stream anymore or, or to stream anymore. I'll ask a Jim that he was asking towards Jim an anonymous yeah. for 20 reporting heavy se seismic activity in the surrounding co uh, counties. Uh, source appears to be Rage Pig in the Richmond area taking shelter. Like, holy shit. Um, hang on. Uh, I got fucking DMs from everyone. Pot off of Flam and everything. Oh! And we almost... Oh! Kill all pedals. Might have a... He got it in? He, he's DMing... Uh, as I said it, three dots. Hang on. All um, right. Uh, I, I said we might have a new Kill All Pedals right now. What a show. Why everyone just give a round of applause and hit like. I think it's a, it's been a pretty <clears throat> fun show. It's really funny. You know? and then it's me, like... and me, me and my daddy <clears throat> reconciled. We had our father-son moment there. You know, it was a beautiful thing. Well, I, I love my boys. Yeah, I love oh. my boys. I love all my oh, boys. I here, I thought you were gone so I could fucking do I'm gonna this. I'm going to have a great I'm trip. Embarrassed. I've been right. You're gonna be my daddy. Oh. This is more embarrassing. I got caught masturbating by my real dad. Oh, oh uh, uh, real uh, fast. Uh, I, I read this while you were gone, but it was for you. <clears throat> a Rezio Mutant for 20. He asked, he goes, uh, so uh, internet, uh, so Ralph might lose his internet after tonight. So what do you think? Do you think that this might actually fuck Ralph over? And he can God, lose I his hope internet. not, because then I can't laugh at him. Like, yeah. this has been entertainment for me. Like, anyone who wants Ralph in jail is crazy. Like, seriously. Like, I do not want him I in mean, jail. I mean, let me put it this way. I can't, I can't, I guess, speak to the crazy shit he's saying to Rand. Like, if you're threatening to rape somebody, he threatened to rape his wife, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which we yeah, have like, after. Then, then, I mean, Rand is justified in fucking pursuing that. But um, as far as him, like, I'm going to shoot you. I don't give a shit. I'm just going to laugh at Piggy. Yeah. Now, Polly the Frog, he sent this in. I, I, I could play it straight from here. Uh, this is called uh, Piggy Hits the Table Like an Autistic Boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love okay. the title. 
All right. It's uh, very sharp from Polyfrog. Uh, I like. I like. He he lists his video titles like Japanese mangas where they give away the entire content. <laughs> yeah. of, uh, yeah. She's gonna be dripping. We know she's to gonna America. be dripping while I'm, I'm beating your fucking face, you faggot. She's gonna be absolutely just losing her. He's hitting his furniture. Okay. While I'm He's like acting like Wreck It Ralph <laughs> from the fucking movie. He's literally turned into. Ra I'm what? gonna rape it. This He's is doing this, the rape at Ralph. I'm this is, gonna rape it. This is like legit tard rage. Like this is absolutely yes. legitimate, one hundred percent tard rage. Ralph oh. is tard raging out on his stream. Oh. I don't even think this is like Chris Chan level shit. Bro. This is fucking amazing. This motherfucker, you pound on the table. I mean, I don't, I don't like using the term lol cow because I think it's kind of been like everybody applies it to everything now. But yeah. Like, this yeah. Now is, everybody's a lol cow. Yeah, now, but right? th this is legitimate. This is like he's legitimately tard raging. And this is, by the way, everyone. This is now. This is not like we have to scour through the internet and look for the craziest moments. This is like ongoing. It's like an updated like live news event. Holy fuck. Can you can you back that can you back that up so yes. we can watch the, the, the his little impotent like, I'm fist? Never, I'm never gonna get to my fucking Nick Fuentes clips, you know? Like no, no. my master plan is. I'm gonna have to make a new fucking thumbnail for the for the show now. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> We know she's to gonna America. be dripping while I'm, I'm beating your fucking face, you faggot. She's gonna be absolutely just losing her fucking mind while okay, I'm pounding hey, wait, your. Wait, wait, can can we? Th okay, two things, right? Like he's 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 jumping back and forth between wanting to beat Rand up and fucking Rand's wife or raping her. Um, but when oh. he's talking about her dripping and having sex with her, that's when he's hitting the table. He's like, she's gonna be dripping, and he's smacking Whoa. the table with his fist. Whoa. Yo, good fucking observation here. Also, also, I'm convinced maybe now, maybe Nick Fuentes is a 4D chess master. Maybe he's like, I'm going to bring on the most dysgenic looking fucking pig cow creature on the internet. Then PPP and Andy will never make fun of me because we'll always, <laughs> yes. always be dealing with him. It's true. Yo, oh ever since he, he let him on, like Nick clips have been very scarce on our on our show. Let's be fair well, he's here. Doing, I, like, I don't know. It's like like Ralph's plan is just to like make such a fool of himself that we can't make fun of Nick. Maybe that's Nick's plan. If we play I Nick. I think it is. If it, we play, like, play any Nick thing, everyone's going to fall asleep after this. This is crazy. Holy yeah. fuck. She's going to be absolutely just See? losing her fucking mind. He's wow. beating the shit out of the table. Yeah. That's pounding okay, your face in, bitch. For a round trip to america this is gonna be the greatest thing ever i get to punch out oliver twist and then i get to hang out with all the people who said they wanted to take me shooting i'm gonna have a okay. great trip is that america. right you're gonna bring Let's your bitch you're gonna bring the big bitch i know she has to have two plane tickets but i can front that if you need it she's actually been to america before I've oh is that right i've only been to she Hawaii. looks like she's been I'm to looking, america i'm looking forward to having what, is what does that even what does that mean <laughs> what does that mean what is this? Oh, what is this? i don't know Breaking is Ralph is now screaming about our show and saying that he wants on. He's also oh, he's that, gonna holler. He's also Break now saying that quartering is like a piece. Of, like he's going off on quartering for some reason. <clears throat> please, please, out please, of please. I'm begging you, bring this fat retard on. I want. I'm begging you, Ralph. Uh, we want you. We want you uh, on, Ralph. Uh, we are fucking pleading with you. Uh, are you still following him, or do he block you? I. Uh, you know, reach out on Twitter, Ralph, if you want on. And, and you know, all your people and, know that are watching or whatever. And you could, you, you could, this is amazing. America. All I have to do is beat She up looks like an American, to be honest with you. What, what, what happened there? I thought they were skinny down in Australia. You used to, make this happen? You used mean, to talk like, shit about uh, yeah, Americans absolutely. being fat. Like, she looks I like she is from she America, to be honest with you. Lead time to get yeah. into shape. Yeah, she looks like she's from the USA. Is that the case? I don't know. I, so I is, is Ralph say, saying but, uh, she looks like him? She's she's dead. Dead. I, yeah. like, I guess. <laughs> nice own. Oh, Americans are fat. She, she looks like me. Okay, Ralph. In the USA. Like, okay. Uh, okay, how, how do I, I stop here? I think. That was Polly's video, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I, Andy, if you want to bring Ralph on uh, in Google Meets, you'll have to click the trough button. Okay. <laughs> To put the pig slop in there, and then he can scuttle on over. Yeah. Wait, how do I do? I hit stop here. I guess. I don't know. How oh, here we go. There we go. All right. Okay. So we have two more clips in the drive that came in. 
We have uh, ralphmetood.mp4. All right. We'll do that one. And then we have one that's uh, imaginatively entitled, I Want You All Dead. <laughs> All right. Your entire tab. All right. Put this one up. Share. All right. We are back. Okay. There we go. So we're watching the um, Ralph Me Too Me Too one. one. Okay. Have a finish. All right. Okay, sure. All right. Have a fitness My competition with her. Physically yes. You. Yes. First, I want to have a fitness competition with her, and then I want to whip your ass right in front of her. That's what I want to do. Wait, wait, wait. So now you do a fitness competition with with, with Rand's wife. With Rand? With what? Why? Because he's gonna lose to Rand. Like, Rand was, like, I mean, he may have drank a lot, but I'm sure he's not at Ralph's size now. No. I mean, holy fuck. We said her. Yeah. Oh, with her. He, he wants to set up, a, like, a push-up competition with a woman on the internet with because she's arguing with her husband. What the fuck is going on with this idiot? <laughs> you will do neither. I will do both. I will do both, and she will be out of breath, and she will be sweating, but she will still suck my dick after I whip your ass. I think you're a big fat liar sitting in front of I think of she will though. swallow this every fucking <laughs> drop. I think she will swallow every drop. What do you think about that? I think if you tried to face rape her like you have actually face raped other uh, people, is that what you think? <laughs> your dick right Is that off. what you think? Is it? Is it? Uh, oh, boy. You're running with that fake accusation. Well, that's cool. That's cool. It's good to know you're believe oh, yeah, all that's women. Right. It's, good, it's good to know. Lies about you, it's Ralph. good to know you're well, me too. You be, it's good to know you're me most too. Lied about person in the world. Well, you know what? what it's a, it's a reason dumb abos like you were talking about it on stream instead of it being in court because it's a lie. So, anything else? Well, I mean, speaking of court, this guy's convicted for revenge porn, and his Wikipedia lists him as a sex offender. Right? Yeah. Yes. So, <gasps> yes. Oh. And then we have, uh, I, want we you have all dead. I Want You All Dead. And then there's actually Ralph versus Tacey Kino Casino. Who? He's, uh, he's just, he took the, he, oh, now you know he's mad. He's, the glasses are off. Oh, the little slits oh, are angry. Right? <laughs> Happening on your talking. faggot Wignat stream, like Rand. Who cares? I like, don't care. He goes Wignat and then he has like white nationalists and right wingers on but, all the time so who but, cares like, ralph is the ultimate wignat yeah exactly like there's nobody that's more wignat than ralph right he's using it as like a like a like a uh, an own when that's what his show is too know, so man. like what everybody the fuck? is a wignat but the people with the good optics listen to kanye and fucking wear yeezys i guess i don't know where this fucking came to i I don't have to hear it. Do you understand? I don't care what they see. I don't care about those people. I want them to die. Can I, can I just point out, uh, for a guy that doesn't care, he's been talking about it for three days straight. <laughs> Ralph is saying that he's not going to join the call because he needs to know what claims he needs to address. Uh, here's a claim, Ralph. You're too much of a bitch to join the call. There's a claim, fat fuck. Why don't you try to dispute it by showing up? Just... We'll have, a, have have Medicare versus Ralph. My God, what a little Ralph bitch. Two. How about that? Yeah. Can you not? Oh, just, how, how I want, somebody explain to me how somebody this fat runs away so much. All if right. you're running that much, you should be in better shape, Ralph. Look, look, we'll do round two. Ashton and I, we will mute ourselves. Yeah. And we'll we'll watch <clears> watch <throat> the, the, the round two. How about that? Shit, I'll make some popcorn, man. Yeah, like, we'll sit back. You guys can hash it out and do your thing. Ralph, that's what we'll do. It's just going to end with him crying again because he's a little what? bitch. Look, so again, he can play it on the kill stream like I give him 100%. Yeah, but for sure. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So, Ralph, that's what we'll I, do. Uh, I won't Ralph, say anything. I mean, uh, Ashton uh, won't say anything. And then, yeah. I, I understand, Ralph. You just got humiliated by Randbot, who just dominated you, dominated you in front of your entire audience. I understand you're scared. You gotta convince those zoomers that you're not a little bitch. But he doesn't. So maybe scare. you're a little afraid. You're a little afraid to come on and talk. That's fine. I understand. You're you're a coward. That's fine. No, Ralph, don't scare. I don't scare. <laughs> yeah. So that. All right. That's it. We won't. I I won't accuse you. Uh, Ashton won't accuse you. We'll shut the fuck up and watch YouTube to add it. How about that? Is that fair? Wouldn't, wouldn't, get, wouldn't. So every everybody who's mentioning Kino Casino in his chat right now is getting banned. Uh. Other than like Why? his one, Why? his one Janny on Cozy, who's like named Yobo, what something, 
is like, those those queers at the Kino Casino need to offer you money, Ralph. This is a business. Oh, okay. Well, Ralph, yeah. You... Hey, no, I'll offer money like a zoo. How much is the fucking pig exhibit? Three bucks? Okay, three bucks. <laughs> yeah. You know, Jim will Can I throw $3? peanuts at you? Yeah, three, that's a whole week's yeah. worth of revenue for you, fat fuck. Speaking of money, logos for a hundred dollars. Thank you so much. Hundred big dollars. Let's go. Tonight. A one word as to why Dick hangs out with Ralph Maddox. The greatest thing to happen to Dick was Maddox, so he's waiting for the day Ralph turns into him so he could turn the drama into a money-making machine. Dick literally sees Ralph as a piggy bank. That was good. Thank you so much, Logos. Appreciate it. And one more. Uh, everyone, thank you, guys. Thank you. Holy shit. And Inicus Bison for 20. You guys should felt Mersh. It will happen one day, Mersh. We're coming for you. So, all right. Let's watch some more of this. Thank you, guys. A little ghost. Mad love, man. Thank you. Massive dono. Man, I don't give a fuck about you want them. People who yes, yes. Seek an opinion outside. That's of right. Your I want people who don't like me dead. That's what I want them okay. dead. And I don't give a fuck. If you don't like me, I don't like what? you. Have if you don't like me, I don't like you. you. Just Period. Stand up and show us your quadruple tits one more time. <laughs> Red. This is ruthless. Red, come on. I want them dead, Ran. I don't give a fuck. What? What Just am I get up here and lie? Just one more time. I'm not lying. I want these fuckers to die. I'm not gonna do it. I don't. I don't advocate any violence against them. But a motherfucker who don't like, who sits there and talks shit, lies about me daily, is a part of that crew. I want them dead. Dude, I hope they die. Dude, wait, wait, wait. Let's just reflect here for a second. The crew, right? So, so who is the crew? Everyone. Every single person. <laughs> Every person on the internet. Every person on the internet is the crew. We we are the crew. Jim, you're part of the crew. Well, it's 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 worldwide gang <laughs> gang. That's what it is. The whole fucking internet. The crew, like the crew. That's so good. I hope they die, Rand, and I hope you die, and I hope your fat hog of a wife dies. Oh, I won't include. Awesome. I, I, I won't include the children. I, I was gonna say, if he says the children, I'm gonna fucking walk out of the room for a bit. I think. I, you are, I think. The <laughs> the children is I, even I, too far for me. I won't. I, I won't even, go I there. Oh, how thank you, Ralph. Oh, oh man, the, the, the charitable heart of Ethan Ralph doesn't wish death upon Rand's children. He, he Give just him two more drinks and he will, but like... He just wishes the know. parents were dead and the kids can't, you know? Yeah, they grow up in poverty in an orphanage being molested by some fucking weirdo like his horse bride. Yeah, that's what he hopes for. What a piece of shit. Nick Fuentes for 20 shit. bucks. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nick. Big support from the Mexican child leader of the white race. Saying thank you, Catboy Fuhrer. Uh, since I brought in Ralph on Tokozi, he has given us great, uh, you great, you you great content. Now I only ask for one thing: Would you leave me and the true Catboys alone? Uh, you can do and say whatever you want with Ralph, because Ralph will never be part of the AF movement. And that's the thing, by the way. I know it's a joke, but like Nick must be watching this. Like, fuck. Because now, like, this is this is nuts. This is so, like beyond. So, Andy, uh, your chat's going wild saying, check your DMs. Uh, I think Rand wants on. Rand? All right. You want to bring Rand on? I, I'd love I to hear what Rand has to say. Do you want to hear what Rand has to say? Well, maybe that'll get Ralph to show up. Uh, I mean, if Ralph will show up, that'd be fantastic. I do not. No, I don't have a message from him. Okay. All right. Oh, well, you don't. Yeah. If if I receive well, a message from him, yeah, I will. Any update on Ralph? Right. Is he going to show up, or is he still crying in his chat? Uh, bitch? He is. Well, he's saying that he's making hundreds of dollars now. He said, "I've made fifteen hundred dollars <throat> a day," which uh, again, he's just faking donos here like crazy. Uh, I don't know. He's just coping. Let me tune in very quickly and see what he's saying. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm checking my DMs. Uh, yeah, okay, so we're... This is, like, my DMs and my at replies are just, like, fucking, like, crazy right now, so... Oh, uh, it sounds like he's winding down. He's run out of energy. I don't know if he ran out of coke. Oh, oh he's gonna no. crash into slumber, is he? No yeah, more lines. He's no looking more lines. very low energy here. He's talking <clears throat> about tequila sunrise in the morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, uh, look, while we're waiting for Ralph to uh, to to do this... 
or to get Rand on or whatever. And before the kill all pedos thing, I do have Bake saying he loves cocaine oh. in seven seconds. Can you just play that? Oh, uh, yep. Uh, uh, his co-host actually DM'd me. So, uh, cause he's banned off of Twitter. Rand, do not say the N word or the K word, please. Just don't say it. Please. And thank you. Uh, you know that's not going to help. Though. I know. I know. But I don't want this chat, uh, this, uh, stream being taken down. Where is it? Oh, there right it is. Right there. Okay. Hang on. Here it is, Jim, if you haven't seen it. <laughs> So thoughts optically optical. <laughs> it's very optical that you'd build cozy on this guy, the cornerstone of uh, of America first. Oh, uh, to, and and kill all yes. pedos. Uh, just uh, we have fake Jim, a uh, fake Jim. It's rendering right now. Uh, okay, well we have a couple of uh, clips we can go through. Do we want to do? Uh, let's do sad baked. Let's do sad baked. Now, is this like, uh, is this from the RV trip when you realize it's all gonna fall apart? Yeah, this is like he's like sitting on the couch, Jim, and he's crying about his depression uh, and how he's broke. Real fast, is um, is Jarbo banned from your chat? I banned Vito. No, but uh, Jarbo just DM me because I know you're slammed. But am I banned from the chat? I don't think Jarbo. Well, Jarbo no. used to be a mod. What so I don't fuck? really know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, at one point, Majestic Matt was a mod. That was during the Majestic Matt necromancy arc where me and Godwinson resurrected him okay. for the dead for three weeks. <clears throat> and then he screwed me for saying the G-slur and narked to Kraut like a bitch. So, yeah. okay. <clears throat> so it's called... Uh, uh, it's called, like, Sad Baked, I think. It's we have so much, scary. like, shit in here now. Uh Shit, hang on. I love how most of it's like rape threat, death threat, hate women. <laughs> yeah, all around shit. <laughs> like this is Bro. there it is. It's at there it is. Sad Alaska one. Oh, okay, so so here's some context for you, uh, uh, Jim. We were bashing the RV for a while, right? And we did the stream called Year of Poor Alaska. So basically, he buys the RV, ten thousand. It breaks down. They go back out in the RV after they fix it. Right? Is that what happened, Ashton? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they go back out in the RV or whatever. Bake refuses to go on yeah. the RV because he's a bitch. His and cope. The RV just... No, his cope is I could be here doing running streams to make hundreds. Yeah. He's right? talking about doing streams where he's running, like he's doing a marathon and shit like this. Is he running from the January 6th committee? Is that what he's running from? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so... Everything's falling apart, right? And he stays home. So they're out doing the RV thing, which is failing miserably. And this is where we're at, back at the Yoba house. First of all, let's just look at the way he's sitting. Like, that's so good. It's just like he's giving up his ass, you know? I mean, there's a, there's a lot of things I like about this. Um, let me just break it down, okay? Uh, first off, bunk beds. Nice. <laughs> I like that we got we have bug beds. I also like that he spent that's probably a two thousand dollar couch, and then to go with it is a folding chair for three dollars. <laughs> it's a very nice fucking mix and match, very well put together. I like that the cats hate him so much they're as far away as possible on that couch. I like I like that he knows his stink from his fat body will ruin this white couch, so he has a specific so Yoba blanket under him. Yoba blanket. Right, because it's 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 not even the cats. They're not even worried about oh. cat hair. They're worried about baked Alaska juices ruining this couch because they got to return it because he has no money. Oh, <laughs> also, uh, the camera in the upper right hand corner, no, nothing. It's just barren. Look at this. There's like a refrigerator and some some shit, but no decorations. Nothing. Wait. All the money went to this one area. Okay, all right, Jim. Let me let, let me show you this. This is what it looks like now. You ready? It's always on, by the way. Uh, it's on what? Yoba. His life is now the Truman Show. Can you believe? Like, Fake has turned his life into the Truman. If you think, by the, by that the way, was did, crazy. did he um did he steal this table from his grandmother? Like, <laughs> like I'm looking at the decorations, and that really sticks out for some reason. Oh man! Let me share this tab to you. Let me share this tab to you. Uh, where is it? 
Okay, this one. No, let's see. All right, here we go. All right. <clears throat> so this is this is a live view of the. This is it right window. now. This is live. So as you see, <laughs> to increase his donos, we now four have four cameras instead of one. Four cameras. Because you need four different views of empty bunk beds. Because he has no friends. <laughs> So we need to see They're the all loneliness. Gone. Yeah. They all left. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. All right. All right. Let's. Go I do back. think now. I. 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 You like baked Alaska. Um. <laughs> does he live? Does he even live here? Does anybody live here at this point? Uh, Lowell's left. I think. Is it just a cat house? L does Lowell's is gone. Uh, Wooza, I think, still lives there. He does bakes laundry and chores in exchange for not having to pay rent. <laughs> in exchange for one of the bunks. <laughs> Yeah, he gets to sleep on one of the bunk beds. Uh, All right. And so, he gets, like, some pot, I think. Okay, so so we're going to head back to that could, video. Could, could you imagine being baked Alaska and trying to get pussy, and you bring her back to this place, and the first thing she sees walking in the door are empty bunk beds? Well, well, I oh got to tell God. you this. All right, so he was dating this girl called Cassie, and she's a pretty, like, she's pretty hot. I think she's hot, right? She's all right. And so they were dating for a while. Now, he goes to AFPAC 3 and comes back. And she moved out while he was gone with no message. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's seething on the couch with like 10 guys and, and girls around him talking about how oh much my she's God. a bitch. Because we predict that he, he had a few bills come in through the mail that showed how broke he actually was. So... So she had left. Uh, the the RV's done. He's thirty thousand in debt. This is what he says. I don't even want to go in this fucking RV anymore, dude. My fucking jaw hurts, dude. My mouth hurts. From sucking dick. I said a little bit of chaos is good. A little bit, not not Alice level, not Alice level. Just just a little bit. Why is he in that pose? Like, like he wants to be drawn. <laughs> like it's fucking Titanic. Yeah, no, no, that's exactly what we said, Jim. We said the same thing. Paint me, Jack. Paint right? Me. It's, it's, it's a very weird way. <laughs> me and Wooza were like fighting over the chef boy, and then I started eating the chef boy RD. That was funny. Like, oh, sorry, wait, can, that was the can, content. The chef boy RD. Can you can you focus? If I want you to, I, I, you can really tell his tits in this picture. Yeah, if you focus in there, look at it. It's like mounding out. That's a solid C cup right there. His oh, arm is pushing his titties out, and it's bro, nice and frontal. Bro, he had to fight a guy for a cold can of beefaroni. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he just said, man. It's like fucking bums on the street have more dignity than that, bro. They go to the fucking food kitchen, man. Like, you can each have a can of beefaroni, bro. Dude, the, the, the highlight of his life the night before was when Smiley went, we found the cans for a dollar. He goes, yeah! No, we have the, we have the clip. We'll play it we'll after play, this. We'll play it after this. Unless yeah. Ralph's gonna, like, we need Ralph to come on and the kill all pedos to render. Like, like yeah, yeah don't until worry. then, we were just gonna we have some stuff. Baker. Yeah, we have some stuff. We have some stuff. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't toxic. And if you've already seen this, we're gonna get Jim's take on it. So everyone, thank you for being here. And then remember to hit like. It was just a little bit, you know. I just really want the three thousand. Well, yeah, I'm fucking live taking a break this. right now. <laughs> is this what is this IRL live streaming now? Is just fat people sleeping on couches? Yes, yes, Jim. Even I could be an IRL streamer. A now. Andy, do you remember Asian Andy would go out with a fucking TTS speaker into like the middle of fucking uh, Harlem and shit, and it, it yes. was wild stuff. No, do you remember when I was with him with baked, and I had to like leave the restaurant because? Do you remember baked got scared doing that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did try to send Karen to Compton. Like, yeah, that was good. One, yeah. Dude, we were around like all these black people at I forgot what restaurant it was. It was like some burger joint, and the Kramer speech starts playing, and I had to leave the restaurant. I'm just like, <sighs> like it was bad, dude. Oh, and now it's this. This is it. it was it? It wasn't toxic, but it was. It was just a little bit, you know. This guy's now using the word toxic. Well, yeah. <laughs> Uh, they, he did like, this shit before. So when he first came on the scene, right, he was like, oh, free speech and end towers and all this shit and let's have fun. And then this chick showed up and he wanted to fuck her so bad. And she was like, I hate that stuff. It's toxic. So he started yelling at his chat, telling them not to use bad words and that, uh, you know, they need to be more respect. These are the people that are donating to him and he's shitting all over them. 
Uh, so I went off on him, and then um, yeah. after that, like, and then like he he's he's a snake. He he like sloughs away his skin. He'll be Buzzfeed one day, alt right the next day, uh, back to a major leftist. Now he's American first. Then he'll be Christian. It's whatever can try to make him money, whatever group he can fucking subvert. If you watch him recently, dude, like. He had like a, a prayer stream. Yeah, he does streams where he prays the rosary gin. He's and, not even Catholic. No, and then he sm I, and then smash cut to the next day. He's gambling, so he had no money. Okay, we, oh, we were, oh, oh, we're thinking of showing you this, but it's too long. But we watched the entire stream. He had like 500 bucks and gambles and wins like a thousand and then puts the thousand into one spin. Or until like one and like loses um, it all and loses a thousand dollars on one. He's like losing thousands of dollars. Online fucking slot machine. Show. And then someone donates like two hundred bucks. He puts it in, five minutes gone, and he's just like, oh. and Wu's is like, please, bait, stop. And, and in the meantime, remind you the context of this is he was begging for his legal fund in order to not go to jail. Meanwhile, he's gambling thousands away on live stream. Yeah, and I just gotta ask, like. Nick can't be ignorant to Bake's history. Like, why bring this guy on? Like, how does this assist subverting the GOP or getting Gosar to, you know, endorse you? If Gosar withdrew his endorsement this week, I just don't get it. Does anybody understand why this guy? Well, is I, I don't. Um, so I, I don't know what like Nick's doing with American First, but I, I think like the my guess what's going on with Cozy TV um, is he's just trying to get in enough traffic to sell it and make a profit, and then walk away from it yeah exactly. that's why you're gonna get like destiny's on there and he's gonna have yoba's on there oh look we've got the whole audience you can come say what you want and then he'll sell it for a million or two million to venture capitalists and then walk away all right so wow. I... that's, a, that's a pretty good take i actually think <clears throat> Akil kill all right. message me it's at 50 percent rendered so we'll be oh my it. god man well, all right well so... yeah, we're stuck here until it renders <laughs> Jim, so that you can have solid versus liquid gym gym <laughs> That'll be, uh, it's a little surreal. Dude, did you watch it the, is surreal. Uh, the Gunpocalypse trailer? Yeah, I liked it. Uh, dude, no, the newest one. Yeah, no, I've watched it. Uh, it's yeah, so I, funny. I, I, uh, I watched the Robo Gym stuff, yeah. Well, yeah. Ruff, did, Ruff got Jim, mad because of that. Yeah. No, he got pissed. But how does it feel like after you're gone, this guy's probably still going to make videos with your voice? Oh, about I thought whatever it was funny. event that I, is occurring. I thought it was funny when people did it with uh, Jordan Peterson. You remember when they had the AI program? Yes, had Jordan and, Peterson and reading? Joe Rogan and Jordan yeah, Peterson. Yeah. They've got yeah. yeah. It's man, the deep fake shit is gonna be crazy. This is such a uh, spoiled rich boy shit. That's what baked is. It's just spoiled rich boy shit. Like, I know. Give me money, and um, I'm not gonna do it. He's just sleeping on the couch alone because he's driven everyone away, and. Um, his parents, I'm guessing, have cut him off. They finally realized it was a money pit. I think so. I, hope. I think so. Yeah, I'm fucking Please. taking a break right now, dude. Like, I'm just telling people, like, I'm I'm in so much debt, and I've invested <laughs> like literally like ten. <laughs> so good. Ten k in this RV already, and look I'm at just, this like, guy, so... like this cholo beside him on the couch, just like smoking pot. <laughs> This, oh, did he just wander nice. in? Baked is so lonely, <laughs> yeah. he lets strangers in? It's like some random homeless cholo, man. Does he have, like, he a is. sign in the yard that says, please, I need friends? <laughs> Free drugs inside? Yo, we saw yesterday the, the four cam, one of his cams, was outside his house, filming the outside, like, the driveway. I'm like, why? It's, like, frustrated, and I'm just, like... Right. I'm not. I'm not trying to. Oh, hey, hey, uh, 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 minor, pose. My, minor update. Uh, your chat is saying that Ralph is back to shit talking. This time he's going after you, Andy. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. Fair enough. Okay. Is he, is he gonna like... come on though, or? I, I don't know. I don't know. I guess he's We're too scared. Like, I still don't have a DM from him. I doubt like, what it. The, what I the doubt fuck it. Rape it, Ralph. I doubt it. <laughs> Look from a business perspective, I can make a thousand dollars or more in a gaming stream. Mm. I don't not have true. to pay right. guys a thousand dollars on a it's gaming stream. It's not true. Stream. His gaming streams get 40 viewers. Yeah, no, like, I've seen, had... I seen I saw that he had like, yeah, 40, 50 people playing Elden Rings and he got nothing. Yeah, by the way, he was cheating in Elden Ring, of course, because I, I, I played Elden Ring <laughs> and he's so like bad. on the first dungeon, was. like one hit, like, like one hitting everything, and I'm like. It was way tougher there, so yeah. 
I don't have to pay. Uh, I don't have to be on the road. I don't. There's no wear and tear on my vehicle. I mean, the only thing is a small, small, small amount of wear and tear. On do my you computer. think? Um, do you think the drug addict sitting next to him is like he has no idea who this guy is or what he's talking about? But he's so stoned and heroined <laughs> out, he's like, whatever. He doesn't I'm just even relaxing. care, man. No. I mean, that's the thing. Like they just babble their bullshit politics at like just drunks and stoned fucking drug addicts, man. Like. <laughs> Let me tell you about the white race. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's going to last for years and years and years. And, that, yeah. and then my legal shit. And I'm just like, there's just so many fucking things that I'm just like, bro. I'm just like, I feel like at this point, I just want to like, you know, what if like a cup? what if you guys wanted to go and I just stay here or something and maybe come, maybe I bring my car and come chill for a couple of days or something. I don't know. You so know what like, if you like, guys do like all the work and I get all the money? Like, what if I just am like, you know, um, lazy and like, just don't do anything like, and hang out with my cats, like with heroin agents, uh, 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 like, and you know, and stuff. <laughs> Fucking riveting IRL streaming, bag. It's Amazing, riveting. Right? It's, it's like, imagine you like he streams this twenty four hours a day. There's not like this, not even watchable. This three minutes. So this is like the highlight. <laughs> it's the, the highlight. Yeah. This is the... Did did he is he in a time warp? Why is there a Trump fucking sign in his window? <laughs> well, this is like they, they they don't give up. Trump's gonna save us, don't you know, Jim? We just have to vote Trump again. I like how the Trump sign says Trump, and then underneath it, Trump, Trump. Like, Trump. It, one time wasn't what? enough. We had to have three no, Trumps. No, Jim, because it says 2020 there, so they've put Trump stickers <laughs> over 2020 to cope about it. Oh, fuck. Trump, Trump, any Trump, day Trump. Now, just, just two more weeks, boys. Just two more weeks, he's back. Why won't people let me do what I want to do? But hey, Ace yeah. people? No. Like, what does he want to do? No, no, so... He's saying he doesn't want to do the RV, and he's like, I want you guys to do it, and I'll shout you out. So his entire chat is going, no, fuck you. You got to be on the oh, RV. Daddy Jim, Daddy Jim, the name of the cats. You want to guess what the name of the cats are? Oh, well, let, me, let me. Okay. All right. The first one has to be Nick Fuentes, <laughs> and the second one has to be Donald Trump. <laughs> it's even crit, Jim. It's Sonic and Tails. Sonic and Tails. Okay, uh, okay, I'm really surprised. Well, no, I suppose he couldn't call one of the cats Nick Fuentes. That would probably cause issues. With it. <laughs> no, they, they, I would, uh, Jim, think of the optics, my brother. You can't. This is my cat, Nick Fuentes. He keeps trying to fuck the other male cat. <clears throat> oh, man. <laughs> the quotable line is, is, is coming up, Jim. Check this out. I'm just, I'm just sick of this shit, bro. It's like Here. I had a terrible time. Like, I'm, I'm still recovering from that fucking one day, bro. Okay, so he spent one day in an RV, ate cold beefaroni, and now he's recovering. Like, it's so That's tragic. I had to eat food out of a can, like you poor people do. <laughs> I know, right? It's like beyond fucking belief that he's eating beefaroni. What is that? I had to call his mom up. What is that, mom? Is that what the servants eat? Dude, he loved it. It was his favorite part of the day. And I'm broke, bro. I am, I'm like 20K in debt just in general. And then another like 10K in debt from the fucking RV. RV. So I have like 30K in fucking debt that I have to pay off. And it's like, I know they're saying like, oh, you'll make more money on the RV. It's like, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Like, I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I can be reacting to the RV, promoting the RV yeah, promoting from it. here. Yeah, yeah. And I, 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 I'm, I'm literally going to, I will show up, bro. Yeah. I promise. I promise you. Like, I will, like, show up in a city and, like, be there like Casey does or whatever. But I'm telling you, like, me, I guarantee me doing gaming streams, my running streams, yeah, like, kind of like, I'm overweight. I'm broke. I'm depressed. <laughs> like, <laughs> wasn't it worth it? Wasn't it worth it, dude, to go oh on this journey? Oh, my God. That's just fucking gold, man. I'm overweight. I'm broke. Press I'm the bro Yeah, it's just uh, end of the line. End of the line, Alaska. I, it just couldn't have happened to a bigger piece of shit. Like I'll be honest. Like, it, 
it warms my heart. I hope it's all true. I mean, the overweight part's true. The depressed part's probably true. I don't know if the broke part's true. He's never well, I mean, going to be truly he, broke. He just told me that his girlfriend literally fled the house when he wasn't looking, so I guess yeah. he's got a reason to be depressed. <laughs> yeah. Doing gaming streams, my running streams, like kind of like, I'm overweight, I'm broke, I'm depressed. Like, it's like me, like, me being having to like do fucking everything for Wooza and Smiley. And then he throws all his team under the bus yeah. who did everything by the way. Like <laughs> stressful, bro. Like I don't wanna I don't wanna be fucking play daddy for little boys, like uh fuck war and PPP. And if you <laughs> <laughs> like them, you're but also remember. A he doesn't think about us at all. Remember I, I looked. I, I looked away for a second to the chat, and it's already nighttime, and he's still in the same position. <laughs> it's yes. all, all the, the day he started, and he's back to the same position. Uh, fuck Worski and PPP, and if you like them, you're also a faggot nigger, and I don't want you around. <laughs> me, so fuck you. All right, thanks, Sarah. Fucking bait the last call. Oh, is uh, Ralph gonna come on this fucking car? Or, or really? Andy, is there I, any update on uh, uh, Rand? Oh shit! My bad. Because your chat is pissed. Oh okay. They want Rand. Yeah, a lot of them Andy. are asking for Rand, but right. I don't know. Uh, here, I'm gonna link uh, the guy. Sorry, guys. Let's... Wait, wait, oh, Andy. Actually, because uh, it's time to put another quarter in, do you want to start a new one and then invite? Perfect. Sounds like yes. Plan. All right. Perfect. Okay. All right. All right, we're going to have to end this. Right, I'm out. Sorry, everyone. Holy shit. My bad. Uh, return to screen. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. There we go. All right, we are back. Sorry, people. I, I'm going to message Gator. Can you send him that? All right. All right, we're going to get him on. Uh, let's see what happens here. I really, really doubt, by the way, that um, that Ralph's gonna hop on. To be honest with you, uh, switch account. Okay. All right. So I sent the invite to. Uh, there we go. Okay. Let me present this again. All right, so I sent um, Gator the the message to bring in Rand. So he should be hopping on in a second. Cool, cool. Uh, fuck, tonight's do been we, fucking do wild. Do we want to do the cold beefaroni one? Yeah, we'll just do that real quick, real real quick. Yeah, I want to watch. I want to watch him forced to eat fucking food from a can like a normal person. All uh, right, yeah. Uh, where beefaroni? There. It's called go. beefaroni. This is fucking fantastic. Here we go. It's been a flop the entire night, and this is what they got. I'm not gonna like. It's not gonna fall out. And you're growing What's out up? the mullet. Hey, announce, hey. announce. Hey. Wait, announce it on my stream. Anna hey, I'm announcing it. I'm growing out my mullet. Let's Woo! go. Okay. You heard it here first. Let's go. Well, a, heard it on the Wooza stream. Wooza, you Let's have go. a rude awakening coming for you, nigga. Because I've had my mouth wired shut this whole time through the wire, uh -huh. and now I'm starting to come out of my slumber. And I'm pissed! Why? Ah! Dude, stop. Ah! Dude, stop. Stop. Is this like okay. the is this like the fake play acting LARPing shit to try to make it exciting? Yes. Yes. Yeah. He was depressed yes. the entire time before this, yes. <clears throat> and now he has the beefaroni and he thinks uh you know pump it up a little bit. So he this is so out of touch. Oh, I'm so wild and outrageous like you zoomers. Look at me, I'm crazy. I'm gonna eat beefaroni. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, we have we have uh, someone knocking. Ren. Okay. 
Oh, but no, shows it's, his, uh, it's, there ben, it is. it's Ben Garrison. Ben! Mr. Garrison. He's probably setting up his mic right now on the settings there. <clears throat> the, Hello, that okay. or... Oh, there we go. There we go. Rand, no N words, please. I Look, I, I know. Look, no, it, no, I meant it, don't look, invite I... any in. That's what I meant. No, look. No, you, 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 you stress it. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, manage, you managed to stress this out so long. Just... Daddy went to sleep. Do you know how excited he was? Oh, you, you've truly, you've truly ruined well, Christmas wait for, a, for a growing boy. No, you can't. You can't wake Gator's ass, ass up. He, he actually has a real, real job in real life. Oh no, poor man. Uh, so anyway, he's doing all right. So. So what do you what do you reckon about my what do you reckon about my American tour? It was I'm, 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 I'm gonna go I'm gonna go punch out a hog and then I'm gonna <laughs> hang out with uh with with like people who actually want to hang out with me. I, so I, did he actually buy your plane ticket or? Yeah, no, the whole idea is that um, I'm given a plane ticket and I go directly to Ethan Ralph's mouth. Um, I insert my fist into it and uh, then I go get to go hang out with all the people who I've like met on the internet in America and we go and shoot some guns. That sounds fucking great. So, so yeah, go ahead. So Rand, like what happened tonight to make Ralph so pissed off? Like what did he do? Uh, well, what happened was something that would have actually, this is like the third iteration of it. Um, we, we had Gator on now. Uh, Gator's a, you know, we're, we're fellow co-hosts. Now I've had some ideas as to why, uh, you know, my name has not been mentioned in, um, you know, in the in the uh, explosion of um, of Ralph criticism, uh, especially seeing as like I left in November uh, when he when he joined up with Cozy TV because I said I'm not going to have my name associated with Nick Flinty's, uh, which, which is a movie made without consulting anybody. Um, that 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 left to Nick Flinty's leaving. Oh, but, oh, the, pfft, sorry, I, I'm about eight days. Eight, eight, I'm about it's eight, a, eight days no, right. into like the beer fields. Um, <laughs> that, that, um, that led to Gator leaving and um, and about everything else. Um, yeah, um, yeah, it was. Was what it was. Um, I, I expected like tonight to happen. I saw the thing. He he, like none none of what he put forward was um, anything original. It was stuff that had been out on Kiwi Farms for about a year and a half. And uh, what fucked him up was just saying like, uh, "Is that true? Is that me?" Yeah. <laughs> yep. So you don't know, are you do gonna you? fight him? Are you gonna fight him for real though? Are you, is it like set up? Like, is this? If he is actually going to um, give me give me an airplane ticket? Oh, he hasn't bought the ticket yet. I thought he bought it. He's gonna have to do it now. He, I'm, I'm not he has no sure money how you though. Do he that. has no money. He, he can't do it, dude. Well, that that might be one of those things. It, it might be like far be it from me to prognosticate that Ran, uh, Ralph is talking out of his ass. But um, I think he might be telling Fibos. There's no way. I'm telling you, there's no way. Like, he used May's fucking credit card to, to buy his hat mm. for the bowling event. That was $300. And she was like, why'd you spend $300 on the hat? Um, it's not happening. He made no money off the bowling event. He lost a ton of money. I thought he bought the ticket. Uh, well, 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 you know, like money is immaterial. Buying trophies for yourself is forever <laughs> yeah that's true i have to take a piss once i guess right rand back. uh i gotta ask uh did it feel good to just curb stomp his fat ass like that because you were dropping bombs on him for like five ten minutes well it felt good but it felt even better to hear it from uh jimbo um <laughs> to, to get that affirmation yeah. Uh, it well, I, I, when I, Daddy Jim affirms you doesn't i it? i enjoyed the shit out of it uh because you put him in a, a position where like uh, you left him speechless. Like he would get he get so mad and worked up, and then you you just lay into him, and he'd just like he'd short circuit. He couldn't fucking think of what to say. 
Well, it was a, it was a blast for me, and um, like for the longest time, like I thought that like the reason that like we we parted ways in December, and look, I know there's political stuff, and it's not it's not really your bag, Jim, because you know you, you, know, you do what you do on on the interbuts. Um, but um, you know, I, I parted ways with him on a political thing. I didn't. I absolutely refused to be associated with Nick Flanty's. Um, he signed himself up for AF, uh, and you know that was that. Well, what I said, okay, that's, that's, it, that's it. We'll we'll take a we'll take a separation from here, and of course, you know, like, yeah, the, the nudging, the nudging, and the niggling. Had to had to continue. Um, well, what did you think I mean, of him uh, making like it, not just the uh, like he he was seething to the point of like making strangling motions about how he wanted to kill you, but then talking about wanting to fuck your wife and all of that shit. Um, yeah, he, he comes across so unhinged. Well, you, you might find this. Um, you particularly might find this um, funny. Um, obviously, like. Oh. I, I talk to my wife about how my job is going and I, I've been like be, being a I, I have been a full time streamer um, since the start of 2001 and um, for the majority of that year um, I was I was a, a, as a co-host on the kill stream I, w I was working very closely with Ralph it it became increasingly difficult. Um, you don't say. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it reached a point where, you know, I, I heard all the shit he said about my wife. Uh, by the way, that that's not me, and that's not my wife in the picture. I mean, but um, but um, <laughs> my wife felt <laughs> sorry for him. She felt you know, pity I, for I, she. She felt pity for Ethan Ralph. I I knew you'd love this. Literally that. We'd we'd have we'd have dinner conversations about how things were going. She'd tell me about how her work was going. I'd tell her about how my work was going, and um, we we had conversations like, um, Ralph really seems to be a troubled person. So she was experiencing Gunter Freud. She had that kind of weird <laughs> sympathy for a pig. Yeah. Yeah. Look, really? Um, no, I actually told her about, like, one of his more recent lash-outs and how it included her. And she just looked at it and, and it was just like, oh, that's that guy you used to work with. Yeah. Like, that, that, <laughs> just complete dismissal. <laughs> so do you think there's uh, any chance uh if ralph puts the money for it if he uses his wife's credit card will you actually fly out there and fight him i will uh, i i will actually go out there and fight him now you realize he's going to immediately scream for the police to have you arrested the second you even come close to slapping him in his face well in that case he gave me a free flight to the u.s in which case like um you know, like there's there's a lot of people who want me to hang out and do stuff. Um, By the way, I mean, uh, look, uh, real fast. No, like not not uh, to wait, not wait, to brag wait, wait, wait. or anything, I, but I, I, I kill I, all I think pedals. At least five guys are like, oh, if you go to my farm, yeah, like yeah, if you if you want to like rip a hundred rounds out of like this um, semi-automatic rifle I have, uh, and I'm like, yeah, cool. So if Ralph dogs out, like if he pays me to go to the United States. I'm just going to go fucking tour the United States and I'm going to hang out with a whole bunch of Southern boys who just want to <clears> shoot guns and it's going to be fucking awesome. Make a trip out of it, yeah. Uh, Fuck it, right, why uh, not? Um, so we got to do the Kill All Pedos thing. Rand, do you have like a, a final statement on Ralph and shit like that? Because we want to start to fucking wrap the shit. And, and we have we have like the, the best oh, final finale. statement? And, look, at, yeah. look at, I mean, here's the thing, and like, it, it was something I, I said earlier today, like, Ralph seems to be under under the idea that I'm obsessed with him. I'm not. Um, I, I do a show, no, I do a political show, 
Um, that's aligned. Well, I think you know where it's aligned. And most of the time, right, Ralph doesn't doesn't come up. I mean, I was actually sort of uh, heavily advised, like, don't don't go and don't go and dive yourself in the internet drama. Yeah, um, and, and I actually tried to avoid it. I I literally said it to Ralph. I said, like, you said I've been obsessed with you. I've been ignoring you. And uh, I I really have. Um, but you know, it it continues to do outrageous thing after outrageous thing. Well, I just like to say, three sheets of the wind, late at night, you've absolutely curb stomped Ralph, and he's you made him beat his table up in rage. He got so fucking angry. So nicely done. Well, that, that was well. Thank you very much for that, but um, I can't take all the credit for it. Why not? Uh, the reason <clears throat> the reason Ralph was paying attention to my stream was because um, we had Gator on, and this is actually the third time I've had Gator on. We we sort of uh, put together a thing. We have Gator on once a month to talk about internet drama. Because most of the time we try not to, and and fail, um, because um, we have to, of course, have to, you know, pay attention to what the audience wants. So someone sends in a super chat for five bucks, saying, "Look at this." We have to look at this for at least five minutes. But um, but for the most part, we're ignoring Ralph. But we we have Gator on, and Gator, well, Gator has the inside goss. And um, I always got along with Gator. I would say that I get along with Gator to this day. The only reason Gator's not not on here at the moment is because um, about 20 minutes ago, Gator had to go to sleep. See? Yeah, that's right. You spun it out too long. Uh, you spun it out well, too long. Now, now, now we you spun it out too long, and we, we didn't get Gator, and we got Rand kind of you know, on the verge of passing out. We did get mm. blessed with Rand I, I see your vote there. Beer. I see your vote there. Yeah, more the drunk, vote. Ralph more drunk. Rand. I'm going to so vote for myself. Yeah, so far winner. you're winning. You're at 57% yeah. to 43. <laughs> it's fucking close between you two. I want to see, this is what I want to see. I want to see you guys fly out and have a drinking competition. And the first well, one to puke well, I think, or I think pass we're just going to beat each other up. I just want to see you two fucking drink until one of you no. dies. Well, maybe say what we do is we get you guys to each drink a 40 ounce bottle of whiskey, which probably isn't that hard for you to. And then we we'll just, just get you him? to beat the fuck out of each other. Well, I, I just want I to guess. hit him. Yeah. Just go, just go kick his ass, Rand. Do all, do Australia proud. Uh, we respect I mean, you. He, love... He's so confident. He's so confident that he'd win. But like, um, all right. Like, I I don't know how much of that stuff you saw. I mean, you saw some of it. I I saw you play some of it. But um, yeah. he, here's the call, and I think Jim might appreciate this. Are you still with us? Yeah. All right. So I I went and looked up the um, and it's called the BFA, but um, uh, basic uh, basic phys uh, physical assessment. Right. This is after this is after Ralph declared that he was going to walk two miles. Right. Well, two two miles happens to be two point four kilometers, uh, which is which is part of the basic physical assessment for the Australian Army, and so I went and looked this up, and um, Ralph said he will get fit to spite you all. That's quite the dire threat. I know, right? And, and and so I set the lowest bar. So this is uh, uh, this is the um, this is what I'm issuing to Ralph as a challenge. It is um, the lowest requirement in the Australian Army. It is for okay. sixty year old women. Okay. Th this is this is what I this is what I expect Ralph to meet. Um, by the end of this year, three military style push ups, 15 military style sit ups, and to do the two kilometer walk, not the run, not the run, there is a difference. The, the two kilometer walk in 26 minutes. And uh, he has eight minutes, he has eight months 
to meet that requirement. Right. Can right, Ralph got... do three push-ups, 15 sit-ups, and 26-minute walk? <clears throat> he if can. he does so, All if right, he Randall. does so, yes. if he does so, he has <laughs> met, met the, the minimum military requirements of 55 to 60 that, of women... <laughs> Of I women fucking hate you. You did this to army. me, Jim, you fucking bastard. And I know you're getting off on this, and you knew this would happen, you fucking bastard. This Irish fucking cunt, man. Uh, you know? You, chat I know, wins. Man. That's a... Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah you chat, chat wins. You know, that's, you, chat is always wrong, Jim. And you fucking know that. And you're go, oh, well, chat's right. You know, chat knows. Chat doesn't know shit, man. Fuck you, Jim, you bastard, using the will of chat to rape this show. Oh, the show. We got Rand, Rand on your way out. out. Hey, Rand on your way out. You want to drop any end bombs for no! a <laughs> Rand, <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Rand, Rand, do not. Rand, of a bitch, right. Rand, you right. fucker. All right. All right. There we Thanks, go. Jim. You... All right. Wow. Riveting content there. Guys, this now. It's riveting. Hopefully we didn't lose too many people because we got a brand new kill all pedals. This is being exclusively shown here. Uh, let me go uh, and share that to you boys. All right, here we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what just happened there? All right. Well, uh, an Irishman trick. <laughs> Fucking leprechaun with his pot of gold at the end of the fucking. Well, rainbow. what were you expecting? Aussies and Irish have uh, a common. Well, I just knew, drinking. like I just knew you, motherfucker. I knew it. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. All right, here we go. You ready, guys? Let's do this. This is called the rape retort, by the way. <laughs> so, all right. Okay. Here is me. <laughs> this trash fire continue? How does Ralph continually walk into one disaster after another? Like this dude has destroyed himself. Ralph can't get any lower than this, right? Just when I think Ralph has done spiraling downwards, I get proven wrong. Ralph just keeps rolling on down. I'm never betting against our boy again. Well, for those unaware, recently, some information on our our boy came to light <laughs> but it appears that our rage pig well i don't think he's just the rage pig i think he's actually a rape pig <laughs> not uh, content with becoming a laughing stock on the internet this piece of shit has to take it to the next fucking level <laughs> he's reached it he started raping <laughs> bitches and shit He's evolved into the next stage. Rape it, Ralph. <laughs> Rape it, Ralph. He's like a Dragon Ball Z villain, for Christ's sake. This isn't even his final form. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so where to start our story with the rape pig? Uh, I guess I, I have to give you a background. Everybody else has covered this. I'm kind of waiting to see what the fallout is, but I'll give you a, 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 a little a little summary. <laughs> now, Ralph is in a relationship, but he's still fucking around behind her back, trying to cheat on his pregnant horse-faced girlfriend with a girl named Alice. And failing at it. <laughs> Alice, who's an IP2 streamer, showed up um, on the Kino Casino and had a conversation with Andy Worski and PPP, uh, where she made some allegations that uh, Ralph, uh, I don't know if you'd say sexually assaulted her, molested her, I don't know how you describe it. I'm going to say he jacked off in her mouth. Uh, while she was passed out. <laughs> Try to understand what this creepy fuck is up to. Ralph thinks that this chick's a slut. And he's thinking in his head right now, she fucked baked Alaska. So she's definitely going to fuck me. He's kind of a big deal, guys. Host of the award-winning podcast, The Kill Stream. 
top in the sector. <laughs> he is equal to, if not more important, than all the guys she fucked. And now it's the Ralph of Males turn to claim the spoils of internet stardom. As you can imagine, things didn't go according to plan. Uh, Alice ain't gonna touch him. She has standards, all right? And he's, he's begging at this point. He really doesn't know how to close it. Yeah, she fucked baked, but she doesn't want to fuck you, Ralph, you ugly son of a bitch. God. So she basically says, hey, I like total scumbags. Yeah, I like fucking around with filthy, disgusting pieces of fucking shit. Oh, with you? No thanks. No, not interested. Even if you fucking pay me. Not even after spending 2,000 fucking dollar dues. Oh, that is brutal as fuck. Oh! She, she torched that motherfucker. She burned Richmond to the ground. What are you gonna do, Southern boy? You gonna take that? You gonna let her do it? Wow. Like if we, if I wanted to go like further <laughs> in my relationship with him, and I, I was like, I was still drinking. I was like, if I drink this, I'm gonna black out. And he's like, drink it. You know, pause and this. so I drank one more shot. I just want to say one thing. With Kill All Pedals, like Jim's never gonna make another edited video ever again. He's just gonna <laughs> wait for this piece of shit to do it. <laughs> That's what he's, you, know, you fucker. You don't like he's the so Silent awesome. Hill theme? This is right. Oh, this is a nice touch. No, he's, yeah, no, he's no, but at this point, he's better than you. It's fucked, It's perfection. Bro. Beautiful, it dude. And everyone, go sub to kill all panels, eh? Go sub. And he was asking me I love it. to like give him head or whatever. Oh no. And I remember just being really fucked up. Like really fucking drunk and being like I don't think that's a good idea like I I don't want to do this like it's not a good idea I don't want to go God it makes it so much I darker I love it I don't want to it's like, like it's like scary kind of right you know? it's, it's like so good. evil it's like she's a very like a real victim <laughs> no. it's like, like a the, we'd be watching this in a yes. documentary yeah. Yes. yeah yeah I can't do this He's like, Jim can't swim the first part before the interrogation. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I, and that's the last thing I remember seeing until I blacked out. And, and so the next morning I wake up and I'm on my couch. Um, I'm still in my clothes from the night before. So I'm freaking the fuck out because I'm like, where's my phone? Where's my stuff? Like, Ralph just fucking throws me out back into my room without, like, into my house without my phone and everything. So I go on my computer. I'm like, Ralph, where the fuck is my phone? Answer me. What the fuck? He doesn't answer me for the entire fucking day. And then I finally get an answer from him. And he's like, oh yeah, your phone is in my car. I'm sorry. So he comes back, drops off my phone, and I ask him, I'm like, did I suck your dick? And he's like, yes. Whoa! And I'm like, <laughs> my, my, <laughs> whoa. my, whoa. I couldn't tell if that was the real Andy or the fucking fake Andy. <laughs> it's happened a couple times with Jim's laughing, too. I don't know if it's from the video or from this. Yeah, yeah. I guess Ralph is dancing on his stream. Amazing. This is really fucked up. I told him I was gonna black out. I told him I didn't want to do anything. And yet the next day he tells me that he did. Or that we did. You are trying to start any drama or whatever. You just like, <laughs> saying, like uh, your truth. You want to speak out and you know, tell people. Or, or, or like, uh, yeah, that, so you're not trolling or anything, right? He fucking took advantage of me and it was fucked up. I fucking said no. 
Incident currently available on the internet. I could be wrong. I mean, maybe he recorded it. That's a possibility. After all, this is the same guy who pled guilty and got a conviction for revenge porn. But at the moment, there are no videos. If you were to go to search for this, you're not going to find it. Don't worry, though. My friends and I got together at the lab, and we we worked hard to create a a real-life forensic reconstruction of what actually happened with Ralph oh my God. and his fateful encounter with Alex. Oh, no. You know what? Oh. Let's let's take the lead. <laughs> oh, no. Let's go take a look. This is going to be good. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm the Ralph of Mouth, bitch. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a drink. Ralph. Wait. wait this oh, is... no. This is ruthless, bro. This is fucking... I don't know. Thanos, <laughs> what are you setting us up with here, buddy? Is the, can we show this? Is this legal to show? Holy shit. You have if to play this. Just... Oh my god. I'm gonna black out. Who cares? It's past your bedtime or what? <laughs> just, I think that's a good idea. Like, I, I can't do this. I don't give a shit. I don't want to do this. Like, it's not a good idea. I don't want to go this far with you. I don't want to do this. I don't no. want to. No. I want you to suck my dick, you dirty slut, because that's the type of shit you like. I fucking can't. I, I don't give a shit. I'm the Ralph of the Mail, bitch. I do what I want. <laughs> I have so thousands sad. of dollars in the bank. So, yeah, I'm going to get my dick sucked. Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, drink, drink right now. Ralph, she said no. Just leave her alone. Save her, Jim. Holy <laughs> shit, that's awesome. Ooh. That was so good. That was so good, man. It goes on. <laughs> now, wait a minute, Ralph. Bitch. Ralph, no. Oh, no. Get ready to fucking shut this down, whore. No, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Hey, Ghost, you see the enemy? Ralph, no, what are you doing? Oh my fucking god. Oh, Ralph, 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 Ralph. Oh shit, I'm coming. You sick fuck. <laughs> what the fuck were you thinking? Okay, the Kino is really kicking in now. The Ace Attorney shit. What in the fuck? <laughs> JF is fucking really good. <laughs> Just. <clears throat> what in the fuck were you thinking? That is career ending. Ralph, you could have maybe walked away. Could have just spent 200 bucks and gone to the back pages. Got a local hooker. Much easier. For a fat fucking piece of shit like you. But Ethan Ralph wouldn't leave her alone. He didn't want to do that. Fuck no. Our boy wasn't taking no for an answer. Because he thinks he can get away with it. He's thinking to himself, who's gonna believe you? Huh? You stupid, junky bitch. Fucking no one. Because I'm the best in the sector. And you're just an IP2 streamer thought? So there you go, chat. Did Ethan Ralph sexually assault Alice? 
I don't even think that. That I think that's more. It's beyond rumor and speculation into the probably category. That's probably what happened. No, I don't believe all women, but I do believe the actual evidence. And as far as the recent allegations that Alice is making, I do believe she's telling the truth because she backed it up with evidence. Also very interesting that he's had nothing to say about it. Just mums the word, don't want to talk about it. Need to keep quiet, don't want to bring more heat on us. We have no reason to trust you, Ralph. So where's your fucking receipts? You don't have any receipts for that? There's no screen screen gaps? You didn't screen record shit? And you want us to believe, to take your word for it. You need to believe Ethan Ralph when it comes to tales about sexual assault. You're out of your fucking mind. You lie about literally fucking everything. Why the fuck should we trust you? I mean, you can say what you want about Alice, but she has receipts. DMs and private messages, screen caps, pictures, and more. We're talking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pages. <laughs> and they all corroborate pretty much everything she said. That's more than what can be said for Ralph. The verdict. Ethan Ralph is a rapist. That's right. Rapist. Fuck Ethan Ralph. He's a bad, bad, bad man. <laughs> Doing all this simp shit. That's not what this slut respects. Do you understand? Some women are made to be treated like whores. Most of them. As a matter of fact, this is just a, a standard operating procedure. That's what a dirty whore like that wants you to do to her. Because she's a dirty whore. Ralph, I look forward to you continually imploding. But, you know, if you do the crime, got to do the time. And that's just the way it is. In for a penny, in for a pound, right? Ralph, Mr. God's plan. And I think you are in for a pound. Let's fucking go. That was uh, <laughs> fucking incredible. Very well done. Holy shit. That was really well done. I, 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 I have to give that one an 11 out of 10. That was fucking <laughs> above and beyond. <clears throat> it really Dude. was. That that last speech too was like incredible and it was like emotional kind of <laughs> like Chad. Okay. Just well, like a Japanese uh, anime. Oh Ralph. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> the rape recreation is fucking amazing. The silent was, music. Oh. It was beyond and then the Phoenix ride at in the guilty. Yeah. Oh, so it, good. It, it, and then the bat, I was taking a sip of my water, but he's in the jail and the fucking black man. It's going down. Down. I nearly fucking spewed it, man. I was like, holy shit. Holy, holy shit. fuck. Everyone goes sub to kill all pedos. Uh, uh, he does great work. He's working on the gun apocalypse. It's gonna be like a like a massive like over an hour and a half or something. He's shit. gonna he's gonna be working on that shit for years. Ralph keeps just fucking stumbling, man. <laughs> Poor fucker. It's just more and more and more. But you know, it just saves Jim from doing it. I guess. You know? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's yeah. Just a lazy fucker. Now you have somebody to actually make the videos for you. We're fucked. Yo, There's never gonna dude, be another one. Dude, well, but then I'll have then I'll have the time to come on your stream and invite Rand on, so it works out for you. Oh, right? yeah, I'm sure you'll be back, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure, yeah, yeah. And yeah. and single boot for a hundred dollars. Let's Black go. Say LMAO, man. Thank you, single boot. That was amazing. And anonymous for twenty saying hashtag kill all pedals. Earn this one. Thank you so much. You kill all panels. Everyone goes sub to him. His gun apocalypse, by the way, like he's working on that, but it's going to take so long. But this one, he messaged me in the morning and he was still working on it. He's like, I'm going to try my best to get this out. And he well, worked. It all, it, yeah, it all worked out because Ralph spurred out for hours tonight. Yeah. Yes. 
It, it this, worked. Well, this 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 segment was supposed to be uh, the bottom of like the first hour. Well, that's what I love Ooh. about Ralph. Like Ralph is such a fuck up. If he didn't spurg out tonight, this wouldn't have been ready to play, and it wouldn't have shown on stream. But because he can't help himself, now everybody got to watch that. Me magic. Like it's literally it is, me it magic. Is, it is me magic. Oh, uh, that's crazy. Look, I think we owe it to them to finish the beefaroni because we did start it. Uh, okay. Probably. Uh, Jimmy, you down for that? You want to finish it with us, or sure? Yeah. All, All right. right. Let's finish that. I know that was the natural conclusion was the kill all pedos video, but because we started the beefaroni, I think it, it, it's only four minutes. It's, it's a short yeah. one. Uh, no, it's fine. All right, all right, all right. Sounds good. Good times, everyone. Appreciate Hope it. You... We've been here nearly five hours now. Yeah. Uh, I, I said, remember, at the beginning of the stream, we'll go four, five, six hours. Yeah, dude. What a fucking episode 14 of Chino Casino. Like, it's fucking legendary. Everybody in your chat's doing 07s and saying justice for Alice. <laughs> Ralph's not looking good for you, buddy. Oh, my God. Like, oh, that was so good, dude. I was like... What? Because Gil Pedos is like, don't worry, you won't get sued. Like that was his like. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Fuck, that's funny. That's funny. Stop. All right, all right. So we have uh, we're back to baked eating the beefaroni. We'll smash through this one, and then we're gonna, then me and uh, Ashton have to stick around and read some super chats for. We read some super chats. It's gonna be oh, a long. Enjoy time. that. Oh yeah, you guys are gonna be oh. up for two hours of that shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be a long. Well, that's dude. what you, normally that's what you have to do. You read them all at the end. Yeah. I usually just have Andy read them for me. You know. You have to help me on that, bro. My voice. It, it's hoarse. a suey, isn't it? Doing that suey noise really fucks your throat up. Doesn't yeah. It? Yeah. Dude. Oh, dude, I shouldn't have done it to be honest. All right. Well, so. The voice that fucks me up is doing like the emperor. I will join the dox. That voice is fucking brutal, man. I I moderated an entire debate one time in that fucking voice, and I was fucking shoot like. Well, you read up. all of Pansu's uh, DMs <laughs> in that voice. Oh man, that voice is fucked. It'll fuck you up. <clears throat> all right. All right. Ah. Let's do the beefaroni. We didn't. Snap we're not going to get oh, any of the Nick clips, any of the Beardson clips, but we, you've all seen them before. You know. Uh, oh, I have to uh, reshare that. Hang, hang on. Let me just go to. Uh, all right. Here we go. Share this one. All right. Here we go. Beefaroni. Uh, last we left off, baked was having. Um, he was faking it. He's faking <laughs> hype to get money. 100%. By the way, Jim, uh, they made $9 this entire stream and drove to Miami. Yeah, bro. It was fucking br in an RV, man. They were like down 300 bucks on the day at least. <laughs> yeah. So this is where uh, everything had broken down, and here's where we're at. Ah. Oh, my gosh. Snap out of it. I'm pissed. You better watch it. Snap like, out of like, it. What's going on in here? <laughs> I leave the RV for two minutes. They're killing each other. <laughs> can you oh, can you shit, pause it for a second, Andy? Yeah. It's like listening to Boy Scouts. Like they're you know they're like uh, oh we're being so naughty. We're ten minutes up past our bedtime. The Scout leader's gonna catch us. Oh wow. <laughs> it, is, it is. It is. Man, they're like, like the fucking most like clean cut Boy Scouts that he's got on this degenerate adventure with him, right? Because he doesn't want them it. destroying his investment of this shitty RV. He's like, I've got to sell this fucking crap cake later. Well, before this clip, uh, they had walked outside and realized their entire RV was spilling oil. So the whole parking lot yes. is just full of oil from the RV dude, like, all over the place. So now they're eating this pepperoni, hoping to get a few donos. Here we go. Let's see if they get any. <laughs> How am I supposed to eat this shit? The Italian way, cold right out of the can. Mm. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> ah! The Italian way. Yeah. The real Groiper diet. Now, wait, Jim, do you remember when he had like 4,000 watching oh, him yeah. and Sammy going through? <laughs> like, he had like his. We also had, we had 1318 also in the clip folder. Oh, but, uh, that, that dream uh, of uh, us watching that all together. Yeah. We'll have to wait. Yeah. Forever, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we got a cozy 
midnight Chef Boyardee feast. I like how he's given up on, on even streaming. He's legitimately hungry, so he's just gulleting it down without a fucking care yeah. in the world. He <laughs> loves it. He <laughs> loves it. <laughs> he's, he, he's trying to, like, add entertainment value by eating it like this. Like, like, this is what the content is now. This is it. It's no wonder you only stream once a month. Like, holy <laughs> fuck, I have to do once a week or twice a week. Twice a week, yeah. Soon. I'm fucked, bro. This is the content now. <laughs> Like, you fuck, I'm back good. in the day. It's actually, there was real content in 2018. Do you think Do you think that uh, bouncer that he maced watches this and laughs? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. The bouncer has to be watching. Oh, shit. Well, the guy claiming to be the bouncer DM'd me, but I didn't believe him. So I, I don't know. Maybe it, I'll ask him. if You ask for, like, a for pic him. with, like, a picture. You know, he, yeah. he wrote something or something. Yeah, that'd be fucking Fine, awesome. Sam. Yeah. Kids. And those were cheap too. You got like 30 of those cans. Fuck yeah, brother! Yeah. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah! So, Jim, his biggest victory in a year or like six months has been getting beefaroni for a dollar a can. <laughs> so, at this, at this point, his credit cards are maxed out, his bank account is empty. And he's got be uh, like a crate of beefaroni cans, yeah, in a parking lot flooded with oil and a generator that doesn't work on his RV in Miami. Fantastic! It's so good, dude. That's a whole meal right there in one can. Oh. Now, now you're probably thinking, okay, baked cherry and the beefaroni, right, Jim? Oh, no. is that all for him? Nobody gets any of that. Well, the guys get, get something else. Uh, they don't get, get the beefaroni. They don't get, get the high class stuff. Let's see what Wooza and Smiley get. Does he get nah, cat nah. food? Uh, what? <laughs> What's this? Our meal. All right. I might have to take Wooza up on this shit. Huh. Oh my god. How much for these? Like a dollar? Yeah. yeah sure. Really? Yeah. Bro, this is bomb. No, yeah. it's it's better cold. <laughs> Why like the fuck are you this shit up? <laughs> the cold, bro. It's better cold, man. <laughs> cold. I just never fucking get over it, man. And Jeez, he's he's the leader cold, of this, man. right? Like, like he's the prime entertainer for the whole RV trip. Yoba yeah. RV, yeah. It's the, the, Yoba. R the RV lasted one day with Yoba on it in three days total, I believe. So we did, they, did he just abandon it? Is there like a Walmart parking lot with a it broken was, RV? It was sold for scrap for one thousand, and he had spent ten grand buying it, and then another fifteen hundred fixing it. Well, so in total, idiot. he was out ten thousand five hundred dollars on the RV. And everyone plus quit. the gas, plus the food cost, like he was, he got fucking hosed. Yeah, because in total, Ono was like. Fuck, man. These these guys were, like, not even making three bucks an hour. You know? <laughs> like, like motherfucking like, people in Bangladesh get paid better than the people on this RV. Well, they all they all abandoned it one by one. If it was Smiley and then Wooza, there's a clip of Wooza going, fuck this, I quit. And he just walks out of the RV, like, leaving it with a bunch of Mexicans at some, oh. like, random place. Yeah, it's like cold pizza. Better, That's dude. good stuff. See, you're a smart guy. You got, uh, you know, the budget meals here right out of the can. Uh, so who is this? Yeah. So he's part this is of Smiley. Smiley. So this is Smiley the Fed, which is a strange name to go by. But this kid is like his parents have given him like a trust fund. He's like a trust fund kid. And they gave him a credit card and they were like, yeah, just go to Bake's house. Uh, after three days, his parents called him and were like, you got to come home. Like, this is fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he is pulled home by his parents. <laughs> yeah. That's how we did it on Van 1. Van 1. Yeah, he has, he has the white bread in the bag, the great value. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the freaking... The great value bologna <laughs> or whatever. No, uh, no, no meat. We're making mustard sandwiches. All right, so yes, you heard that right, Jim. Mustard everyone, sandwiches? <laughs> everyone else gets to eat white bread with no toaster, mu with mustard. Cold mustard sandwich on Wonder Bread, bro. 
<laughs> bro that's fucking beyond that's how are fun. they gonna i mean like what was their what were they envisioning on sustaining themselves they can't even afford gas it for nine dollars in donations like how are they gonna do anything else they were trapped in a parking lot for days and nobody had a credit <laughs> nobody had a credit card to get either like a rent a car or a fucking hotel there was a woman on this rv named karen uh, who was the only one with a credit card, and she just abandoned them there. <laughs> and then, like, Wooza Rage quit the RV, like, because he was, like, they kept pressing him to actually make content, and he couldn't do shit. At one point, they were calling him General Yoba. <laughs> they were all saying General Yoba. General Yoba, what are my orders, General Yoba? And Yoba ordered them to go film a dead body, like, because there was a <laughs> shooting in the area. And they disobeyed his orders, and then the whole RV was felted because they didn't film the dead body. It was uh... the arc is is so fucking nuts, dude. Like there was no arc, bro. It never got off the ground. <laughs> like it was fucking. It was just kept like an arc downward, I guess. Fuck. Mustard oh sandwiches. Yeah, he literally. When you when you picture a mustard sandwich, you think of like maybe some cheese and some meat on it. Nah, this Wait, nigga, just this thing is hardcore. Yeah, it was just two pieces of white bread with a giant oh, three. pool three. of mustard in between. Three, three pieces of white. He had a tri what? triple decker mustard sandwich. What the? When fuck? have you seen that? No way. Triple decker. Are you kidding me? Yeah, but I shouldn't have spent four dollars on the mustard. That was a mistake. Yeah, he could have gotten the mustard. So now they're discussing the. The economics of mustard. <laughs> yeah, the Bro, but you gotta question if you can afford the four dollar mustard. Man. I like how I Banks just... has to fake being interested in this. Like it's exciting that they're talking about eating poverty food, and he's like running around the RV trying to be energetic, but he's only got cold beef for only the funeral <laughs> or fuel him. <laughs> <laughs> no cocaine no, this no, time, Bake. No, I'm sorry. I like how, I, I like how you fucked up and said funeral because it really is, you know? Like, it What's really is. Funeral for this guy's career until the next resurrection. When is this guy going to be buried in a grave finally? Like, Do you think Smiley told his parents I'm going to be an internet star and they finally looked it up and they're like, yeah. oh, God. I think that's what happened. They're like, son, what's this internet stuff you're doing? Oh, let me show you. They're they, like, thought it, what? They, they thought it was going to be PewDiePie, and instead they got some fat guy <laughs> eating beefaroni. Yeah, yeah. By the way, yeah. they had like what was it like ten viewers, and six of them was us, like Squire, yeah. me, you, fucking first sip. For free at Wendy's, but he recouped that money because the Chef Boy RD cans were only like a dollar a piece. Uh, yeah. This is how you have to survive in Joe well, Biden's. And sometimes America. you got to be fair. It's Joe Biden's is fault. It is it Joe Biden's fault? Really? Joe Biden's fault? Well, it's, or... those, it's those Democrats are keeping these boys down. And <laughs> left... Let them eat more mustard. You thought Gamergate was bad, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the stream just went down. Oh. We just By the way, so their, <laughs> their laptop broke and the ring light broke at the same time. Oh, oh no! Uh... The only way to see I what's going on is the, the Wooza stream. Well, only the Wooza stream. Oh, uh, I feel like I'm, at, <laughs> I'm like at a funeral right now. Are, are they are they driving right now or is it parked? I hear like car noises. I, it's parked. Okay. <laughs> at one point, the door fucking starts falling off the RV while they're driving. <laughs> while they're while driving. they're driving, and Wooza has to hold it shut the whole time. From Miami <laughs> back to Tampa, you know. Fantastic. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna promote your stream in, in the chat though. Dude, no, the stream just died, the, dude. The yeah. stream. What do you mean? Wait, I'm talking like, about someone that it. just died, bro. Laughing, eating Jeff Boyer, and shit. Yeah, and then someone dies. No, the stream just the RV stream just died, bro. Dude. Psychotic. It's so sad. Bro. That's the 24/7 RV cam. It just yeah. shut down forever. Yeah. Not well. Hopefully not forever. Well, not until forever, the next one. But, hey, I guys, guys, I want you to confirm. Me and Psychotic had to make an exact executive decision we made the right choice you want to know why we have no rv cam so it's like we can't make it without an rv cam no. people got to see what's going on God, can you a smiley is he got a learning disability yeah because he's Man. like we can't make it with an rv cam we, 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 we don't know what's going you really, on you really almost have to you almost should see at some way i probably you might have actually probably seen it watching the show i don't know but he fucking puts on a confederate flag as a cape and goes into the gas station talking about general yoba 
And then he gets <laughs> pressed he by He starts try he starts trying to press the police. Like he like goes up to the police no. and he's like, Will you let me search you for drugs? And he's like wearing the Confederate flag cape. And it's a and Filipino goes, native guy. It's a Filipino yeah, native like, this almost kills him. gangster starts pressing him in the parking lot. And like the guy like I think he only let him live because he was like, This guy is probably disabled. Like I don't know why he's talking to me like this. It's pure pity. Yeah. <laughs> it was fucking brutal, man. They gotta get the inside scoop. I'm sad. But we spent nine hundred fifty dollars, so it could fucking work. They ju- we, we talked about this too. But look at Smiley's pants. He's got oh, a smi- he's, Smiley's packing. He's, he's, that's what I said, man. He's got like, a giant cock. Holy he's, shit, this boy. He's hung. Did you see him trying to hide they got it? fucking Dirk Diggler on the trip with him? <laughs> the why, Irish don't have that, man. That's why. That's why he's called Smiley, by the way, because he has a big cock. You know. Dude, that's why he's they always did, smiling. They, they Jews at us. Yep. What a fucking bunch of tards. Oh, they got to have them in the back. <laughs> What the fuck? Just, he's got to readjust to let the boy breathe a little. <laughs> Like, look at that fucking thing. It's not really his cock. Like, it cannot really be his penis. Ashton said, that's actually a, ca- a can of beefaroni he stole. <laughs> <laughs> so he can eat it later. He stuffed it away for later. He's, he's tired of eating the mustard sandwiches on the poverty RV. <laughs> Holy oh. fuck, man. Do you think right. this is the one guy that uh, Bake never introduces to his girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. He's like, no, I can't let you meet Smiley. He's he's problematic. Don't ask. Oh, oh, don't ask. Don't ask. Don't tell. Don't, don't ask. ask about heck I. We don't know. We don't need to meet him. <laughs> smiley. Oh shit. Maybe his ex girlfriend that fled the house did meet Smiley. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why she fucking up and laughed. She's like, oh. <laughs> you can see the full, the full shape of his cock. There's go like, go say like boys. Because there's no way. He's got to be hard there, right? But what's <laughs> making him hard? <laughs> like, what is it on the RV that he's, got him hard? He's, he's loving life. <laughs> like, he's so happy to be in the service of General Yoba. <laughs> Holy fuck. Holy fuck, man. man. Yeah, but they told us that thing would work. How does it not work? I know they're good guys. I don't think they scammed us. <laughs> <laughs> You can tell. You can tell he's trying to like cover it, but he can't like figure out an angle. To block. He's like crazy. Like just well, think of grandma. Crazy. Just think of grandma. Naked he's he's wearing like little girl shorts, so it's making it even worse. He wore the smallest shorts possible with the biggest dick, so it's just really. <laughs> How many DMs do you think Smiley got from the E-Girls? Well, I mean, none of them saw it. But if they did, you know. From our I show. Did. From our oh, show. He, he'd, be yes. the number one, he'd be the number one streamer on Cozy if somebody had watched this. <laughs> but they scammed. Not intentionally, but we definitely got scammed. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely got scammed. I got you, Worley. We're heading back. Oh my god. Is that Worley? Yeah. Alright, that's the... That's it. I I feel like, okay, I'm a pretty good judge of talent here. Uh, Smiley, if you ever hear this clip, you need to go into porn. Because you could be making so much money. Why are you on a fucking RV with these losers when you've got a donkey cock in your fucking shirt? (laughs) Okay, you're 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 in shape. You're young, and you have a, a penis that it looks like it's two or three feet long. Go into pornography and blow these guys out of the water. <laughs> I can't even believe that man. It, it, it tops the beef. The beefaroni is topped by Smiley's cock. You know? No, it really like the beefaroni part sucks. Really, it's when you get to Smiley's ginormous long, you're like, what the. Uh, I, you know, I almost think that it was intentional sabotage. I think these dudes all got glances at his dick, and they're like, this trip is over. Because they're like, they what knew the there's no competition, and they're not getting well, any is, pussy. So this is the thing. Like, whenever they actually did real IRL on the, like, they went out and tried to talk to girls. At a bar. All the girls were into Smiley. No and shit. <laughs> they, they felt the big dick energy, but Baked would sabotage him. 
and he would like set up cock blocking maneuvers against Smiley every the whole night. Time. The whole it's night. Jealous as shit. It was so funny, man. It's like, gotta be. It's gotta be crushing. Bakes getting fatter and older, and here comes Smiley, young and spry, and just twenty years old, with a dick that needs a wheelbarrow to be moved, <laughs> <laughs> and all the chicks want Smiley's cock. They look call at, me Smiley because I leave him with a smile. That's what his fucking tag and porn should be. Look at look at Bake's face. He knows. He, he saw knows it. He, he saw stared it. at it. <laughs> he stared directly at the fucking uh, beefaroni can in his pants. He's like, fuck. Oh, oh my god. god. Woos is oh. just confused. He doesn't understand how they get that thing. He's, just up. <laughs> He's staring in the what? distance. Was... He just wishes. So fucking faked, man. What are you gonna do? He he's felt in. Oh. Uh, well, Jim. Well, Daddy Jim, one final. Did you know that dating women is gay? Is dating women gay? Okay, well, we... Nick Fuentes. <laughs> Can we show you one more clip? Sure. All right. All right. Okay. Here we go. Where is it? Where is it? It's like it's called dating women is gay. Is that, is that, uh... Just just look for it between the thirty eight murder threats. <laughs> yeah, it's like hold on, where is this fucking shit? Oh, it's like and just uh, ignore the text file uh, PPP put in there that says don't invite uh, Randbot on. You can just <laughs> yeah, no, I was fucking so pissed when you were like, we're like, oh, but chat's demanding it. I'm like, you fucking. <laughs> And I can't even say, oh, fuck. I can't find it. Where is this fucking shit? Hold on. I'll find it. Hold on. Where is this fucking shit? Who's, uh, uh, walk to, uh... No, it's called Liking Women is Gay. Oh, Liking Women is Gay. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. I see, like, Brad Palumbo, that gay pedophile from... What does he write for now? I don't remember. But that guy who's friends with Cassie Dillon... He goes on Twitter and he's like, I'm gay and I've had more sex with women than Nick Fuentes. And it's like, is this what the conservative movement has become? Is that what conservatism is about? I'm gay, but I'm still I'm still more heterosexually degenerate than Nick. Like, is that the battle cry? That's the that's the slogan for Republicans, I guess, in 2021. It's all gay people, but they're still having more promiscuous sex with women than the Groypers. Like yeah, that's about right. That's fitting. Oh, wait, it also goes to show that. Yeah. Prom- uh, is that even true? Because now technically Ralph is a groiper and he fucks hookers nonstop <laughs> and cheats on his wife all the time. I, right? I mean, he's he's really having to be the heavy hitter I, I, for. The I mean, if we're talking about like... promiscuous sex, yeah, and, and baked, uh, apparently, is, you know, masturbating with his legs in the air while women eat noodles and cry. Like, what are we ta- What do we mean promiscuous exactly here? <laughs> It gets so much fucking crazier, dude. Promiscuity is gay. It also goes to show that being romantic with women and having friends that are women is gay, and being promiscuous with women is gay also. Do you think so. he saw the smiley clip? Is that what he <laughs> Yes, yes, he saw the smiley clip. He's like, shit. Has, has this, has Smiley single-handedly destroyed the egos of every male in America first with this massive cock? Right after that oh, clip. Oh, shit. Nicole is about to end. No. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, oh, oh, Can oh. we put one one more quarter? Uh, no, I'm going to call it a night because you guys have three hours of Super Chats. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Jim, thank you so much for coming on, man. It was nice talking to you. And the end. All right, there we go. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, I'm looking forward to an entertaining evening of, uh, dumper pumping. <laughs> the dumper pumping. It's time. When you hear it's some time. of these stories, bro, you're gonna go, what? Like, I was losing my mind last night. Uh, it's gonna be really fucking good. Uh, Jaden, oh, I'm, I'm time, excited. Yeah. I'm excited for what this We're is gonna be like. Excited. Yo, and Nick is not, is not focused right now on his debate, unfortunately. Oh, wait, here we go. We have Jaden. Is Jayden. it Jaden Gang? Jaden Gang. Hey, guys. Yo, oh, what's up? Hold hey, on. Jayden. Hold on. How do how do I? Why is my those are cat ears? Sorry, I'm not a. Wait, wait for it. Maybe. No, you're good. I yeah, I, I think it was yeah. This thing's a little bit weird, but. 
Hold up, sorry. Oh, this is a very uh, okay. There we go. What's up? There we hey, go. Man. What's going hey, on, Jaden? Welcome. Well, all right. Yes, it does. Oh yeah. Right, Welcome okay. everyone. Welcome, Jaden. Oh sevens in chat. Get for Jaden gang for life. How you doing? Yo, Jayden? five thousand viewers. If we were on cozy, you'd have you'd be breaking ten. <laughs> Yeah, like 20, 30, yeah, literally. If we literally. were on cozy, uh, they wouldn't ever let us surpass the Catboy Fuhrer, though, Jaden. Let's yeah, get real, dude. Yeah. They put the hard cap, the glass ceiling on. Oh, fuck, brother. You feeling good tonight? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Feeling great. You ready you know, to get got... Jaden? Yeah, I was just about to say that. You know, I'm, I'm taking a real risk to, to be on here. I'm, I'm going to lose 100K according to Nick. So, whoa, he's, yeah, he's not happy. Uh, yeah, he's not, not at all. But yo, he's been taking shots at you nonstop, right? He keeps uh, missing the fact that he's been doing what, what six, seven streams about you. After yeah, you so split two up. Telegram posts, two Telegram posts of me resigning, totally, you know, cordial. I would say not, not aggressive at all. And uh, here we are, uh, a week later, seven streams. He's been on seven streams about <laughs> me. So there, there you have it. Oh, really oh shit. you look so free Jaden. it looks like you know yeah like... you know here i am i just moved into this new apartment so i i don't have really the best setup in the world but we're we're getting we're getting there you know it's uh it's good i'm feeling good i really am it's, is uh... all the furniture at your new place uh normal people size <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, you know yeah, you can, yeah, I'm, it's not like am... hobbit furniture you can yeah. sit down comfortably like a human <laughs> i am i am normal size believe it or not you know i i may have surrounded <laughs> myself but that was just like a confidence boost thing you know uh surrounding that's right. myself you just like we're mogging these manlets the lollipop guild beards and all this. <laughs> Jayden, were you the only member that was above six foot tall uh i believe so <laughs> well no J well jake oh. Oh, jake left mm, yeah i think so, so. All the i think so what, what would you estimate the average height of the average groiper is now that you've left Jaden? is it like um are we saying like groiper big like groiper generals or uh like yes average? groiper generals the um, leadership the cream yes. of the crop yeah, yeah probably probably like five seven oh okay. yeah yo, yo how tall is beardson for real uh I don't know. I, cool. Probably like uh, I don't know. I don't see the he's thing. Four about is, he's four nine. He's four nine, right? He's, he, he's wa he wants five, to be. He wants to be. Either. Yeah, he wants to be nice. You got to ask him in a more. Yeah, subtle I, way. I, I'm being nice because Beardson <laughs> has only attacked me behind the scenes, and he's postured himself publicly as an ally. Like, oh, I love Jaden, but he's. I, I've seen all the messages oh, where he's oh, already no. oh. the, the Beardson well, streams incoming, well, so I don't really feel have, all that bad making fun of. I have him another face, face check on what Nick is looking like right now, bros. Are there tears in? <laughs> oh, it looks like there's almost tears in his eyes, Jim. Like it's, it's amazing. Salsa's pouring out right now, and the fucking he's buckets like, full. He's like pulling on his cheek, and his eyes are oh, dead, bro. It's oh like a thousand God. cat boy cock stare. Why? He's about to make a hundred grand off. Are you house. able to present this to everybody? Yeah, yeah. Let me present it one second. Oh, let me open it over here. Uh, I haven't really used this system too uh, much, but. Oh, here Daddy. comes his porn collection. This is going to be great, yeah. guys. Uh, screen cap this. Yeah. <laughs> this is... There it is, folks. <laughs> like, look at him. Ah. He's like pitching himself. What the fuck is that? Yeah. Ah. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Like, that's bad. Like, that look at like his despair. left eye. That's like, that despair. is despair. Oh, uh, Jaden, what have you done? This was your best friend for life, brother. I mean, he says that, but he hasn't been acting like too uh, great of a friend, if we're, if we're being honest. Well, he, I mean, he I, talked shit for an entire week. I an mean, entire non -stop, week for non -stop. two non -stop. Telegram posts. And I, I texted him. I said, you know, um, I'm, I'm out, but hopefully we can still be cordial. You know, thanks for all you've done for me. Um, the, it goes all the way back. He's not only been talking about me for a week, but he's just been straight up lying. And hopefully we can get into that. That's really the whole point of me coming yeah. on here. Cause I wasn't like planning to come on here initially, but as the week progressed, you know, he he's threatening me. He's uh, doxing my biggest donor. He's threatening to dox other people through his little proxy of minions. He's uh, I, I can't really defend myself on anyone else's stream you know people are like why don't you go on beardson's well i've seen the screenshots there he's not really an ally well, you, no you, one's... you speak your truth here king no well, i appreciate that i appreciate <laughs> yes, that yeah, i'm here to i'm here to speak my truth so 
but yeah, I, did, I, well, yeah. I did want to ask one question because the height question really does get to me and i know he doesn't want to specifically tell us how tall beardson is because that'll make him throw himself off a bridge how many like how much money would you say you spent on icy hot to soothe your neck from looking down when you're around <laughs> like just a general dollar amount well tiger that's... ball maybe yeah yeah i mean Dude, I don't know, man. I, I'm I'm not used to the. All I need to get out of my. I need to get out of my. I'm not used to attacking these guys because they've been my friends for so long. I, I know. I'm just a little light. A little light. Let's, well, let's, I get it. I get let's, it. Let's warm it's, him up. We have to warm it up. We have to warm it up. Sure, sure. Jaden, you seem like a somewhat like chill relaxed like almost normal guy which like is you know like myself that way. so how did you end up in the catboy cult in the first place Jaden? like explain you know your relationship to nick and how you first started off and everything like that just for people who might not know sure yeah so uh for those of you who don't know i was involved with like campus politics way back when i was a chapter president of my um turning point of turning point usa at kansas state um I, within six months, had the largest chapter in the Midwest. Charlie Kirk was talking to me. I was getting invited to Mar-a-Lago. I had a pretty cozy deal in uh, in Con Inc. basically lined up. Um, within six months to a year of, of just doing campus politics. And uh, at CPAC, met Nick. Um, and that's CPAC 2019. Sorry for the, the timelines all over. But... Uh, CPAC 2019, met Nick, and uh, from there, I started watching his show, I got red-pilled, and I was willing to throw away everything because I, I, you know, I thought that this, it is a lot of the stuff, the truth, the the right thing, you know, Christian, right-wing, like that's, those are things that I am, and I wanted to push these policies um, and make a difference, and initially, I thought Nick was doing that, 2019, I thought he was doing that, I helped with the Groyper War, he even will admit that he admitted it on the sweat that I was a pivotal role in that behind the scenes and pushing that and making that a thing. Um, and, you know, I was willing to sacrifice everything for America first for this movement. Um, and I was really there, as you guys know, like I was there for everything. I was the yeah. right hand guy. Um, and that's why it's kind of, um, upsetting not really but it's just i guess laughable it's really laughable that he's he claims you know he's so he's so giving so generous he's done everything for me and it's like he's helped me but i've obviously done a lot for this guy as well and to say well we'll get into that but it's honestly it sounds like you know you went all in on this movement i mean you have a wikipedia page now saying you're a white nationalist you're on like the splc watch list Right. You've sacrificed a lot for this movement, including a really cushy gig with Charlie Kirk. You'd probably be even more financially well off than you are now if you had went in that direction, but you sacrificed all that for the movement. So where did it start to go wrong, Jaden? Why have you ended up, you know, leaving Nick? What's what was the main in, impetuous behind you leaving? Sure. So there's a I, I don't know which you prefer to go into first, but there's obviously two branches to this and and it's like a lot of personal issues and like dealing with him as a character because he's a fucking tool bag but also um just dealing with him in like a professional setting and seeing the kind of shit that he gets up to and that america first is doing and i kind of got to the point where i just was like i want nothing to do with this and it's been months it's been months is there any separation though between that? Because it seems like not really. It, it, it's kind of sloppy. Like the personal yeah. and business seems to be yeah. so intertwined. I mean, know? look at the last week. Look at the last right. week. This guy's been spurging out, and you know, I have all of his claims listed just because I wanted to hit all of them eventually. But uh, to say, first of all, if anyone thinks that this is about a girl, maybe he's convinced himself that. But <laughs> that's like retarded. That's like fucking retarded. Everyone's like, why would you throw your life away, Jaden? You were doing so well for yourself with super chats and stuff why would you do that for pussy and it's like i that's not the case at all you fucking retard and everyone has been watching me for years these groypers have been watching me for years to think that like that's my character i it's it, it really just goes to show how deep nick uh has brainwashed these young men and i was one of them obviously and what did um what did nick mean on telegram when he said that uh she texted me first is that what yeah, this I, is all about 
I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. I think he's taking. He's he's trying to insinuate uh, that he has talked to her. Or something. Do you think it was like uh, preemptive damage control? He knew you were going to come on here to talk about some stuff that might be embarrassing, so he's trying to offload it and say, "Oh, it's it's about a chick, guys. Don't pay attention." It's no, one hundred percent. But that's the thing that honestly confuses me is I, I it doesn't really make any sense to me, and I I tried to leave amicably. I, I let him know, you know. Well, I don't want to turn this into a big thing. I put my statement out publicly for a multitude of reasons, which you know I could get into now or get into later. Um, but uh, I put the statement out just to just you know I'm breaking free. I wasn't gonna attack the guy. I was just gonna do my own thing, still stream on the side, try to do something professionally, um, figure out my life. But uh, he had, and if if he would have just been like, hey, you know, thanks, whatever, the first statement, that's fine. But that's not how Nick is. He has to always be on top. He's the dominant one. You all submit to me. I'm the I'm I'm Stalin. Is You're the, my bitch. Is, and, is that your confession? You were the bottom, Jake. In the relationship? Uh, that, uh, yeah, that's, we'll were get you into the that as well. No, see, I knew that would come up. Where, uh, where did, believe it we or not, not, we have not. to. So the contention here is uh that I was talking to women. I don't know if you guys have been uh, like this is insane. That's like, been okay, a like, thing. Jay, for... I just want to ask, like, what sure. sort of political movement is based around like you can't have pussy, you can't have a girlfriend? Like, well, not a right wing. Like this when you first joined, <laughs> not or a right wing explode? Christian one that uh, wants <laughs> wants young men to have families. Well, that's funny because everyone keeps saying Jaden got a girlfriend and this is what happened. And it's like the the truth of the matter is. I have had a girlfriend or have talked to girls since I got involved in this. I had a college girlfriend for years that was in this thing. I was talking to people throughout. Like, this is not a new thing. So people, I obviously, I like to keep my personal shit off the internet, believe it or not. And I've been, my hand's kind of been forced here, sadly. Um, but this isn't like a new phenomenon of me talking to women. It's always been a weird issue with Nick for some reason. Um, and is we've gone the, back and forth on the incel the, thing. The only one that believes in that, because I mean, I know Beardson was married. I know Dalton sure. uh, is in a relationship. Uh, Bake seems to date a lot of women. You said you had a college girlfriend. It seems sure. like, um, you know, all the Groyper generals are all getting their dicks wet, and Nick's the only one they're talking about monkey love. So it seems kind of like a weird disconnect. Well, it, it it is odd. I don't know if it's. I think it's honestly because I was as close as I was like in proximity to him that it was such a big deal. Cause I mean, you guys already know that we were living, he was living in his building, whatever. I was living in the basement apartment, which I can explain. You were on the bottom. No, this, uh. this whole, <laughs> the whole thing is fucked up. Cause I, he put out the whole apartment thing yesterday. Now we're off on a tangent, but, um, I feel like, like I kind of I, I should I feel like I should explain that. We have a yeah, lot of time, dude. We have all night. Yeah, we have all night. Sure. So, Jaden, sure. do you want to explain how you came to live with Nick? Yeah, what that, the yeah, that, was that's a good and... way. That I think that's a good yes. place to start. So basically, um, I just put out the George Floyd tweet, whatever, stupid. Um, and I was getting a lot of pressure from school. COVID was going on, so I'm not at school. Um, and I was getting kicked out of school. And Nick's like. You know, you don't really, you aren't really doing anything. You're streaming. Um, why don't you come out to Chicago? Um, I bought a building. You can live in the basement. Uh, it's a, the basement apartment. It's its own unit. Okay. So we didn't see each other. People were like, oh, you guys are interacting every day. I haven't seen this guy, but a handful of times for like six months. Mm -hmm. um, so he said, you know, you can live in the basement. You can stream there, not pay rent. And you can produce my show through OBS, whatever, super easy job. And uh, I'll pay you on top of that. So you'll have a salary plus your streaming thing and you don't have to pay rent. Pretty good gig. Um, I'm like, yeah, sure. Of course. So, you know, while I'm figuring out what I want to do professionally, I'm 20 years old, whatever that works for me. Um, so leave my family, leave the GF, leave uh, all the things I had going on in Kansas, whatever, and drive out to Chicago. Um, was this your first time away from home? Like, was this your first time out on your own doing your own um, thing? I mean, I was in college. I was in like dorms and stuff. But, that but you was were close. If were you, you yeah, were close I was. I was within a few yeah. hours. Yeah, a couple of hours. So he um, separates you out in a new city, yeah. puts you in the basement, oh. tells you he's gonna take care of you. <laughs> Correct. It sounds a bit like financially. A this is financially. Financially. It grooming. With a job, nothing sus. So yeah. what happened? Did he ever pay you, Jay? Yeah. So that's the thing is, 
with all of that, I uh, every single month it was a it was a thing because I was like, "Yo, when are you gonna move in to your new apartment so we can build the studio? You're doing your show there, and then I can produce it." Because he was still doing the show from his mom's house, um, and he's like, "Next month, next month for ten months, all the way up until of like October of the next year." Because I I moved in. November of 2020, October 2021 is when he finally moves in. He finally moves in, I believe, around that time. And um, give it or take a month. And that's when he told me basically that uh, actually it was a month afterwards that, yeah, actually I don't need you to uh, produce the show for me. Um, I'm just going to do the green screen again, whatever. And uh, initially when he pitched it, he was like talking about doing a co-host thing. He was talking about doing the Tim Pool thing. Um and that's whatever. It is what it is. Like, I'm not that salty that, oh, the job didn't happen. But when he's sitting there like, he lived rent-free in my building. And Jayden, I- it, it sounds like he tricked you into being a house sitter until he could move to his fucking new place. <laughs> I mean, honestly. Pretty much. He just You're like on-site you security. You're yeah, on-site pretty much. Yeah. security. Yeah. Yeah. Just to be clear, Jaden, he never paid you for anything that you did there. He gave ever. me $1,000 to film the 17-day road trip. Uh, the white boy summer. So, so right? 17 right. days on Correct. the road. Correct. $1,000. Correct. Less than what? $100 a day. What the did fuck? He, did he cover the hotels? Because this. Uh, yeah, he, like, he, did, he covered the hotels. Okay. He did, he, did he cover I didn't, he didn't, the meals? No, no, not the meals. Whoa. So, like, Just the hotels. Is he got and, a uh, meal stipend. And the gas. For seven, and that's all you were paid. Days. That's, all that's all you were all paid. paid. That's Ever, all I was paid like the, whole the whole time. Ever. Yeah. What Isn't all? he a millionaire, Jaden? Uh, yes. Oh. And he my. can only pay his supposed best friend. Well, I mean, you'll hear his this. His right hand oh. man in the movement, $1,000. You'll hear this over later. Over all those I, years. You'll hear it later. It's, it's, I'm not like that. I wasn't really that worried. I wasn't necessarily doing it for the, the money. I, cause I had the streaming thing going on and that was, you know, what I was making my living off of. So, this was just like helping the movement. I saw myself as being a part of the movement. So I didn't really care that much about if I was making but, money doing that stuff. But I want to ask Go you, uh, you were the treasurer of America yeah. first, right? Correct. So what did that entail? And were you not paid for that? Um, well, so initially when he pitched that to me, it was before I moved to Chicago and he's like, I just need two basically docs people. Cause it's all public records. Um, of people that people that can be on the board essentially you're not going to have to do anything uh, so me and Michelle were on the board Michelle Malkin and uh, he told me you know you don't have to do anything whatever when I moved out there uh, because I wasn't doing anything with the show it was always constantly like you're living here for free you're not helping with anything and I was always like willing to help I, I wanted I tried to book his college tour and you know he was very like Yes, you do it. No, you don't do it off and on there. He, I, I was trying to help with a few other projects. Um, he never once told me, you know, I want you to do this. And like, I didn't do it. That was never the case. But with the treasure um, position, it was him and his assistant that dealt with all the money. And uh, it was basically like I was just. So they was just, gave you papers to sign. Um, they did. There wasn't too many. Like, I will say that uh, I was basic. Like, I'm not a. I know I sound like a retard. Patsy? I'm not a, a patsy. You sound a little bit like a yeah, patsy. Yeah. Here's the paper like, sign it. I was Ooh. obviously reading through did you, stuff. Did you read like any of it or you read Yeah, no, I did. I did read through it. Um, it wasn't like anything super sketch or anything that I saw. It was basically just I was signing off um, for the registrations to raise money in certain states. It wasn't anything like crazy. So not a big deal. Um, do, do you know if Michelle yeah. Malkin, um, was she heavily involved or was this really just, no, just it, it, two people and that's it. And yeah, me and the assistant are going to handle it. Yeah. It was basically just Nick handling everything, him and his assistant. I was basically hands off. And that's really why I came out with the resignation to begin with is because, uh, I wasn't really, I didn't have anything to do with it. I saw some, uh, so I heard some things way later that I had no idea was going on inside the organization that like dropped in a couple of hit pieces. I didn't even know about that stuff. Um, and I'm like, yeah, I want nothing to do with this. Obviously Nick's like insane. Um, and he has all my information. 
Uh, and I just wanted to step away. I just wanted to put it out there publicly. Like I have nothing to do with this because I don't know what the fuck's going on behind the scenes there. Nick didn't tell me a lot of things that were yeah. going on behind the scenes while using my name. He obviously has like all my information, like all of my information. Um, and one of your concerns about this is that you're being threatened with your social security number being released. Yeah. I mean that, uh, yeah, I was, I was hinting at that. Yeah. It's so he has yeah. my social security number and other stuff like that. And I just want, I don't know what he gets up to with his, with his, the finances oh. of this foundation, but I wanted to basically Are you concerned at all, Jaden, with the legality of any of this? Like, are you concerned it might come back on you? Um, I mean, not super concerned, but also I know how Nick operates. I don't know how much <laughs> I want to get into it because he is like threatening. Well, can you, can you give us an idea of? The, how he operates stuff, but, when you say you, you know how he well you, when you say i know how he operates so that does make me a little concerned can you give like a general idea of like what yeah you mean? i mean that's kind of the whole reason i'm i'm leaving i'm all over the place with the timeline i had it yeah, you're good. You're good. You're good. Fine. Fine. You're good. You're good, um, yeah i was i mean one of the reasons i left is because he anyone so he claims that it's not a cult well actually he claims it is a cult but everyone that says it's a cult he kind of laughs at you cringe but I don't know if you guys have noticed anyone that has any sort of uh, clout, high profile character within this organization, you can't really leave. You're kind of stuck in it. And uh, Jake Lloyd obviously walked away, said nothing. He's ruined. Um, there's myself. I put out one statement, two Telegram posts, by the way, seven streams about me and like all these personal things that aren't even true. Um, and then in the one case that this is what really woke me up and we're going to hear from one of them later um yes there's a guy there's an employee named simon who nick has known uh since 29 2017 like back to charlottesville basically like and he's worked for nick he's done his merch designs he's done his video stuff he's done all kinds of stuff for this guy on basically no salary um and it's like a full-time job and he saw what was going on behind the scenes as well and I, I kind of want to get into that eventually. Let's go into yep. the well. Let's sure. go into the Simon stuff sure. because sure. I think this was really compelling. So you said this guy worked for eight months for Nick. Nick paid him minimum wage to do all of that's this. That's what like, Simon uh, said. He'll, he'll highly confirm that, stuff. but that's what he's told and, me. Yeah. And then for four months, Simon didn't get paid at all. That's what he his, told his, me. Yeah. His story. And Correct. now when he asked Nick for the money, Nick said he was going to go after him legally, right? Uh, well, it wasn't so much asking for the money. It was the fact that um, Nick talks about on the sweat. He says in November, there's a falling out. So he ta he keeps talking about girl, girl, girl. I didn't start talking to or dating any girl going on dates for two months after November. So just here's the timeline. In November, there was the New York rally. Total disaster behind the scenes. Total shit show. We were there for nine days, supposed to be doing all this content. Nick's throwing a bitch fit, as he usually does. And he, all the interns are fed up with him. I'm fed up with him. Everybody behind the scenes was sick of this guy. And it just like, uh, and we can get into details if you'd mm -hmm. like. But long story short, after November, I was, after that rally, me personally was like, fuck this guy, basically, well, on a Jay, personal tell level. Tell us about but what Simon, to wear to the rally, just quick. What did he want to wear to that rally? Yeah, yeah I mean, he, you mentioned York. it. You mentioned it before. He wanted to do like the Donda face covering thing, <laughs> where he wears like a black mask. And I'm like, yeah, probably not the best idea for trying to appeal to like a uh, six year old Trump supporter wearing <laughs> a black mask and black Doc Martin. I don't know, but not important. Not important. What the... It is to me. It, it is, is to me. Too. me. <laughs> what is important about Can the you imagine thing? like you want you want to like meet up with all these old grannies and you dress up as Donda? Like yeah, the... you go out there. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. No, but the fact that you have to give him that reality check. Like, yeah, I mean, you're you not have there to tell anymore. Him constantly, like. I don't know, dude, you know, you have the cult following thing going on. I mean, the numbers are fake and botted, but you have like a thousand, two thousand core following wait, there. Wait, hang on. I want to ask you. Okay. So I, I hinted we are all I, over the place. No, I know. I hinted at this on Twitter though. So on the back end of cozy, tell everyone what Nick has access to. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, it was the multiplier. Just, no, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, the views <laughs> for this show is fake. Like everyone knows that. Oh! Not surprising. Um, he's, yeah, the, the movement's been dying for a while. And, you know, I've been, 
you know, everyone's going to say, oh, Jaden, jump ship. This is like the worst time for me to jump ship on anything. And I've been with this guy through like January 6th, him getting subpoenaed by the feds, everybody leaving him. I've like, I've been there. I've stuck around and uh, to you say, a skater. Yeah. 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 I mean, I guess yeah, you're his I, I'm not a Ralph, basically. I'm not a Ralph head, but I, I mean, sure. We're, we're yeah. going to let Jaden get back onto the Simon track there. But I just want to pull up on screen. I just sent it to you. This is the Don Damask. Okay. This is what he wanted to wear okay. to the Vax rally. This is fucking insane. It's worse than I thought. It's oh. like a gimp mask, man. What the it's fuck? It's like some God. shit like a sex slave would wear, bro. Here, here let me share it for, for everyone in this call. J Jaden, did he have like a lot of ideas like this? Was he like, yeah, you know, I, like mean, I want to wear costumes? And... Yes, it was It was like, no. I, I told them yesterday, he had an idea. He really does think he's Kanye West. It's One day he's Stalin, the next day he's Kanye. He was telling so, me that he was going to get T.R. Sarter to design him shoes and he was going to sell America for shoes. Why would and, he wear uh, this? Like he's Kanye. And... So I, I'm an old boomer. Okay. Sure. So um, sure. is this guy robbing a gas station? What the fuck am I? <laughs> it's, it's, it's the Kanye so is, you, you go out it's... to meet grandmas and little kids and hey, Correct. hey, everybody, uh, give me your fucking wallet. <laughs> yes. First. Yeah. Instead of wearing that, he just wore the, you know, the cucks, like surgeon mask, the blue mask and all around remember, the city. He, he, wore the, this... he wore the lifts, Jaden. He had the lift boots. I mean, he wears the big, the Doc Martens. But, he tries to get the big one. Wait, yeah, man, I, okay, I want to say it, it's a bit um, off off topic on the Sam thing, but I want to bring this up real quick. So when you lived with him, right, he was hype about showing you a certain television show. Can we you, are all over. Can you, like, can you, can you, we will be here for hours. Can you, we will be here for hours. Let's go into the, like, actual meat and potatoes. Wait, wait, is, wait like, no, please, this is the please, meat and this is, but this, this stuff's is, dude, funny, please, but it's like, us, there's bro, things in you that are, like, damning. Please tell us about the TV show. Okay, okay, and then, and then we're going to talk about him, promise. like, okay. threatening to dox people and yeah. go to the feds with information. Yeah, because like, I want to hear that stuff. damning yeah, yeah. stuff. But yeah. Here, here um, this, go. What? Yeah, Nick, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a, he binge-watched Euphoria, and he tried to get me to watch it. And I'm like, <laughs> dude, like, with the first episode, there's, like, a uh, fucking dick right there. I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm out. And he's like, dude, it's a good show. And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Went back downstairs. Didn't watch it, and he's like, so he called Dude, you upstairs I've been to the litter the box whole... to watch you for you. Yeah. What'd you say? I, I said he called you upstairs to the litter box to watch you for you with him. Yeah, as I a mean, big he tried, he tried, but uh, you know, unlike Trey Politics or UX Royper, I never really, uh, I never really participated. I never oh, participated. No means no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, it... it was like the turning point groomer thing. I was like, why is this black? No, I'm just playing, but. There, I didn't. I never picked up on any of like that stuff. Is it a story about like trannies, like black? Yeah, trannies? it's a trans show. Like, <laughs> yeah, and they showed like the feminine penis and everything. This was Nick's favorite. I mean, show I've never was. watched it, but I've that's... never even heard of it. He binged yeah. it. It was like an HBO or Showtime or whatever the fuck it was. It's a tranny <sighs> show. That's his favorite show. I mean, he was a big <laughs> fan of that. He would watch like the. There's another one called. They talked about like the college, the sex life of college girls or something. I don't know. You guys can look it up. But regardless, like this it. isn't the point of this. I'm here because I no, like no, let's, this let's stuff. Bring it, is funny. Let's bring it back let's, to the, sure, the, the interesting sure, the stuff. things that yeah. actually matter. Uh, so, um, so can I just sum it sum it sure, up? So, um, sure. You move out there. You're you're working yep. at the place. Um, you're sure. underpaid. Um, he has you sign up as the um the treasury or whatever. You give your personal information. Uh, it seems like other employees are kind of going through a similar thing where they're not getting paid a lot or information that Nick kind of has access to. So I mean, is there is there a feeling that when you're when you're working with him, like if you step out of line or if somebody walks away in an, uh, a non bowing manner, uh, that he's going to just unload and shit's going to get leaked yeah. on you? Yeah, and that's what I'm getting to because he sure. actually – this so Simon who is – he's like a year older than me, wife, two kids, like the, just born um, children. He wanted to walk away essentially because Nick's uh, – he's, he's a faggot. You know, he, you're dealing with him behind the scenes, and you think he's awful to the public eye. He sucks behind – like he's even worse um, behind closed doors or whatever. Um, so he sucks. He wants to step away. Half the interns, half the interns, the the heads of the political intern team, like everyone that basically did everything politically for this guy in the year 2021, um, maintained the Gosar thing. 
um, was helping with made App Act Two what it was. The everyone wanted out. Assistant Groiper, myself, and I didn't talk like me and Assistant Groiper, me and the interns, me and Simon. None of us really were that close. Um, we had a working relationship. We'd see each other um, at like events and stuff. But Nick would do the whole thing where like. You know, Simon said that I should fire you, Jaden. And, uh, you know, you're on the outs. And then he'd pull the same thing with Simon and say, you know, Jaden says that you're a you're a loser. So we never really got along. Was this and, fracturing by design, do you think? Was it the uh, was this like organization designed in such a way where Nick kept everybody so separate that you couldn't commiserate with fellow employees, right, or interns to understand, I mean, like, oh, I'm not the only one going through it? Yeah, definitely to a certain degree, because uh Obviously, if you if you talk about him, there's always the fear of, oh, if you if I talk to Simon, he might run to Nick, and then my head's on the chopping block. Um, so definitely to a certain degree. But my point is, I didn't even really talk to these people outside of the events and stuff. And I went down to Florida with a fellow friend, or with a with a fellow Groiper friend, whatever. Um, like a month after New York, I hadn't been talking to Nick, hadn't talked to him in like a month, because uh, I was fucking fed up with him. He had got, just gone to Texas to do the Elijah Schaefer thing. I went down to Florida for a week with another buddy. And uh, when we were down there, we met up with Simon. And uh, he told me about the interns quitting and himself and how he was, like, fucking done with Nick, basically. And I was like, I had no idea that that was going on. And we felt the same way. And when I got back from that trip, uh, Nick was going off because he had called Simon when I was down there. And, like, Simon's like, hey, you know, I, I've decided I want to quit. And he's like, no, you're fired. Fuck you. Um, and I'm going to ruin your life. Basically, if you like do anything, say anything. And Simon had told other interns, you know, like this guy's fucking nuts. Like you should get out of this. And that's really the reason I came on this show to begin with that. And the fact that he was doxing people close to me, um, because this guy, it's not just like a ha ha funny. He watches a gay show. It's like, this guy is a sick, like person who wants to has, sees no problem in like destroying young how White long did it take lies. you? How long did it take you to kind of come to that conclusion? I mean, I know you had a relationship and you worked together, and uh, things probably didn't turn sour right sure. away. But like, how long into the relationship did it start to become? <laughs> I, I mean, just you know, no, friendship. No, 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 did it start no, no, no. to become you know apparent? Like you know, yeah. shit. Maybe this guy's yeah. not on the level like I think he is. Yeah. Um. So I called Jake Lloyd about um just things that I was like questioning about it back in April of last year. But when I officially was like, I'm done with this was December when I got back and talked to Nick for the first time in a month and he was going off and he was like, I'm reporting Simon or I'm going to sue Simon. I don't even know if I can win, but I'm going to sue him just because he's poor and I'm going to like rape him in legal fees. And this guy, like he'll tell you his, he is not well off financially. Nick didn't pay him anything. He has a wife and two kids. Like it, he's in a, not like the best scenario. And then <clears throat> When he also was, uh, when Assistant Groiper left, he's like, I'm reporting this guy to the fucking feds. And he, it's like, this is when I was like, okay. Wait, so did, he, did, he, did, he, did he literally say we're to the he, feds? 100%. Yes. He mm. wants, yeah. And what that's, what it, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's like, this guy and, doesn't and give Jane. a fuck about anyone and everyone's expendable. I mean, me, I'm his best friend in the whole wide world. And I tried to do this all behind closed doors. I tried to, you know, and he pretends publicly. It's an olive branch. I'm offering you an olive branch. You know why you rescinded the olive branch? Because I left the side door unlocked for two hours while I went to pick some yes. stuff from the Wait. store. And uh, while I was moving all my shit out, I left the side door open for two hours. I have the text. He's like, you left my back door open? Fuck you. This, it's, oh, I, I can read it to you if you, if you yeah, really want yeah, to. Yeah, read like, it to us. You're blocked. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, okay. Well, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Yeah, he also claimed um, that you trashed the place when you left. Yeah, which, we'll by the way, that. I took a video because uh, my lawyer said to do that. I took a video. I can send it to you if you want. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I don't want to blow up Simon's spot, but I think it's important to know Nick threatening him with that legal action. Sure, yeah, bring I him in. I believe you said Simon's uh, daughter has cancer. Um, I believe it's his son. I again bring son. son. I, he has the link. He's uh, if you want, he's willing to but come. Just, yeah, just yeah, tell yeah. him to hop in. Yeah, give him right, the cool. link because, like, the shit with Simon just blew me away. Because Nick's mother has cancer, and he's very glib with jokes about cancer with Medicare and this and that. 
and then he's going to try and sue and bury a loyal member of his organization. Well, it, it's it, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Ashton, it's way different. I'm like, I, I'm fine getting shit about it, but like, if you've got a kid, right, that's that's sick or got something like that, and you're going to use lawfare to try to fuck with somebody, that's really sick shit. It's fucking distaste. Like, it's disgusting. It's dark. It's disgusting. It's, it's disgusting. fucked. All right. You know? Here we yeah, go. I didn't know about any of this. This is all but that's, shit to Well, me. but we're a moral fagging, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. The Catholic leader. The, hey, Simon. Hey, hey how's it going, guys? Yo, what's up, bro? Hey, it's good to be here. Excellent. Uh, uh, can you lower your mic just a smidge, bro? Uh, absolutely. Give me just one moment. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't know how this uh, Hangouts thing work, uh, works too well. Uh, yeah, that like this story gets dark. The euphoria thing was pretty funny, but like this is getting fucked. All right, hang on. All right, all right. Hey, is this better as far as uh, much better, play? much better? Excellent, okay. excellent. Great. Okay, well, go ahead and tell us the story, Simon, of you working for Nick and and what happened, brother. Hey, well, thank you guys for having me on and let me tell the story. Um, like Jaden said, I was threatened back in December. Um, so I've kind of kept quiet about this for a long time. And a lot of people close to me have encouraged me to keep quiet about it because it's fucked. You know, I don't have a lot of money. As Jaden kind of alluded to earlier, I was being paid minimum wage or by some adjustments less than that, if you consider the amount of hours are being worked throughout the year. And if you take the four months that I was... Um, you know, denied payment because, oh, Nick got his money stolen by the feds, which we'll get into later. Um, so I've known Nick for, for five years here, and uh, I can uh, pull up these pictures on my cam. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Um, so these yep. are some uh, photographs of me and Nick together. It's kind of a little slideshow. Um, I met him in 2017. Um, I actually met my wife through his Discord server, kind of ironic with the way he discourages, <laughs> um, you know, getting married and like talking to women or whatever. Uh, that's me crouching down so I could be at the same height as somebody else <laughs> <asked> me to. <laughs> because he's like, you're 6'4", you're going to make me look small, you know? So uh, there's the picture of the, uh, you know, the reception of the wedding. You can see uh, this is him uh, giving the best man speech. You know what I mean? So we were very close. This is your wedding? Time. Yes. Yeah, this is. He was uh, the best man at your wedding. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes, this is him giving the speech. You can see the, uh, yeah, so that's. Just wanted to make sure that was included so nobody thinks I'm bullshitting here. Yeah. You know, me and this guy were incredibly close for a long time, you know what I mean? And I did care about him a lot, and I think in the beginning, he had a good heart, you know? I just want to get that out of the way. In the beginning, what he was doing was, in my opinion, noble back in 2017, 2018. Things started to deteriorate, to deteriorate around along the way, um, but I, you know, started to work for this guy and go as hard as I possibly could, you know, spending less and less time with my wife and my kids, unfortunately, um, and spending less time with my family. So I could just pour as much energy, as much time, and sometimes my own money, you know, however little of it I had, into trying to build up a political organization around this guy, you know. Um, Jaden, you know, mentioned that, you know, as the treasurer, he was kind of like a little bit separate from what was going on with the internship. But um, I was one of the core members who set up the entire internship program and kind of built the political and the, um, you know, whole, like, like for instance, App Pack 2 and the events, you know, I was the guy behind the camera at Stop the Steal. If you watch Nick's lobby show every night, that's me, you know, behind the camera on each of those clips. Um, you know, I, I dedicated everything that I possibly could to this guy. And in December, you know, after he acted like a total fucking faggot in New York City, um, when we were supposed to be like, you know, confronting leftists and getting like epic footage of owning the, the left, he's putting on a little mask and you know, I flick off a leftist guy when we're out in Times Square, and he's like, ah, Simon, you're going to get me killed. You know, what the fuck is wrong with you? And he's like crying to uh, the other people who were there, you know, just a kind of a little taste. We'll get into New York later. What was going on there? Like Jane mentioned, I was like, look, I, this is hurting my family. This is bad for me. I need to do something else. I need to like actually make some money and, you know, support myself here. And I can't do it with this fucking, you know, psychopath as my boss. And so, I and a number of other people, very important, like Jaden said, people um, decided to step down and walk away in December. I think it was December 9th or December 10th. Um, and I told Nick on the phone, like, hey, man, uh, we've been friends for a long time, so I'm going to tell you straight up. What you're doing here is fucked. Fuck you. Um, I'm open to, like, having a discussion sometime and, and working through this and helping you hopefully become a better person. But, you know, if you do this, you're going to push everyone away from you. <laughs> and, you know, in five months, we're starting to see that take place but after that phone call as Jaden mentioned this is what I'm sure what we're really going to get into 
Um, Nick is talking to all these people in the uh, internship and he's saying, and he's talking to Jade and he's talking to others saying, I'm going to sue the shit out of Simon. I'm going to make sure he doesn't have any fucking money. I'm going to make sure that he has like a hundred thousand dollars worth of debt over his head, you know, that kind of thing. Um, just to summarize saying it's a multiple people. And I get, you know, I talked to my people, you know, advisors, whatever, um, try and talk to some people who know the law. And they kind of said, look, you know, this guy, he's a millionaire. He has more money than you. It doesn't matter if you were in the right or in the wrong. You have to just do what he says. Um, and I want to bring up, because this is a very important part of the story, Nick demanded my NDA or non-disclosure agreement. Who's um, this? <laughs> and Sorry. just to kind of illuminate that, when we set up the internship, under the guise that this was going to be a serious political organization like a Turning Point USA or like, you know, CPAC, that type of thing. Um, you know, we created these non-disclosure agreements or work for hire forms as well, because we wanted the assumption, okay, all the people we bring in are gonna be paid employees of a real political company. So it makes sense to go through the legal rigor rigmarole that you would expect when talking about a political organization. But towards the end of the year, what we find out is Nick was holding these NDAs is basically blackmail over people's heads. Like, hey, you know, you talk about me. And this is what was said. If you keep telling people to leave this internship program and to leave the movement and causing all this damage, I'm going to sue you for breaking your NDA for defamation and all of that. And Nick and some of these faggots close to him and as Jaden has alluded to, and we can get into those people uh, later. Actual um, faggots, around. by the way. It's like, the yeah, saucy actual, squad? Like, real yes, faggots. the saucy squad, yeah. We're going to yes. get into the saucy squad, folks. Oh, we're going to get into the saucy there, squad. There's a saucy squad, a real one? Well, yeah, that's yeah. what Nick calls his new streaming group. But, I mean, there's also, like, a high-up intern that's, like, an actual fag. But, yeah. Yeah. He literally yeah. sucks talk, and there's the four-foot-seven Asian yeah. homosexual. But we'll yes, get into yeah. all of this. <laughs> yeah, we'll get into all of that. Um, I, I'm actually – can I ask you one question? I, I'm really curious about this. It sounds similar to what Jaden's saying, and I'm guessing probably an experience everybody else had. It seems to me like Nick wanted everybody to share the risk but not the reward. So put in the work, do the hours, uh, you know, burn your reputations down, get articles written about you, maybe screw up your uh, work future, your college. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe I'll pay you a bit, you know, basic minimum wage. And if you have a problem with that, well, uh, you're not you're not dedicated enough to it. Is that kind of accurate? Would yeah, you say? that's Definitely. exactly right. You would always yeah. say, you know, we're all a part of this, man. We're mm -hmm. all a part of this. So I'm making all this money right now. But in the mm -hmm. future, you guys will also do well. Eventually, right. oh, everyone like cast you scheme. out like yeah, I do yeah. everyone else. The old talk Ralph about cast. Yes. Oh, yeah. Ralph it's like move, exactly. yeah. It, what he said, I remember like, oh, you know, getting in on this, uh, you know, after January 6th, it's like, oh, this is like the, like our AF coin is at like its uh, little dip right now. Getting in, buying in right now is like buying it at Bitcoin at like $100, you know, <laughs> it rents what just you wait a year and this is going to explode and go up and up and up and up. And it's like, okay, the, <laughs> the only thing that we've been seeing going up is the number of people getting docs and having their lives ruined by this fucking maniac. So. You know, yeah, that's a, you're exactly right, Jim. Um, it is, it was definitely, I don't think it was intended to be a scheme, at least, you know, myself and the other people who worked on the internship program. We, we did not intend for this to be basically a uh, honeypot, which is what I believe it is now. Um, but Nick being the leader of this whole group and this organization, that's what he decided for it to become. Um, and so we were talking about the sussy squad, you know, some of these people like black swan hiding, you know, these fucking deranged uh sexual degenerates are taking you know people's doxes and they're like just you know uh, in group chats saying their full name here oh i'm i'm hinting that i'm gonna dox them there like oh you know and if you and they, they allude to this to any of those people who are leaving hey if you say anything about nick not only can we sue you you know I, at the time i had already been doxed my name's already been out there that's how i'm able to appear on the stream these people who are in college you know a lot of these guys were 19 20 21 some of these guys were working for political campaigns. Some of them were working, you know, um, in, in uh, pretty important jobs. So some of them were in Fortune 500 companies, if you can believe that. And they're saying, hey, if you do what Simon did, if you leave with them, you know, uh, and they're alluding to those NDAs, you know, maybe we're going to have to look at those. Maybe we're going to have to, you know, put your name here, put your name there. And I'll just say this. There's people who've been doxxed since that uh, leaving in December um and we know with certainty who was behind that you know it's not a coincidence that well that what about uh, altros right he was one that was mm -hmm. doxxed right yeah that's um, my top wanna... donator he uh yeah. nick's mentioned him he mentioned him like three times on the sweat and he did a whole tweet thing about him he's like ultra 666 which isn't even real um trying to like attack this guy and then he he knows this dude because 
this guy was kind enough to give me and Nick baseball tickets and he knows this guy's name. And then Ultros is just minding his, his own business. He supports me. He doesn't support Nick. That pisses Nick off. He wants to cut off my money basically. Um, so he tries to scare him off by sending all of his little goons. Uh, Max Keeble, who's an in- Max Keeble Groiper, who's a head intern, is uh, following him around in the chats, dropping his docs. And, so this, uh, um, just just to be clear on this, this sussy squad, these kind of people you're talking about, um, are these people that are working for the organization? Are they friends of Nick? And do they have cool. access to the information? Like when you guys sign employment contracts or work for higher NDAs, is he like, hey, take a look at this and go fuck with them a little bit? Yep, that's exactly yeah, right. What the yeah. fuck? Does anybody have the artwork of the Sussy Squad on hand? <laughs> um, I can pull that up, actually. Can you, can oh, you yeah. pull that up of the artwork that Nick had commissioned of his Sussy Squad? Oh, and can because... I ask, is is there a gentleman by the name of Big Tech in the Sussy Squad? <laughs> he's, no, no. He's, he's no, a no, dangerous no. motherfucker, so I just wanted <laughs> to check. He's trying out for the Sussy Squad, but he hasn't made it yet, Jim. Maybe okay. a few more bro jobs and Big Tech <laughs> will be there, but... It's just ironic because, you know, Nick, his whole thing since the beginning has been, don't join groups. This is a fed honeypot. And, you know, that's been his whole MO. And then he's... Uh, at the same time threatening all these underage people young men that are willing to put their lives on the line their identity on the line for him but if if they do anything he doesn't like what uh, what is this artwork i'm looking at (laughs) this is the profile picture of uh black swan he uses the katamari damacy uh character um and then the other profile picture is from nick's new right hand man uh hiding um i'm not going to say their name because i don't want to engage in the boxing stuff obviously but yeah um those are their online handles um and hiding uses that uh like the the bear character the you know from 4chan is his profile picture historically so it's an image of them making out in front of the gay flag and i don't know if it's reversed on the stream or if that's just on my camera here but it says uh i hope whatever leaker doesn't spread this around that would be so embarrassing if this was public and you can see that's from uh black swan he sent that to a number of different people um isn't there an artwork of the, of the members of the Sussy Squad on their knees before Nick? Yeah, uh, uh, wait. Uh, and I'm sorry US to interrupt. Their knees. I'm sorry to interrupt. I I think the link may have been shared. Well, that's they can't get in unless you allow them. So. Yeah, but it's, yeah. it's going ping pong. So just to let people know, I apologize. If it gets out of hand, I'll make a new hangout. Okay. And uh, I'm like, not hearing it. Do you guys hear any ping pong? The chat here. The chat here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll, oh, I'll, okay. I'll I'll make a new meet, and if it's out of hand, I'll just send you all a new um a link. All right. All right. All right. Anyway, oh, ahead. sorry for interrupting. Oh, yeah, one last question. With the Sussy Squad, how long has Nick been using them? Has that been something the whole time, or is it new? Recent, recent, yeah, because... So, go ahead, go ahead. Jayden. No, you go oh, ahead. okay. All right, so basically, I said this on my stream initially when this stuff was kind of breaking out, but it wasn't, like, all public. Um, but I said at one point, you actually had to do something to be, like, a face fag in this movement. Like, you had to be to be a streamer in the movement. Um you know, Patrick was the AIM guy. Jake Lloyd was the InfoWars guy that got Nick involved. I w- interned for Elijah Schaefer and got Nick on his show. Um, and I was a turning point guy. Um, but now it's basically like if you suck off Nick hard enough and you're a groiper, you're a Minecraft YouTuber in a duck suit or VTuber in a duck costume or a Fortnite player that doesn't show you. Like none of that matters. He's going to just AstroTurf prop you up um, as one of his – new streamer guys in the movement um and i think it kind of goes to show just how far we've fallen we went from like patrick and jake and other like respectable people scott greer to like veda and ux groiper and people that Mm -hmm. no one even knows who these people are like it's obviously this thing is a joke it's not a political movement and that's why everyone like that's another reason i wanted to come on here because everyone wants to be like well Jaden only streams games and Nick is saving the white race. And it's like, I get it. You don't have to like my content. That's fine. But to be like so disillusioned, to believe, drink the Kool-Aid that this guy's doing anything at all other than uh, making content on the internet. like It sounds like he used a lot of your guys' uh, connections or the stuff that you did kind of coming into it uh, mm-hmm. to get a boost for himself. And then 100%. once that usefulness was um, used up, 
I just kind of tossed you to the side because he, he figured, fuck it, I'm not going to pay you, and what are you going to do about it? 100%. He did that That's to Jake with the, the InfoWars thing. He did that to me with the Elijah Schaefer thing. And in fact, he actually said that to me himself because with the there was a whole drama. I'm not going to get into it with a, a TikToker, but uh, he was like, in a way replacing me with this guy and i was asking him, you know like what's going on and he's like well he's young and handsome and not for nothing yeah. but what have you done for me lately and I isn't like, this trey isn't this yeah trey? that's trey the, and i trey, like, the pedophile by the yeah, way yeah yeah confirmed who, who's confirmed. open openly like about underage girls and shit like this uh J nick said he wanted to replace Jaden with him because he's handsome and tall and young <laughs> and tall <laughs> but very saucy there from was the always, saucy squad sure and that was always lingering though is this and, and that's really the crux of it is it's like you like without him you're nothing that's what his mm -hmm. whole thing is is you know you want to be like patrick casey you want to be a loser like jake lloyd if you don't do you know if you're not 100 percent loyal if you speak out if you tell mm -hmm. me i'm in the wrong here um i can get rid of you at any any moment and he would always threaten that he, and yeah. i mentioned that to him before and then we'd be cool. I'd be like, so what was up with the whole, uh, you know, you, cause he would talk about, Hey, we're in this together. I'm like, well, a month ago you said, uh, what have I done for you lately? Um, and you don't need me. And he would be like, Oh, that was just a loyalty test. No big deal, whatever. And he's done that. Yeah. To tell me. them about, tell them about the shit test. Shit test you. basically. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, that's, that's exactly what that was. And it was, there were multiple occurrences of that, you know, um, I, I have messages throughout my phone. I don't know. I can find them, but it's like basically it messages along those lines of, you know, you're mad at me. Well, that doesn't really matter, but me mad at you. That's a big fucking problem for you, buddy. And just random stuff. And throughout the whole thing, he'd tell, he'd tell me, he'd be like, Hey, I have an idea on how I can get Steve Franson out of this thing. It's like, well, why do you want to do that? Well, he's yeah, not a Stalinist like me. Okay. Because, uh, because Franson wasn't a Stalinist. Franson wasn't a yeah, communist. Yeah. So he's on the out. Yeah. And he's tell a boomer them. and he doesn't really get it. And the Beardson's Beardson's a loser and he doesn't, you know, he's a bad look. Maybe I should get rid of him, but he is loyal, but so, he's a bad yeah, look. So <laughs> The internal uh, view on Beardson then from everybody is that he's a loser, right? And I mean, now I wasn't, I was wasn't trying to be case. nice to the guy, but now he's saying he's going to shit talk me. Dude, I already have the screenshots of you shit talking me from days ago. You can pretend to take the high road, you, but, you know, we all does, know. Does, yeah. Nick, like, does but, Nick like anybody? Because it sounds like he, he shit tests everybody uh, and talks shit about everybody. Until they're no longer useful, just like the John Doyle thing that you guys covered before. You know, John Doyle, please, please, please. I love you. I love you. Behind the scenes, fuck John Doyle. John Doyle yeah. sucks. So that's usually how that's how it goes. He's the guy. He's the guy. He anyone in his way, he'll crush. And you experienced yeah. this too, Simon, with the shit test. Did he ever do that oh, to you? Yeah. Now? Oh yeah. Like I remember uh, vividly when we were in New York. You know, it, at the Springfield event, which we'll get into later. You know, I was there with Beardson, and I I love I you know I'll, I'll say this I loved Beardson. You know, me and Beardson went back to 2017, and uh, he was somebody at the time who was exposing the alt right. Um, for the fucked up shit they were doing, you know, kind of similar to what the casino does. He, the yeah, do you notice how it was okay when they did it, but it's right. not okay when we do it? <laughs> right, and I had a lot of respect for them because a lot of his arguments kind of convinced me to move away from the alt-right and, you know, um, we, we'll go into that later, but the, the point of the story is in, in Springfield, you know, I was, you know, uh, with beards in the whole time. I, you know, spent a lot of time hanging out with this guy. I thought, you know, this guy's like a good friend, a true friend, and um, and I thought he was, you know, he's telling me behind the scenes, like in private, like, oh, I love Nick. I would do anything for Nick. You know, Nick's been really good to me. I love Jaden. You know, he's my great friend and blah, blah, blah. At New York, Nick is, you know, at a dinner table with me and Jaden and he's talking about Beardson and he's saying, <laughs> he's like, oh yeah. And, and Beardson and his wife. And he's um, talking about how like Beardson is probably cheating on his wife or something like that. You know, he's kind of like making jabs like that. Beardson in is uh, infidelious. And I'm like, saying like, Nick, that's, that's not true. You know, that's not true. You know? And I was talking to some of my friends afterwards and I'm like, you know, uh, this is not, <laughs> this is not right. You know what I mean? Like whatever you want to say about Beardson now. And, you know, he also said a bunch of nasty things about me after I leave without ever messaging me or talking to me about it, you know? So it is what it is, but you don't treat your friends and associates like that, you know, and he would do the same thing to me. You know, I was tasked to work on a, a documentary that was being made about Nick, um, over the last year. And, you know, there was, I was editing some of these scenes together. And uh, if you remember during Stop the Steal, he had a documentary and following him around. 
Simon, was a scene. Just to, I hate mm-hmm. to cut you off, but you were in the Louis Theroux documentary, right? Yes. Saying that Nick was the greatest. Yes, you were yes, that guy, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah, my wife was in there too. She was the one who said she doesn't want to talk to journalists. Oh, yeah, really I remember that. that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, yeah, and, and so anyways, with that documentary, that was not the Louis Thoreau one. It was a different one that was internal um, that was being made. You know, I was reviewing the footage with an intern on the, you know, who was working on the doc with me. And there was a scene where Nick is uh, about to beat up with me because, uh, you know, I'm going to be helping him do security for the event and hold the flag and make sure nobody attacks Nick because I'm, you know, so big and tall or whatever Nick was saying at the time. And he's rolling up to the event and in front of this camera, which I guess he's forgetting is rolling or whatever. It's like, oh, yeah, Simon is a big fucking oaf. You know, look at this guy. Like, he can see me from, like, across the street. And he's like, oh, yeah, look at this retard over there, you know. Like, oh, what are you, what are you doing drinking a water? Like, you're supposed to be getting ready for the battle or, or whatever the so, fuck. So is. he's saying this to yeah. the camera, filming it, and then you're watching yeah. it, editing it later on. Okay. I'm tasked with editing the damn video, and I'm, like, going through. And it was embarrassing, too, because, you know, I'm supposed to be, like, a like a director over some of these interns. And I'm working with my, you know, the in, my intern team that I was, uh, you know, uh, doing the video editing with. And I, I kind of, like, pause the video, and I'm just, like, you know, looking at it. I don't even want to say anything. The other guy's embarrassed for me, and I'm, like, you know. I just keep on doing my thing and just kind of try and give Nick the benefit of the doubt or, or whatever. So is, and... is loyalty just a one-way street with him? He, I hear him bring up loyalty a lot. Loyalty, loyalty, 100%. loyalty. 100%. But he, it sounds like he just will shit talk you guys in public and private, uh, you know, subtly or openly. It just doesn't matter to him. Sure. Yeah, I mean, he was threatening me two months after the Gosar thing. And I was the one that had that contact because of my Turning Point USA days. Like, I knew the some people behind the scenes and got that contact rolling. Two months later is when he was threatening me initially to uh, kick me out. You know, what have you done for me lately? Well, two months ago, I got you the Gosar connection. And people behind the <laughs> scenes will say as much. So, I yeah, it's, it's 100%. Uh, the lo- loyalty means nothing to, to him, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, it's I mean, the the loyalty thing is more of like a religious test than anything, you know. Um, you know, I've I've become uh, somebody who considers myself a traditional Catholic and you know uh, very close to the Christian faith over the last um, five years, especially. And one thing that was always like kind of you know I felt uncomfortable about was kind of teetering and you know back and forth on was the way that Nick would always compare himself to Christ, you know. Yeah. And all of his fans, you know, they'll make art where on one side it says like you know the, the the father the other side it will say like the holy ghost or whatever then the middle nick will be there with his big face <laughs> it's like okay what are you what are you trying to do here and i think that art and, and some of the stuff around that how when anyone betrays nick they're immediately judas well who's who did judas betray jesus christ you know a lot of people have a almost religious belief that nick is supposed to be the the leader or the savior of the white race or of the americans or, or whatever and so when they give him loyalty like they would give loyalty to a god you know what i mean that's and, and i just want to quickly interject mm-hmm. jane what you told me last night does nick attend church you lived with him does he get up early on sunday to attend mass i mean i can tell you that uh i could count on one hand the amount of times i know that he went while i've been there um i'm not even catholic and i know that i've and on, on that, one so. hand in two okay. years so less yeah. than five times in two years. Well, as far as I know, I mean, I don't, I'm obviously not in the, like, I don't know what the dude's doing yeah, on just Sunday, your but personal experience, I don't yeah. think yeah. he's ever woken up before, you know, five o'clock ever. So <laughs> Does he, did he, did you guys, when you guys went out for meals in public, did he pray? Did he bless the meal? Uh, no. Did you ever see him pray? Did you ever see him? You know, talk. Um, I about... mean, Simon can actually he he can talk <laughs> about that with the whole white boy summer thing. Actually, if you want to. Yeah, that. yeah. Well, real quick on the meals thing, I remember. Um, I would be, you know, I, I have a habit of always praying before meals. You know, doing the sign of the cross. You know, um, and and saying the quick meal prayer or whatever. And I remember, you know, we would be at like McDonald's and they'd be like rolling his eyes and kind of making fun of me. And he would even tell really? other people. Yes, yes. And he would tell other people behind behind the scenes, like, oh yeah, is this guy really gonna pray again? You know, that sort of thing. And at White Boy Summer, we were at Baked Alaska's house, um, and some of the guys all got together to do a rosary, um, you know, prayer, a big group prayer. Um, And, you know, we invited Nick to it. They brought along extra rosaries for anyone who didn't have one to follow along or whatever. And we're like, hey, Nick, you want to join or whatever? And he kind of looks at everyone getting ready, you know, kneeling down and praying or whatever. He's like, you know, (laughs) he kind of throws his hands up. He's like... You know, and he goes and he sits somewhere else in the room. He basically goes, sits on the corner and goes on his phone. You said this was at um, Bates' house? 
Yes. Uh, yeah, there was, we did, we all went to Bake's house for the 4th of was July. Was Bake uh, a part of the prayer group? He was, I, I think he was, or that might have been, Gene, do you remember if that was when you guys were going in? That was uh, when I was at the airport and yeah, the going, drama was going so, down because I didn't Well, it's just mind-blowing to me mm. to think of Baked Alaska as being more devout, right? More pious, <laughs> yeah. more pious than, than Nick Fuentes. <laughs> Well, well I, you know, I think would have been with me. Baked Alaska would have been with me going to pick up Lowell's. Yeah, so I don't think he was in the prayer circle. Now, you know, I can't speak to Baked's uh, personal piety. You know, I didn't know him well enough to speak on that. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, same with Nick, people... for the record. I mean, I, I don't know, you know, what's in his heart of hearts. I'll tell you what, what he's been doing with the whole uh, threatening of young people, threatening mm -hmm. to ruin everyone's life over trying to walk away doesn't really seem uh, all that uh well i, I, mean, I think that's uh, the, the i'm sorry to interrupt but i think that's a really important thing simon i, I know mm -hmm. that Jaden had brought this up and maybe you know he got some of the mm -hmm. details wrong or it's accurate and you don't have to talk on it if you don't want to but mm -hmm. um nick wanting to engage in lawfare sue you come after you if you ever open your mouth uh did you do you have a child that's sick with something yes yes and um yeah, you know, and we can get into that story, and that, that's exactly accurate. But, but he, he he knows it, though, right? Yes, yes. So he's yes. he's not unaware of it. So he wanted to hurt you financially and screw with you, knowing you have a sick kid. Yes, he was um, He was born in uh, in July. He was actually, <laughs> uh, it's a terrible story, but uh, the day he was born, um, July 10th, was actually the day Nick was doing the uh, White Boy Summer speech in, in Dallas at CPAC, and I was on the phone for 10 or 12 hours the day of uh, my son's birth trying to organize the event and get all the interns to get the cameras right and uh, get all the equipment ordered or whatever um you know nick nick knows about the kid you know what i mean you know he i asked him to actually to be the godfather of uh, my son joseph um after that whole thing um uh, with the white boy summer thing i asked him to be the godfather he, he agreed and we had him baptized and he's listed as the godfather for uh, for joseph and yeah he you know my son was um, they, he was diagnosed with a, an issue in his uh, left eye where the doctors weren't sure if it was a form of ocular cancer or if it was something else. Now, by the grace of God, it ended up being something else, but for, um, a couple of months, it was unsure what it was going to be. And, you know, even though it was thankfully something else and he's healthy now, you know, he's not going to have oh, correct vision in that eye. Well, thank uh, God. Yeah. That's anymore. amazing. Oh, yeah but um that's, no, yeah. that's, that's why well, i don't I, 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 I don't know why there's even a question of if this guy's pious or religious or not i mean that's that's really that's not shit. what that's you would really do. I mean, yeah i mean there are non-believers who wouldn't fucking do that most people have some level of fucking moral conscience at a certain right. point they would be like that's fucking disgusting i can't do that he yeah. seems to not have that boundary is it because his ego was injured by you guys questioning him is that what it is? Because he said, like, Jaden doesn't give me enough compliments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's the opposite was true with me when he sent his message back to me after I challenged him on December 10th, you know, and part of his voice message, he was like kind of schizophrenic, like going from one side of like, oh, well, you know, you, you I, I thought you were my friend on the other side, like, oh, I've always hated you, you know, that sort of thing. But one thing he said about me was like, oh, you know, you, you were always trying to suck my dick. You were always trying to give me so many compliments and kiss up to me or whatever. And, you know, it's true that and I was always trying to be respectful of him because, you know, once I, you know, joined on in the role professionally as somebody who was directing uh, parts of this political organization, I did want to put some elements of the friendship aside and just look at him as a political leader and as a boss, you know what I mean? So oftentimes, even when he would do something I didn't quite like, I wouldn't tell him. Uh, when he would do something that I thought was good, I would say, you know what, Nick, you're the best, you know, you did a great job here, et cetera, et cetera. So, he was right on that. Um, it's kind of funny, you know, with me and Jaden, it's almost, you know, opposites where uh, apparently I complimented him too much. Jaden complimented him too little. Oh, um, fucking God. You know? <laughs> and you were there when he was constantly like attacking. Like, it was a constant yeah. battle. It really Not is here. some Joseph Stalin shit, isn't it? Like, this is the way that he would command the, his people, like, too many compliments, not enough, like, some cult mm -hmm. behavior shit. Jaden, you said that Nick says, like, God talks to him? Is that I mean, he said that on his show a couple uh, nights ago, but it was it was just I, I thought it was a funny example because he was talking about how uh, the guy he saw some guy in like a restaurant from his chat or something. But I mean, he, he does believe that to a certain extent that uh, 
he's like chosen by God to lead this movement and whatnot, which, you know, I think all of us kind of thought at one point, yeah. more or less ourselves that you know, I, I'm, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm just a little, I'm a little fucking blown away by this because it sure. sounds like the fucking plot to a, a movie called a, a face in the crowd with lonesome roads. I don't know if you've ever seen that, but it's mm -hmm. about a, uh, this little, little guy in the middle of nowhere who rises up through politics and goes, crazy and treats everybody underneath them as pieces of shit and then yeah. eventually implodes in a spectacular manner publicly in front of everybody well i mean you guys saw the last week two telegram posts by the way <laughs> hey jay did you tell us last night that he believes that he's the reincarnation of stalin well i wouldn't go that far he uh, he definitely thinks that he like he looks at himself as stalin he reads like multiple books and like tries to emulate his day to day he's talked about you know stalin did this day to day and when he would be i would confront him about certain things he would be like well you know i'm like stalin and this this, and it's like you're not stalin you're crying online about you know me and you having a falling out as friends and whatnot and making it a whole thing I don't know. From what I understand, Stalin, Stalin got pussy, right? Like Stalin was actually. <laughs> I don't know, but the fact of the matter is, is like the woman thing has nothing to do with it, and that's really the like everyone has been going after me all week about that, and it's like, well, yes, yeah, it, it's a little bit, married, it's a little bit but, funny, but uh, it, it's yeah. just it's weird that like everybody we're talking sure. to and hearing about, you all have normal relationships, married, dating, sure. uh, you know, socializing and stuff. But then Nick really pushes that incel, 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 incel thing, and that kind of creates the cat boy gay jokes. Well, <laughs> yeah, uh, no. But what I think I, this I get is, it. is from an outside. Sorry, I, I need to stop cutting you off. I'm no, sorry. no, I keep... no, Jaden, I You're cut good. you off. You're right? good. Yeah. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll quickly just make this point. What it seems like to me is that Nick wants to just—he doesn't really want a mainstream political movement anymore. He wants a hardcore cult of followers that are incels. And so him like painting you, oh, he got pussy. It's like an appeal to the base to make you the other. Like, oh, well, Jaden's with girls, guys. Like, we're in an incel death cult together, right? Like, that's to me what it is. Like, a desperate appeal to the base and to make you as the other. But what? it's insane to me. Like, this is like some Jonestown tier shit. Well, I want to ask you, when did the, because, like, has he always been on the incel rants? Like, or was that yeah, like, as far as I, as far as well, I remember, yeah. Again, you know, I watched his content back in 2017. And like I said, I met the woman who, um, you know, I, I married in his Discord server, you know, back in, you know, 2017, 2018, incel was like literally an ironic thing. It was like, okay, you know, um, what was the, the half Asian guy who, who like, sh like shot up a college and killed himself or whatever? They're like, like there was a lot of, <laughs> 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 you, track at this point. <laughs> there, you know, it was like the, the incel king guy. Um, and there was a lot of like funny jokes about it. Like, uh, if you guys remember like the rapper Eggy, he had a lot of like funny songs about being yeah. an incel and, you know, it was like kind of a tongue in cheek thing, but like everybody wanted to have a girlfriend and more specifically, not a girlfriend, but a wife and children. And, that was a huge part of Nick's message back in 2017, 2018. You go back and watch the shows and you'll, you'll see he's talking about the American family, the Christian, the Catholic family, how, you know, if you want to save yourself from sin and, and be closer to God, you need to be married young and have children. You know, if, if uh, white people aren't having enough children, then they're going to die out and so on and so on and so on. Um, to the point again, like he was, you know, always very publicly supportive of the fact that I was getting married and, you know, said how amazing it was that America first could bring, you know, a, uh, two people together to um you know get married and start like a christian family now over the years though that incel thing i don't know where this started to change and i don't know if baby Jaden knows i honestly have no idea started to kind of morph into like just a spiteful hateful sort of thing where it's like oh uh, you know i i hate all women you know i hate everybody and it's like yeah okay most women are, are pretty bad you know what i mean like it's we have a problem in modern society with liberalism feminism etc you know what i mean but um, it turned into like a totally different issue than it originally was. And you'll notice like the talks about how you should get married and have children, and how that's like one of the best things that a Christian man can do, especially a young man, et cetera, have totally, you know, started to be suppressed, gone to the back burner and then kind of, you know, pushed away. It's the point like you guys were pointing out, you know, when Nick's talking about having a wife, he's like, oh yeah, you know, having a child, that's a chore, you know, uh, I'd rather spend time with a monkey, you know, that sort of thing. It's like, yeah. 
I could not imagine Nick of four years ago saying that on his show. It, that would have been, you know, every all of his supporters would have laughed him out of town because. Well, this uh, this transition with this message from you yeah. know have a family, uh, get married, have relationships into uh, girls are gross and icky. Mm -hmm. um, did you guys, either of you, notice uh, kind of in the organization or just the group in general? Um, was he bringing in, I mean, is this like this perspective brought in from outside consultants? Are we talking about people coming in and changing his message because he thinks it's more marketable? I don't think so, honestly. Um, no, I don't I, think I mean, it's not more either. marketable. A lot but... of people have theorized that Milo had a big influence mm. on this sort of stuff. Do you guys know what sort of influence Milo had on the organization? I mean, he... I think now is basically all that he is. He's all Nick has left with the MTG thing because he's managed to burn every other political bridge or True. connection that he had from uh, the Ghosts Are Disavowed to Homan running out of AFAC 3. They lost but... their keynote speaker, yeah. Like, you know, they, they talk about AFAC 3 like it was a victory because they got Marjorie Taylor Greene to appear on a stage and she didn't even know where the hell she was when their keynote speaker, and it knows is a tangent, is supposed to show up, right? He said, you know, this is the guy they're hyping up or whatever. He comes into the room and it's like, oh, okay, I need to get the hell out of here and ditches, you know, before the show even starts. And you yeah. know, as we all saw, the article came out like, yeah, I didn't know what this organization was. They kind of told me it was a youth conservative thing. You know, with that fact too, we didn't have to lie or deceive people about what we were doing to get people to come to it. You know, whatever you guys may want to say about that fact too, Nobody immediately disavowed after. Nobody was disavowing each other on stage. You know, our keynote speaker showed up in person and gave a speech. You know, um, but yeah, go ahead. All right, no, I mean, do you do you have anything to add to that? Well, I, I wanted to. Sorry, go ahead, PPP. No, uh, we we got to migrate to the other call. We're getting yeah. too many fucking dings okay. on. So we're gonna yeah. migrate. To and that the last call guy, and... the last guy's an asshole. Whoever you are, that was genius. He put his name as the link. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well played. Well played, uh, sir. That was, I, I, yeah. I just DM'd Ash and I'm like, yeah, we have to move. I, I have the new link. I'll, I'll send it over to you All right, guys. I'll, I'll be right yeah. over there in a we'll second. Hold on. All, right. All right. All right. All right, chat. They won that round. <laughs> All right. We're good, though. We're good. Let me delete this link right now. Just to you know, just set that up. Sorry about that, chat. Uh, let me uh, send this to everyone too. Um, here we go. I'll send it to to Jim. Whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. All right, we're getting everyone back in here. Very crazy fucking shit. Hang on. Send it to you. Okay, the next ding dongs are gonna be fucking real. So, and uh, to you, uh, all right, uh, all right. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I think we're back. We are back. We got everyone. Okay, uh, I just sent it to Jaden too. So, all right. So, I, I gotta say, guys, I, yeah. I, 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 I'm kind of blown away. I, I know you've used the term cult and shit before, but like, it's got, it, like, it's like, it's, it's ticking the boxes. It really is ticking the fucking boxes. It's yeah. really fucking insane. In fact, some of this, like, Simon stuff, I didn't even hear about yesterday. Well, uh, that with his kid being sick is just, that's just fucking reprehensible. Well, was, that's like, when I, I, when, when Jaden was telling me about that yesterday, I said, oh, holy fuck, man, we gotta get Simon on. And Simon thankfully agreed to come Hang on. Hang on, I might, I might have fucking leaked that one too. I'm sorry, guys. All right, I'm sorry. I might have. But did I show it? Yeah, I did. Oh wait, you showed it again. I, I think I showed it again. It was me sending it to, uh, to fucking Jaden. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ashton, okay. you, you, Ashton, you gotta, you gotta bring Gator in to run your shit. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> or, time for Gator. Or, it's Gator time. Or, or we use fucking discord but someone doesn't want to use it you know let me uh, just resend this link uh, over to you uh okay uh you got okay so we're all dropping out to go into a new one yeah. we're all dropping out again we're, we're all oh, dropping no. out again oh, i'm sorry save me daddy jim save me like i don't know if it was leaked but just in case all right yeah, someone, yeah, no, that was definitely leaked. Shit. It was me sending it to fucking <laughs> to Jaden. All right, uh, join. Okay, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna make 100% sure that nothing is being shown. 
I promise nothing will be. I'm gonna have a fucking mental breakdown, man. I'm gonna have like a. It's like, how, how, about, how about me? I hear big bong, big bong, big bong, big bong. Yeah, I big know. Bong. I like, know. holy fuck. I know. All right. There we go. I'm, I'm not gonna share anything until everything is sent. Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna close. I'm gonna close this. Delete that. All right. We are good. We also have um, an absolute shit ton of donos. But sorry, everyone. But we'll we'll read it when the, things are. The the flow of it is going too well. I think to yeah. interrupt for donations, and I think people understand that. But we will we read them hear... all. We will we will read them all. Oh yeah, I, I agree, Ashen. I, I like this is this is really good shit. Like I want to hear more. Yeah. Of it, you know? Yeah. It's, no. It's no. Hundred no, percent. I'm sure everyone understands. I'm sure everyone understands. <laughs> and I'm sure you know both Simon and or Simon and Jaden are putting themselves out there with Nick uh, being this litigious and threatening. Yes. Yes. And, uh, you know, we have their back 100%, at least I do. I do too, um, yeah. You know, I, whatever they need in terms of dealing with this bullshit, uh, I'm going to try and help them as best I fucking can. Because, to be honest, I'm fucking disgusted. I'm fucking pissed off. Like, I'm not happy with the way Nick conducts himself. It's basically, like, my worst fears are, are being confirmed. Like, some shit I thought I would say, oh, you know, I'm playing it up, hyperbole, this is my speculation... A lot of that is being confirmed today, you know, so it's fucking crazy. Can, crazy. can I ask you guys, once you're cast out into the wild, right? Like once you kind of walk away from this and, um, you know, he's he's done what he's going to do. Uh, does he continue to keep taking pot shots? I know, Jaden, like for the last week, he's been kind of shitting on you. But sure. does that continue for months? Like, I mean, he just look at Patrick. He's, he, hasn't, he hasn't stopped talking about Patrick. He still talks about Patrick in private. Like, dude's obsessed. And it's. I feel like I'm probably going to be the number one guy at this mm -hmm. point because he's like, oh, he was my best friend, even though we, like, barely hung out, <laughs> really, if we're being honest. Um, no, he. This is. I. I honestly don't see him ever leaving me the fuck alone. If I'm being honest, like. That's part of why we came on here is because you know I wanted to walk away um, cleanly. I mean, I wanted to you know tell as many people as possible initially because there's real danger. It is a honeypot trap for people who are getting involved in this internship at this point in time. However, you know, with the legal stuff, I was like, okay, well, you know, I'll say a prayer. I hope these people just see through it. You know, and I can walk away. Over the past four or five months since we departed, um, there has been, you know, basically they, they have a, a chat called like Roiper Intelligence or like Intelligence Agency or whatever. And in the internship program, they've turned it into like a gay ops program where they have all these guys, you know, conducting reports on where I've been working and where other people have been working, what sort of jobs that we've been taking up in the meantime and uh, sharing Wait, around. Ser like seriously? That's yeah, 100 percent. Yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy yeah. ex-girlfriend shit. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? That's, that's really weird. Yeah, it's like, so even if you're not a public face like Jaden, um, behind the scenes, they're going to uh, ask interns like, oh, you know, uh, what, what's their new Twitter account? What's their old? Oh, they're working at this company. They're working on this project. You know, let's keep an eye on that. Let's uh, see if we can do anything to that. Let's see if we can get that shut down, you know, whatever they're working on. Um, and I didn't want to believe it at first. You know, I this again, like this is somebody who's known Nick for five years. I mean, I've dedicated almost half of a decade uh, to working with this guy and trying to prop him up. Like, I did not want to be on this show. You know, I never thought I would no. be doing, like, the equivalent of what I did to Richard Spencer on The Weekly Sweat those years ago. And by the way, if you guys didn't know, I used to work with Spencer back in 2017, you know, was uh, volunteered as, like, his security. I would drive him around, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, you know, I saw disturbing things come to light. You know, he brought an is Israeli uh, Mossad agent journalist uh, to a house full of like, uh, again, at that time, you know, right wing young kids and uh, identity Europa. I went on the weekly sweat to expose that back then. Um, you know, I didn't think I'd be having to do the same thing with Nick, you know, three, four years later from when that was. But well, with the know, cat boy, yeah, with the cat boy intelligence agency shed. <laughs> Um, you know, because I know Nick did a, a stream, I can't remember how long ago it was, but he, he had like audio or video of Richard Spencer having a freak out. And at the time, I thought, you know, everybody must have a Spencer tape. You know, it just kind of seemed like everybody's <laughs> running to this guy. They've got a recording of him spazzing out. Mm -hmm. But like, is it is this more deeply ingrained in that? Like, are, are these you know, is he sending out interns to kind of keep watch on people, get audio and video on people? One hundred percent, one hundred percent. You know, I don't know if he's done that uh, dispenser anytime recently because that guy is irrelevant now, thankfully. But um, you know, uh, 
you know, some interns who like were hyped up and how much they, they hated the traders who left the organization uh, did it on their own accord. You know, I don't think Nick told every single one of them to do what they were doing with sending around the videos and, you know, looking at our Twitter accounts and trying to get whatever things that I was working on or other people were working on shut down. Uh, some of that was just these people who were sycophantically, you know, oh, you know, they betrayed my leaders. I'm going to make sure they can't have a job. I'm going to look into them. Um, but Nick was encouraging it and directing it as well. I mean, to give you a little taste, you know, the night after I left and a couple of other interns left, you know, one of the interns who had done tremendous work, um, and I'm not going to name him here because I don't want him to get heat, had posted a message saying like, hey, I really hate to have to say this. I love all you guys. You guys are some of my best friends. I've worked with you for this entire year. Here's a Bible verse. Here's a piece of scripture. And he he said something along the lines of it was a Bible verse saying like, you know, don't put your hope in, in men, but put your hope in God, you know. Um, and say, you know, I, I really like Nick, but the direction he's taking right now, I, I can't support it. And I hope you guys are all the best or whatever. Um, Nick came into the chat and, and saw that message and in the intern chats, right? And he said, delete that trash right now. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? He's going to post a gay little Bible verse, you know? And all these people before Nick came in there were saying, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry to see you go. You know, they're putting like heart emojis on his thing. Uh, Nick's mod team deletes the post inside of there. And and all those people who have those messages like saying, oh, I'm so sorry, goodbye, <laughs> their posts all get deleted and, they, and then they completely change their tune. Nick gets in a Discord call with 40 or 50 of these interns, like almost half of the program, and starts, you know, attacking me, attacking some of the other guys who left and, you know, saying like, oh, you know, I, uh, I knew this guy for years and he's a piece of shit. He's never done anything good in his life. There's a reason he's poor. That's because he's a piece of shit. He, there's a reason he's homeless. It's because, you know, what, whatever. Um, Does he really and, think it's like the hand of God that's given him wealth? Like, it, if, I get mm -hmm. that feeling. Yes. Like, if you're, if you're not doing well, that's God punishing you. And since he's doing well, he must be a good boy. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, this, <laughs> That's some Westboro Baptist Church tier fucking shit. Like, yeah. if you get hit by a car, it was God's plan and stuff <laughs> like this. But I heard him say to Kai this week, I don't know if you guys heard this, he was like, well, Kai, you're appealing to the Bible. Like, how dare you, like, appeal to the Bible? Like, my word is better than the Bible. Like, that's that's the stuff he says. Well, the like, David it, Carlson guy got canceled for saying, like, uh, he said something along the line of, like, loyalty to... I don't, I don't know. What did he, I'll, I'll pull up the tweet. Well, loyalty about, to ideology or loyalty yeah, it's like to God is more God And he was getting, and like Dalton and crew has been like running this guy through the mud. Nick did a whole yeah, segment Dalton because he said that about how he has like Down syndrome or something. Mind <laughs> um, you, this is the guy who likes talking now about no brother wars yeah. and <laughs> and all this. Meanwhile, he's directing Dalton to do six hours in a row shitting on APU. <laughs> Today he did two hours shitting on Jake Lloyd, and I just gotta ask, how is that productive to building a unified right that he t tells us he well, wants? None of it's none of it is. That's the thing. Nick is totally yeah. political. Well, they're gonna effective. unify against him. That's what they're gonna do if he's shitting yeah, on literally if anything, every person. Literally, yeah, exactly. It's he's well, the problem is effective. people well, are scared. They're scared of Nick's fucking bullshit tactics. Well, they grow behind the scene what that's he true. does. And so they're afraid to criticize him. But I think after tonight, people might not be as afraid. Well, and that's, very that's, my hope the whole, my that's why I kind of yeah. came out. Because I, I mean, I, I'm yeah. fine. And, you know, I'm sure I'm still going to get all the hate, whatever. Um, I'm going to get the backlash. But it got to a point where with him threatening the feds, threatening the legal shit, doxing people close to me, ultros, my donor, people that I, other people that I'm close to. It's just like it gets to a point, allegedly, you know, I, I'll throw that in. Um, well, a, you know, I we have a man pending. stream sniping us who has a problem with stream sniping, Mr. Ethan sure. Ralph. Mm. Now, guys, what was the internal feeling in America first when Ethan Ralph was now somehow appointed a Groiper general, the junkyard dog, the attack dog? What was the feeling about Ralph in the movement? If I could take this one, Jaden, um, sure. myself, uh, one of the other lead developers and one of the main lead de developers on the streaming platform, uh, all... We we're telling Nick, don't bring Ethan Ralph. <laughs> I, I kid you not. Like we were all saying, like, okay, we have America First Not Live. I, we know that you want to build something that can be like a platform so other people could come on. But this is a political movement, and so what you do is going to be seen as political. So we shouldn't have people who have a terrible reputation who are like the definition of bad optics. You know, being front and center on this platform that you build, even if they're nice to you. You know, I again, I, I haven't had too many experiences with Ralph when I've met him. He's been nice to me or whatever. 
However, you know, everybody sees the kind of reputation that he has for better or for worse. Why would you put that front and center at something that is ostensibly a political uh, product? You know, cozy so TV. You guys had to product. actually sit him down. Uh, <laughs> you had internal discussions and maybe you had to sit him down and explain maybe a poop eater isn't the best <laughs> optics for a fucking maybe, maybe a revenge pornographer isn't the most right. Christ is king choice. Maybe right. a guy who's had restraining orders against him by Adrian Blair for harassment isn't the best mm. choice. People who, somebody who doxes Adrian Blair's employer, tries to get her fired, talks about, you know, ruining Gator's life, putting up posters, exposing him as a white nationalist. Well, I mean, Ashton, I said this yesterday when we were talking, but hearing all these stories from Jaden and how Nick actually acts behind the scenes, him and Ralph are the same, are like two sides of the same coin. <laughs> Just very different presentation styles. <laughs> like they are the fucking same, basically. And now Nick has to sit there defending shit eating to Mr. Medicare, like on a stream on Michael yeah, Alberto. Yeah, I mean, I find it I I do find it interesting how he's gonna come after me as like he talked to a girl and it's he's a simp while he has baked Alaska who has like the whole Cassandra arc where he's like driving across the back and forth across the country trying to get yeah, right. He has Ralph who has like what, th two baby mamas or whatever. And like, and again, I don't have like, I've never fought with Ralph, whatever. I know he's taking shots too, but it, it, it's just like interesting how this stuff works. Beardson, who's like going on stream constantly talking about updates with his girlfriend search or his divorce or whatever. But me, I have something totally offline. I'm talking to a female, which, by the way, has nothing to do with the fallout of all this bullshit, as you've heard. And uh, for whatever reason, this is what he's going to use as his main attack vector against wait, me. Wait, wait, just hang on. If that was the reason, that's still fucking retarded. It, no, I oh, agree. Wow, you you uh, seven days, girl, seven like, days. Holy shit! You know, well, like how long crazy. do you think it's gonna be, Jaden, until Ralph is posting your social security number? Yeah, I mean, I because, that's that's a good point. I I yeah. mean, because that's remember, his job now is to do the dirty work, right? Well, to him, do the Max Evil, UX, any one of his little proxies. Yeah, I mean, I I anticipate that. That's but mm -hmm. you know, and I just want to let Ralph's audience okay. know that Ralph has given more money to an African guy in Gambia than he's given to his own white son. So I just want to point that out for his audience as well. Just for you guys to hear. Well, it's it, the troll you know, us. He's decided up. that stream right. sniping is based, you know? No, it's the troll I mean, us. It, it, it's the troll he's us. He's trolling us so well. I mean, we're making so much money. <laughs> like, with with you two guys um, coming forward, because, I mean, you're both front-facing, right? Like, you... you interacted with nick he knows who you are yeah. he's got your information i mean you're kind of your ass is already in the fire sure. uh with the interns how much of their information is exposed like what's the what's the level of risk they're sitting at is it just a name or an address it is a social security number is it a work history what is it now i don't know everything that nick has to be completely frank um but everyone was supposed to give over a name um provide a photo copy of their license if i remember correctly um i think an address um and it's a non-disclosure agreement so there is a threat that uh you know oh if you talk about what happened in the internship it's it's worded in such like a, a vague way that the scope is so broad that you know okay saying that nick did x thing okay well that's technically giving away secret information um for the company now i'll say this you know we've had People uh, with legal experience, lawyers, et cetera, look at this NDA. It's complete bullshit. You know, it wasn't even written by a real lawyer. I believe it was written by a law student. And the scope of it is too broad to actually be legally binding. Now, does Nick have everyone's doxing information if they do try and leave? Um, he very well might at this point. I think he does. Um, however, I mean, I'll, I'll say this. Like, I, if there's anyone who's trying to leave and, and they're getting doxed by Nick, I know I'll be doing everything I can to support them. And do not be afraid of the the legal ramifications because there are absolutely none. And on that point, as far as Nick's legal threats against me that he made back then, I'm sure he's going to be threatening me now. He's already said the same thing with Jaden. I'm not going to be uh, accepting any sort of uh, communication from Nick um, as a legal threat. You know, in that situation, you don't uh, talk to the other party who is threatening you legally. So there'll be no communication there. And if anyone else is threatened legally, do the same thing. It is Fox. Nice. This is incredible. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, no, I was just going to say good advice. Um, it's so weird, the level of control. It, it just seems like he's malicious. If I I remember watching him at 17, 18, and 19. I thought, you know, and the stuff that Groyper wars and stuff like that. And um, I thought, oh, shit, you know, this is funny. It's entertaining. 
I, I thought if, if somebody in a kind of the online world could break off and maybe do like a television thing or a radio thing, maybe not politics, but he'd have the opportunity to. But like the last year or two, it's like somebody hit a switch. Yeah, and I, I, agree. I, I and I can't figure out is that outside influence? Did he get did did he go to a, on a trip like Ralph did and get beat with pipes no. in Portugal? <laughs> like what happened exactly? Is he on drugs or something? Uh, no, I don't think he's on any drugs. Yeah, no. that's the thing. I I've wondered the same thing. Simon mm -hmm. and I talked about it. Like 2019, Groyper Wars 2020 with Stop the Steal and stuff. Like it seemed like we were on the right side, and then. Something something changed. I don't know if it was. What was the uh, what was the internal feeling when Nick brought uh, Catboy Cami over to the states and streamed the date with Catboy Cami? Was the I internal actually... feeling that that was a smart move or? I didn't really know him all that well. I, I barely knew him. I was still at college. So Simon, this is. Well, you know, at, at that point in time, I, I thought Nick was, was very good towards me and towards other people. Um, so I didn't have any reason to think that he was lying when he said that nothing uh, nothing weird was going on there. I mean, the guy, Cowboy Cammy, is a weirdo. I mean, everyone's seen that. Like, that's not a, it's not a, you know, you can't mistake that from a mile away. However, you know, I remember, you know, him talking about, because he went by Lolly Socks, I think, before Cowboy yes. Cammy, this guy. Um, like, oh, well, this guy has a lot of viewers. You know, maybe this is a collab that could add more viewers to America First, et cetera. Um, and I think it was a miscalculated move. That was what I think everybody was thinking at the time. Now, you know, I, <laughs> there's been a lot more, uh, let's just say, questionable stuff in the last couple of months or, or years. You know, I think that the Catboy Cami thing is far less egregious than the stuff he says on the show daily now. You know, yeah, being real. Yes. You know? Well, then, yeah, wasn't wasn't Catboy Cami? Didn't he get disavowed for giving like a you know tongue in cheek Hitler speech? But then <laughs> Nick goes on stream and says he wants to be Hitler two, three, and four. <laughs> Right, and he compares Putin to, to Hitler at his premier political conference. And this is what I, I do want to, if you guys are comfortable, kind of get into the political side of things, because a lot of people follow yeah. this guy because they think he's going to be a political force, like you mentioned, Jim. Um, you know, at the, the premier, the, the headline political conference of the movement, he's up there in his, in his keynote speech talking about, oh, well, they compare Putin to Hitler. And like, that's a bad thing. And, you know, he's laughing and the, the, the crowd is, is cheering. It's like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. I mean, to me, it, it kind of comes off as the same thing, maybe not exactly the same as like the hail Trump, hail our people, hail victory, like the, uh, the Spencer moment from 16. It's like, what are you really trying to do here? If the goal is to build a political movement, who is the political voter base? You know, the vast majority of right wing uh, voters are older people, you know, uh, boomers. I know it's such a horrible thing. A lot of Gen Xers, millennials. I don't think Zoomers are, are voting nearly as much, and the Zoomers that do vote are far more on the left. So if you're trying to appeal to Republican voter base, the people who elected Trump, I first of all, I don't think it's a good idea to um, you know praise Putin as like the, the you know uh, as like the savior of America. You know, when he's a Russian politician. You know, whether you like Putin or not, I, I do like a lot of his policies. That's that's just not something you do politically. That's not the point. Tucker Carlson's a great political leader, and he doesn't even do that. But then to take it a step further and say not only is Putin good. They compare Putin to Hitler, and that's like that's a bad thing. Like you don't want to be compared to Hitler because you do want to be compared to Hitler. And it's like yeah. anyone with a brain can. You see go that. through any like well, mainstream yeah. conservative talking point as well, and he's like the total opposite side, and tries right. to justify. It. And maybe like we know maybe it's right, but also it's like are we trying to win here and like get normal well, I... people involved? Or and I know you've touched on that a lot, PPP, in the last few months, like. The, the free speech thing, obviously, with the mm -hmm. Medicare debate, which he was really upset that I didn't say that he won. Um, <laughs> and, like, I know he's, he's anti-gun in some... Yes, I've heard thing. him say he's yeah. anti-gun. It's very, you know, like... Go ahead, you know, go ahead. This week he justified the Louis Theroux documentary. He said it was a good thing because it made him look like Hitler. Nobody <laughs> even knew that that was happening, by the way. I heard about that the first time on the way to AFPAC. I'm like, eh, probably not the best idea to have the BBC, like, filming people um but uh he's like but think of all the exposure um, uh, and simon can say the same thing he no one knew it, it about sounds that. so attention hoary too like when you guys are it talking is. about stuff he does it's it's exposure numbers views uh, yeah, 100%. uh networking uh, mm -hmm. but i'm confused is why is this guy who i remember uh, who would like shit on the idea of wignats right mm -hmm. now want to be them yeah like it's it's oh you know f fuck these guys and the, you know the the, the white ethno state stuff and uh, the mm -hmm. hitler stuff that's cringe that's cringe uh but now I he's think... like i want to be adolf <laughs> and i don't oh, get yeah, that maybe, it's a weird thing maybe it has something to do with 
this is just total speculation. I don't know that the GOP Charlie Kirk's kind of adopted some of the old talking points. So maybe he's just trying to be a contrarian, pushing the 100% one, right. Well, Master Coffee yeah. was awesome because he's right. having sex with his cousin. Like that's indefensible, but he tries to justify it and say right. that's like his political ideology at this point. I have no idea, but because it, Kirk embraced a lot of his positions, sure. so now he can't distinguish himself from Charlie other than just going full wig nut. I'm Hitler. Like put women, white Sharia, put women in chains, slavery. Right, right. Like, well, why wouldn't you own that either? That's what yeah. I'm confused about. Why wouldn't you have said, "Hey, look, I was so convincing," and what we were saying for two or three years, Charlie Kirk now is on our side. He agrees with the shit we say. He right. should. Well, that, that's exactly the thing. I mean, if you were a serious political actor who, you know, you're taking in hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of donations from donors to the foundation, you're taking in hundreds of thousands of dollars of donations from super chats, you know, people who want to see political goals achieved, you would think, right? Why would it be when we do get the political goals at least somewhat achieved? You know, you have mainstream political figures saying there's a war on white people and, and talking about, you know, that feminism uh, was bad. I mean, I mean, they've been saying that for a long time, but they're going back to, you know, oh, yeah, first wave feminism. There were issues, you know, we should do these things with the family. You know, white people are under attack, et cetera, et cetera. That would be a huge political victory. You know, that Tucker Carlson's going on there talking about white genocide. You know, that the Charlie Kirk talking about the war on white people. This is, you know, what we were dreaming of back in 2017. But be, and a year here's ago, the thing. here's the thing. Oh, sorry, Jaden, but um, go I was going to say this really quickly. No political goal is is good in the eyes of Nick if it's separate from him. If Charlie Kirk doesn't come out there and say, well, Nick Fuentes convinced me there's a war on white people, mm -hmm. then it's bullshit. Then it's like, oh, no, yeah, that's no good. You know, Charlie Kirk may say these things, but he's secretly not on our side. Secretly, he just wants to, you know, yada, yada, yada. Like you said on the Elijah Schaefer show. I mean, Elijah, I think, you know, felt it. I mean, you know, to borrow a term for you guys, pretty pretty well when he asked, okay, well, if you're saying that Charlie's taken up a lot of your positions, why are you so hostile to Charlie and all these other people in the conservative movement? And, you know, for the first time, I think in that interview, Nick started to stutter and go, oh, 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 um, well, you know, here's the thing, uh, con ink and just ramble on and because there's no good answer to it. It's just an ego thing. You no, know, it is an ego th thing. And it's, it's that with everybody. Mm -hmm. With right. fucking Jake, with Jake Lloyd, with Patrick Casey, with well, everybody. Nothing, by the way. Everyone's like, you put out that statement and you started all this. Like, I was talking <laughs> to some streamers on Cozy and they're like, just so you started this. It's like, <laughs> oh, that would have been made public. And he would have been like, I fired Jaden, which, again, not even the truth, but it's it, that's what it always is that's what but he fired you from perfect. what you weren't well, even being paid is he, <laughs> like, does well, he even that's, have that's the authority true. to fire you because is he on the foundation paperwork is like the i mean president he's the president of, so he is the president yeah. okay okay but, i wasn't um, sure if he actually put his own name on the foundation paperwork or if you know it was just you guys were totally the fall guys for it <laughs> no I, no he put he was the president and he was handling stuff but mm -hmm. um i mean not an important detail but yeah just to clear that up I wasn't mm -hmm. bullshitting. This guy's like, a, he lies about everything. By the way, just throwing this out there, uh, Jim, because I know we brought it up in your debate. The 500K, he's had that for almost a year, okay? He, he's, ha he's had that back from the feds for almost a year, and he's just been raising, using that to raise money. So it was, it was total money. bullshit. Total yes. bullshit. Uh, yeah, it was <laughs> for a few months, and he's been, he's been using that to raise money and throw like a his return in the summer. Hey, 16-year-olds, give me Are you fucking dollars. serious? <laughs> Yeah, I'm dead serious. He bought a seventy thousand dollar car right afterwards. So Whoa. It's not like a big, yeah. So Whoa, what a grifting liar. piece of shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, look at me. Exactly. I'm so I'm so oppressed. Oh my god, I got guys, I'm the martyr out here. Yeah. They yeah, took my five hundred K. Oh no, I got it back. I can't use a bank. Oops, yes I can. You know, like yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. Well, yeah, and not yeah. to go, you know, tinfoil hat here, but a hit on a hit on that point. I mean, okay, we are, we're on the no fly list now. We're not. Oh, the feds took my money. Oh, now they gave it back. It's like. Okay, that, that would be one thing, but I haven't heard about too many right-wing political dissidents who, uh, when the feds come down on them, they just pull back and leave them alone unless yeah, certain things happen. And it's kind of interesting little... that, you know, as myself and these other people started to leave in November, December, Milo Yiannopoulos started to kind of come in and become way more of a voice in, in Nick's ear. You know, somebody who's an admitted federal informant who was given uh, express notice of January 6th. He warned, Milo warned people on January 5th what was going to happen on January 6th. A literal federal, federal informant is now advising this guy. It's, you know, I don't know if I was the federal government. <laughs> I wouldn't, you know, and Nick is really trying to take down, you know, Joe Biden and, and uh, the State Department and DHS. 
I wouldn't like give him his money back. I, I mean, if I have this unilateral control, I wouldn't, you know, take him off the no fly list if I thought he was a legit threat. But I don't know. Maybe just, I would if I had people in his ear. Also, mm -hmm. do you guys know if Bake took the plea deal or not with the feds? I have no I idea. Don't. We'll find out on the 11th when, when yeah. he's going to court. Yeah. Right. He said he would, though, on the Milo interview. Remember? He... Yeah, because he doesn't he doesn't want a bench trial because he knows, like, you know, his justification is the bench trial, the judge will murder me. Um, but, you know, to get it dropped from whatever the counts were down to a misdemeanor is a little a little suspect. It feels <laughs> sure. like there's a lot of suspect stuff going on. That 500K thing is kind of a big fucking bombshell. Yeah. I got to be yeah. honest with you. Oof, yeah, yeah, and that's you know I've I've known that and I didn't ever feel comfortable and I don't know about I've heard some rumors I'm not gonna get into it for legal reasons of like things that he's done with that I don't know but um yeah I saw like when he was he keeps bringing it up with with you on on the debate and he brought it up like a few nights ago to like when he's throwing his pity party as he always does oh it's so hard my life's so hard everything's so difficult it's like half the shit is just bullshit it's just well, lies let's, and go yeah ahead. let's talk talk about that Jaden. you know that's the thing that makes me sick and makes me want to come on this show and this is what i want people to hear you know when he's talking about Jaden or he's talking about these other people he talks about the new york situation and we'll go into later he says you know in 2021 was the hardest year of my life 2021 was so difficult. I was the most persecuted man in America. I was put on the no-fly list. I had my money taken away and got it back. And, um, you know, I had, um, he, he had somebody in his family that got, uh, he, his parents got sick. Somebody in his family passed away. And that is incredibly sad. And I do pray for those, um, yeah. for his family on all of that. However, however, he will, he will talk about that. And, and then we'll say, you know what? And then I realize that I, I am great and I will conquer and I will destroy my enemies. And, you know, um, and then he'll say in private too, like, oh, and I had the worst year financially. I actually had to like know what it was like to live paycheck to paycheck. And then on the other hand, he'll say, I'm a millionaire. I have the most money in the world. You know, in 2021, you know, I made less than $20,000. It was either exactly 20,000, a little above, a little bit below working full time for this guy oh. with a wife and two children. Right. And overtime too, yeah. right? And, and yeah. overtime and paying a lot of times for my own travel. It, it's like, America yeah. first. What? Like, a, uh, Have you ever heard of the, the term black company? They use it in Japan where they, they just run their, their employees to the ringer. It's yeah. overtime unpaid. You're basically driven to the point of quitting or suicide. Is well, America shit. first organization a black company? Uh, it, it might be. I mean, well, think of a Charlotte. Charlotte died on amphetamines, like working fucking 20 hours a day for Nick. That's yeah, not like, that's that's. Just, I don't I don't know anything. Uh, about that, it was know, pretty. I, I saw him on D Live like a f few days before. That was he, he wasn't working for Nick. That was yeah. I, I don't I don't know about accurate. that. I mean, it was very tragic when when Shao passed course. away. But I don't. He was not like an employee. He had, he had prior health like conditions that. before yeah. that. But, um, um, okay. Yeah. God rest his soul. But you know, with with the year you know uh, that I had, it's like you know, it's the the day of my son's birth. I'm working almost the entire day. I'm calling all the interns. I'm calling up uh, everybody. You know, trying to get this event cut to you know together. And of course, the event was still a failure because it was it was a rush job. I mean, he literally decided to do the event 12 hours before the event was supposed to go on, and you can't do that. You know what I mean? With uh, and expect everything to go perfectly, especially without your creative director there. Um, and, you know, you go through, you know, we have the, the birth and then it's Springfield, which was the Vax Watch event where uh, he gave that speech in Springfield, Illinois, outside of the, uh, I think the governor or the, the Capitol building or whatever. Um, you know, that, that was the week where I had two members of my family who were incredibly close to me die of suicide, you know. Oof, sorry to hear um, that. At the same time. And uh, it was the week of my birthday. Which he made fun well. of. He thought that it was funny. What? How do they commit a double suicide? What does that even mean? Do they shoot each other? Do they? Did, this did he do this like... publicly or privately? No, he just was joking. That's like, still fucked. To... Yeah. That's like, still it's fucked. It's just nothing matters to him. Nothing, dude, like nothing cares. He doesn't think about anyone but himself. I know that that's like no shit, but it's just... Yeah. Example after example after example. But this, uh, can I ask this too? I, I, I just want to make sure, like, everybody knows this, right? Like, this isn't like something where Beardson or Baked or the others could be like, oh, I never knew Nick was like this. Like, everybody has to know that he acts like this, right? They know on a, certain parts. Certain, mm. on a certain, I mean, yeah, some level. Because it's not like, I I don't know how close they are really behind the scenes. Because I, I think Nick's kind of like a loner. And that's why he's like, Jaden was my only friend. Because I was 
in the basement and I saw him, you know, once every two to three weeks, maybe. Um, so it was like, okay, this guy's like, we're Is this close why this now. dude gave me so much shit about my saying that, uh, you know, you know, real life friends are no, different uh, yeah, than real life totally friends? Yeah, I'm vindicated on that, especially after all these faggots are coming after me now. Uh, okay. When I yeah. had no problem with them and they didn't even yeah. know the drama. They've all been like, oh yeah, it's because he, he So you're his best goal. friend because you see him once a month? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, because yeah. again, the last year he's been like threatening to, he's been pushing me out. I was t talking and jake lloyd about it it's been like a constant thing the last six months i've talked to him maybe five times and that was me going up there trying to squash it, it was like trying to squash it talk like adults and it was always oh you don't i don't think you want to be my friend anymore and it's like mm -hmm. dude we got like like there's problems here that we need to talk about and he's like you're just you just don't like me and it's like like let's just <laughs> let's talk about this stuff i don't know there's a lot of examples there what was the truth stuff. about the no fly list was he actually on the no fly list do you guys know i mean to my knowledge to but he, i knowledge. also know that yeah. he was I, I don't think he was like trying to fly frequently but i don't really know i know that he filed the lawsuit so i'm assuming yeah it's true, but... i assume it's true as well i remember i was he he was calling me and uh his assistant the uh the morning of the uh uh, that we were supposed to do an event April 27th, uh, 2021 for, um, I think it was the free speech bill uh, in Florida and he was supposed to come yeah, there and that yeah, was that's when, right. yeah, no, I, I do remember that whole exchange. You know, we talked to Nick that day. He was definitely under the legitimate impression he was on the no fly list. I, I do believe that at least, you know, for his knowledge and what we know, that is correct. Um, so. so Which goes to show, I don't know, Patrick Casey, he, uh, <laughs> So did, how did he know that both his account was frozen and the no fly list thing was real? If that's like, I don't know. Well, if... Let's really quickly talk about Patrick for a second. Um, if Patrick's watching this, which he probably is, you know, he might remember me and him had a beef for a long time. Like me and him would kind of uh, go at each other and, you know, it was s silly. You know what I mean? It was stupid. Um, and uh, when, you know, he betrayed Nick, I sent him a mean message, which I apologize um, right now for, but you know, the thing with, with Patrick is, you know, whatever, if you think what he did was right or wrong or whatever, after that point, you know, Nick tells me and uh, Jaden uh, after Athpac 2, um, I think we were at like a McDonald's or something, and he's gloating about how he 40 chest Patrick, how he manipulated um, and, and had like Beardson and other people, you know, push Patrick, push Patrick, push Patrick, because he wanted him out of there for months, right? He wanted this guy out of there and he, he wanted to basically have an excuse to cut him off completely from the movement. So he asked other people or encouraged other people to ha attack this guy. So then Patrick feels like he's pushed out and it's like, oh, okay, well, I guess if I'm being pushed out of this thing, I might as well attack Nick. And then Nick kind of is able to play the card of like, oh, I'm the good guy. I, I had no idea that he was going to do this to me. And, and this was his tactic too. I mean, you look like, you know, you look at Jaden. You had these people like UX Roiper and and others on, on Twitter attacking Jaden for the last couple of weeks. Yeah, Nick's attacking Jaden on his like private uh, Twitter account or whatever. Months, um, yeah. yeah, yeah, months, whatever. And then he does seven days of streaming about Jaden. Jaden says, "Hey, I'm going to go on a stream to defend myself, tell my side of the story." And you know, Nick's like, "I'm going to sue you. You're going to be a hundred thousand dollars poorer." All these people on Twitter are saying, "You know, uh, you know, rape this guy, kill this guy, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. Um, this is, you know, his, his card, but it gets a little bit darker, you know, with Patrick specifically. Um, and I don't know if this is the first time Patrick is hearing this, but Nick told me and Jaden at AFPAC, uh, too, in that McDonald's parking lot, um, that he had acquired, uh, video footage of, uh, Patrick. Let's just say in a situation that would not be good for him legally, if that was released, and I'm not going to describe it because obviously I don't want to screw Patrick over here. Um, and he said, oh, you know, if Patrick does anything against me, if he does anything else, you know, if he wants to, you know, whatever, uh, wouldn't it be really funny if uh, this got leaked, if this got put out to the, to the public, you know, implying like, oh, if this made its way to the public and federal agents saw this, that Patrick would be. Uh, again, trouble. with the federal, how is it this guy is crying constantly about being persecuted by the fucking federal government? No fly list. They're freezing my bitcoins. Oh, look at me. I'm the mm -hmm. little martyr. And then he's telling Jaden. I'm going to involve the feds. He's telling you, you know, in regards to Casey, oh, well, you know, this would be real bad if this information gets leaked, all law enforcement. He's on a stream with me saying criminality's based. Right. I love, fuck the law. The law right. cucks, fuck the law. Oh, crim I'm Hitler 34. You know, it's this hot topic fucking eternal teenager shit. And then right. this kid runs out there and he's like, I'm going to get the feds. It's literally run. He's a fucking hall monitor. Nick Fuentes is the eternal fucking hall monitor running to the teacher to tattle mm -hmm. when shit gets tough. 
and yeah. you know crying when it happens to him it's fucking unreal it, the worst part about it is certain things that nick says are true we are in the most precarious situation that we've ever been in politically as far as the government is concerned i mean the biden administration has waged a war on trump supporters and on political dissidents in the last uh you know 18 months or however long since uh he was uh, installed into the government i mean arguably when when the alt-right was doxing and, and snitching on people to the feds that was a horrible thing and that was treated as rightfully so as like breaking the first commandment of right-wing politics you do not right. snitch on your fellow right-wing activists to the right. feds but it's that was under trump that was when the government wasn't actively looking for people like this you know the biden administration's already put tons of people in jail in connection with january 6 and various other things with stop the steal so then you have a guy who is running ostensibly one of the biggest um right-wing political activist organizations as far as like member list etc who is threatened in front of multiple people who work for him to go to the federal uh, federal government on people he doesn't like um, I hope that we don't have to spell it out for you here, but if anyone's listening to this, you know, please do not join this organization. Do not associate <laughs> with these people politically, because the moment that you are perceived as a threat or is doing something wrong to, to Nick or any of these people, you know, you might be getting a knock on your door from the federal government. And to Nick, honestly, to Nick, that's it. It's to yeah. Nick. Like that's yeah. the tough. Yeah. Yeah. And he'll throw yeah. any one of you under the bus. Like he doesn't. I wanted care. to ask because there are groipers that are in solitary confinement right now because of January sixth, right? What is Nick's vibe about that? Like, how does he feel about it? Is he really concerned? Has he been making an effort to try and get these guys? Oh yeah, I'm sure he's, he's losing fine? sleep over it. I'm sure he's real <laughs> fucked up over it. Well, I'll say this, you know, people, I've never heard him mention it. Yeah, yeah. I'll say this: if there were if there were groipers who were who were there and they're you know they did anything bad against Nick. You know, hope that uh, you never let any other Groiper know that. You know, if you ever said anything against Nick and you were there, like, just fucking disappear, by the way. I, I just want to give that uh, message very clearly. If you were anywhere near the Capitol, just do not mention it to anybody. Because are these people above uh, talking about stuff like that? No, absolutely not. So, update. And, uh, sorry to mm, cut you yeah, off. Yeah, go on. Yeah, so this is one of the main reasons I came on here, because they've been threatening me mm -hmm. and threatening people close to me they just posted ultros my my donor they black swans retweeting uh tom af all people close to nick mm -hmm. black swan actual confirmed homosexual by the way um who's like the number two guy in the, in the foundation um is retweeting doxes of people who who support me so absolutely there you, there you pathetic have absolutely yeah, pathetic. There, there you have heading it, to the you know? feds doxing yeah, fucking not I mean, paying your people ego trip fucking... he wants to cry he's gonna cry and play the game oh, hey i didn't do it it was just my guy right underneath me hey i disavow it i disavow <laughs> yeah. doxing but also here's this guy this guy this person that person it kind of smells like sargon but more mask off isn't uh, it? no could i could i i'd like to interject on that I feel like I owe Sargon a bit of an apology. Um, you know, he did a lot of cuntish things and he ran his political thing badly, uh, but he wasn't this much of an asshole. <laughs> no. And to be fair, you know, uh, at least he had the balls to use a hard R rather than a soft A like one of Bitch Fuentes. <laughs> okay, I just want to put that out there, you know, Sargon. It didn't didn't shy away from it. Didn't need to wear a Kanye well, mask. Uh, well, I'm sorry, uh, Sargon. I didn't know what manner of faggotry would come after. Oh <laughs> well, yes, Sargon, you've been redeemed. No, Sargon, redeemed. Sargon, we sorry. Holy yeah, God, and, and by the way, uh, I'll just put this message out there, uh, Alex. It is not a good idea to dox people. Okay, um, and and you know who you are. Okay, let's just say that I'm not going to dox anyone. No one I know is going to dox anyone, but. Would somebody like that you've doxxed counter dox you? Maybe. Uh, I'm not going to encourage it. Please and don't. And this is the but... game you get into. Yeah, but this is like, this is a very dangerous this game. game with like the dissident the right forever. So exactly, people yeah. exactly. Swat, people are playing swatting tag right. now, doxing right. tag. Like well, this is thing. something. And that I wasn't I put out two Telegram posts. I wanted to yeah. walk away from this. I didn't want it to escalate to this point. But Nick's like mutually assured destruction. I'll fucking kill you. I don't care if it uh, you, you cut off my arm. I'll say this real like, quick to all the groipers because I know there's a bunch of groipers who DM me all the time who are on the fence, who have been on the fence, watch the, our show, still watch Nick, and are like, you're making some points there. Look, you all have to leave now at the same time. What is, like, what are they gonna do? Dox everyone all at the exact same time? It's gonna be a bunch of random names, no one will care. Everyone had, like, if you're on the fence, like, this is the eye opener. He is a fucking fed. 
Let's just be fucking I, frank here. I want to ask one question from our donations. This has now been put out publicly. Um, he asked, Simon, since you were in the Discord, do you remember Nickaboo32 slash Tran Egoist Cat Girl? He was the trap that Nick was friends with, even privately DM'd, whom Nick's mods used to run cover for and pretend wasn't trans. What did you think of him? Well, so when I first ran into that guy, I assumed... So one pattern that you guys might be starting to pick up on is I give people the benefit of the doubt to a fault in a lot of situations, and I'm trying not to do that anymore. Um, you know, so I didn't think that guy was being serious when I first saw him in the Discord, so I didn't really think much of it. Um, you know, and I saw, like, some of his, like, joke posts on Twitter. He's, like, joking about gay stuff. You know, back then, it's like... You know, I'm going and, and uh, meeting my my girlfriend and, and like doing all this stuff, like, you know, thinking about getting married. I'm thinking like, oh, yeah, these other guys are just like that. You know, they're making jokes about this sort of thing. They're not actually, you know, interested in that sort of stuff in a serious sexual manner. Um, and if they were or whatever, that just really wouldn't make sense. Um, so I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know the full story with that guy. I think I might have talked to him in the Discord once or twice, thinking that he was just like a troll, you know, but... Um, to, to the person's question, I honestly don't know if he was close with Nick or not. Uh, just real fast update. Someone just told me that apparently when Ralph heard about the doxing, he started dancing on his stream. <laughs> so he's watching. He's a we're Ralph. All, we're all four of his tits celebrate. jiggling. <laughs> yeah, were, they all, were they all just jiggling as he was doing it? I thought he'd maybe get excited when you started talking about the number two guy in the organization. I mean, the number two and Ralph, you might get hungry. I don't know. These are the good people, though. These are the righteous Christian people that are restoring the soul of America. Ethan Ralph dancing, celebrating a doxing. Just remember, Groypers at home, you're in a fucking cult. You're in a fucking cult. You're going to get people down on your hands and knees and lick Ethan Ralph's dirty fucking gunt crease for Nick Fuentes. Are you guys for fucking real? Like, they're, they're, you have... So sorry, I, I was just going to add on to that. There are good people in this organization. I've met some of them, some of them who are normal, who have families. You know what I mean? It's like, look, if you are like a, an adult, you know, somebody who is serious, please leave this thing. I mean, th this is the reason I'm going on here and I'm taking a serious risk. You know, I'm not too worried about the legal stuff, to be fair, but it's going to be a shit show regardless. Sure. You guys have the opportunity to leave. Um, there are good people in this thing, you know, <laughs> met a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of very, very good people at these events, so, you know, and that's the saddest thing. And this is why I feel so compelled to see this organization burn to the ground is there are good Christian men and women who have supported this thing, who've come out to these events, who've treated these people as like their close friends who look at up to Nick as like a, a real leader, a Christian leader and a political leader. And they think that there's a hope and a future there. And there's not. You know, you look at every move that Nick has made in the past five months since I and the other key intern stepped down, he's burned every single political bridge. So if you're saying, well, maybe he's a bad guy, maybe he doxes and swats people, but he's our only political hope. Who else could we go to? I, I have to break it to you. Nick has used the internship to try and attack Joe Kent, you know, this this guy who is ostensibly the most right-wing candidate in America, you know, at the moment. And I, I don't know, maybe there's some fringe guys somewhere else, but most right-wing successful candidate in the Ameri in America. What is Nick's response to that? Oh, let's destroy him. Let's make sure he doesn't win his primary, you know, yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah, because he doesn't kiss Nick's ring. Right, right. And, right. and, and he J.D. Vance. He loved him before that. He loved yeah, him before yeah. that. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. He, he wanted us to work for Joe, <laughs> Joe Kent. And by the way, yeah. yeah, go on, Jim. I, I was going to say, so I get this right. Uh, he wants mm -hmm. to attack Joe Kent, mm -hmm. uh, but Cawthorn uh, face-fucking his dude, cousin. That's awesome, that's dude. Shit. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking <laughs> red pill. Come on. Yeah. Man, and yeah. by the way, Nick is so influential. His clout is so powerful. Remember, he said he got Gosar elected, shit like this. But somehow he couldn't stop Joe Kent from winning the primary. So, you know, his or J.D. Vance. J.D. Vance just yeah, won. JD or J.D. Vance. Thing. Yeah, yeah. J.D. Vance won as well. So Nick has no real power, and the, Gosar will be reelected despite Nick's well, best attempts to slander him. Like Gosar's yeah, saying he, the same thing we are. You know, he says Nick can't shut his fucking mouth, and it's uh, killing him politically. And it's true. It's yeah, it's true. Yeah, Do you yeah, guys yeah. know if it's true that Beardson was the one that fucked up the Gosar thing? Is that actually true? Or I don't is know. That just no, I don't. I think it was just Nick. I mean, you look at this guy, and and Paul Gosar, God bless him, went out on, on a limb for him last year. And last year there was something that looked serious. You know, there there are parts of it you could poke fun of with that with that fact too. But it was visually, you know, coherent. You had like a beautiful stage. You had all of these different moving pieces. 
cases, you had speakers where the speeches led into each other and they made sense. You know, you had Steve King, who was a legitimate person, you know, who had done real things for, you know, our interests. And you had Paul Gosar and people loved him. They treated him with respect. You know, there was like an air of like, you know, after he got off stage, like, hey, don't say anything stupid to Paul Gosar. This guy is doing us a huge favor. This guy is risking his political career to help people like us. And, you know, how does Nick repay that sort of thing? How does Nick re repay one of the most right wing congressmen in America going out on a limb instead of like, you know, trying to make sure that his message is like becoming more and more like in line with like what conservatives as a base would find appealing, or, you know, trying to make sure that like what Paul Kosar just associated with isn't like fucking repulsive to most like boomer conservatives. Instead, he starts like, oh, you know what? I feel like I'm going to start saying the N word every night now. I'm just going to start mm -hmm. saying the N word every night. I'm going to, you know, start counter, you know, counter signaling every like major uh, mainstream conservative talking point. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, it, 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 like if you look at, again, Marjorie Taylor Greene, they're, they're touting this as like this huge win for the Groybridge. Oh, she showed up on stage. She didn't know where the hell she was. You know what I mean? And after the, after the Marjorie Taylor Greene appearance, the very next day, oh, I don't know who Nick Fuentes is. That's his views. Oh, I hate that. I don't want anything to do with that. And then to bring it back to Paul Gosar, at Halfback 3, he wouldn't go there because he knew that Nick was a fuck up, that Nick couldn't keep his mouth shut. He couldn't stop himself from saying the N-word and comparing himself to Hitler, uh, things that a serious political person <laughs> would not associate with, right? You know what I mean? Imagine being so, at a dinner party with this guy, you know what I mean? He, like, <laughs> and have a steak, and he just won't shut the fuck up. I made off Hitler, and I'm going to rule the world. Yeah, the well, it's Jews. actually it Joseph Stalin. It's actually just oh, yeah. Yeah, Stalin. He doesn't even idolize Hitler. It's yeah, fucking yeah. Stalin. <laughs> 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 I got asked, because we're talking about optics and all this we're shit. all what's, going to the gulag all what yeah. was the internal feeling about baked alaska being made a part of the movement <laughs> oh, yeah. i didn't date nick started like a free yoba chant at afpac during the right. keynote address <laughs> did he not what, were, he did. what was the thought there <laughs> well I mean, it, yeah go ahead Jay. i mean i don't that. you know i personally i, I know baked probably mm -hmm. I, you already know where he's gonna stand he's gonna stand against me whatever but unlike beardson he i haven't seen anything where he's taken a strong stance against me but it's the same thing with all these people like i don't have a personal thing against him per se but it's like what if this is a serious political thing i mean you could even question me in some ways like the gaming stream grand i did other things and i was political um like at one point and behind the scenes whatever but like him and beardson and ralph and like a lot of these people it's kind of, it's like in the new people even like now we have the minecraft vtuber it's like is this a serious political Wait, thing what? or is it minecraft that, ux ux oh, the minecraft UX? VTuber. Okay, but okay. it's it's like you know baked you know i i i've been friends with him for years but it is questionable as to what's like what are the goals of this thing and is this a politically effective connection to have and listen the way you reach kids is by having catholic minecraft sessions where you build crosses <laughs> you know i mean uh, i believe that at one, at one point i believe that like the gaming streams could reach and i still do to a certain extent like the not like not necessarily i, I, that. Think used, I agree with that i, I, th but, I think he used your guys religion as a uh, is a crutch as a prop no no yeah. i agree yeah. with that i agree and, with and that. i think I'm... he drew in a lot of you guys who were actually pious or devout or maybe just you know uh, semi-religious or whatever um, and that was like, yeah, that was the honey, right? For the honey trap. It's like, oh, hey, come yeah. be a part of the organization, you know, sure. Christian uh, nationalism, whatever. And then you hang out with him and he doesn't want to do prayer circles. He laughs about it. He doesn't go to church. He's mocking religion, mocking people dying, wanting to hurt people's kids, has blackmail, talking about going to the feds, lies about his money, uh, t treats you, Jaden, like a fucking house sitter and then throws your ass in the street after paying you a nickel. Sure. Like, uh, what, what about this guy? There's nothing good. I haven't heard one good fucking thing. I mean, yeah, he's he's charismatic and he brings people in because of that. But like, no, eventually you can see through the bullshit. Hopefully, ideal. Like, if you're a free, th if you're a real human being, you can see through the bullshit. The problem with this is that he preys upon children, people who yeah. are well, underage or yeah, don't know better. Young people. I was. 19. I don't. I don't really think there's anyone over the age of 25 who's fooled at this point. Which is why he's doubling down on like young incel men, the most vulnerable people, to sure. providing them this black pilled bullshit doomsday <clears throat> cult worldview. That's well, what yeah, this that's, is. Yeah, that's what yeah. cults do. I mean, I, I know you guys have thrown that out there, but it, it really does tick the boxes. What do you do? You find a vulnerable population, 
mm -hmm. um, that feels uh, isolated and uh, antagonistic towards the world. Um, you separate them from it. You make them dependent on you. And then you put the fear of God into them because you're now their God. So, right. hey, you know, I took you out of this bad situation. Look how fucked up the world is. And if you turn your back on me, I'm going to fucking bury you. And nobody's coming to save you. And, and right. let's think about it. Because if when you join the Groypers, a lot of your family are going to turn on you. A lot of your friends are going to abandon yeah. you. So the only friends that you have, the only family that you have are the other Groypers. The group chat. Isolation. Who, who yep. Nick controls completely. So he has the ability, if you say something he doesn't like, to completely take away your entire social group completely yep. ostracize you and break you. And, and he's that's... done this to other people. Didn't he do it to, uh, what was his name? The groiper that got kicked out of AFPAC 3. What was his name? That was like uh, with Lowe's. Ralph. Oh, not uh, Zoomer, Zoomer. What was his name? Fuck, it doesn't matter. But there's other Something examples Zoomer. of it. I mean, this week well, we watched Smiley got yeah, dragged up in, into a humiliation ritual. For a tweet. It was a for struggle tweet. session. You liked the tweet. For yeah. one tweet, a five-hour struggle <clears throat> session because the dude liked to tweet. Yeah, and that was like some Scientology no. shit, wasn't it? It was oh, like... And if that, anyone knows Smiley, it's like every people in AF would make fun of Smiley because of how obsessed he was with Nick. Like he was always like, "Oh, I Nick, I want to be right close to you. I want to be, you know, this, you know, I want to be your best friend. I want to be, you know, like I remember White Boy Summer. He was like, "Oh, Simon, you know, bring me to the Nick house. You know, wherever Nick is, I want to go hang out with them." And I had to, you know, tell him like, "Oh, well, Nick doesn't really want to hang out with you. I had to make up an excuse." And it's like this guy. Okay, so he's obsessed with Nick. He's loyal to Nick. He wants to like move away from what he's doing with his family or, or whatever to go like be a part of Nick's thing through Baked Alaska. And what does he do wrong? He likes one tweet making fun of Nick. That's all it takes. Well, you can like I be obsessed also, with this guy for a year. I heard also, mm -hmm. you know how we were um, making that joke. We were watching the Yoba RV, a me, Medicare, and, and I. Uh, no, did. first off, first off, dying. that that wasn't a joke. Okay, listen, <laughs> this dude. Uh, I don't know what kind of anatomical anomaly he's packing. <laughs> His giant oh, cock. That was so funny. So I, funny. I, I'm, I'm funny. telling you, bro. Like I, There's a reason ridiculous. he's always smiling. You know what I mean? It's a reason. He, he needs to that. take that big dick energy and just go do his own thing and become <laughs> fucking popular. Yeah. Smiley, you can do it, bro. We have he faith can. in you. And, and some of he's his IRLs recently have been pretty yeah, fucking He's a good, good content, content creator. He's funny. He's actually yeah, funny. Like and high energy, too. Thing. Yeah, and, exactly. Yeah. Well, apparently, yeah, he had seen the clip, either of, of us three watching the, the, the big dick <laughs> Uh, uh, a clip and he was laughing and apparently Nick went off on him like why would How you laugh he? why would you laugh at Keto Casino and what they're like it was funny like you know <laughs> so yeah Smiley's on the outs I suppose or maybe he's trying to get back in well, so well he apologized Luz, right Luz has been thrown out of the Yoba mansion too Wait. Luz is out on his fucking ass too Luz is said he was the anti-Jaden gang because of all this I don't know Whoa. I guess that wasn't enough I guess that wasn't enough it the, wasn't enough. I'm that's what people this. need to learn. I I was saying this. Uh, Nick was saying this on the sweat, and it is true. Like I was always like, those aren't my friends. Like these are your friends. These people, the ones that constantly are sucking your dick, not my friends. Don't associate because I always said if it ever came down to you know, hey fuck Jaden, disavow Jaden. I knew that the knives would be out, and I I said the same thing about Beardson, and you know I hope I'm wrong, but I'm probably the same thing with Baked that uh, it's already confirmed with Beardson. The second Nick says, fuck him, knives are out. Same thing with the group chats. Like, it, it goes all the way up rent the rank of AF. Is well, if, if I could speak out, you're done. Your friends that, yeah. hate you. Yeah, your friends hate you. That's exactly what it is. You know, from friends. the wedding that I had uh, in, in 2019, I think there's only two people, two friends that I invited to it who I'm still friends with today. I won't name them because they'll get fucking destroyed, apparently, but... Uh, like everyone else, it was all like AF people who were at that, uh, who I invited to my wedding, you know, it was Nick, it was people like Black Swan, he was, you know, for all this stuff that he's doing now, he was uh, a close friend back then, you know what I mean? It was, uh, you know, hiding uh, a lot of these people who are now part of the, the Susty Squad uh, intelligence crew, you know, we were all like, you know, you know, this close back in uh, 2019. And those people, they, and this is exactly what will happen to you as well. When I said that I didn't like what Nick was doing, they were in their group chats with Nick. They were saying all these things and they never once reached out to me and were like, Hey, Simon, you know, I want to hear your side of the story. I want to know what's really yeah. going on. How many people reached out to you from uh, Nick's circle who said they were your friends, Jaden, and wanted to hear your side of the story? 
one and i'm not well two technically but two. i'm obviously not going to say who that is but yeah i was actually kind of surprised with uh the people who didn't the people who didn't because uh mm -hmm. it well, shows who know, has character i actually have one of the members of the sussy squad black swan himself pictured mm. in front of a pride flag have you guys yeah. seen this picture do you want to just pull that up on screen, Andy? This is okay. Black Swan of the Sussy Squad. Let me just in front of a gay pride flag. This is Nick's right hand hatchet man I'm sure in I the do. Sussy yeah. Squad. Yeah, Ashton, I think you're kind of right about the Scientology comparison because it sounds like you're declared like an SP once you're thrown out. Yeah. Like you know, if if you if, if anybody that was associated with you can't ever talk to you again or their SPs. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding like, me! Like, look at this fuck guy. Off. Go like, fuck look off. at this guy, Jim. Like, look at him. Look at his stash. Like, look at how fucking like feeble it is. Like, he's trying to grow the pedo. Is that even real? <laughs> that's. Oh, uh, that looks. I don't want to dox him. I don't know if that's him or not. I'll give him an out on that because you know I don't. It's him. It's him. <laughs> well, I'm not saying that. It's him. I'm is. saying it is. That's my squad. <laughs> that is the sussy squad in action. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. Uh, does he huff paint? What What am I looking at? <laughs> is like aerosol cleaners or what? You know? Yeah. Oh, well, that's fucking amazing. That <laughs> is fuck. I really want to see the other members of this fucking sussy squad. Yeah. I really do. <laughs> well, well, I'll just say I disavow bringing up any of their pictures, even though they're doxing everyone we know. It's just, you know, like I don't well, want the, uh, the argument public, to go both ways. It's public now. This yeah. is, I'll, it's been I'll public for a while. I'll my hands with it. Yeah. It's been public for a while. Okay, it, it's Fuck like you, saucy squad. Yeah, it's been public <laughs> yeah. for a while. It's like whatever. It's all over the place. I, I know what you're saying, but like... Mm -hmm. Like, come on. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean he, if, like, they're gonna, if they're going to dox people and try and get them reported to the feds, like, it's like, okay, well, that... Well, it's, and, and, and it's really public don't. now, yeah. too, so whatever. Yeah. It's not like we, like, hacked into his phone. The it's, physiology. It's, out. Why was it's all over this? Twitter and everything, yeah. 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 But, so uh, why does Nick complain about... Fuck. Like, I've heard him, I've heard him talk about uh, toxicity, <laughs> right? Like, people mm. are being toxic and all this shit. But why is... It sounds like he's the one with the issue. Going after no, people, life, yeah, yeah. you know, life rotation shit. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to uh, find a new meeting now. Uh, oh, no. When I opened it up, it showed the link for a second. It went into the middle oh, of the screen. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, give me a second there. Oh, All right. shit. All right. We'll be back in a sec. Okay. All right. All right. Fuck. Fuck. Sorry. Yo, I shrunk the screen. I did everything I could. I tried my best. Now I'm just gonna delete the entire screen. It's gonna be black. It's gonna be blackness. Uh, while I um, I, I hate Google. Like meat suck. Yeah, put the link right there. Why? Retarded. All right. Let me let me send this to everyone. Fuck. It, oh yeah. By the way, everyone, I'm going to um. Going to. I oh, thank you everyone for the super chats. Uh, we promise we will be reading all the super chats um, soon. I really don't want to interrupt or whatever. I know people will lose their mind, but we really, really, really fucking appreciate it. Uh, where's that? There it is. Who's this? Hello? Hello? That? Oh, wait. Oh, my God. And call for everyone. There we go. I went into the previous call. There we go. There we go. Okay. Don't share the screen. All right, Ashton, you hear me? Yeah. All right. We're getting everyone back in. I'm just going to put the screen black if I ever have to share anything. This thing just, like, literally puts it in the middle of the fucking screen. Like, I don't know why it does that. It's so stupid. But whatever. All right, we are back. Uh, yeah. So I'm getting word now. I'm getting word now that the uh, big drop. So the big drop, confirmed drop. As you know, as I've said, um, I was like dating a girl, and then we broke up, and then I talked to girls, and then I talked to more, and then Nick's like, oh, this he's all of a sudden a big sip, whatever. Um, I guess Beardson's big drop. He's always a shit talking faggot. <laughs> First of all last night you were saying you're like he's like we're cool he's telling simon we're like little bro i'm like his little brother never done anything to this guy 
Um, I guess he's bringing on uh, one girl, which was the big drop. The big massive drop is that, uh, and not I'm not proud of this. It was a mistake. To say but, it. Uh, there was a girl that I kissed during White oh, Boy Summer. Base. I kissed uh -oh. her. Wait, wait, can wait we a say minute. This wait again? a minute. It, it, I will say it was a mistake. I talked to her for a few weeks. You don't have to we explain kissed, yourself. And she, dude. she was an Whoa. e girl. It, I, it was. What it's, a hot it's, girl. I disavowed. Well, how it, can she be an e girl when you kissed her in real life? Dude? You know what I mean. This is what I don't understand. She had a big Whoa. TikTok. I'm just saying. Whoa, I'm, Jayden I'm, wasn't I'm going homosexual. on the record right now. I'm going on the record right now to say so, I realized story, that it was, it was dumb. I blocked was this her, the time never talked to her Nick, again. Was this the time that Nick begged you to watch him play Civ Five, and you went to the party instead? No, this was a different, so that's a different thing. Yeah, so that would be the, he freaked out about a more recent girl because uh, there were a few of us that were planning to hang out on New Year's and uh, everyone bailed, but Nick and myself. And I'm like, hey, Nick, even though like we had already, we had our falling out in November, but this was like kind of like a, let's hang out because we haven't seen each other and let's like make up sort of thing. And uh, um, I was like, Hey dude, you still want to hang out? Just you and I, because uh, everyone else canceled. And he's like, no, and I'm like, are you sure? Cause like, I don't have any other plans and like, I'll make other plans if you, if you don't want to hang out, but we should, you know, hang out. Let's, let's squash this. And he's like, no, I just want to play Civ five. I'm like, are you sure? Because I know how he, I know how he reacts about this stuff. I know how he gets about this stuff. I'm like, are you sure that you don't want to hang out? Because I will make other plans. He's like, no, dude, I don't give a fuck. I'm like, okay. So I made other plans on New Year's. I went out with a girl on a date, and then I come back because he quits talking to me, which he always does. He always goes, does this whole like petty woman thing. And I'm like, what's the problem now? Why are, why are we fighting again? And he's like you ditched me for a girl and it's like that's not true i asked you three fucking times three times to hang out and i even come on tell them what's the story of where he was in the sports car and he was like you could have been cool. oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So walking back coming back we're coming back from being downtown for new years whatever and uh coming back to my apartment and we're walking into the door and nick pulls up in his brand new seventy thousand dollar car and uh I'm, you know, he's, he can go in the garage, whatever. By the time I'm inside there, there's no awkward interaction there. Um, but instead he hammers, he floors it, flies out of the alley. And I talked to him after the fact, I'm like, you know, you didn't have to do that. Like there wouldn't have been a weird interaction. Cause I get it. Like you don't want to talk to some random girl. That makes sense. Fair enough. And uh, he's like, no, I did that because I wanted you to be jealous. That instead of hanging out with me, I'm uh, in my cool car. You were with a girl. Wow. Uh, Imagine. Yeah. But uh, I, I've got to oh. ask a question. No, no, no. There's, 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 too, there's too much to unpack. Two questions. Two questions. Sure. First off, since this is Beardson's big drop, will you right. now tell us how fucking tall he is? Uh, yeah, probably like five, 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 four. Probably wow. like five. Why well, he's taller than Ethan Ralph? Wow. If I'm being generous, probably Whoa. like five. Five. <laughs> probably like five, five. Right, he's my, taller than Ethan Ralph. Yeah. My my second <laughs> question, uh, based off his reaction to anybody interacting with a woman, have you guys ever seen him with a woman? Um, well, tell the story of he was holding hands with the girl at the. Oh at the yeah. Dance, no, right? that that was Nick. Um. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, I meant no, Nick. No, yeah. yeah, Nick. Yeah, tell the story. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I mean, the girl Nick's... comes up to him. That, that's when I so at this party that we were at the girl came up he's told this story on the show and like um was like being very flirtatious with him and at the time he knew I talked I taught Snapchat this girl for a couple of weeks and uh it was like a big ordeal between us because he's like she's an e-girl and it, like fair enough um it was hypocritical and you know to his credit I cut that off for that reason um and others but anyway, um at this party he was like with this chick getting, she's like all up on him, whatever. And uh, that's kind of what led me to go with this other girl. But what we found out, cause he was like driving her around in his car and like hanging out with her. She was all over. She's like, Hey, I don't believe in the Holocaust either. And uh, he's like, yeah, yeah. Her <laughs> back and her but, but it turns out, you know, Oh, woman coming on the neck. This is very odd. This is rare. 
um, it turns out that it was actually Lance Video's ex girlfriend, and he was at the party, and he she was just like trying to make him jealous or whatever. Ah, um, you know, it's so so. Lance actually told me and a couple of other interns that exact story, so I, I do know that. Story. <laughs> yeah. That's true. So he's driving true. he's driving around in his car with a chick that's just using him for giggles, and they're well. It turns out Lance Holocaust. was in the back of the car actually. Yep. Lance <laughs> got in the car with them. <laughs> So that's why I was alone. Like I told him, I'm like, yeah, you're right. Like e-girls cringe. I'm not going to interact with this girl, but he's like, you ride with her. Um, and then I'm going to go with this girl and Lance who's in the back of the car. So he so, had to be chaperoned. He couldn't be around a female alone by her, her ex-boyfriend. Yeah. No, no, no. But I'm saying, was it really the ex-boyfriend's choice or was Nick like, I right, let's bring your ex-boyfriend along. Cause I, I don't, I mean, I was open to come. I was like, dude, like, because I knew that this other girl like had a thing for me and I was like I'll come with you just you know so and he's like no no you go you go it's just so it's so weird like and it, it was it, like maybe a 10 minute drive so it's how like, long did it take you to and not just like the maliciousness but how long did it take you guys to pick up a, on just the weirdness of this shit I mean he's always been weird it, it's especially when I moved to Chicago it was like I was watching the narcissist video that was posted on Kiwi Farms and I think RPG shared it. And it was like, describe my situation perfectly. Like the whole being around him was like a chore because he's so fucking weird and impossible to talk to and be around. And the whole thing, like, yeah, he's, he's a weird guy. I tried yeah. to avoid contact. And then he's like, oh, it's the girl. It's like, dude, I've avoided contact with you for over a, a year. Like since I've basically been in Chicago, I've well, avoided. didn't you take care of him? Isn't there a story when he was sick that you took no, care of him? He said he took no. care of me and he just ordered oh, me okay. Uber eats uh, one time. Yeah. <laughs> he really so. took care of Jake. What a sweetheart. <laughs> so that's well, a big, I'm the best friend in the well, whole wide world. Well, Jake, ordered I want you to, and we got to get this in. This was the funniest thing. So when you left, right, when he kicked you out because you left the door unlocked or whatever. Right. He, you left the couch. And yeah, I left he, the couch. I left, I left my couch with my bed couch? because uh, I had to move by myself. And he was like, you know, be out by May 1st. Fair enough. I waited and I was waiting to move initially because like we were supposed to all move to Florida. But then he got mad at me after November and he's like, you need to get out or pay me and it's like okay well i've been here because i was supposed to have a job and then i was waiting because we were supposed to go to florida and he had like family issues and things so i was trying to stick around and be like a good friend i wasn't just gonna be like fuck chicago i hate it here i'm out um but he's like you need to start paying me whatever i'm like okay fair enough um may 1st i'll be out i wanted to get out as soon as possible anyways to get the fuck away from him but uh i left my couch and i left my bed um just because I can't haul that in my car. Um, and it's like an eight hour drive. So, um, and I didn't want to rent a U-Haul, but he's telling his, all of his buddies that he's, uh, he got a black light cause he wanted to go see if there was any cum on my couch. Ah! And he was, he's like, that was some sort of own. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Oh, hold on. He's cum yeah, hunting. That's he real, was licking yeah. the spots. He was well, I don't know about that. But no, come he on. Was little like this, prancing around like a cat, that licking up cum. Big, uh, <laughs> he's got a yeah, that, that black light. He chilled like I told you. He's looking cum. That's so f Do you think, hey, do you think like he cut out the patches where there was some semen and he like sniffs it as like a remembrance oh, thing? Oh, like a memento? Oh, so oh, weird. I don't know. It's the truth. Oh. It's the truth. Oh, it's the truth. Was there cum oh, on the couch? Was there cum on the couch, Jaden? You can tell no, us. I'm, no, I don't. Okay. Know. You, leave, you leave a little batter behind as a memento for him? Come on, Jeff. No, I don't think so. He claimed I left all this trash behind, but I have the video. Like, I, I Jaden, are you, you going to tell the, under, the underwear story, Jaden, or are we going to say Oh, fuck. That? Is there more? Is, uh, no, please tell that story. Just, please tell that story. <laughs> There's no story. You're killing me, Jade. You're killing me. You know what's I'm, I'm, I'm going to say? Uh, so he, he won't tell the story. Uh, what a no story. You know, that's how you can tell these truths. But, you know, that's so oh funny. Oh, my God. I, that's the thing. I will say that, though, Ashton. I will say that. Like, I have no reason to hold back against this fucking faggot. Um, and I could just, like, say whatever I want to, you know, just get fan service from, from your audience, whatever, and just like totally decimate this guy but i'm being 100 truth, no. truthful and tomorrow again like 
This is the big drop. I have a girlfriend, and I kissed a girl wait, nine months wait, ago wait, that was wait, on TikTok man. one time, and then blocked her. Yeah, chat, so, chat. I'm oh. interested to see what he makes up, and I don't even I don't know where wait, I go guys, from here. If I'm everyone, even everyone, of it, but. his big drop on Jaden is he kissed a girl like that is a like he, like, he's like, yeah, like pedophile that. rapist, all this horrible things. He kissed Which was girl. fine for like Trey and stuff. That's fine. And he's a pedophile. He <laughs> asks trannies for dick pics or whatever. Leaked all real, all true. Um, but, you know, so... hangs out with Ollie Alexander. Everyone knows that guy's past. Because I remember Nick thought he was awesome. But uh, but Jaden, yeah, it's just so funny to me fact... because last yeah. night you were like, "All right, guys, I'll admit it. I kissed a girl," and I'm like, "Sick! Like it's awesome. What the fuck? Like, like you were telling us like we're gonna be like what?" Like I, I like that, that. I'm happy for you. Congrats. Well, I, I like. I, it, it's. I was being a hypocrite, and I disavow, and I've like realized. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's like not the end of the world if we're being honest. Like if that's if that's what Nick's gonna work out for seven for seven what, days. Who cares? Seven, Come on. Yeah, I agree. If anything, it should be like, considered a good thing. You know what I mean? Like again, if we're we're talking about a political religious movement. Uh, that says that white people aren't having enough children. Um, you wouldn't the the obvious thing be to push people to to meet women uh, and marry them, have sex, and then have children. You know, it's like, and, and I know exactly what Jane's talking about. I would be embarrassed to like say positive things about my wife in the uh, in the group back then because it was like you know persona non grata to be you know involved with women anyway. If you weren't saying you know, oh women are disgusting whores or whatever, it's like. You know, look at this simp over here. Look at this uh, piece of shit. Oh man, he's a fake cell. And right. it's you know, and and I, I don't want to like pivot off of the the hilarious fucking the, the big drop, the kiss, too much here. But you know, it's funny that that's their big drop when. I think that what we're bringing on the show tonight is something of actual substance. You know what I mean? Yeah, like we are talking feds, yeah. doxing yeah, we're... people, trying to ruin everyone's lives. Well, let's, let's just remember I, we talked about this at the beginning of the show. I don't think we went into it enough. 2x multiplier on Nick's viewership number. I helped build America First Stop Live. I was not the main developer. The main developer, again, is a good is, is a good guy. If there are any of these Kiwi Farms people listening, um, you know, like there are good people working there. There are um, decent individuals, talented individuals. Like you guys have seen Cozy. That was essentially built by a very small handful of people. Uh, and, you know, I do hope that they get the hell away from this thing after this. However, <laughs> I know with certainty since day one, and I saw the numbers, we had the ability to display live viewers on the uh, on the show. Remember, Nick was talking about on his show all throughout last year, before they show the live uh, numbers, uh, the watching count before, you know, below Nick's video, he would say, oh, oh, well, you know, we, we really haven't been able to implement that feature yet. You know, we, we have too many other things we're working on. We're working on getting emojis in the chat or whatever. Um, and the reason we didn't implement that live feature is because it would have told a very, very bad story. We started off at the beginning of 2021 with roughly 5,000 legitimate viewers on America First Not Live, going from DLive ha averaging around 8,000 a night. We started at around 5,000 the first time Nick went live after January 6. A after that point, we were dropping into the 4,000s. We kind of went a little bit back up to 5,000 during AFPAC 2, and then it was just a slow decline to the point we were always in 3,000 or less by the time that Cozy was set to come out. So. We, you know, they were faced with a choice. Do we admit that, you know, last time people saw us have legitimate viewership numbers, they were around 8,000, 7,000, et cetera. Or, and, and now they're at 3,000, which would be an admission that our movement has shrunken, that interest has dropped off in what we're doing. Or do we apply a 2X multiplier in the code to Nick's channel specifically? At the time when I was there, I didn't see them applying that multiplier to any of the other channels. I don't know if they do that now. It wouldn't be hard to do. But they decided to apply a 2x multiplier in Nick's viewership number. And again, that is a multiplier that can be adjusted up or down. They could, you know, make it 1.8. They could make it 2.5. And, you know, when Nick says, at least when I was working there, when it would say 7,000 on the site, we could see the back panel and it would say 3,500. When it would say 5,000, it'd be 2,500. So what was the justification for this? Was it that um, he wanted to present, like, you know, uh, yeah. fake it till you make it? Or is this yeah. the feeling I get um, when mm -hmm. it comes to Cozy TV? And his whole political ambition is I think that he knows that he's burnt too much capital and too many people with the politics stuff. And mm -hmm. so he's looking for uh, something he can package as a, uh, you know, alternative media site, drive up, uh, you know, interest and popularity in it, show good numbers, 
and then maybe later down the road sell it off. You know, kind of similar to what um, similar to what, what was it Xander mm-hmm. with Bitwave did with uh, Library and Odyssey. I don't think that's the angle at all. Um, the, we we talked about like you know would we allow like you know public funding or like investing into the site? And back when I was there, at the very least, that was not something that was uh, discussed or entertained um, by Nick. You know, I don't think the intention is to take Cozy and make it a, a mainstream platform. If that was the intention, I think they'd be doing things very very differently. <laughs> you know, and, and again, it was something that was kind of morphing uh, throughout the year as we were building America First off of Live taking that and turning it into cozy.tv the decision of like okay is this going to be something like i mentioned earlier that is a political place for political content that's centered around the america first message or is this a general platform for anybody who makes content who isn't breaking the law like a free speech platform like an odyssey and ultimately i think we got the worst of both worlds where it's no longer you know what i and other people were pushing for it'd be a platform for nick to you know advance his show Instead, it became something that is like, okay, well, it's Nick's platform. If you disagree with Nick, you're off, and Nick only brings you on if he likes you. But we're gonna bring on people who are, you know, doing Simon, horrible things that most Catholics wouldn't approve of. You know, what did you uh, think of the DMCA features only being implemented once Jim said something? What well, do you think uh, of that? Well, see, here's the thing with the development of these things that we did, like this is like an, an almost entirely volunteer staff. Like I was one of the only paid employees. So it wasn't like they had like a, a big team working on Cozy who was thinking about like, oh yeah, we got to bring well, it. Well, yeah, like, don't take yeah. it wrong either. I mean, mm-hmm. we're not, we're not shitting on the developers. I mean, it sounds like you guys got mm-hmm. fucked. It sounds like streamers yeah. got fucked. Um, and if Nick wants to be the head of the organization and making all the shots and calling all the calls, then that's shit he should have had buttoned down right. uh, with legal advice. When it comes right. to terms of service, privacy policy, DMCA registered agents, he can't expect that you guys are going to work overtime exactly. on Walmart wages and do every fucking single thing for him. Right, um, right. You know, it'd be ridiculous to expect that. No, you know, you're 100% right. And, um, and like, I think, like, again, they, they probably did have an oh shit moment. Like, oh, yeah, I guess we forgot to put that in. Or maybe it was on the docket. Like, I, I was not part of, you know, any of the goings on since December. So I don't know. But I mean, I think it's the way that we operated was kind of like, you know, we would just because we were putting everything together with an incredibly small team, we would really like, you know, things were not happening in parallel. They were more happening in serial. So when a new feature comes out, that's like, you know, all that was being worked on for a period of time. So it was kind of like we're implementing things as we go. So I assume that is because you brought up a, a very good point. And honestly, the people at, at Cozy should thank you for bringing that up because it's probably going to help their uh, legal situation if they get into any trouble. Well, it would pull their ass out of the fire if they had a legitimate fucking claim come in and then they're they're good. Because that report button, yeah. from what I understand, was in response to the UX raid on eThoughts and was kind of a joke, mm-hmm. you know, like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it, right. it goes nowhere. So when I was looking for like DMCA stuff and I was looking for, you know, 230 stuff, it just wasn't anywhere. So I was like, that can't, nobody's that dumb. I mean, they have to have it somewhere buried in there. Um, Does this site make money in any way? Like who the hell is paying for this shit? Um, I think I believe Nick yeah. with his five hundred thousand dollars in cryptocurrency <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. lied about. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's where it's coming from. It's just yeah. Well, it's it's a platform for Nick first. So when he gets makes all this money on the platform through super chats, um, I don't know if he has agreements with other streamers. That was not never something that was discussed with me. But I know at least he personally no, not to my that. knowledge. Yeah, He's talked we, about uh, implementing a feature like lemons on D Live. Um, where he oh, would I'm take sure a credit. I'm sure that's going to go well. Oh, credit yeah, card yeah. I mean, he hasn't been able to do that yet. And Well, you guys need you to know. stop being so negative. I mean, this guy's making big dollars. I watched him talk for 20 <laughs> minutes for $3 about fucking monkeys. So obviously, hey. that cash flow is coming in hard and fast for Nick. Yeah, well, it was coming in hard and fast for Nick. I mean, one thing that people have to understand about Nick, and I don't want this to get into doxing territory, obviously, but Nick is supported mainly, like the majority of his money is coming from small handfuls of individuals rather than like he's he's a millionaire off of like a million people giving him one dollar it's more like five people giving him you know whatever like a fifth of a million dollars not not exactly like those numbers but that's um you know so like with the super chats yeah he's because the viewership is down so low it only makes sense that the super chats decrease but i do think nick is is doing quite fine financially outside of the show Um, so was i was i I wrong about anything in my fucking debate with this guy so I, I called him on the five hundred thousand. I called him on the mm-hmm. bank account. I called him mm-hmm. on uh, Cozy's DMCA and privacy policy, the online friendship shit, the in real life friendship shit. 
mm-hmm. uh, you know, freedom of speech shit. Uh, right. He's trying to tell me that because uh, and I noticed this when you both were talking about your relationship with him, you know, kind of how you interacted with him. Um, he likes to present it where it's like he doesn't start shit. He's only responding to it, even though yeah. he's totally starting <laughs> shit. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> what he's been doing to me for the last few months. It's funny because I actually learned from the Patrick Casey thing of how he does it. Like he's obviously behind the scenes. He sent Beardson to go attack Patrick and Patrick responded knowing it's from Nick and he, he he's ruining it. Nick's trying to ruin my life. And Nick's like, I didn't do anything. What are you talking right. about? And that's how he acts with all these people. And I know when uh, I, I've been talking about like the UX people, uh, UX and the sussy squad and these people who have been coming after me. Um, I know exactly who is, who's sending these characters after me. It just, they didn't just appear out of thin blue sky. And uh, I think that's why Nick had a breakdown on Twitter and was like, Jaden, and da, 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 and I'm going to also, y- you need to come sign this and all mm-hmm. like back. Because it was really over weeks and months, like escalating behind closed doors. Because he was thinking that I would be like, Nick's sending these people. It's obviously Nick. But I'd sound like I'm insane if I said that, even though mm-hmm. like I know that that's what's happening. Everyone behind the scenes knows what's happening but if you say that you sound like a crazy person so then you know Jaden, when... Jaden, i i wish i wish you could have told the come hunting story like a year or two ago <laughs> when murdoch murdoch still existed so we'd have a fucking episode of that <laughs> i'm just imagining like i'm imagining a cartoon of fuentes hunting through apartments for semen and i can't Dude. get the image out of my fucking head now <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's a very, what a that. weird thing to say. A, I wanted to he ask left about... his couch. I'm gonna take a black light to it. Like, what first thing you think of? I'm gonna go look for that. Kind of odd. A bit okay. sus. A bit yeah. sus. I wanted to ask about a, a, a sussy character in and of himself, Milo Yiannopoulos. Nick had said on stream, and I've used this clip a lot, that Milo was involved in the back end, that he had helped with development, running the merch store. Is that true? Is that the case? Um, um definitely in the back end i don't know if it's i don't know about the merch store though um yeah jane you said he wasn't in the back end right no i mean he's obviously he's the reason like mtg and crews there he's well, right, right, right. but, it, but as far when as, it like, comes to the internship and stuff or the merch like, store, the, I don't like believe payment that's, process i don't believe that's like this. No. no i i don't think so uh, milo kind of came into the fold as like a serious advisor to nick you know like yeah, nick the people that were close to nick that worked for him would oftentimes suggest some ideas and he would shoot them down but then he would come to us and be like oh well i was on the phone with milo all night last night and he he told me this and he told me that and so milo in my you know, um, from when I was there, uh, acted as like Nick's like political advisor. So his tard wrangler. Um, That's what Milo yeah. is now. It could be Milo's the last <laughs> tard wrangler left. Yeah, I mean, son of a bitch. <laughs> he was always right. checking his phone because he's like, Milo's shitting on me right now. He's making mm-hmm. fun of me. I need to change something. It was Milo's texts and Kiwi Farms that were constantly in this guy's brain. Like he would be scrolling oh. his Kiwi Farms and like Milo's text. And, Jay, uh, didn't uh, didn't uh, Fuentes attack? Like, didn't he talk to you about a particular Kiwi Farms user by name? Uh, yeah. I know that he. I mean, he's always talking about gay stoner, and he's like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get this disgusting meal just so gay stoner posts about me." And, <laughs> and Farms, he's like, this guy's obsessed with me, and his name's literally Gay Stoner. Like, what a fucking loser, dude. <laughs> so yeah, definitely. He's like, oh, you're I you're. I have a question. Can I ask a, uh, oh shit, uh, my, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I, I just thought of this. Um, did he, does he do the knife thing in private? Like, will he be having never, a conversation? I, I, like, actually, I actually, him. he did get brass knuckles one time and he was sitting there like what? doing this, but uh, that was uh, the only time that he's ever, he's ever done that. But, oh, I want to ask you about the multiplier <laughs> on Cozy, right? So there's a multiplier that anyone on the back end can add 2.5 times, which is crazy to me, right? Does he do that for any other streamer? Or does he say like, hey, if you uh, you know keep supporting me, I'll throw on an extra 1.5 or whatever. Like, how does See, that work? While I was there, um, that was not the case at the time. So, but it, it very easily could be uh, implemented. I mean, there's it's literally like changing one variable. And I saw somebody in the chat said something like, oh, well, if it's a 2X multiplier, why aren't uh, Nick's numbers always even? It's like, it's like, you know, the people, the developers aren't idiots. If they're doing something like that, it's going to be like 2.10, you know, blah, 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 you know, the random string of numbers. So it doesn't, um, you know, have like an even or it's always odd or whatever. Like there, there are ways to do that in code if you guys weren't aware. But 
Um, I, I don't know if he's doing that. I, I did want to say I was forgetting with the whole Milo and MTG thing, like not to you know redirect the conversation too much back there, but um, it's it's funny because when it comes to like the the political future of America First, they, you know, they had Paul Gosar. He he came out and said what I guess me and Jaden are saying right now that this guy can't shut his mouth, you know, which I think everyone who's watching the stream would agree with. Marjorie Taylor Greene, who they think they still have an in with because Milo is like working with her, working for her, when she said everywhere publicly, I don't like this guy, I don't want to support this guy, this is weird, this is a turn off to my voter base. And if you have like the exact number, or excuse me, the exactly the most right wing candidates in America, you know, from Joe Kent to JD Vance to Paul Gosar to MTG, uh, and I think Lauren Bobart or whatever was also attacking them, like all you've pissed all these people off. There's no, there's literally no political future for you. I just want to, I was thinking about it um, when you brought up Milo. I don't think I made it clear enough earlier. And I think this is something that needs to be repeated. There is no political future when you have no candidates. You appeal to um, an extremely small number of people to the point where you have to lie about the number of people who are actually watching your show uh, to not demoralize the people who are in your cult or whatever. Like this is a political know. movement that's imploding, you know? Sorry, go ahead. I don't I don't know why he, he can't I mean I guess I do know because mm -hmm. then the donos dry up from the backers right. if they don't believe that it's not a serious thing but like he's he hasn't he had an entertaining show he has an audience like just drop the bullshit he's he's yeah. been going after me for s seven days straight he's gonna continue to go after me every day I mean is it is is this to our political goals to go after me I, I would Joseph Stalin consistently go after me <laughs> I've it probably would have been dealt with it privately. Maybe I would have been killed. I don't know. But <laughs> to constantly go like, oh, well, guess what? I'm going on Beards and Beardly stream, and I'm going to fucking own this guy with a bunch mm -hmm. of drama and rumors. <laughs> I was just like, this isn't serious. This isn't serious. Get a fucking grip, people. Like, if yeah. you love the drama, that's fine. That's great. Everyone watches the Kino Casino for that reason. Let's go. But <laughs> why, like, why do we have to LARP as a serious political movement? It's not. It's not. If you want that, go watch John Doyle or something. But this is yep. a fucking joke. Yeah, it's funny. You, uh, oh, okay, Sorry, either of you give me any insight into because didn't Torba and uh, Gab give like twenty grand uh, yes. to Nick uh, for one of yes. his dinners? Um, do you think Torba? <laughs> do you think he's regretting that right about now? Because I noticed once they thought they could get back on Twitter, they were all like, "Fuck Gab, it's boomers." And uh, they call me Little Nicky over there. <laughs> and he seemed like he was really excited to get back on Twitter the second right. he thought he could. Yeah. 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 I remember uh, Nick ran a, a chat that I was in. It was something like the Gab Heads and Torba was in there. And uh, like the minute, like, you know, Nick, like Torba has done so much for Nick. I, I won't even go into some of it because I don't want to embarrass Torba because I, I do think that he's probably a very good guy who's really been screwed over here. But let's just say Torba has done a lot to help Nick with political stuff behind the scenes. And, you know, Nick gets on Gab and literally is like, oh, hey, Torba, your, your main audience, like the boomers who are on your platform, screw all boomers. Boomers are horrible. Hey, Ilhan Omar, like one of the most liberal uh, candidates in, or Congress people in the entire country, uh, she's based because she said the Jews suck. And then it's like all these boomers are attacking Nick. And he goes in this chat and he's like, oh, yeah, Gab is for effing retard. Gab's a piece of shit platform. Yeah. Uh, you know, go on, on and on and on. And Torba was like, hey, Nick, what are you doing here, man? Like, what? Like, I'm. I'm trying to help you. And I, I feel bad for Tor because now he had all these groypers start attacking him or whatever and uh, and trying to kind of bully him saying, you know what, you know what, I was wrong. You know, I think I understand Nick's points. And then Torba goes out of his way to help Nick again by sponsoring AFPAC 3, donating money to his political foundation. And then the moment that, you know, Nick thinks he can escape the terrible platform of Gab, it's again like, oh yeah, F this shitty platform. This platform sucks. It's all filled with cringe boomers, millennials, wig nats, et cetera. I mean, the story of Torba's relationship with Nick is just the story of anyone's relationship with Nick, uh, if you give it enough time, which is you help him, you help him, you help him, you give him the benefit of the doubt, you attack him, or excuse me, he attacks you, you give him the benefit of the doubt, and as soon as you're not useful to him, it's like, oh yeah, well, fuck you, I didn't need you anyways, so. Yep. How much did this he give wild. for the, uh, the uh, uh, pack 3? 20k. I think it was 20k. 20k. Because yeah. it wasn't a per table, it was like 20k, you could reserve a, a VIP table, and I think he was... bought one of those packages. I think it was something like that, yeah. Yeah. Went to the donor dinner that Nick was two and a half hours late for, and everyone had finished eating by the time. So he just, no. like his, just like his yeah, regular real. streams, where yeah, he yeah, shows exactly. up five hours like late. People who are sending, you know, tens of thousands of dollars to uh, eat at this dinner, yeah, 
two and a half hours late. His oh. uh, his his assistant hiding didn't even have the tables figured out. Like there were more people there than there were seats. It was a total disaster. What Which, did they again um, goes to show how you know this guy has it all figured out. So what did they what did they eat there? Was it like uh, Uber Eats? Was that the specialty <laughs> dinner for your twenty k fucking uh, meal? Yeah, McDonald's. <laughs> Oh fuck! Well, Jaden, I gotta ask because it goes to the professional. Be two and a half hours okay. late for this. He's late to his show constantly. I believe it was you who exposed him for the two-hour shower that he takes like every day. Like, what well, is this I don't guy's know about sleep that. schedule? We're, we're, well, what is his the... sleep schedule like? And what is his showering habit there? I, I don't. The sh- only reason I know about that is because I was on vacation or not vacation. We were on the white boy summer thing, and every day that was a that was a thing because we couldn't leave. But yeah. Wow. Um, uh, two hours, really, though? Yeah, that's real. <laughs> what is he? What is he doing there for two hours? I don't know. I don't know. See, uh, is he I, licking himself clean like a cat? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> is he coughing up a little flint his hairballs? <laughs> don't ask me. Two no. hours. What the? What the fuck? No. Like, is does he like wake up? Because he says he like wakes up at like six in the evening most days. Yeah. That's real. Is that true? That's true, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's why I started the whole thing. He streamed during my time slot. What the fuck? It's like I started streaming well, like an hour. I started streaming around like 7 or 8 o'clock central. I used to go live after a show every night. Um, I started streaming before that because he was like going live at like midnight. And I'm like, I'm not streaming at 4 a.m. I'm, I'm just not going to do that. And uh, I didn't know that was a slight. I didn't know that was against the rules that my like 200 viewers was really, uh, I guess any real viewers that he can get is like crucial. But yeah, I didn't think my 200 viewers really mattered all that much, but he took it pretty. uh, Does he get jealous? Like even if it's a small viewership, that's even close to competing with his time slot. I mean, I didn't know that that was a problem because he did. He was crying about it on the weekly sweat. I don't know if you saw that along with me not complimenting him enough. Well, I that's a crazy not... thing. All the shit yeah. I've seen of this guy, I, I've been watching now for like the last, I mean, you know, Kingdom of the Casino covers like the AF stuff, sure. but like I've been actually going to Cozy to watch shit, mm-hmm. and it, it really is cry fest. Like yeah. that whole yeah. smiley shit for five hours, he's been shit talking you for two hours. Uh, who is it? Is it, is it uh, Jake Lloyd or who's the guy you showed his video earlier to, uh, at the start of the stream? John Doyle. Uh, uh, John, John Doyle. Doyle. Fuck. Yeah, yes. John Doyle. Uh, like, he complained about him for like an hour too. It, it's really weird. It's just it's constant well, pitching. And if I could praise John Doyle for a second, I, uh, I, this is this is a terrible story, but you know we went to APU um, the event over the summer SAS twenty twenty one to kind of investigate and see, hey, what are these other guys who sound a lot like us doing? Like this is, are they trying to steal Nick's thing? You know, that was kind of the, the thought. And it was like, oh, John Doyle, he's stealing Nick's talking points. So we got to like go there and see if they're trying to subvert Nick in the movement. And so we go out to this event and I actually see John Doyle like before he goes up on stage and I talk with him and I tell him who I am, you know, I tell him I'm working with Nick or whatever. And he's, you know, he's completely in private. It's just the two of us. And you know what he says? Nothing but nice things about Nick the, the entire time. He's like, you know what? I don't always agree with Nick, but I really respect him. And, you know, what you guys did with Affback 2 was like a freaking miracle. Like I was watching that and you guys, it was a class act, you know, it was incredible. And then, you know, we go like to Nick and we're like, hey, you know, John Doyle said these nice things about you. And it's like, it really doesn't change how much Nick is going to talk shit about this guy behind the scenes and now publicly. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's in that whole APU thing too. All those APU guys, incredibly nice. They knew that we were like from AF to like check on them, see if they were subverting them. <laughs> and they were like totally cool about it. I think the worst thing that one of them said was made a joke about the Catboy thing. Like, you know what? You guys are you guys are doing a good job um, at what you're what you're doing. May I just well, uh, just uh, interrupt for a second? Apparently, mm-hmm. Eggy, he's like a mm-hmm. big streamer or something. He wants mm-hmm. to phone in. People are DMing Does me. Does he have relevance this. to this guy? So I, I, well, Eggy, um, Eggy's yeah. a good guy. I don't know if he's involved with Nick and AF. I, I hope not. Um, he was also I've never talked to the guy. From I, I also invited him to uh, my wedding back then. He was like used to be on the weekly sweat a ton. Like he was very very funny. He has incredible music. So I I, I don't I just know. Don't know if he's really relevant to this discussion at this point. Mm-hmm. Like I don't. Yeah. What do you guys think? I mean, do we want to bring him on? Like I don't really. Well, know. So, Simon, you, you said he was at the way. same wedding. Yeah, yeah. He, he actually, because he was a musician, we had him like do the, uh, the uh, like the, do a little musical performance at the uh, after party or whatever. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you've heard uh, his song uh, Alex Manassian, where he's like, uh, 
screaming about like running over women. It was like he he was he yeah, was very really funny. I, I, I know him as like the incel king, like eventually. Well, yeah, but he he's a guy. Uh, like he, who also like you know when we would talk to him, he's he was totally like getting you know bitches or whatever, getting girls all the time. Like he was, he, he like you know, <laughs> insult thing. I I don't know because I haven't talked to him in years. I was perceiving it at the time as like, oh, this is funny. You know, like this is like a silly thing. We're talking about it in such a way that kind of shows it's ridiculous, but it's getting at like a truth. And part of the irony of it is like, oh, we're we're incels yet we have girlfriends. You know, we are popular with women or whatever. And I I kind of perceived Eggy in that way. Oh, it's your call, Ashton. Your show. I yeah. I had like a bunch of DMs from a bunch of people, and then he donated mm -hmm. as well, uh, just to, to ask to come on. But uh, uh, Eggy. Well, let's see. Let's see what he has to say. I mean, bring well, him on. If, if I could, I mean, I I do love Eggy, but I do think that uh, this is like specifically about America first. Um, I'd love to talk to you know Eggy if you're listening. I'd love to talk to you some you know sometime after the stream or whatever. But I do worry that like some people might you know start you know, kind of forgetting about the fact that Nick got his money back from the feds and is stitching to the feds, et cetera. Like, well, I thought it would be like in relation, cause like if he was there at mm -hmm. the wedding, maybe he had like some insight into like, mm -hmm. you know, um, maybe Nick That's true. took him on a, maybe Nick took him on a cum hunt and he's like, Hey, I never told anybody about this, but oh, this guy is really weird. And he wanted to go cum <laughs> I don't know. at the wedding. So I don't mm -hmm. know. I got the black lights. Get, get your black lights. Let's go. <laughs> 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 what the fuck, man? That's, that's a good point. Uh, and apparently you, uh, the best man of your wedding is uh, is DMing me now. His, his what, name was uh, uh, Sharia LaBeouf. Oh, yes. He was the other other one there. Shari Sharia LaBeouf is, uh, Sharia, a, is Sharia. a good guy. Yeah, what, what, what's he saying? Uh, he, he's a real one. Man, along with Nick. Um, mm -hmm. And he goes, I have tons of info if you would like to let me on. I mean, I, I'm down to give Eggy five minutes or that guy five minutes and see where it goes. Um, but if it's just like some boring shit or <laughs> well, yeah, you know, well, like... well, yeah, uh, it's, I'm getting a, like, like a million DMs about this stuff. I don't want to interrupt. Mm -hmm. uh, we could keep talking and whenever we want to bring people in, I could I could send them the invite after. I don't, like you know. Yeah, because I'm I'm, in, I'm enjoying yeah. Jaden and Simon going over this shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. just letting everyone know. So when we're like. There are more people who would be down to hop on if you guys mm -hmm. want to keep moving uh, and going. But yeah. So, is there anything specifically, Jaden or, or Simon, that like uh, that you wanted to talk about that hasn't been talked about yet? I mean, it feels like we've gone over a good amount. But like, is there specific things you're like, I have to fucking talk about this? Uh, Jaden, do you want to go first, or I have, no? I you can go first. I need to okay. think about that. I don't. Okay. Oh, now you're digging deep in the vault for the fuck. I'm trying shit. to think. Like, <laughs> is there, I mean, they're they're definitely. You know, like he's going under. He's trying to uh, come at me hard with like mm -hmm. this stupid bullshit. I mean, there definitely is other stuff there, and I, yeah. I I wanted to hold myself back and be like presentable to the groypers like on the side and not be like oh he's just attacking him because mm -hmm. like this guy's done a lot of fucked up stuff to me and i've tried to be like amicable on stream and whatnot so i i don't know i don't know i i just want to i don't know you go simon it, it's 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 hard because like <laughs> you know me me and jade know <laughs> too many fucking embarrassing stories about this guy a lot it's like a lot but it's like, you know, out. Yeah, because, you know, they're going to do the, you know, because because they have nothing on Jaden or myself that, like, could be damning in any sort of capacity. They're going to, like, try and go below the belt. They'll make yeah. up stuff about Jaden. Say, oh, Jaden's dating a stripper. You know, the people were saying that or whatever. How is that? But, uh, okay. Oh, my God. Jaden's getting pussy. Quick, fucking call the cops. Oh, Jaden yeah, yeah. touched the girl's vagina. Oh, it's the end of Jaden. Yeah. Yeah, apparently it's not, not not just a death cult. It's like a homosexual death cult, um, which, you know, I guess with, yeah. like, the AIDS or whatever, it, it'll work itself out one way or another. <laughs> but I, I'm trying to not go below the belt, but trust me, it'd be very fucking easy to do that. I did want to, before, if we do go in that direction, um, before we get into that, I did want to say about the political stuff, um, Nick, it, it, you know, when we had the internship, I don't think we've really discussed, because this has not been very publicly well known, what the interns actually were doing. We had whole swaths of interns that were serious political actors who were creating like a political train that we had the idea that Nick was going to be able to ride into some sort of like platform, into some sort of campaigns or influencing candidates. Like there was a legitimate plan here, but people talk about like, uh, you know, some people will say that, <laughs> that there was like no plan, like, and, and you know, I don't know if Nick necessarily had the plan, but there were people around him who were 
planning on serious things. And these people, and I watched them get, you know, we opened up an AF candidates um, website, if anybody remembers that. And we were flooded with applications. We had people go for days and days and days, again, unpaid college age kids go through all of these applications. These guys, you know, the people on this, uh, on the political team, on the other intern teams, the data teams, whatever, would go through and like, you know, look at, okay, in this district, you know, what's the D plus 17? Okay, they're not gonna be able to, to run there. Okay, what are the other Republican candidates look like? There was a like, legitimate um, political research that, you know, when I talked to, when we talked to some people who were actually from DC and from the political sphere, they took a look at what we were doing. It's like, okay, this is like what a million dollar operation in DC would look like, you know, if it was being run by college kids. But regardless, it was, you know, it's starting to approach that level. Somewhere along, like towards the middle of the year, though, uh, I don't know if you guys remember this or how closely you were following the whole thing about AF candidates kind of just fell apart. Like nobody talked about it anymore. Nick stopped talking about it. Like, there was really no like uh, big efforts to run candidates, etc. And we tried to hand Nick like on a silver platter, like a political platform here, a political platform here, here's an agenda, here's a thing that you can tangibly do to affect political change. And always, you know, the response we would get when we run it up the chain to Nick it was like, not interested, not interested, we can't do that right now. We can go on a 17 day uh, white boy summer road trip um, to embarrass so, ourselves. So you do CPAC. all this uh, data yeah. interpolation and analysis. You start vetting things. You start looking mm -hmm. at uh, demographics. You put together a platform and a plank. You start looking at candidates. Mm -hmm. You put together this dossier of how you can expand this as a political movement. And he's like, no, nah, I want to get in my BMW and go look at cum stains. <laughs> 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 well, it's funny with the with the BMW, or oh, I think it was actually like was it, Dodge there. Challenger. Was it like a reference to James Field who ran through all those people at Charlottesville? It's like, okay, first of Is all, this maybe... license plate say Hitler two, three, and four on the back? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good one. Somebody should uh, somebody should reserve that. But oh, no, no, it's it's funny because during the White Boy Summer there was a um, donor event, and if you watch the White Boy Summer movie that we put together, you can kind of see where he's like addressing like this fancy room of like donors or whatever. I don't know the timeline exactly, but at that donor event, I know that, you know, from talking to a lot of Groypers went there, not just political donors, but I remember Groypers talking about, oh, yeah, yeah, Nick uh, got his money taken from the feds. Um, and so, like, you know, we have like these legitimate political goals that can't be accomplished, that we're doing, you know, harsh data analysis, we're doing like these comparisons and talking to people in DC, sending people out to campaigns. But instead of doing any of that, we do this road trip. And then we, when we go to like talk to donors, we lie to them. We say, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my money's taken away. Oh, uh, woe is me, I'm so poor. And like, you know, just to even take the morality out of it, you don't need to lie. Like, you know, as a Christian, I think it's terrible to take people's money based on a lie, obviously. However, you don't even need to lie, Nick. You know, that's the thing. It's like, those people probably would have supported you even if you didn't lie to them, but now, I don't well, know doesn't he, doesn't he detest back. them? I mean, I could have sworn I saw a clip of, uh, I think it was Nick and Beardson talking about, like, doxing some guy. Um, mm -hmm. And it wasn't really that they were doxing him, but one of the comments they made was, like, oh, he's a blue-collar worker, he's poor, what a piece of shit. Um, it, and, and it's just weird to me that he'll take, you know, because you said at this donor event there are groypers there and stuff, and he's mm -hmm. got groypers that financially support him either on stream or otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, but it feels like there's no appreciation for it. You know what I mean? Like. Right that he well, just looks he deserves down on them. it he deserves it because right. he's saving the white race it's like you're not uh, giving me enough money in super chats i'm saving you should be gracious i'm your benevolent oh, king who, it like, reminds me of the richard spencer call i don't know if you, you guys ever heard the leaked richard spencer call or... yeah yeah that's what i was talking about earlier what i said yeah. uh, every, it sounds like everybody's got a spencer uh fucking recording <laughs> that they just want you know milo what that's they just got it on their phone somewhere well, no, I, I'm, I'm referencing when Spencer was like on that leaked phone call where he's like, do you know who the fuck I am? And like, I'm the greatest. I'm the best. Like, why are you? Holy not, you shit. Know? Yeah, it's exactly yeah. like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, and just and just thinking about it for a second, I mean, Milo, who's apparently Nick's closest confidant, he has the vault. You ever seen his hard drive? Yeah, yeah, he says he has that. all these secrets on people. So who yeah, knows and what he has Allegedly, Milo Nick. got warned uh, by the feds about January 6th. I don't know. Right. I mean. Nick has talked, I believe he said that on, on stream. So, mm -hmm. uh, and this is his, his go-to guy now, because really I just the like only the person idea with any, that, any political, that, uh, that Milo Yiannopoulos, that the feds would warn Milo Yiannopoulos, like, dude, you don't understand how retarded this guy is. You need, <laughs> you need to stay away from Nicholas uh, Fuentes for your own safety. Trust me. Uh, 
one thing I've been getting a lot of, you know, don't we get donations and messages mm. about is the America First students thing. Jim. Yes, sure, sure. You were in charge of organizing that. Yeah. What happened with that? I, I heard, remember last night you were saying like Nick like self sabotaged you, or I don't want. Yeah. To so I mean, it, there was a mixture of things there because uh, it it happened like that was getting started right as COVID kicked up and school like was out after one meeting and for however long and I got kicked out of school because uh, I was you know, tweeting edgy things, whatever. Um, but yeah, that whole thing. So that was like my bread and butter. I, and it's like kind of cringe cause it's whatever it's campus politics, but turning point USA, I was like one of the top guys in a very short amount of time. And I was pretty good at organizing and Elijah Schaefer and Fleck is talk. So like I, I did a big, um, event for them and they offered me an internship right after. And that's how I got Nick connected to Elijah. And there's definitely like, there's something there and for whatever reason um the af students thing nick like gave me a call one day and he's like are you like trying to fuck with me like is this a is this a joke like are you trying to test my power and it's like no dude like i'm just a fan of the i'm just like a fan um and you know i had been talking to him briefly but he's like are you you trying to make this thing your thing it's like no like i'm 100 percent, you know um behind you like i'm not trying to do my own thing here and then like for no reason at all i was still in school i still had my club um basically he was bringing other people into the fold and may he said it's because my face was involved and he didn't want me involved with things because i had been doxxed and i was like associated with him so he brought other people into the fold uh to kind of handle it but nothing has happened with that and everyone's like Jaden did nothing with this he totally shit the bed and it's like well i got kicked out of college and also nick was like you're not really involved anymore and now they have their whole thing um but nothing has happened and nick's been talking about doing the college tour since 2019 so and nothing's yeah. ever happened so what about the airbnb like why did you get oh. blacklisted from airbnb a lot yeah i'm glad you brought that up so yeah funny enough so through all of this by the way um all the personal stuff i've been trying to distance for months but i still was the treasurer of the foundation and uh, I had to do certain stuff for AFPAC. And for whatever reason, one of the things he gave me uh, was the Airbnb situation. And he wanted me to use my account instead of like any other random account, um, which is retarded. But he had me use my account. And the day before, like all the Airbnbs for the interns got canceled and there were no other Airbnbs in Florida. So I was on the phone for like five hours with Airbnb and a ton of people in chat can attest to this because I was with them and I had to like work all night. Um, I was on the phone with the Airbnb. I was on the phone with the owners of the Airbnb trying to like work a deal out because Airbnb like banned me um, trying to work a deal out for people to stay because they had nowhere to go. And I got my account banned, ton of work went into it, ton of time. And uh, I was nothing but cool with Nick. Like, I want to make it clear that I tried to squash this. He's like, he wouldn't pick up the phone. I tried to squash this five times in person. Like, I went up to his apartment, knock, knock, knock. You know, like, let's just squash this because um, I don't want a public feud. I know how he is. I know he's insane. Um, but, yeah, the Airbnb thing happened. Um, I was trying to be cordial with him with that. He didn't even say, you know, thank you, anything, which I didn't expect. But, yeah, that was basically that story. Um Mm. Not nothing too crazy, yeah, but well, just kind of goes. One more thing, the, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go go back. Oh, I was going to say on the AF students thing, real quick. Um, like, Jane, were you involved in? Like, I honestly didn't know this. I, I don't know the answer to this. Were you involved mm. with the CRPC thing with AF students, or was that? Completely is that out of your the? Hands? Is that what they're? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. Uh, I wasn't like. I was mm -hmm. sort of behind the scenes, but it was more of a transition thing. So he gave it to the other person. Yeah, you yeah. Know. yeah, they, yeah. They transitioned from the AF students to the College Republican Patriot Coalition, um, <laughs> which is kind of funny because they, their, their uh, AF students, like you know, big effort is like has to pretend like it has nothing to do with Nick Fuentes because Nick has uh, made himself so radioactive to other people. So I didn't know that was something that was already discussed. But yeah, that's the uh, the new AF students is. Uh, College Republican Patriot Coalition. And it's funny too, because they know, um, <laughs> I think they know that like, if they came out and said, yeah, we're the AF, you know, uh, we're the we're the Nick Fuentes organization, like they would be kicked out of every college. So I don't, by the way, anyone who's done that, I don't want them to, to get kicked out of college, you know, just to be clear, but it's like, you know, if this is who you're going to form a group around and, and uh, kind of make your leader, it's like, you know what you're signing just up for at that point. 
I just want to circle back around to something that Jaden had said earlier about like the social security <laughs> number. Sure. Did Nick directly tell you that he would leak your social security number or did you hear this from a groiper or what? Cause that sounds like fucking extortion to me. It sounds like, a yeah, no, fun. he, I haven't heard it directly from him. I've just heard from other sources. And on top of that, he's, in, he's just insane. And I've heard him threaten to take his assistant to the feds. I've heard him take, threaten to take Patrick Casey to the feds. I've heard him, uh, you know, he's already, like we've said, Simon and myself threatened to sue us. So I'm not, I'm not saying that. I just am like clarifying why I put that statement out publicly and didn't. One, I, I wanted to go out on my own terms. Mm -hmm. um, and again, I want to reiterate that that text message that he put out proves exactly what I was saying. Like he asked me to come sign something, um, and I had this resignation letter already done and over like i already had it prepared because i was planning to leave once i moved he said that i didn't know what the fuck he wanted me to sign but i just sent him that resignation and that was my response he wasn't asking me for that not that it matters but you know just just throwing it out there that that was just another like slight lie because that's what it's all about is this fucking ego i'm in charge you're my bitch oh you do this on your own terms oh well, now you're the bad guy and i'm gonna slander you for seven days straight um, we did the same thing to the interns who left too, you know, when me and uh, others, you know, told Nick, you know, we talked about what some of us talked about wanting to resign ahead of time, you know, we were like, right. like you, Jane, we were planning our resignation, trying to be careful, because we knew Nick's a fucking psychopath, you know what I right. mean, he's will fuck people if they leave. And one of those people, uh, UX Scraper, uh heard about this and ran and told Nick, you know, and so Nick, you know, he he gets us into a call and uh, he won't even stay on the phone with uh, this phone with us because he's so mad you know what i mean he has to send us a, a voicemail because he can't even talk to us but it's like you know what you know i was gonna fire you anyways you know uh, i've been wanting to fire you for months and blah 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 it's like uh, and then he tells everyone oh yeah, yeah i fired them because they're they're imbeciles and it's like <laughs> like you know nigga come on like we you got advanced information that we were planning it's on designing. it's thing. like it's yeah it's, uh, that's what it is Simon, you know? did you ever reach out to any of the donors and said to them you know you've been lied to about what nick did did you ever um because... well me personally no and i don't think anyone else has because of the you know with the whole nda thing and i do want to bring that back up that's actually a good point um with the legal threats um i wasn't sure if like you know uh, knowing the names of the donors would be in violation of the NDA. I don't think it is now. I do think the NDA is complete crap, but at the time I was a little bit worried. Like if I, you know, message these people, which, you know, I'm not going to say the, the donors here and, and God bless them, by the way, I do hope that they get the hell away from this thing as fast, fast as possible. I mean, some of these people, well, man, it's like, they're what's, the hard his, what's his play mm. even here then? Uh, you know, I, cause I, mm. I guess I'm trying to imagine I'm Nick Fuentes right now and this stream just happened. And mm -hmm. people have come out and they've disclosed this kind of information. If he seeks to pursue this legally, right, he's mm -hmm. going to look like the world's biggest cunt. Who's going to rally around that? Like, oh, he's following he's through with his threat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think mm -hmm. he's going to get as much of a, a backing as he's imagining, you mm -hmm. know, based on the things that you guys have been talking about. Um, You'd be surprised. And, I mean, I think it's he'll still have his core and which is all you can really his explain. core of half the numbers he presents yeah yes yes <laughs> well do you, do you know well do you know what the current strategy is baked alaska is saying he's going to press you irl and kick mm. your ass Jaden. so this That's is the current strategy mm. is to send yoba as the hitman hey Jaden, boxing you versus baked let's fucking go <laughs> that, would, that would be interesting yeah. alaska is going to come mace me yeah, it's and funny. I held back well, on the guy. You heard it. I was. Didn't you, you say that there was a, yep. Didn't you say there was a bunch of saucy people at Bake's party? Do you want to oh, get yeah. into that? Um, and during White Boy Summer, yeah, it was the saucy squad was all out in force. Um, again, because I don't want to be involved with doxing. You know, I won't name them who they were there or whatever. But yeah, I mean, like these are the type of guys who <laughs> they call themselves the saucy squad. One of them is an actual homosexual. The other one is a, a sexual degenerate of like another breed, which I don't even want to go into. And these fucking faggots would constantly be like all over each other, you know, like grab at each other. Like, you know, they one of them would always have his shirt off in front of them and they would like tackle him and start tickling him. And I don't know if that's what Nick means when he's talking about being sussy with the bros, but like, I think about like all- So the that sort of it. sussy gay behavior was going down at Bake's pool. So you're telling me that yes. at Baked Alaska's house, they just have random half naked tickle parties. Oh, <laughs> on occasion, on occasion. What the fuck? You know, maybe just I don't know, I fell asleep but... drunk on the couch, but they all took pictures of me. While Did you I... wake up sore? 
No, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> just uh, for the record. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I passed out on the couch, and they all took photos with me, which is well, odd. It, it, real quick, as we were talking about the the Nick's recourse, um, you know, so <laughs> I don't think it'd be any surprise that me and Jaden know some people who are still in the internship and in various different departments and various different teams. Um, and Nick's people, and this is in the last two or three days have demanded that they sign new work for hire forms and new NDAs. Um, I don't know if maybe Nick somehow lost the old ones or they need to like reword them so they can fuck people even harder. But, and this is one of the big, you know, we're talking about the bombshell, Jaden kissed a girl, here's a bombshell. They are trying to get any interns who are still left in there to sign new legal documents signing over their lives to Nick Fuentes. If any of you people are watching the stream, please don't fucking do it, you know? Oh. Put a fake name and then run away. I, I mean, it's this, like they're doing this right now and I think they're demanding the new NDAs probably before the end of the week, maybe into next week. So you have a couple of days, oh. you know? <laughs> well, I, I remember Jaden saying that John Miller in particular was sussy. Is there any reason that John Miller was sussy at Bake's party or? All I remember about John Miller at Bake's party is I felt very fucking bad for him. He got drunk, you know, which is what it is. And I know Jaden, him and you were like fighting or whatever. And uh, everybody was in the pool, um, which by the way, because we were recording footage for the White Boy Summer movie, um, Nick said, absolutely do not record anything that goes on in the pool. I don't want them to see my hairy groiper belly, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> but we're all in, in the pool. And, uh, and I guess like Nick was on a power trip or he had just had enough. Um, and excuse the language here. But he goes up to, to John Miller and he just starts screaming at him. And um, I can't remember everything he said, but I literally remember this. He looks at him straight in the face and he said, and you, and you fucking nigger, you know, as loud as possible. Whoa. You can hear a pin drop, you know, and, and Jaden, you remember this. I, yeah, I, no, I, thought, I was just like, I don't know if we're on YouTube, if you can say that. Well, no, so, sorry, sorry. Well, if you're quoting, it's all right, brother. If, if you're quoting, quote, yeah, no, quote, fair but, enough. Yeah. If you're quoting, you, that's what I was worried about there. And yeah, you aren't yeah. saying it to a black person. Right, 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 right. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, no, and, and I was shocked at the time, and everybody there was shocked, and it was dead <laughs> silence, and everyone looked around at each other, and then a couple of people there were just like, were like, uh, <laughs> start like kind of fake laughing, and everyone starts kind of laughing. And, uh, <laughs> And it was so funny because John Miller came up to Nick later that evening and was like, hey, man, uh, I really don't appreciate what you did to me back there. Um, and Nick's like, well, uh, yeah, well, you kind of deserved it. You were uh, you were acting like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he was just like, look, man, that I just want an apology. That kind of cool, though. <laughs> I don't know if that's exactly cool. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, this is supposed to be an integral member of his. It's like, and again, John Miller is is a great guy. Like, I don't know about the sussy stuff with him. That's not my thing. I didn't didn't ever experience that with John Miller. But John Miller is a guy who came from the Blaze, who had a real political career, like Jaden. He's a black guy, you know, trying to give his life, sacrifice his oh, wait. career, speak at AFPAC John, too. John's black. Oh, that, you didn't know this? That makes yeah. the story crazier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is this is a black conservative oh who my decided God. to screw his political, well, like, you know, put his political career oh in jeopardy God. in harm's way for Nick to legitimize Holy. Nick's event. And he goes to hang out with Nick IRL, and this is what happens. Oh, you know? I thought it was just some white guy that he was calling the N word. No, 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 no. That wouldn't oh. really be a big deal. But the fact that it was specifically at the only black guy there. <laughs> <laughs> Nick. Not to mention any names, but do you guys know if there was a gay hookup at Bake's house or? No, Not to my knowledge. Not to oh, your knowledge, there be, was. Oh, let's there. let's let's read between the lines of half naked tickle. Yeah, parts, you know, well, we have to. I, well, I, I was, I was, at, the hotel, I was at the airport. I see. This is another example <laughs> of just how insane this guy is. Is I uh, I went with Bake Alaska. He's like, hey, I'm going to pick up Lowell's from the airport. I'm like, yeah, I'll go. I'll go with uh, and me, him, Jimbo, and Trey were going to the airport and nick was pissed off and he's uh, i guess i didn't invite him i didn't invite him to go in bake's car and this was like a big issue and he even aired it out on stream nick Jaden didn't invite me to go to the airport to pick up lols i'm like i didn't know i had to do that he's like if, if you're my friend you should want me to go with you it's like dude just speak up so i was i must have been at the airport when the the tickle fights were going on because 
I wasn't in the house, guys. Listen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, no I, I okay. had nothing to do with that. Yeah. I got you give me enough dumper rumper jokes. I, I wasn't around for the tickle fights. <laughs> tickle fight. yeah, that's true. yeah, the dumper rumper jokes from the outside, the inside is Jaden talks to girls. I just can't win. I just can't win. You're getting nailed from both sides on that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, what the oh, fuck? Wow. All right. Uh, yeah, Bake does want to fight you for sure. Like I, I sent some uh, screens. I don't like, think I'm in his weight class. Like, <laughs> like Bake's like fucking 215. Pounds. Yeah, I, 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 I think he would have to lose some weight for like a proper fight, and I don't think Mace is allowed. So I don't know. Well, I, uh, let's like, be realistic. Where are you gonna fight him, Leavenworth? I mean, May 11th <laughs> is coming up, so I don't know where that fight's gonna be fucking scheduled. Well, he'll, hey, he'll just throw all, all the American Patriots under the bus. They recorded allegedly. And uh, for for his plea deal or whatever, if he wants to fucking well, come out, is Nick's him, move to just come out as gay to own you, Jaden, and say he pumped your dumper? Is it wouldn't surprise me at this point. It seems like <laughs> so that's the power move. Any of yeah. these guys got yeah. going, which isn't really surprising because the political movement's dead. Um, is yeah. uh, they're they're just spiteful towards me. Which again, none of them even knew me and Nick had problems until like a week ago and we haven't well, talked for like don't you love that too like everyone would suck up to you because you're close to nick everyone would suck up to me because i was close to nick at the time because they want to be close to nick and they say oh you're the best you're the best the next right. throw the bus they're like oh yeah, yeah that's piss on his sports i hope Weird. he I his said his next Alaska. meal yeah i yeah. said baked alaska and beardson weren't my friends that they were nick's friends and then here they are not not talking to me and instead coming after me for no reason at all <laughs> whoa it's almost like they're never my friend <laughs> Yeah. It's like the whole internet thing is real. You're totally mm. vindicated okay. on that. One thing I wanted you guys to expand on is the New York City rally. It seems like that was a big point mm. of sure. where you guys became disillusioned. What was the the problem with the New York City rally? Well, well was... I mean, do you want to go on this one, Jade? I mean, I can start. You can fill in. I mean, mm -hmm. initially, so we were there for like nine days, I think. Um, and it, it, it just was, it started off very rough. Um, we were going there because we were supposed to make all this crazy anti-mask content. And I pitched this idea to Nick because I'm like, you know, a way that maybe you could go viral um, possibly on, I don't know, TikTok or something is like to – do the sort of baked Alaska pressing people in public about the mask stuff without like macing them or getting in fights with like black people, but like going in there and, you know, causing some mayhem about that. Um, that's initially why we went out there, but he somehow along the way, they decided to do a Staten Island rally, which is two hours outside New York on a Wednesday at noon. And they, you guys saw it. There's like 50 people that showed up and, it, and they kind of just caged us in. And Nick did the, you know, his chance with the megaphone and then left. And he was pissed. He was pissed because no one showed up, which, you know, common sense. You know, big political brain guy here. Uh, noon on a Wednesday, two hours outside of a major well, city. Like, well, you're forgetting one detail, show up? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> no, no. This is my favorite part is when we were going to this event, you know, because we had put it out publicly that where the event was going to be held, we started getting reports that Michael Hayden and the SPLC were in attendance at the event and they were taking pictures of people. I remember myself and other people, or maybe, you know what, I, I forget who said it first, but somebody said it first in the in the chat or in the car or whatever, wherever we were at the time. It's like, you know, maybe we should decide to hold the political event somewhere else. Like, maybe we should call it off. You know what I mean? Because, you know, like, first of all, is this really going to be such a political win? Is this going to be such a political su success that it's worth Michael Hayden taking pictures of like 20, 30, 40 people? Like that, that's a question you have to ask yourself. And I remember at the time, like going along with it and uh, afterwards I felt very bad about it. And, you know, Nick was so angry about how the event was such a huge failure. And I was thinking like, you know what? I think Nick's right. You know, it was a failure because Michael Hayden doxed all those people. And then we brought it up to Nick yeah, and said, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're aged like animals, and Michael Hayden just yes. walking around yeah, taking yeah. pictures so of we, every person. We're like, that's kind of that kind of sucks. He's like, who gives a fuck about them? It's like my image, my image of right. us looking like retards in a cage, and no one's showing well, up. You want to talk about the image? You want to talk about the image? Like, so we're supposed to be like the most anti-mask, anti-vax group in America. Yeah, we hate the mask. We would never wear a mask. If they ask you to wear a mask at McDonald's, you rip it off and say, I will not comply. And if anyone's been with Nick, you ever go anywhere with him, he's always was wearing a mask. We would be on the Long Island Railroad, every single person on there, you know, myself, all the interns, no mask, you know, ever, you know, puts on the mask immediately. We kind of like nag him for it or whatever. And, you know, 
<laughs> like, I don't want to be seen. It's like, it's obviously you, man. It's like a blue, it's a blue piece of paper. It's not going to hide much. And so we go to the, we're trying to get the content. Like I prepared for weeks for this New York thing. I went and um, learned all of these different uh, broadcasting solutions in case we need to do like a uh, mobile on the go, like multi-camera broadcasting of like an impromptu rally. Um, you know, I learned, uh, you know, all of the different techniques I set up, you know, I talked to all the interns, got them ready to ingest footage in a timely manner. Cause I thought we were going to be going like hard, like into each store, you know, getting an hour of footage, get it to them, get them to edit it into the right, right formats. We went over how to do it for TikTok, Twitter, you know, everything you would need to go viral. And we get there and it's like, oh, I don't feel like it today. Ah, I, don't I don't feel really like it. Do let's it. walk around Brooklyn. Let's walk around Brooklyn yeah. and uh, not do anything at all. Yeah, not do like, anything. Hey, let's like go into a store. Shut the fuck up! Like, uh, no, fuck you, Simon. Well, stop recording. Yeah, yeah. They were telling me to stop recording. Stop recording. I'm like, well, Nick, I'm we're sure there's something in here, you know, that I we could that we could make into like a funny video. And and there's a reason no videos came out from that, by the way. But we go to Times Square, and there's actually a leftist rally going on there. Like, you know, how lucky we're trying to find like angry leftist, you know, conservative, com you know, confronts libtard, you know, type of content. And there's a pro immigrant rally happening. And so we're like, okay, yeah, we got to go check this out. And, you know, the whole crew, you know, rolls up there and, you know, some of us start debating them. I remember Tenryo, he was very funny. You know? He was pressing them, you know, whatever. He was, he was a funny guy, but we were there. And Nick starts like getting nervous because there's all of these leftists, all of these immigrant people. And it's like, you know, guys, we got to get out of here. Like, this is too dangerous, you know? Like, and he, and he goes, starts telling the, the guys who are arguing with the, uh, the pro-immigrant people, it's like, all right, all right, you know, let's calm this down. Let's stop recording. This is, this is not the kind of content we want or whatever. And so we like move away from the crowd we move away from the crowd. And then uh, there's some guy who's staring us down, like making faces at us, like yelling at us. And so one of us flicks him off, um, you know, because I, I you know, you want interesting content, right? Like we're out here, but, you know, I get briefed that we're trying to do a confrontation, you know, viral video. So we flick one guy off, Nick gets mad about it. He comes over there and he's like yelling and I'm recording the whole thing. I thought it was I mean, hilarious, you know, long you remember. Long story Jamie. short, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Long story yeah. short, it was just a, a total waste of time and he was just a like faggot the entire well, my time. My favorite part and is he's like yelling. Whole, that's like, everything we did. Everything we did yeah. from Springfield to this, it's basically like him just, treating everyone and all of his interns and like shit and like screaming at Simon doing that. And really it wasn't like one specific thing for me anyways. It was just mm -hmm. like the straw that broke the camel's back. It was like, I can't deal with this fucking person. Well, you, you That's essentially this, what it this was. This guy is going to be like the new Hitler, the new Aryan, like master, you know, savior of the white race. You know what I mean? Some like, you know, Italian liberal comes over and starts yelling at us. He's turning to the interns like, you're going to get us fucking killed. We need to get the fuck out of here right now. <laughs> and there are literally six police officers right here. This is Times Square. If there's ever a place where you probably don't need to worry about getting shot, it is Times Square. <laughs> and, you know, like it was all this like bitching. And the, the, the subsequent days of the trip, there was like no events. There was no events. I was like, oh, we're going to get more content. No, we're going to sit in the hotel all day. We're going to get more content. No, I'm going to sit on TikTok all day. And so then we finally, we had, we promised we were going to do a rally at the end of the week. And this is one of my favorite things because Nick talks about New York. Like this was the moment he flipped the switch. This is the moment when everyone around me was hurting me. And I realized that I don't care about them because I'm great. You know, he said on a show a little while ago. And uh, if you guys want to know like a taste of what that greatness looks like, um, Nick is yelling at all of the interns who were there with him saying, you guys are fucked up. You guys are embarrassing me. My image is on the line, you know, et cetera. And we say, okay, well, we still want to do the rally on Friday, right? Like this rally, or rather it was on Saturday um, at the yeah, Pfizer building. Yeah, he called building. everybody. He called everybody, mm -hmm. got them on the phone, ripped their ass, said the one on Wednesday was a total disaster. The one on mm -hmm. Saturday, he's going to cancel it. He's going to fuck it. this. He's firing yep. half of half of you. Mm -hmm. Like, it's over. I'm like, dude, why don't you just do what you did at uh, Stop the Steal? Just go out there, speak, do your thing, yeah. try to get the boomers over on your side. Him. We and beg him. Like, like, yeah. He's like – he does that. Jaden, you saved the day. That's what he says to me, whatever, and rips them a new asshole. But even at that point, I was fucking over it. I was over yeah. him. And it, yeah. again, that's that's basically the Well, story. no, I just love, like, like, like we, we have to beg him to do his own event that hundreds of people uh, flew out there to go attend. You know what I mean? And then when the event actually takes place, so we put in the hard work of like doing all the filming and the, and the transport and, the, and booking the vehicles and all this kind of stuff. It's like, you know what? You know, I turned that thing around. You guys were fucking it all up. And then I was great. It's like, bro, you, <laughs> you wanted to cancel the whole thing. And all of us, we're begging you, please don't cancel it. You're going to embarrass yourself. 
we already wanted to quit at that point. Jaden already wanted to quit. All of us already wanted to quit. But we're like, man, we all came out here. Let's at least give these people who paid money to come out here to see you what they wanted, you know? Anyways, that's... Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I wanted to, nice. you know, one more thing. Sorry to go this, off. You know, because, sure. it, well, no, it was, was great. It was great. It was great. Um, <laughs> when it comes to the vaccine, I mean, America First was so anti-vaccine. Right. Anyone you know, did Nick take the vaccine? Did Tyler Russell take the vaccine? What about Big? Anybody know? Not to my knowledge. No, I don't. I don't either. know. Not to my knowledge. No. Okay. I don't think he did. Okay. But all right, he, he wears a mask everywhere. But he does wear the mask, mask everywhere. Yeah. That is real. But uh, yeah, I don't know about the the back thing. I always gave him shit for the mask. And he's like, well, what, what if I'm noticed? So. <laughs> Anyways, there. Just to protect his identity. Well, do we want to? Is there anything left? I think we've gone over a lot of shit. Tonight, I think we've guys. basically covered most. Yeah. Of it. I mean, uh, I yeah. hope I hope I can leave it at that. I, I just wanted to get that information out there about the. Oh, he's going to totally come stuff. after your ass. I mean, he's already yeah, been coming yeah. after me. Man, but and yeah, I, I just want to say like, this: Jake's sure. left a lot on the table. He told me there's a lot yeah. that left mm-hmm. that he could say. Right. Simon, there's probably a lot left he could say. They're showing restraint. Nick. I tried to not. Maybe it's you know, time to quit while you're belt. going. Head. So yeah, I'm gonna use the yeah. bathroom. Be right back. Yeah. I oh, and by the, the way, Ralph right now is encouraging everybody to flag the stream for hate speech. It's again the Groyper is really pro free speech. There. You piece <laughs> of fucking Classic. shit. So much for freedom of speech. Classic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's he's being a fucking dick right now. Uh, I'm gonna use the bathroom. I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, was, one final I, thing. Yeah, go on, Jim. Go on. Yeah, I was going to ask you, Ashton. Mm-hmm. I, just based off all this shit coming out, and I'm sure there are going to be other people that want to talk, are you and Worski going to do... Like, I, I have a feeling you're going to get flooded with people that want to talk about shit now from the inside of the organization. Uh, you guys are going to be doing streams probably fucking daily for weeks at this point. Yeah, I mean, we already have, before today, before all this <laughs> dropped, weeks worth of content. And we also have other people from within that wanted to tell yeah. stories. We heard from Patrick Casey. Um, you know, P- Casey is actually, I think, recording something for us to show where he's, you know, he doesn't want to go on live because he doesn't want to incriminate himself, but he wants to be sure to expose as much as he can. We, I'm sure we'll hear from other people as well, and we'll continue to cover the story. And I don't really think there's a, a fucking thing that Ralph or, or Nick can really do about it. I <laughs> I just want to say, like, again, I want to remind everyone that's like all the Groypers out there, everyone that's like, you were my favorite streamer and now I hate you or whatever. It's like, I tried to leave amicably. I did not want this to be what it had, but it had to because Nick mm-hmm. is a, what, what do you call him, a Mexican child? Like, the Mexican the, child leader of the white race. Yeah, that, Jane, like, we got to get it in. What's the deep down. lore on the dumper pumper stream? Like, why did that happen? Do you think, dude? Like, I, I, it's all <laughs> like, like you said with the SpongeBob shirt yesterday, it's, it's just all like, I, I think most of it, he just wants to embarrass everyone, kind of belittle them. What mm-hmm. what was the terminology you used yesterday about the SpongeBob shirt? You know what I'm talking about? You're I'm asking, more, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm more, asking you. I'm more curious, uh, like, because that was like a 10 humiliation minute ritual. Oh, humili- yeah, it's, it's, that's, it's, all yeah. It that's all it is. It's a humiliation ritual. ritual. Sorry, I'm retarded. I'm like have to piss so bad. That's all I can think about right now. But yeah, the, it's 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 a humiliation ritual. Obviously, you watch the clip. I'm like, Haha, yeah, dude. What, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And uh, I feel like most people feel that way when he does. He said he was like going to spank your dumper and put you to bed at a good time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, man. I the guy always used to talk you. about Patrick Casey's dumper, but in a way, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, so. why? Yeah. It's, I mean, now he talks about the same stuff. If you watch any of the Sussy Squad streams with him, Veda, and UX, I mean, they sit there and, like, talk about how, oh, your voice makes me bricked up, and, oh, like, there's <laughs> all, there's a million clips out there. I'll, uh, sussy. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Sussy. Yeah. That's awesome. Do we want much... to... Go yeah, ahead. go on, Jade. No, I'm done. Go ahead. Okay. Do we want to try and slam through some of these super chats, guys? Because there are a lot of super chats. There's like a, um, a time. Ty- now, well, most you things, use like the if you've been asked about it already, sure. Um, you you got to go. Well, go to the bathroom. Jim. All right. Well, yeah. Let me yeah. go piss real quick. I'll yeah. be right back. 
Yeah. Um, um, I, well, if you do the super chats, try to hit the ones that uh, for the guests, right? Like that's what I'm it, looking yes, for right now. Questions, and, and then if you guys have already answered it. Just say already mm -hmm. answered. Okay. So we don't waste so, too much time. All right, right. So I'll scroll through right now. And by the way, everyone, mm -hmm. after we read more super chats, when everyone leaves, Ashton and I will be sticking around. We have a bunch of Nick Fuentes eclipse we're going to be watching. Uh, still. Well, so one. Well, one. Okay, I think we have we're one. Gonna do mm -hmm. one. We're gonna do the one where Nick copes about how he doesn't go to the gym because he's too short. How he's a king and kings don't work out. Kings aren't muscular. I don't know if Nick knows anything about history, judging Very by the Spartacus comment. I don't think he knows fucking <laughs> jack shit. But I think most like ancient kings were warrior kings that were pretty fucking yoked. But anyway, <laughs> Nick's like off in his own fucking fantasy land. He talks about how he, he wants to be thin. He wants to be a fat. And I think he says he wants to be dainty. Yeah. This is the sort of shit that he's saying. Yeah, and then twinkish. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, twink twinkish. yeah like twinkish. twinkish. Yeah. 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 He wants to be twinkish. Yeah. Uh, and it's fucking crazy. But I will say, I mean, the stuff tonight, I mean, I talked to Jaden last night. And it was even more than what we talked about last night. It was fucking shocking, some of the things that you guys came out with. And it was very brave of you to do it. It's a crazy stream, um, man. Crazy stream. And thank you. Like this. Yeah, is was nuts. yeah. And and we hope for the Groypers out there who are freaked out. Honestly, I, I've already had like 10 like message requests on Twitter or like, all right, I'm done. Thank you for this stream. Like, thank you for that. Like, I appreciate it. Like 10 people just at, added me like a uh, privately so it, well, it, it is neither of, uh, two yeah, telegram I mean, posts all it took all yeah it took neither neither Jaden or simon you know when they talked about all this shit took shots at the groipers i mean it was all you know no. nick did this shit or the generals did this shit but it wasn't yeah. shitting on like the user mm -hmm. base you know what i mean so I, I i don't know man it's just the stories are fucking wild this uh, like the nick shit is so much deeper than i fucking imagined <laughs> Yeah, dude. Yeah. And you have you I mean, uh, there's still more stuff we can dive into, but yeah. I mean when it comes to the stuff that people need to know, like for their safety and well being and just the fact that, like We'll dude, save it for part out. two next week when Nick well, yeah. goes after yeah. you and your family and then yeah. Yeah, that's a, we'll reset uh, and, from there. I think before we get into the super chats, like before we go to the super chat question, I just sure. want to reiterate because you bring up a good point. Like there's a reason that we haven't attacked any of the individual groupers because I think a lot of these people flocked to this movement because they wanted something that was right wing, that was, uh, you know, militant, and that was Christian. You know, they wanted to see the things that we read about in the Bible. They wanted to see victories accomplished on earth for the kingdom of heaven. And with with what everything that me and Jane have been talking about tonight, I want to make it abundantly clear. Nick is not accomplishing anything for the kingdom of heaven, nor will he ever in the capacity of doing what he's doing right now with America first. And if you care at all about the will of God and seeing the kingdom of the kingship of Christ actually realized on earth. It takes a lot more than just chanting Christ is king and then stabbing people in the back and going and, and snitching to the feds, etc. And so when you were considering whether or not you're going to fill out those work for hire forms, those NDAs, think about, I know this will sound gay, this will be played and made fun of because Nick would always make fun of when I'd go on a Christian tangent, a religious tangent or whatever. Um, you think about truly what would God want you to do? What would our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ want you to do? Would you? He wants you to sell your soul to somebody who would just as easily throw it away tomorrow, or would he want you to live a good life, get married, you know, find a woman, have actual joy, raise good children for, you know, who, with the white race, you know, we don't have very many children, as Nick's pointed out many times. It's either that or it's being a slave to this guy, because if you've learned anything from me and Jaden tonight, Nick's going to go on his stream and say that he's had the hardest year, everyone's betrayed him, everyone's backstabbed him. But if a man has is kicked out of 109 different friendship relationships, <laughs> it's not about those people. Nick will take anyone who's close to him. People that will even suck up to him, even to this day. Like I love, you know, Beardson, you know, I still don't want to say anything bad about him because I did, in, you know, enjoy the friendship we once had. He'll take him and throw him under the bus when he's talking to me and Jaden. When he talks to me and someone else, he'll throw Jaden under the bus and he's going to throw all of everybody who gets close to him under the bus in any context nobody is safe from nick's fucking gay faggot wrath okay you know, so, amen I mean, brother simon yeah. amen hey, yeah. simon, that... well an incredible righteous speech i'm gonna go pee and <laughs> yeah. uh, i'll be right yeah. back all right it, it's so funny you say that it's the, the exact same thing as ralph 
telling everyone, oh, everyone like backstabbed me this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm Mm -hmm. sure 29 people all Mm -hmm. like betrayed you for no reason, right? You're the righteous one, buddy. You're the righteous one. Uh, I'm yeah. I'm still collecting some yeah. of the um, of the questions here. Thank you everyone for the support. Holy fuck! Uh, the first question here from mm-hmm. Al for 25. Thank you so much. Uh, Jaden is a Zimmerman still involved with Cozy in some way, and if so, how? And what about Rob Monster? Um, the Zimmerman thing, as far as I know, is just a big joke because he just hosts Epic Pay, Epic Hosting, right, Simon? I mean, you know better um, than I do. So, yeah. He's not actually like... No, Zimmer Dev, right? excuse me. Uh, so people would say Zimmerman is Zoomer Dev. That's not true. Zoomer Dev is totally different, you know, whatever. The, the, I see that on Kiwi Farms. Zimmerman was a guy who there was an SBLC article about that was that I was also included in that were alleging that we were Zoomer Dev. That's not true. Zimmerman had a small role, or you know, he helped uh, the, the construction of AF.Live in the early uh, parts of the year, and then he kind of, you know, is doing his own thing at, at Epic. I don't think he's involved with America First in any capacity. And Rob Monster, he's the one who runs uh, Epic, right? I don't think that he uh, has any direct involvement with that. I think the reason people are curious about Rob Monster in particular is the last mm-hmm. seven to eight months, he's been going on a lot of public speaking tours talking about Web 3.0 and what he envisions. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like a, a dot reality thing and, you know, VR. Uh, but one of the things he's really pushing hard, which lines up with what Nick is doing right now, is mm-hmm. he said he absolutely loves drama and he absolutely loves shock jock radio. So mm-hmm. when I saw Ralph kind of go onto that website, I thought that lines up really close with fucking what Monster's been talking about quite a bit mm-hmm. uh, for what he, ins- you know, envisions as a, a new platform uh, for video content. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't think there, at least in my tenure at, at the organization until December 2021, there was no like official like reaching out to Rob Monster and, and uh, collaboration there as far as I was, I'm aware. I mean, it does sound like something from what you're saying that he would enjoy, um, but I don't think there's anything official that's like a deal or anything sure. like that that's been discussed. Yeah, I just think that's where it's coming from, if I had to guess. Uh, no, that's, that's probably true. All right, uh, Medicare Masochist with for a hundred massive dono saying Medicare is literally how I found all of you guys. Jim, you have uh, have given me years of entertainment, and I hope you're able to give me many more years, man. That's just a nice one there for you, Jim. Sure. Uh, a Winston Fujimari, who I actually he was in my Discord and we that talked. Was a Groiper. That and was he a was Groiper. yeah yeah, and he was my buddy, and he would always like hear both sides. But this is what he says. This stream is incredible. I have been wrong about AF for a long time and gave Nick and his people every last shred of doubt of belief uh, that things would all work out. But this is the seal. Uh, uh, this is the seal on this clusterfuck of a time bomb. I'm done with AF. No more. Uh, Winston Fujimara books it. There we go. go. <laughs> I remember talking to Winston about all this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you had like a, a, a debate with him on our Discord, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 not, Anonymous for five. Jaden, what did Nick say about John Doyle behind the scenes? Uh, it's weird how he defended him despite uh, him after felting Nick earlier. Uh, he always was shit talking John. Not really a surprise. He, you know, the second John is no longer useful, he'll get stabbed in the back as well. Um, yeah, the only reason he did that obviously is because he has to deal with me and he has he's doing the whole APU thing. And if John also like John is much bigger and more serious than me, I'm a fucking random game streamer. Like John's an actual serious uh, political person, and uh, yeah, the second that that's no longer useful, he he wants nothing to do with him. He not a, he's not a big fan. I'll just I'll just say that. All right, uh, big fat retard for fifty. Thank you, okay. <laughs> uh, Simon. Since you were in the di- a Discord, do you remember? Oh, you read this one about Nickaboo, and mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. All, all right, all right, camera, yeah. 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 Um, uh, Ashton brought it up. Anonymous for fifteen saying, "Is Nick scared of someone like Curtis Yarvin, who is clearly smarter, more articulate, and able to break down complex uh, political issues into layman's, and also has much better force a uh, site?" So is he? A, I mean, he's he's scared of PPP. I don't know anything about that. Guy, but, I mean, PPP has more political insight than Nick Fuentes. So, um, I'm. I, That's I mean, a damning statement. To wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Holy fuck! Now. Uh, we got anonymous uh, for twenty. What happens to the people who bought AF merch from this lunatic? Will they be compromised as well? Since Nick has most likely 
a, a federal or he is more most likely a federal informant. I heard the merch was delayed for a long while. Dot dot dot. So I used to run the the merch store um, for Nick. That was actually when I started working with him officially. We um, uh, started. I took over the merch store in summer of 2019. Um, so it's me personally, I don't have control over the merch store website anymore. I mean, for obvious reasons. Um, so I don't know what Nick is doing with the data. I wouldn't trust him with it, frankly. But yes, when you order things on, on a merch website, there is, um, you know, uh, you put your address and all that stuff. And I don't know if Nick has a security team like clearing out the database of addresses and names, you know, after a certain amount of time. And uh, I recommend them to do that if they uh, aren't doing that. They weren't doing that while I was there. All right, we got um, anonymous for three. I just gotta ask: Does does do they talk about like the Kino Casino privately a lot, or yeah, <laughs> they are felted. They are one hundred percent felted. Oh, I have a question. I was... And it's funny because okay. half of them watch it in secret and enjoy it. Like I told you, I've been watching this for months. <laughs> and, uh, you know, secretly, I know some of them also watch and enjoy, but they just keep it on the down low. They don't say anything. Oh, it's it's like, yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. I saw Wooza was watching the stream. He watches all of our shows. <laughs> uh, I wanted to ask you, this is from me. Uh, what is the plan? Say, trust the plan. What is the plan? Do you know? Make Nick a lot of money and oh. fuck over everyone in the meantime. <laughs> there you go. Anonymous for three. How much do you guys think Andrew Anglin influences Nick? Nick, uh, Nick seems to have gone full incel around the same time that Andrew Anglin did. A, 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 and N, F. Uh, seem to agree on anything and never criticize each other. Thoughts? Uh, um. I know he's a big fan. Yeah, I would say this about Andrew Anglin. I don't know if he's watching this right now, but I think Ang Andrew Anglin is a great writer. You know, I think that he's somebody that over the years, he did the brave thing in 2017. He had connections to the alt-right. And uh, when he saw that they were like a fed honeypot, he made it as well known as possible to stay away from them. And I hugely respect that. And I appreciate him for doing that at the time. Like, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, like I was with Spencer, I was at Charlottesville and, Anglin, you know, was somebody who was influential to me and in being steered clear of a lot of that bad stuff that was happening at the time. Um, I don't think him and Nick have like official contact or constantly talking. I honestly don't know. And I do hope that if Anglin sees the stream as uh, he's somebody in my mind who's been like the most anti doxing, anti uh, snitching to the feds type of uh, person in the right wing. You know, he was somebody who exposed a lot of that fed snitching back then. I would hope that if he does have uh, some form of relationship with Nick, that he does start to distance himself and uh, make sure, you know, ask his readers to kind of distance themselves from something that is this dangerous. So. All right. Thank you for that. Uh, Anonymous for 20. Can we help Simon at all? What a whirlwind of a story of him being your best man and godfather to your child, then treating you like shit. I'm so sorry. Bless you, man. But how can we help? Hey, I, I really appreciate that. Um, I will uh, try and I shut down all my uh, social media accounts a while ago, but I will open one up uh, in the background here on the stream and I'll, I'll post information there on uh, how people can help. But, you know, the best thing that you can do is is to pray, you know, pray for us um, and also pray for the, the people who are trapped in that hellhole right now of, a, of an internship. So, no, but I greatly appreciate it. God bless. Uh, hell yeah, man. Um, anonymous for three. What if Nick's whole movement is just to get more Mexican cock? Mm. That's all that says there. I thought I'd add that in. Uh, uh, from Black Santa, uh, uh, saying, I was completely unaware of this drama up to a month ago, and now I'm binging this drama. Doesn't it seem like genuine mental illness on Nick's part to any of you? Yes. Again, yes. two Telegram posts. Two Telegram posts. Nothing nasty at all was said, and it, he goes to literally i say nothing he goes to dox my uh donor and people close to me so i you know here we are two telegram two few sentences and uh, it, we got a whole week of spurging actually you know i mean it is kind of interesting because uh, i most men develop mental health issues like schizophrenia and stuff like that in their 20s mm. just saying that you know i mean you're kind of getting a little little off kilter with some of the weird shit we're hearing here yeah, if this whole AF thing doesn't work out, I might be actually concerned about him like hunting me down and trying to kill me or something. Or your bodily fluids. Yeah. Well, <laughs> who knows? 
Uh, and what's, yeah, last one for you guys. Uh, it's just a statement. Poo poo king for 20 for 20. Yo! He says, Jaden, you lost, nigga. No! <laughs> that Damn, that sucks. Whatever. I know him and Nick are close. So yeah. Yeah, sucks, we hey. threw 20 bucks, so he's on yeah. the list now. <laughs> hey! That's a way better message than anything my uh, you know, all my close friends Beardson and Baked and crew are saying about me. So yeah, fair enough. Uh, uh, we have a couple of uh, add-ons here at the end. Uh, Porcelain, what's up, buddy? For twenty, how do shirtless tickle parties help with a culture war? <laughs> Great question. <laughs> I think it's a the reference to the uh, famous Dave Riley question. How does yeah, yeah. yeah. help us from the culture war? Yeah, they they don't. They don't. Uh, Akino E says, imagine trusting the plan after the stream. Uh, here we go. A Christorian X for 10. Simon and Jaden, uh, between Telegram's connection to Cozy and Cozy itself, what data is being collected on any viewers or members of the site? And what does Nick have direct access to? That's your question. I have no idea. <laughs> So when it came to his subscription platform and his merch platform, any payment details, um, those um, are possibly saved. Um, again, if you provide any shipping addresses and names with those shipping addresses, those are saved. Um, is and... he doing merch as drop shipping or is he going through a third party that handles it all? So we did drop shipping th with uh, a third party. Um, I won't dox the, the third that, that's party fine. here, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was like a print on demand thing. So when somebody placed an sure. order, you know, so on and so forth. And, you know, for the hats and the flags, those were uh, something where, you know, I had to <laughs> kind of like help us, you know, actually package those up and send those out to people because those were uh, like batch ordered. Okay. Um, as far as Cozy TV, like IP addresses, I mean, any website that you connect to collects IP data. Um, you know, I don't. I don't know if they do it any differently over there. I would hope like uh, that they have security measures to where that, that information is, is wiped and anonymized, but uh, I wasn't on that side of things. The answer is allegedly they collect literally everything they possibly can, allegedly. Right. Oh, great. Wow. Uh, for legal reasons, <laughs> allegedly. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> a bro moment for 10. I have a question to ask. Nick always dodges and plays the question off. But is Nick actually homosexual, or do you believe he is? <laughs> no. Well, that's a long silence. Well, you know, that's a long I silence. Know. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I haven't seen. There's been some things I've questioned, but there's no confirmation for me. I, I think next, no, no week confirmation. Stream, huh? next week's stream will get into the confirmation. I we'll, think. We'll, we'll get Nothing but dead silence, about... and the eyes are wandering yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh -huh. I wanted to ask you guys with the super chat because people in uh, the regular chat were talking about Waukesha. What did mm. you guys think about Nick, you know, saying the little white girls deserved it because they would have burned the coal? Yeah, obviously that was fucked up. I don't know how, uh, <laughs> I don't know what his exact statement was on because I know, I remember the tweet, but uh, I, I remember that people who are calling that out, he was calling simps. So. Yeah. Well, look, you know, Nick's gotten to a point like anything referencing like murdering women, even if they're children, is is like funny, I guess, because they'll be whores. Um, the person who made the tweet, I think I remember him somewhere saying that it was actually ironic and he was kind of baiting people. So I guess Nick fell for the bait. I have no idea, though. Yeah, because I heard that live stream. I mean, it wasn't just the tweet. Mm -hmm. It was He went on to like an hour long live stream where he's arguing with people from Twitter right. um, saying that, like, you, you don't get it. It's fucking based. You know? <laughs> yeah, you know, this is. Well, it, for kids and parades is base. <laughs> it, it's like the like Jaden was saying earlier. It's like a contrarian thing. If the popular opinion yeah. is something that's sensible and reasonable, he's going to take the the route that makes the least sense because it will piss people off. It's just right. I think stuff like that is just being edgy to be edgy. Um, but uh, yeah, it's again serious political movement. You know, you call yourself Hitler. White girls getting ran. Like things are universally disliked on the right. Oh, actually, they're based. You know. So. Uh, just two more questions here. Uh, Spring mm -hmm. of Life. For 20 saying, Jaden, I will drop a hundred dollars to your power chat right now if you apologize to Patrick Casey. Oh, I've already talked to him behind the scenes. Yeah. Because, I mean, obviously, you know, obviously I'll put it out there. I know people were like questioning me and chat and whatnot. Like at the time, I 100 percent um was behind Nick. I was the one pushing for APAC too. So when he's talking about loyalty, 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 I had his back more than anybody. Yeah. Um, but when it when it comes out that the no fly list thing happened and the 
the five the bank account freeze happened. I mean, that is true. Both of those things are true. He warned them of that. So, I mean, I know that that's like suicide because everyone's like, he's the biggest trader. I mean, now I guess I'm the biggest trader, trader according to these Groypers. But um, he was looking out for people's best interests, and he definitely got shafted in that. And honestly, uh, it's shitty that I even contributed to that because like him and I didn't get along personally. So it wasn't like I was like, oh, this sucks. Um, and I, you know, I was I was a part of that. So um, it's yeah. – all right. You know, I don't know. You you live and learn. You grow up. Yeah. I've I've talked to him um, and told him as much, but uh, you know, that's yeah, publicly yeah. too. So uh, Spring of Life, yeah. send him a hundred bucks right now. Go ahead. <laughs> and real real quick on Patrick, I think this is important to bring up as far as his character versus Nick's. Like, I had disagreements about the way he you know reacted when he was pushed into that corner. I think it was wrong that they did that to him, but. I think that maybe the way he handled it wasn't the best. And I'm sure he would agree with that, but yeah, I'll say it, this about, sure. yeah, I'll say this about Patrick, you know, at AFPAC one, there was a situation where um, there was a, <laughs> there was a, there was a girl, I know, right. There was a girl at AFPAC one, but there was a girl who was being uh, seriously sexually abused, you know, and I won't, I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to talk about her identity or whatever. Um, and I found out about this, you know, she kind of admitted to my wife what was really going on. And I could tell that there was something serious. I'm, there. And I'm of... sorry to interrupt, but abuse by who? Um, I, another groiper who I hope and I think is no longer a part of the movement. Um, oh. But I don't want to call attention to any of uh, any of that. That's fine. I've just that's kind yeah. of a heavy bomb to drop. All right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, at the time, like I was torn up about it. It was really heartbreaking to hear about, you know, and um some other good good people you know uh, also you know actual like catholic people heard about this and were like disgusted i remember one of them was like yeah the next time i see this guy i'm gonna fucking kill him for what he did um which is not a threat but you know um and you know i patrick kind of wanted to know what was going on and i told him about this whole thing and he took it very very seriously and he kind of was like you know what like please let me know what you're doing to help her you know and i i meet in a couple of other groupers organized to help her get out of that situation, you know, give her a way out, uh, get her to a place, safe place to stay for a couple of months, et cetera. And Patrick was, you know, checking up on it the whole time saying, you know, like, Hey, if I can help in any way, like, let me know, um, at the event and afterwards following up, you know, seeing if she was okay. Um, I mentioned this thing to, to Nick and the, the other guys like later, and it was like, <laughs> Is you really gonna believe this girl? You're really gonna believe it? You know, she's a little crazy. Am I right? Is doesn't she kind of come off like a little bit of a, like a schizophrenic? Well, he did the shit when I debated him when we were talking about uh, uh, Ralph and the Alice allegations, and then he's like, "Oh, you believe all women? You believe all women?" And then he's like, uh, "He told me that rape should be a private matter between the rapist and the victim." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I forgot gosh. about that. Yeah, it was, it was a very disappointing thing at the time. I just kind of wrote it off as like Nick being a little bit immature and like edgy, but I will say like Patrick was, um, was somebody who was like legitimately trying to look out for this girl's best interest. Yeah. You know, he's going to be called a simp, but, um, and seeing and, and what, by, like mm -hmm, kind ahead, of experiencing, uh, the whole crew, all the people you think are your friends for years yeah. turn on you and like try to push you out and like publicly, Oh, I love the guy. I love the guy. Mm -hmm. Like I, I definitely feel for him and I, you know, I contributed to that and uh, I could see where I was wrong. And, you know, Patrick, I, I've, like I said, I've, I've talked to him already, but um, yeah, that's, that's that. If it wasn't for him with that whole situation, I probably wouldn't be here where, so he, Patrick walks. So the rest of us could run the fuck away from America first. <laughs> And oh sevens for Patrick. Oh, oh sevens. sevens for oh, Patrick. Sevens. Uh, and and last one, and I think this is a this is a beautiful final question. It's poetry here. Who uh, from Mycroft? Who won the Groiper War? <laughs> well, <laughs> I did. You know, not you me. Know. I lost. Let's I go. lost the Groiper War. I, I, I lost won. the Groiper was... War. We could have been sitting cozy you know with uh, i don't know charlie kirk or whatever and here we are here we fucking are so mm. yeah. the real losers Ooh. me i'm the loser <laughs> nah, dude nah, I, I uh i i think you cut your story out well you you dropped some massive 
bombshells. I hope this woke up a lot of people. Everyone go sub to Jaden, man. Like go sub to him and support him there. I appreciate it. And we'll stream some more times and shit in the future and stuff. Cause it was fun, dude. It was fun. Hit me up whenever you guys have Simon, And Simon, you too, man. Yeah, well no, Simon said he was gonna set up a social media thing if people wanted to read that. So I, I have that here. Uh, th- thank you, Jim, by the way. Um, it is uh, on Telegram. It is t.me slash Simon Dickerman. I'm going to drop that link to you guys in chat here. D-I-C-K-E-R-M-A-N? Uh, yeah, yes. S-I-M-O-N-D-I-C-K-E-R-M-A-N. Um, no, I, I appreciate that. And I, I did want to say before I go, you know, Jim, I've actually been watching your shows since 2014. So it's kind of funny. I, <laughs> you were actually the first right-wing content creator I ever saw. So it kind of comes... Full circle here. Full circle, yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, actually, Z for fifty. Thank you so much. Saying mm. send money to Simon on Cash App, and he puts your your Cash App. Is it cool if I say it? Uh, sure, sure. It's money sign. Uh, Simon Dickerman, the exact same thing. So if you do want to help him out after this fucking <laughs> all the craziness we've just heard, uh, uh, on Cash App, money sign Simon Dickerman. Uh, what a stream! I, I mean, Z. we're still gonna Z. be sticking around and reading more super chats and watching sure. some more clips. But, but, gentlemen, hey, holy thank you guys fuck. for having me on. Thank you for giving me a platform to uh, tell my side. Because again, he keeps slandering me, Spurg out. Um, if you ask any groiper what I did, I, I mean, I guess I got a girlfriend or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, hopefully, this this was I was able to kind of. Tell my side of things. People can kind of see where I'm coming from here because it wasn't just out yeah. of the clear blue sky like he's been pretending. And mm-hmm. he's going to probably come back with more. I'd say it was a bullshit, mistake what he did stuff, this but... week. I think yeah, I mean, I tried yeah. multiple times to reach out to him. I've tried to handle it. Even before I put out that uh, Telegram post, I, I texted him and said, like, you want? can we talk like adults? And he's like, oh, maybe I'll get back to you on Monday. And it's like, okay, well then, like, fuck you. I'm out. I want nothing to do with this. I'm moving. I'm I'm done. So thank you, everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate you guys, you guys uh, hearing me out. Thank you, chat. Thanks, yeah, if Nick, was, if Nick never yeah. went to the feds or said he was going to went to the feds, I wouldn't be on this show myself. So, <laughs> well, yeah, welcome. You yeah. Yourself. yeah, thank you guys appreciate so you. much. House always thank wins. You, See you guys thank later. You. House, House yeah. always Bye. wins, bro. God bless you guys. You House, House always wins. Thanks, gentlemen. God bless. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, uh, that was fucking wild. Thanks for having me on for this. Yo, uh, thanks, man. Well, you asked I really awesome appreciate question. you, Jim. You kept shit really focused, you know, and uh, you were on point tonight, Jim. So I really appreciate what you did for us tonight. You were right? excellent, this, man. This, you were excellent. This, this, was, uh, this was fucking phenomenal. This was really phenomenal. And I, you guys are going to get flooded with people that want to talk. So I look forward to watching 800 streams in the next two weeks. <laughs> yeah. See who's going yeah. Through the You'll entire get- employment. You'll get a lot of content, Jim. We really appreciate you coming on because it wouldn't have been the same without you. Same Definitely. viewership, same questions. You did a great job. Hell appreciate yeah, it. bud. Yeah, thanks. All right, well, you guys enjoy reading Super Chats now for the next five uh-huh. hours. <laughs> well, you're going to be doing it tomorrow, aren't you? You're still, uh, are you still streaming tomorrow or are you pushing I, it? I, I, there's so much fucking shit to condense. I, like, I thought, okay, there's no way this can get more retarded, right? Like, I can finally play catch up and do Acer Thorn and, you know, everything's going to be okay. And like Ralph is I, like it's it just Ralph himself is a fucking vortex, and now Nick come hunting. I don't know what the fuck I, I I'm gonna have to look at how I'm gonna put this together. I want can somebody my last thing before I leave here, please for the love of God, if you're an animator or an artist, please draw me a picture of Nick Fuentes hunting cum. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of memes already. I've seen it. Like I've seen a lot. There's like a hundred memes of him fucking. I just, like, I, I need those pictures and, and the naked tickle fights too. Uh, like, I just want Nick Went as being a faggot everywhere you could put him because these stories were just great. He, oh, he watches you. He binge watched Euphoria <laughs> and forced Jaden to watch it. And there's dicks. Oh, my God. I love it. it I, I love that it. it felt like poor Jaden is living in the basement. It's like Nick is trying everything to be seductive, like taking two hour showers with the door probably wide open, you know, prancing around on all fours, come hunting, and <laughs> Jaden's probably like, Give me the fuck out of here. <laughs> I like girls, leave me alone. What the hell's the matter with you? Dude. All right, guys. Uh Dude. take it easy. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Break back. It's the black jack for the house, or are we gonna get blacked? I don't fucking know, folks, but it's time to fucking gamble. Exciting fucking events throughout all this last week. 
We're going to address all the controversy, all the fucking drama. We've got Daddy Jim. My dad is here with us in the casino to ask the hard-hitting questions. You know, it's funny with me and Jim started out, I was grilling him about like a payment processor. Then we ended up doing some (laughs) shows together, felting Ralph, felting others. Now it's gone full circle. It's like poetry, it rhymes. Now Jim's going to be grilling me about the payment processor. So let's see how it goes, folks. That's right. I'm, I'm here with the tough questions tonight, boys. Oh, very and I, I think I think the, the opening question that we should start with is, what made you both decide to handle this in the most retarded fucking manner possible? Well, you know who you're dealing with, right? You're dealing with the retarded Phoenix retarded and the fat Phoenix. retarded Canadian. So... <laughs> Sometimes, Jim, you fuck up, and uh, it is what it is. You fuck up. You try and learn from it. You try and do better. But, yeah, you know, that with the handling of this hasn't been the very best. No. I tell you that. Well, I've seen the revolt in your chat. I can see partially it's still going on. I'm sure some of it's astroturfing, but you get a lot of tomatoes. Well, and I yeah. saw that I saw that your, your Jannies uh, had an uprising. Are you Jannyless tonight? Yeah. Well, the the (laughs) channies that I have in the first place, they're not anybody that was close to us to begin with. They're guys that I literally mod like three years ago just for fucking fun. And they barely ever fucking modded anyway. But yeah, they weren't happy either. The the long-term fans aren't fucking happy with the direction of the show. And I'm uh, I'm willing to admit that. (laughs) You know, some of them aren't happy. But yeah, that did happen. But it's not the first time we've had a chat revolt, and it probably won't be the last. That's but it, it, that it is the first time you've had a Janny revolt, though. Well, <laughs> no, not actually, no. <laughs> I mean, what, Sargoy's, was, was I your, mean was... Sargoy has refused to sweep it up for fucking years. <laughs> I took away his broom momentarily. I gave it back because it's his destiny to sweep. But he's revolted in the past. Has he? Yeah, he's, he always, re- like I tell you, he keeps bad. Listen, Sargoy back in the day was one of the most ruthless janitors I'd ever seen back in the Cooking with Surfer days. Holy fuck, he just kept banning. I said, Sargoy, why do you keep doing this? And he was like, I don't know, man. Like, they're just bastards. So, so now, uh, well, the, the, re- the reason I bring it up is we're unprotected tonight. The chat can say whatever they like. There's no, yeah. there's no jannies there, there, there to no, sweep it. There are no jannies to sweep it up. Only us, Jim. No, Andy, Only Andy, will, will you do me the favor? Sure. Because that chat's on slow mode. I want to see how fast they can throw tomatoes. Will you unslow mode that chat? Right, Ashton, well, I'll have to. I'll have to. Because Andy, or well, Ashton, can you yeah, unslow on. mode that chat? Let's see. And Let's let see. the people speak tonight. <laughs> well, we'll unslow mode it, Jim. Let's see here. Where is it? See, I don't even really know how to fucking do this. This is why you shouldn't have fired your jannies. Well, listen, <laughs> the jannies don't really do anything, Jim. You know that, fuck. Let me see here. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I actually <laughs> oh, don't know. You know, I'm not okay. There it is. Okay, here we go, Jim. All here right, we go, everyone. So you gotta remember, fly. buddy. I used fly. to just fucking stream with a fucking phone, brother. <laughs> You they, know. Need, they need the catharsis. They need the fuck. There oh, we go. Yeah. There you go, there Chad. It's, it's, there it go. it's blurry there it now. Is. There's so many. There's Chad, so can we many. see? Can we see 2,500 tomatoes getting thrown at these fucks? Come on. I know there's a lot. There's some mad there. there <laughs> Let it out. They're, they're rattled, Jim. They're rattled. Well, we do have a lot to talk about. There were there, there was some stuff I wanted to talk about. I have some uh, clips too that I think uh, uh, will elucidate uh, the conversation. Uh, I know sure. that's a, that's a big word if you're a day drinker. How are you doing, Ralph? I'm sure you're stream sniping right now. Uh, but you know, we'll we'll get to it. But uh, I, I guess it goes down to like one of two things: one's the personal, one's the professional. What what do you boys want to start with? It doesn't matter, man. Honestly, whatever you want to yeah. start with, we can deal. Anything's with. good, man. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's start with the professional because I think the power chat thing's the big thing. Sure. Um, so. I guess my introduction to what was kind of going on with that or what the concerns about that were were through Twitter. Now, there's an account that Ralph is convinced is a transsexual Antifa member that's hunting him down, I think, VHS Archive. Uh-huh. Uh, they had brought up information about Beardson doxing some of his uh, uh, donators through mm-hmm. PowerChat. Uh, and then it got into a conversation about who owns that platform as a payment platform. You know, like, who who is the person behind that processor? 
Now, my, you know, take on this was that it was Luz, right? Yeah, Lowell, yeah. It, was an, it was an IP2 thing that he did it himself, and uh, that's not the case. And in fact, it's it's a lot worse than it looks, uh, especially given the interview he gave about three days ago. So I, I kind of wanted to get into that. Like, were you warned? Because I know Godwinson did a video. I know other people have talked about this. Um, were you warned that there were issues that were potentially there with PowerChat and that was not a safe payment processor to use for donators? No. Uh, how it started was when we were, I was on D live with Kyler. Um, sure. so he's friends with all the IP two stuff. We covered all the IP two stuff all the time. This is right after like the whole January 6th thing happened and they removed our, our lemons, like anyone who was kind of edgy. So Lulz, um, he was streaming and then it ended up releasing, it was called Lulz.tips yeah, at first, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So then we were I had access to it and we used it ever since uh, for like what two years and I think it turned into Power Chat about six months ago. From what my understanding was and and Ashton's understanding was, Lulz had a buddy like a a, a developer uh, who made this basically to have people not get banned for IP two stuff or for whatever. Uh, yeah, uh, that um, that developer, according to uh, to him, uh, an interview he gave to RV Andy, I think it was three days ago. Mm. Um, so that initial developer was Bake's close friend. That's yeah. that's a person that set the entire thing up. The guy it's, went by the name of Saint, right? And he, yeah, he was a developer, but yeah, I uh, I hadn't even he, heard about that. Uh, right, and he and, and to be fair, he walked away um, because he thought that IP two were too degenerate to to provide financial services for. So maybe that's. You know, initially where some of the split came from, but yeah. Um, so a lot you... of the split also came because of what Baked was doing as well. Yeah, because yeah, we he heard. had an issue with Baked Alaska asking women to show their tits and shit like this. Yeah. So he wasn't on friendly terms with Baked Fox sure. since last year. So okay, so uh, Louise put or Luz whatever puts up his uh, payment thing. It's tips dot or whatever the fuck it is. He changes it to Power Chat. Um, you guys use it. When did you first start hearing that there might be an issue with it? If you didn't hear about it at first, when did you first start hearing concerns about it? That was when, uh, I think it was when Baked said something a few weeks ago or some shit, where he he said something along the lines of, oh, I I own part of, of Power Chat. And I was like, what? Because I had never heard any of, of, of Baked um, owning Power Chat. And as soon as that happened... Ashton and I got into a call and we said, look, we can't fucking, you know, like use power chat if, if Bates involved. And there was also talks about Nick possibly taking a cut of the money or some shit. So that was when we instantly went, okay, look, from what we knew about power chat, it was the saint dude, but we didn't, but he was so uh, disenfranchised by America first and all this stuff. That's what we heard from some people from behind the scenes. Sure. The minute the minute we heard Baked say that, it was like, oh, what the fuck? And we instantly took and that off. It yeah. was the same thing with Jaden, who was public enemy number one of America first, yeah. continued to use it after he left America first, and he was the treasurer of the America First Foundation. Mm -hmm. So if there was any risk... You know, Jaden would have known. He kept using it. The reason that both him and us discontinued it is simply because it, it, it looked bad. It, yeah. it undercut the message. And I would like to apologize to anybody Same. who felt like the message was undercut by our use of that service. But I think that everybody's information is safe. But I do understand a lot of people would be upset. They're like, this undercuts the message. This is associated with these guys. <clears throat> And I get that. And I think, to be honest with you, if I had to do it again, I wouldn't use it. Yeah, I think it same. was a mistake. But I think everybody's information is safe, and I haven't seen any information that would prove <laughs> to the otherwise. I will so answer. Not... I will also bring up one thing. We talked about this last week, but I'll just bring it up because I'm sure you'll ask us. So what happens through PowerChat, just so people know how it works, you don't actually enter your information into PowerChat. There is like a thing where you can put your name and your message and all that stuff. That's what's entered into PowerChat. And it uses a piggyback system off a, a, um, off PayPal and all that to sort of like be like the middleman. Yeah, it's now, a backdoor. Yep. It's the backdoor. 
Now, the thing is, and I, I've said this before, is that when you use your PayPal, if it's a personal PayPal, there is a way, and this is like many donation services have this when they use that back door, is you receive an email um, from, from their PayPal saying, blah, 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 donated, blah, blah, blah. So that's when Beardson, that's when this whole thing started. Like it was right, I think a few days before the baked uh, announcement that he owned PowerChat was Beardson was pissed off at a donator and he actually opened up the PayPal email and went, hey, whatever his name was. And then he said it like over and over and over. This is when people started saying, oh, does it get your, your, your uh, a credit card information? Does it get your this, that, the other? And the answer is no. Um, there were people on Kiwi Farms, two people in particular, who really showed no evidence that it was power chat, but their, their cards were compromised. But I've been using it for what, two years now? And hundreds of people have donated. I've, I've asked many people, hey, is your card okay? Da, da, da. I was asking a bunch of people. No one's information had been leaked. So these two random people with no evidence uh, said, oh yeah, it, all, all my information was released, but that is untrue. Sure, uh, I, and, and I can understand that. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of the confusion right now is what's the involvement, who's involved, how does this even work? How does PowerChat even work? Now, I, I, you know, I know when Louis started this, he, they didn't make any money. That's not true anymore. Off Google Pay, it's now 10% fee coming off, 3% for Google, 7% for him. Now, he claims in his interview that that 7% goes to the development, but if PowerChat is charging 7% a fee between that transaction, where's that interception happening? Are they charging the person as a transaction happens so they get both ends of it? Are they just charging you after you receive the money? Well, he doesn't well, go on to explain I believe, that. I believe it's after we you receive it. Yeah, correct? because so say you donate whatever, uh, like 10 a bucks uh, to me. The PayPal fee I get is not 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 not, uh, not, not uh, PayPal Google Google Pay. Oh, that um, that I'm not sure because he's I, not doing PayPal yet. He said that you know they're they are planning oh, on making oh, no, uh, no. money in the future, but Google right now they're they're that fee is ten percent. Oh, for Google, uh, see, uh, all I know is what we receive is a percentage of the total donation. So if you donate a hundred dollars, go ahead, Ash. I don't know if that's quite. I mean, that's I'll, literally what he said three days ago. That's, in an that's interview. what he said. Okay. See, from what he I, said, seven point one percent is going back into developers, uh, which I guess leads me to this. I think maybe this would be good. Um, this was one of my concerns, uh, and I'm going to put it in the the little sidebar, little, sure. little thing on the right. Um, hope to try not to show the link okay, guys, to, the, I, okay. to the chat. I'm gonna oh, hide. Oh, listen, I, it's Mission Impossible. Doo -doo -doo. There's like Doo -doo -doo. like this. Uh, uh, Nate okay, shows uh, the link everywhere. So let me pause. So I timestamped it. It should have the timestamp on it. Um, it's only like a minute long from this section of the interview. But sure. you know, when we we're talking about who's involved in this, who owns part of it. Um, you know, yeah, obviously Bake's friend was involved shit. in the beginning, but this I found to be really fucking concerning. Sure. Um, and this is what Luis said on interview, um, himself. Uh, one second. I have to present. I made sure to hide the screen for now. Sure. Just so we don't get, uh, anything crazy happening here. I sw okay. I'm going to delete that. If it shows by accident, I truly am I'm sorry. This thing works really weird. So, all right, please be good. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. It didn't show the top there. It didn't show the bottom. Thank God. Okay. Yeah, just just let it play for a little bit, and then I'll, I'll tell you when to pause it. Sure. I should be able to hear this right when it plays. Uh, yeah. Oh, do you hear it? So, yep. all right, perfect. All right, let's watch it. What percentage of the power chat staff are groipers? Um, like, like, well, who owns a percentage or well, like, developers? just like people on the team, you know, people on the team, would you say they're mostly all groipers? That's a tough one. I think the developers are mostly groipers and it saves us money. Mm -hmm. Um, however, Everybody on the team is sound like an NDA and they, they cannot disclose information to like 
literally anybody else like without risking themselves being sued okay, for doing so. so. Sure. Yeah. Do you have So after Bake's friend leaves it, this is where things get weird for me, right? So all the developers, I mean, that's that's what he's talking about. All the people developing this fucking thing on the back end are all gripers. These are American first people working on the back end of this. But don't worry. They've all signed NDAs. There's nothing to worry about. It's very sketchy, yeah. It seems super fucking suspect to me. I... Earlier in this interview, when he's talking about Nick Fuentes and getting drunk and talking on stream about him and how they made up, he says, oh, I met with Nick Fuentes and, you know, we, we worked it out. But the weird thing is, Luis says is I met, I was going to meet with him anyway. I was meeting with Nick's developers and my developers. Well, what do these two guys develop? Well, Louise works on Power Chat, that's it. And Nick, the only fucking thing he's developing is Cozy TV. Mm. So it sounds like that was already a pre-planned business meeting. And those leaks that were, you know, rumored to be going around about Nick wanting a cut or how things were going to be run. And now we find out that, you know, Baked was involved at the very beginning. Louise won't tell how much of a stake. He won't say uh, Baked owns 50%, it's less than that. But at the same time, he won't say who the majority owner is. During no time during this interview does he say, I own the majority. Or, you know, uh, third this third party owns the majority of, of what this is. I mean, his plan is, and I don't blame him, man, you know, is I want to make this, uh, this super chatting uh, thing and then sell it years from now and make some money. I mean, more yeah. power to him. But it seems like AF is balls deep in this fucking thing. They were balls deep when it was starting with Baked being uh, involved yep. initially and his friend developing it. And, you know, it's weird that he'd say, they're all groipers, it saves us money. Why would hiring groipers save you money? I mean, well, what does that because mean? because they do it for free, right? So when Saint does development on it, he doesn't expect a salary. Same thing when Assistant Groiper developed, or not Assistant Groiper, but what's his name, helped develop Cozy TV. He, he didn't draw a salary for that. These people believe that they're helping restore the soul of America, and they do it for free. So that's why it would save them money. At this point, there's no doubt that America First is balls deep involved in Power yeah. Chat. That's why we've abandoned using Power Chat as a service. The real question is whether or not people's info is at risk. And I don't believe that it is. I don't believe that they have access to user info that would be compromising on the back end based off the explanation I've had on how the API works. And my big question is, if stuff would be leaked, wouldn't it have been leaked by now? Wouldn't... Well, that's that's another interesting thing. So, I mean, he, here's one of the things I guess would be a counterpoint to that. Baked Alaska is going in for a federal plea deal on the 22nd, which is three days from now. We don't know exactly what uh, you know details are a part of that. Louise on the stream says that Baked is going to sign a deal for six months in federal prison in Florida. Yeah. That he's going to serve the entire thing at a minimal uh, a minimum facility. Whatever, it calls him a pussy for taking the deal, said he should have went to court, whatever. Um, but it's weird that Baked is up on federal charges for January 6th. Baked is directly involved yeah. with PowerChat. Baked's friends work on PowerChat. Yeah. Groypers are working as developers for PowerChat. And what does PowerChat serve? Yeah, it serves IP2, but who gives a shit about, you know, yeah. crackheads in the desert and an RV? What's the other major group that this serves? People that would donate to a show uh, like yours or people that are donating to, you know, right wing shows, which are the majority of what Cozy is, isn't it? So the, you've got uh, right-wing oriented people donating money through Yeah, uh, I mean, Power the question Chat. is whether or not Baked is selling the payment details to the feds as part of a plea deal, right? But it still just hasn't been proven that he has any access to that or that anybody at Power Chat has access to those details. And we until that occurs, like, for me, I am pretty much 100% convinced that everybody's details are safe. Because uh, remember, the only thing if Power Chat is collecting info, if they are, it would only be whatever you manually input into actually Power Chat. The back door, all that stuff, that is very secure through like, you know, like PayPal and everything. That that's just like like the middleman, right? So I, I I'd like to read I'd like to read a, a post on Kiwi Farms. Sure. <clears throat> it's from you, the Kino you know Casino. it's always really uh, really uh, reliable uh, I, uh, I know 100 percent 100 percent reliable <laughs> sure. uh, yeah, 100 percent reliable this, yeah this guy's gonna analyze the code line by line <laughs> yeah so it's from so. Uh, a user smarty pants uh it's in the Kino casino thread on page 238 uh post 4755 i don't know about you guys but from where i'm standing the pay piggies are in big trouble if you use paypal to donate um, yes, the user can obviously dox you by PowerChat. 
the way Power Pro Chat is implemented in the example you'll find in the following link. It's probably uh, very similar to the way uh, PC was implemented it. Now, bear with me. Uh, and he shows a substitution for three lines of codes, right? And he says that by substituting one line of code for a console log and using the PayPal button in the example to make a payment of one cent, you'll find that your console in the console, your full docs, name, email, billing address, phone number, you can find the console tab in the bottom right. Needless to say, all this information can easily be stored in a database by PowerChat. Now, I don't know the validity of that. I mean, this is something that just went up. I don't know how to code, but Listen, all I, don't all know I see how is to code either. Right. right. But all I all, all I see is Google Pay is now, you know, Luis is implementing a, a percentage being taken from that. And now somebody's saying, well, if you just alter this one line of code, now we can store shit uh, comfortably. Right. That, I that, mean, this, that is, require... this is a guy on Kiwi Farms, so <laughs> let's say that, like, one that like, would you require know... Power Chat to somehow hack the person's actual password for that uh, stuff. Yeah, so like there is no way that PowerChat can actually hack into someone's PayPal information or any of that shit. There, 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 like there is no way. There's but it's whatever. It, they, they never communicate with PayPal. At all, exactly. So the only, the only thing that technically if they were to sell any information uh, out of feds would like potentially be if What's you in were the to form? put your real name in the form, yeah. or 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 your real information, <laughs> so that's how we like 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 see how it works. That yeah, is, I'm not I'm not saying that you guys no, have knowledge for this. I, I'm no, just I saying know. that I it, it looks really fucking shit. It does. Um, oh yeah, hundred no, percent. I, I yeah. mean, of course it does. Well, yeah. There's a reason people are you know getting upset, yeah. but uh, so far as I'm concerned, it hasn't been proven. We've got a guy who may or may not know how code works or how a fucking computer works or anything yeah. on Kiwi Farms saying this is how it works. Um, well, I no, wait. To be fair, in an, uh, you know, in a follow-up post, he said that he is the highest-ranking member of Geek Squad, so you can trust oh, him. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's true. That. We'll trust, we'll trust true. it. We'll trust it. But for me, it's I, – I look well, at it Well, PPP, so this is, is – these are good-faith posts, okay? I so know, we need to take them as good-faith oh, yeah. posts. <laughs> I look at it as somebody trying to stir well, the pot and stir shit, and yeah. I get it. I did the same thing during New Project 2. The same thing is now happening to me. In a way, it is a level of karmic justice. But with both things, at the end of the day, I think it's a bit fucking overblown. Yeah. And everybody knows. Everybody wants to have fun. Everybody wants to shit post. Everybody wants to start a drama. That's how it is. <clears throat> I know that. So I don't begrudge them, but I find it hard to take that post as gospel fact. Do you know? You know, and and also I'll I'll say this. Even besides, you know, because from what I I gather, there's no information being stolen or sold to feds, right? <laughs> but even with that being said, you're right. The minute we heard Baked was on board, it was an instant call. Power Chat needs to fucking go. Uh, like, like there's no way, I, I don't know what their plans are with it, but even if it is to make a profit, that's still, in my opinion, helping America first, which we don't want, obviously, because of our message. Yeah. Well, it, the funny thing is in the interview, uh, Louis, is uh, like, uh, he thinks that you two are going to come crawling back on your hands and knees. Uh, I think he refers to you as bitches and says that you'll beg him uh, to get back on the platform no. because you won't be able to use anything else. No. Well, I don't know. I'd sooner just not make money at that point yeah. than knowing what I know now. So you'll never go back to Power Chat, never, no matter never. what. Never. never. No. There's never. no way. Never. We will. And, and neither is Jaden or, and neither is anybody else. We talk like, to everyone. Done. Yeah. Everyone, like, we know like the info is not sold, but whatever the fuck they're, they're planning with making a profit and using it to support America first, no. And as Lulz to say that, like, I, I mean, he, he has the right to say whatever the fuck he wants, but we will not be returning to Power Chat ever. It was never a consideration in the first place I, after we removed it, right? So after when all when all this was happening, why didn't you guys just talk to your chat about it? Because it seems like you kind of tried to play it off or you didn't did. want to address uh, it. We, we kind we did. of did, but what ended up happening is I went more off on a tangent about Josh that came across as egotistical and insane. Then we did address it with we the did. chat, yeah. but then I turned it more so into a Josh thing. Do you think I, what Josh said was fair? Uh, I don't know if it was, I, I, I'd say, you know what, it's it's fair. You know what I would say? Yeah. His assessment is somewhat fair. Yeah. Um, but where I was coming at it from was, I'm trying to get under Josh's skin. 
I'm making a lot of statements that are very <laughs> hyperbole. <laughs> and, well, some well, Josh did post a couple posts molding in the thread and stuff like that. But, yeah, but I will, Josh Josh but, isn't getting pelted by tomatoes. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, how, do you, how did get, that work he's out? Not, he's not getting pelted by the tomatoes. It didn't work as I wanted it to work. But my intention with that was, you know, in the past I have been able to bother Josh and rattle his fucking cage and I'd like to dance with Josh and try and rattle his fucking cage. And that's what I was doing. But we didn't play the power chat stuff. Like that was like, like Ashton's like, like banter over there. Well, I I mean, I think what people saw it as, at least this is my perception of it is you built up a show kind of, uh, you know, uh, focusing on uh, grifting and bullshit, especially coming from like Fuentes or from Ralph and stuff, but you know, a good portion from Fuentes. And then it comes out that like, you know, he, as we hear from Louise, Groypers are involved, Bakes involved, everybody's fucking involved in this. I think people felt like they wanted more than just, you know, five minutes or That's shitting on fair. Josh That's to fair. talk about this. Because how do you build a show up shitting on dudes and then use their payment processor to make money off your audience it, for it, shitting on them? It's fair. It's fair. Yeah. It's, a, it's a fair criticism. Do you know? It's not uh, out of left field. It's not fucking insane to say well, that. Well, I, I, I think what really was was sort of like why we brushed it off more than we should have uh, was the right. accusation that we were working with feds. Like they literally said, hey, Ashton and Andy are working with feds, this and that. And they over blew it to something that's so ridiculous to us that it was almost like, a, okay, like, no. That's, well, it's that's honestly ridiculous. like, it was just kind of like me giving a fuck you. You know, which you know what I mean? wasn't yeah. probably the right, it wasn't the right way to call. Yeah, for sure. That's, that's the reality. Well, you were full of piss and vinegar about MB2, Chinese mafia. I sure was. Uh, good, good faith I and sure all of that. Was. Uh, Josh clearly is still upset about it, uh, which yeah. is understandable. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it is uh, like you said, it is ironic to see this kind of happening now. Yeah. Now, if the old PPP, if this if this situation reversed and it was Jim sitting with Andy's co-host and the old PPP was coming in here. And I gave the explanations you did about power chat. What he would the old accept, people? He wouldn't say? accept them. But the difference what would, what, is, no, not that he wouldn't accept them. What would he say? What would he say in that situation? He'd be like, "You motherfucker! You grifting piece of shit! You're working for the feds! Da 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 da! Here's this! Here's this! The thing is, I'm not the same person as I was fucking two, three years ago. A lot of things have changed with me, and I've embraced the grift. And you know, the gym of 2014. 2015 would also say different things about the gym of 2022 as well you know so you can see how what, it is i think what ashton is saying is he's grown as a person well very, i've changed that's very sweet of you no i've I know, changed you have, you have, i was very yeah. i was very immature back in the day trolling fucking trying to fuck up everybody's grift everybody's fucking livelihood but I'm now in that position where I'm grifting. It's my livelihood. And I realize there's really nothing wrong with making money online, you know? And I think you came to the same fucking position over time, you know? So there's a difference between me from two, three years ago and and me from today. Again, I went through a lot in my personal life. I had a best friend of four years. You know, it didn't work out with him. He called the police on me. I was in a quasi homeless state living off COVID bucks. I didn't want to fucking take the vaccine. Uh, I couldn't find fucking work. I ended up, you know, like dead fucking broke in a cabin in the middle of the woods in winter freezing. There was no insulation. I was fucking freezing, struggling. And it was in that cabin when you, when you're that cold and you can't make it stop, and you have that personal betrayal in your life and the guy is talking about your personal life and everything like that. I made a vow to myself. I would never ever let myself get to that position again. And you know, one of the only opportunities available to me at that time, because I didn't want to take the vaccine and I couldn't get work from home was to start grifting. And I knew Andy knew how to make money. And I called Andy up and Andy helped me get started He fucking got me equipment. I sent him all this money and stuff. And and when we did start to make money and everything, you know, was was going well and I went to pay him back. I said no. He he said no. He said said don't, you know. Look, but but times change and people change. And so that's my point on that. 
Well, a big thing too to to say about how he's changed. When we talked, obviously it was sketchy because Ashton has said probably the most vile things about me that any person on the internet has said yeah. besides Ralph. Like no, there I, are videos of, of Ashton like saying I, crazy. I think I've said put a bullet in his head. I think I've my said family, the same thing about my Jim. family and shit. Yeah. But but the thing was I was uh, I had just ended my show with Tyler. I always thought Ashton was funny, whether like, even though he was a little bit psychotic. And I thought, hey, a show with two who used to be enemies, you know? And the more I talked to Ashton, we were like talking before the show even started. And I would say we became very friendly with each other. And you didn't seem like the Ashton you were before, definitely, 100%. And then we fired, and then I sent you all that money. I paid for the, the Fiverr chick for the intro. I got everything all ready. Um, I, in all fairness to Ashton, again, he did go, well, after we made our first check, or like the first proper check, he went, Andy, here's the like thousand. And I went, no, listen, we're in this together. Let's fucking do it. So yeah, that's, that's how that whole thing uh, materialized. But Ashton okay. was the well, and, and I yeah. think that's, that this leads kind of in, into some of the other things. So uh, let's talk about Godwinson. Sure. First off, can you say his name? Can God you say Godwinson? Yeah. Because the or chat acts, the chat God. acts. No, say, no, just like, God Say Winston. his name. Say his can he, name, motherfucker. Yeah, can can, you, say, can, can you say Godwinson? Yeah, of course I can. The reason I didn't want to address it is because myself and Godwinson were such good friends. And me and him had said to each other, you know, uh, we're never going to say a bad word about each other. And I, I took that very seriously because of our friendship. And I never wanted to say a bad word about him or fight with him on the internet or anything like that. I just didn't want to have fucking drama with him. And my hope was if I ignored it, it would go away. But, you know, I should have known better. You know, I know how it fucking goes. I know how the playbook is. And I shouldn't have fucking done that. But I didn't want to fire back at Godwinson about stuff that, because in order to rebut some of what he's saying, I have to go into some of his personal life. And I don't want to reveal like some of the details and stuff like that. I didn't want to fucking go into. Well, speaking of that, I think one of the big criticisms of the video that you put out was the accusation you doxed him by putting up his PayPal information. Did you? Uh, well, so here's what happened. I wanted to make it very clear that it wasn't kayfabe, it wasn't whatever, he did take the money. Now, me and Andy got drunk as fuck. I'm sitting there, we're talking about the situation, and I'm like, did you ever see the video Coach put out up about Godwinson? And he's like, no, I never did. So I put it, I, I put it on. He's like, shit, we should, we should just throw this up. Because... I think it's funny, you know? It's, it, it's at least I'll... something <sighs> until the interview with you. And a lot of the points that Coach was making, I felt were relevant to the personal situation between me and him and whether or not he was going to come on to the show and things like this. So I'm like, oh, okay, we're going to throw that up. And I was like, well, how do I spice it up a little bit? I saw on the, it and was, then I passed the... out as you saw in the well, video. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I literally we passed like right out at the bottom of the 40 ounce <laughs> bottle of vodka, fucking bunch of beers, bunch of sides, you know what else? Yeah. So anyway, uh, then I'm on that same shitstream archive channel. I see the video of talking about the hats where Godwinson criticizes you for selling out and grifting and selling hats and all this shit. Sure. And I go, this is a video where Godwinson makes his position on grifting very, very clear that all forms of monetization are wrong and that you shouldn't involve yourself in it. You're selling your soul. You're sending the wrong message to children at school to be ye celebs instead of doctors and lawyers. And this was his position. So I say, okay, I'll put that up. And then what I'll do is because I'm going to throw up some DMs where he's asking me for the money, which contradicts his message in that video. And I want to put up the PayPal receipt showing that, in fact, yes, he really did take this money. Because sometimes with what me and Godwinson do, it's hard to tell what's real, what's not, what's an exaggeration. The problem was I was drunk as fuck. And didn't now his name being out there, it's been out there for a long time. Even with his uh, YouTube channels he's had in the past have been called like Adam Edge of the Multiverse, stuff like this. Oh, you're but doubling there down. Was some sensitive okay. <laughs> there right. was, but there was some sensitive information that I didn't realize the extent of when I put that out. 
And because of that, I trimmed out that section initially when I learned. And then I said, you know what? It's just not appropriate to leave this up. This was a mistake. And I took it down. And that's the situation. With so that. The, the, the position is it was a drunk doxing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a drive by drinking. Okay. <laughs> Um, it is what it is. It's like literally but, what but, <laughs> but now you've said his name again on stream. So, I, I mean, now I'm in the awkward position because I don't want to do it. But now that it's been put out there, is that his name or is that just a title? Is the sensitive information you excluded the name? Is that why you took the video down? And if so, no. why would you say the name again on stream? No, the name isn't the, the name isn't what's sensitive. But I don't want to get in. Like, you know what I mean? But that is his fucking name. He goes by it. He's gone by it for years. People have known that that's his name for years. So. I had some channels with it, <clears throat> it, it, his name there. Well, was, and not only that, but it's else. been leaked out and also all over yeah. the place. But it's it was something farms, else that cow. Yeah, it was something else that was part but of the that But the intention PayPal. wasn't to dox him no, or whatever. My intention was just to make kind of a drunken shit post about him and kind of expose a bit of the hypocrisy. It wasn't supposed to be a serious video. It wasn't supposed to be me intimidating him, but I did make a mistake by doing that, and I own up to that. So why hold back? It seems like uh, Godwinson made a lot of claims in his video. Uh, you know, yeah. um, fuck. So Godwinson made a lot of claims in his video. Uh, are any of them true? Were you planning on firing Warski? Was uh, Godwinson going to become a, a co-host on the show? Uh, what was the situation mm -hmm. with, what is it, Persepity? Was he going to have a show with Godwinson? What, what's yeah, the story? No, I mean, May I give I, my, I, yeah. my uh, a perspective? I'll, I'll give my perspective from what I knew, okay? And then he'll, he'll talk about what actually happened behind the scenes. From what I gathered <clears throat> was that Godwinson uh, uh, had given Ashton the blessing to, do, like, to have the show with me, right? And he was like, oh, it's doing well and blah, 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 and all this stuff. But then I think it was probably four or five min a months into our show, so probably like last month or the month before that, was when uh, Ashton pitched the idea of what if we got him as a third chair. And I was like, yeah, that sounds cool, right? And then that's all I knew. Like, literally, I knew nothing else, but Ashton will not go on. Yeah, so as Andy said, I mean, back in January, I basically had to, I told Adam, I'm like, look, I don't want to do this, but... I, I don't feel like I have any other options. I, I got to do this. I'm fucked. I got to start making some money. I want to do the show with Andy. And what he had said to me was, he's like, you know, I absolutely understand that. You know, um, you got to do what you got to do to survive, man. And, you know, I, I give you, you know, and I said, like, I'm not going to do it unless you tell me that it's all right. Because I really valued his opinion. I'm like, is this, do you think that this is okay? He said, you know, I think it is okay for you to do this and make some money. But he did say, he's like, you know, I don't think you should do it with Worski. He'll fuck you on the money. Da, 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 da. Now, he was wrong about that, at least so far. Andy has always honored our commitments in terms of pay, and I've honored them with him, yeah, that yes. sort of thing. Yes. But Adam told me at that time, it was a couple episodes into the show, probably two, three weeks in. He said to me, I, I, I you know, I, I'm going to probably leave the internet for a long time. I'm probably never going to be back. I may interact with you. I may call you from time to time and we may check in. We may hang out in real life in the future, things like this. But I've got this new, you know, dream job. Um, and it, it was a job that he was really excited for in a field that he had always been interested for in. And he was working for somebody that was very important and very influential and a, a public figure. And I don't want to go into it too much. I sat down and I, I recorded a video yesterday, a couple days ago, going into more detail, but I don't think it's appropriate to do so. Um, but, but this job he got, right? It was a new job, new prospects, new opportunities. So about six months later, I think it was June 2nd, he comes back online and he gives me a call and we start shooting the shit like we usually do. We're talking about mo what movies we've seen, what's going on in the world and policy. We're, you know, we're talking for hours. And I ask him about the job that, you know, he's been doing. And he kind of just tells me a big fucking sob story about this fucking, this job that he's doing that. You know, it is really, inf it is, you know, working for somebody influential, somebody important, but it's not what he thought it was going to be. 
that he's kind of being treated as like the office gopher, the office bitch boy. He's being told to fucking make this guy tea. He's being told to fucking make this guy sandwiches. This motherfucker is like uh, requesting that Adam Godwinson rub his fucking shoulders while he's working so he doesn't fall asleep. He's having fucking Godwinson. He's like, can you uh, whistle Cam Dan races just to just keep my brain stimulated? So my fucking good friend sitting here having to rub this guy's shoulders, fucking whistling Dixie. He's saying, you know, my time is not my own anymore. Um, I wish I could fucking have the freedom to not have to do this schedule. I'm having to work a lot of fucking overtime. This guy's fucking bringing me in on my days off. And sometimes it seems like it's just to fucking embarrass me. Like apparently he brought him in on the weekend and asked him to wash his fucking car for him. This is the sort of shit he was having to deal with. And one of the things that was really fucking heartbreaking for me to fucking hear this public figure, they're supposed to go to a children's cancer hospital together. You know, him and this public figure are going to go to the children's cancer hospital. Uh, I, I mean, I, I got to interrupt you a little bit here. Yeah, okay. I know. I'm so, going on a long, long tangent. No, it's not that. But it's like you you understand, like, he's totally fucked now, right? Well, I don't think he's totally fucked. I, I do. I mean, you've given out his name. You've confirmed it. Now you've confirmed the kind of job he works in. And then you've given a specific not, event. I mean, you, gave, you gave a specific event he went to with this guy. So now all anybody has to do is look up an event that's similar to that with a guy. This his name. And now they know him. So why the fuck would you do that, man? <laughs> Listen, I just think it's important to provide some context to why I was considering working with him. And I think that the stories are important in a sense to, to bring that up. But I haven't mentioned in specific certain details that I think really would fuck him. I'm trying to leave those out of the story. Oh, I, th I think you've double ticked him at this point. I, I just wanted to know what, I guess, uh, the start of the business relationship was. Uh, you know, okay, so I, I kind of understand how it's structured between you two. And, you know, the Percept thing saying that he was going to, Andy, I think you brought that up, that he was going to do uh, like a, a show with Godwinson. Was that something that was going to happen? I mean, it sounds like there was a negotiation to get him on there, the channel. I mean, there, there was a negotiation. There was a negotiation. Did, between... did that involve money? It did involve money. I mean, what the ultimate agreement had become was to, <clears throat> I was going to pay him because he needed to quit this job and he needed assurances. I was going to pay him 2000 pounds a month to do the show, uh, you know, and, and whether or not he was going to be the third chair all the time, or if he was going to be providing edited content, there was a lot of back and forth on that. But the agreement was I was going to pay him 2000 pounds a month. And I ended up paying him um, because I could only send $1,000 at a time was the limit. I sent him the first payment of that, uh, which was like $800. And then the expectation would be that I would send continued payments each week in order to get him his rate. We were going into the show with Flamenco. Um, that's when I thought it would be a great idea to bring him on board for the show. Yeah, can I do uh, an, can I do oh, an aside uh, for that uh, with the yeah, uh, a real fast? Go, go ahead, Andy. Because uh, uh, you said I had no idea about this agreement, zero percent like a knowledge, and Ashton was literally taking it out of his pay, not mine at all. I literally <laughs> yeah. had Andy, no Andy, idea. I had all no those idea. all those all those workouts you've been doing help you get the muscle strength to throw his ass under the bus. <laughs> I don't, I don't know this fucking man. I have nothing no, to do no, with this fucking no, man. No. I'm, I'm saying that because you brought up a tweet that I, because what Ashton told me, and this is true, he told me that he had paid God Winston to do a show with Persip and, and, and Squire, I think. Now, that's why I had tweeted that four days ago. Now, the Ashton told me the truth like yesterday or the day before. And I'm just letting you know that I wasn't lying in my tweet. That's what I was. No, well, it it did end up turning into that. So the situation yeah. with flamenco happens. Well, and... actually, I've got I've got two things now. Yeah. Uh, now, now we'll get into the fun stuff. So, right. um, you and Godwinson, would you say you were friendly before all this? Well, of course. Yeah, good friends. So okay, so you just doxed his ass on stream. Now, Andy, going back to what we talked about with Power Chat. Even if we don't know if Power Chat is routed through AF Groypers doing tech support and shit. Like, I mean, we don't. 
So it could be it could be clean. Luis might you know be straight up on that. I don't know. I really don't. I don't code. Yeah. But you did bring up the point that yeah, the end the end user you know like what happened with Beardson does get the information. Mm. So if I were in your audience right now and I found out one of the co-hosts just threw his friend under the bus, and I'm a donator. How do I feel safe giving you my information through a donating platform, even if it's not PowerChat? If you're using, you know, any other alternative, how do I know? Like, who's handling the money? Am I safe? What if fashion gets mad at me? It's it's me. Uh, it's it was it, it's through my email, um, or was until now. Like he's yeah. using Stream Elements because I was fucked uh, two days ago. I I know what you're saying, uh, but. In all fairness to Ashton, he was, again, drunk as fuck. He didn't mean to do that. And I don't think that he thought that that story would connect uh, Adam with anything. Well, I know, I know. But just from the audience's perspective. Sure, I mean, yeah. If that, no, if, that right. was, if, if that was a friend getting fucked, and I'm just a pay pig, right? Um, I, I'm not your friend. <laughs> How do I know I'm not the next, uh, you know, uh, victim like uh, Beardson? You know I, what I mean? Like, he threw that guy uh, under I, the bus for no reason. Look, we've gotten some of the craziest donos. Horrific. Saying the most horrific shit. And I would never, and Ashton would never. I, I think the reason a Ashton's telling this story is it's a lot more deeper and personal. And it sort of it explains sort of like the overall story that he's trying to convey here. Uh, as for per, per, uh, people who donate, we would never, like I would never give someone's information. And I really think that Ashton wouldn't do that either. And, and, and to be fair, I, I haven't seen that happen. I'm just asking yeah. it because no, it's related it, it's to the it's fair. Fucking... Well, I, I suppose it is a fair question. It is fair. Sure. I don't know. I, I tried to tell that story in a way that wouldn't fuck him over. But I don't know. I guess you're viewing it as it would fuck him over. I, I'm trying to leave things out, so Fuck. it is what it is. Oh, it's just it's but, doing what it normally does. You'll have to resend the link in 10 minutes when it shuts. Yeah. To, going. It, uh, yeah. to go into the flamenco thing, okay. Um, that was a disastrous stream. Yeah. I thought you guys had him on a silver platter and you were going yes. to ass, uh, no, to send his ass to the graveyard, and it was shit. Yeah. So, uh, you know, my question, I guess, from that is... Um, what happened? <laughs> Well, what, well, yeah, what happened? Okay. Because sure. uh, there are a few questions. I, One, what happened? Because people had said that you held back. This is specifically to Andy, that you wouldn't show information or let people no. show information okay. on stream. Let, let me explain it. Well, like, but, let, let's yeah, genuinely let. Yeah. Well, 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 you can say your part. So I, so Ashton had phoned me. He had been on the phone with Godwinson and these guys all day. Hey, we have this all fucking set up or whatever. Sure. I was at the gym and, and I was like, all right, cool. Like, sounds like a plan, dude. So I went in there more like, like, like I had no idea what was happening. Like almost, almost zero clue besides some basics of people calling Flam a pedophile. So I was caught completely off guard by like what was happening on that stream. And Ashton has more of a clearer picture of that. So what happened was... You know, me and Adam were discussing bringing him into the show, potentially me and him doing a show, potentially him even replacing Andy at a certain point once the show, me and Andy's show had reached kind of its natural conclusion. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought, this is a great opportunity. Some crazy shits come out about flamenco. Uh, I'm being told we have all this evidence, all this sort of shit, and it's all being compiled in the drive. Me and Adam get on a call. And we try and convince Flamenco to do it because he doesn't want to do it. We're like, we're going to clear your name, brother. Don't you worry. Da, 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 da. We scam him into doing the show. Totally scam him. He believed it. And uh, the reality of it was it was all prepared for us. But we were just too fucking arrogant, way too overconfident. Didn't look over the material that was provided. Didn't have a firm enough grasp on all of this fucking shit. And one of the big mistakes was not bringing Andy into the planning as well and having Andy briefed on what was in the drive. And so because me and Adam were fucking way too arrogant, way too overconfident, thought it was just a slam dunk, we didn't give a fuck, and it went the way it did. It was a fucking disaster. But I don't fucking blame Andy for that because he wasn't adequately well, prepped either. Well, because... why why was Persepity so? I think it was specifically him so dead set on saying that it was Andy's fuck up. Listen, can you explain because that? It's, because it's hard to admit when your heroes fuck up and fail. It's hard to admit that me and Adam were fucking way too arrogant coming into that stream, 
and we didn't fucking do it quite right than it is to blame fucking Andy, who he doesn't necessarily like for it failing. That's, that's I think, the reason why, I to remember. be honest. And they were in denial and were telling me it went perfect, it went great. Uh, and, and, and Adam thought it went perfect and great as well. And I said, no, it's really not went as well as we thought. Now, you know, there was some moments where we got Flam pissed off. We were clearly fucking with him. But to me, that's not enough to justify, you know, the stream, to well, be honest. But also, too, yeah, when I was being blamed for that, I was like, when people are like, why aren't you showing the evidence? I'm like, what fucking evidence? Send me a link. I'll put it on the screen. No one called me. There was even like a like me and Ashton had a, a little back and forth for like a minute. It was like only like one minute where Ashton was like, oh, you didn't back us. And I'm like, Ashton, I had no idea what I was walking into. And I'm not going to just like head onto like a stream and go, you're a pedophile, you know? And Godwinson was the one who was like, it was like... Where's the I evidence? Mean, listen, You're a pedophile. He, Where's the evidence? You're listen, a pedophile. he brought it right at the beginning. Yeah. Are you a pedophile? Yeah. Yes or no? At that point, I followed his lead on it. And I honestly was like, basically, a lot of the part of it copying his mannerism, shit like this. Yeah. We, I backed him to the hilt on that and we just tried to steamroll the fucking guy, but it just didn't work. So That's, you lost to a 34 year old autistic man that I dresses saw. up like a, a VTuber <laughs> popping a cup. It's tough, but because he's he having his own. I, I just want to make sure I have this straight. No, You're telling me that Nicholas D. Oreo and Augie did a better job than, than you me, and Godwinson. Than me and Godwinson. <laughs> well, but listen, that's that's why we didn't prepare because on paper it's like this is Mike Tyson and fucking Muhammad Ali fighting a fucking disabled cripple. How can you lose? <laughs> Somehow a disabled cripple felted us. What can I say? What can I say? Okay, so. <laughs> just to sum up where we are right now, par chat might have been compromised. We don't know. They might have information. We don't know. You guys did stop using it. You're using something else. Mm. Um, I do kind of think you doxed Godwinson. I think that was kind of a shitty thing. I do think that raises some issues about information. Um, your jannies have left you. Why have your jannies left you? What's the relationship with you and Persip and all the others right now? Are they still on your team? Because they don't seem to be. So is there a fallout behind the scenes? What's going on? Well, I don't know, like the, the Janny, this or that. I mean, at the end of the day with them, they were prepping some stuff for me. Um, that role diminished a lot over the last six weeks anyway, before any of this really happened. Like for the last month, they hadn't been prepping anyway. And honest, it doesn't really come down to any of this drama as to why. They're just fucking burned out. A lot of the time for them, it's like, we've been doing this drama shit for years and fucking years. We're not drawing a paycheck out of this. And we're just kind of tired. And that's kind of where they've moved on. But so far as like, I think you had a spat with Andy on Twitter and that sort of thing. Yeah. That is what it is. And and I want to say one thing that Godwinson brought up that I want to make, uh, I want to bring to light. <clears throat> sure. Over the last, I'd say, what, like a month and a half, uh, so I was helping out with the show a lot, right? And Godwinson was saying, oh, Persip and Squire do more uh, show prep than Andy. Now, the reason th now that is true currently right now, but the reason is Ashton and I had a talk and, and the deal is still on where I asked him, I'm like, look, the training is fucking brutal. Like, it's like literally, I got punched in the face probably like 50 times today. You know what I mean? Like, it's fucking brutal. It's four, four, like five hours of working out. I got to eat like, like, like this insane amounts of food that I, I don't want to eat. All that stuff. I'm not crying about it, but all I asked Ashton was I said, hey bro, do you mind if you focus on the show prep until after the fight? I'll help out with what I can if I pop, like, find something interesting or a link or something. Oh fuck, wait a second. I, and, do, I think the audio got screwed up. Did you hear that, Andy? No. I could have sworn no. I heard a, a bus going by. Were you throwing them under no, the bus wait, a second not. time? No, I'm not. No, no, no. <laughs> I look at you like, you're like, oh, oh, the show went to shit in the last no, six weeks, but no. it went to shit because I put him in charge. No, no, no. That's <laughs> well, not, no, that's I, not I what mean, I'm saying at all. No, I, wait, I'll say even from the starting of the show, Ashton Here's... has been the fucking brainchild of the content. I'm not... I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is the reason Here, I let me just helping... explain it. I mean, look, uh, we, I, I do, me and, and Person Square did do most of the fucking sure, crap yes. on the show. Andy contributes here and there, but the expectation really, 
at least for the last four or five, has not really been for Andy to be prepping shows. And Andy said to me when he got this deal with the fight purse that he would give me, because we've been doing more of the prep, that he would give me half of it. And I said to Andy, that's fucking insane. He did, yeah. You don't give me half of the fucking purse. And it's a big This purse. is your health. Your health is your wealth. You might get fucked up substantially. And, and I said, look, I'll take a small percentage out of it to compensate for the extra work I was doing. But Andy's like, no, I want you to have 50%. We're 50% partners on everything. And, once and that paid, is a very generous thing of him to do. And once uh, okay, I'm paid uh, after well, the fight, okay, I'm going to keep it um, off of it. Yeah. Yeah. Can we, can we hold it right here? You might, you want to start a new Google thing? Cause this is about yeah. to die. Sure. Sure. Set up. Uh, I'll just pop out. Just send me the DM and I'll pop. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Okay. All righty. Sorry, everyone. I thought I was on my other profile there. <clears throat> One sec. Let me switch to this. I think this one I have unlimited. I was on the wrong email. Okay. Sent to Ashton. Okay, just let them one sec for them to join. Delete that. All right. Hey. And we are back. And I switched the email, so it should be an unlimited call now. Um, okay. Yeah, so. No, oh, am I coming in? You hearing me? Yep, you're good. Yeah. Okay. You hear us? Okay, cool. All right. So, yeah, so the reason I did step away from the show from the prep that is true but i did offer him 50 percent. but he like like ashton like phoned me three or four times over the last month it went i can't take 50 percent. but the deal still stands i I'm a, I'm a man of honor when it comes to all that stuff and business deals that once i'm paid after the fight he will get 50 percent minus the uh the the few thousand for the training, the training which is like I, I i i'm showing him the bills and everything and blah 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 he's coming with me to the uk and sure. i will and and i'll give him half of whatever i make no matter what it is and i and he's been very supportive of me doing like the whole fight shit. so that was why that was why i stepped away for like about a month and a half so far but now okay. I'm I'm back into helping and all that stuff. While well, let me ask you a follow up question to your training thing. So, do you think your response to a lot of the shit that's been going on for like the last two or three weeks? Because there's been a lot coming in. I know Ralph is uh, jiggling his tits in anticipation of trying to fuck you over. You got the power shit, shit, mm. uh, the Godwins and stuff, and flamenco stuff. It's been kind of a hit after hit. Lots of tomatoes. Yeah. Do you think your response has been limited uh, due to contractual obligation on how you respond to things to keep this fight going on? Yeah, I can't go like I told Ashton this. I can't go all in the way I really want to on certain things. Uh, Ashton knows the words I can't say. Um, and he knows, like, I have to be like a really good boy. You know what I mean? I'll make jokes here and there, like you've seen on Twitter and shit. But I have to be very limited um, on what I say and who I interact with, especially until e the fight. Even, even beyond, like, just responding to the recent drama, but just kind of in general? In general, yes, 100%. Like, so, yeah. I mean, as crazy as this is, do you think Ralph was right when he said no to Keemstar? He was like, if I can't say this, if I can't do no, this. No, I I think the shows that me and Ashton do, like I love doing this show. I've been having a lot of fucking fun with the shows. As of late, I laugh a lot. People go, oh, fake laugh, fake laugh. No, it's a real, it's real laugh because I think Ashton's one of the funniest people on the internet. Like he's fucking hilarious when he's on fire. Um, and not saying the N word in F slur, or, you know, or, or not... certain types of, I, I guess, topics. But I mean, I think one of the complaints was oh. not that like Andy fakes laughs, but, you know, like you, you've talked about the fight a lot and people have been. Oh, yeah. Uh, complaining about the show, I guess, quality over the last couple of weeks. And, you know, you've been training for a couple of weeks and this is coming up. Uh, do you think Ralph had a point in that? That like, oh, shit, it's going to fuck my show if I can't respond how I want to respond? Uh no, because I keep the the fight and training talk very like to a minimal. When it, it started, when it was like just announced, I was super excited. And I was talking about it way more, but I I limited that. Uh, but the fighting and what did it? Yeah, did it drop the stream? 
If it happens for for a second, we should be back. Yeah, we're back. We're back. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, no, I I love what I'm doing right now. It's exciting. Me and Ashton have an experience that not many people have the chance to experience, and I I get what Ralph's saying. Oh, I want to talk about this or that. For me, honestly, dude, it's not. I'm not even big into like t like talking about certain topics or. I could not say the N word or F slur. And some people have been upset, but most people have been very supportive and they're excited to watch the fight. Even people who hate me, they want to see me get my ass kicked. People who like me want, you know, and it's something different, I think, for the sphere and community, especially considering there's been so much fight talk. Now I'm actually going to be fighting on, on, on a huge platform. And I think it's something to shake up the show as well. And uh, yeah, that's that's what I think. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Where do I want to go with this? Okay. So, you know, God wants to drop this video. He says what he says. You guys put up the response. It's a drunk one. So you pulled it down because you felt it was the wrong response and you kind of fucked up with it. Um, now, Goblinson isn't the only one that's going around saying a lot of shit right now. Some of the stuff I want to get into, Surfer has made some appearances and said some stuff. I guess this is particularly to PPP. Um, let me let me phrase this right because I know Ralph is stream sniping. So let me phrase this question perfectly for his fat day drinking ass. So uh, like Ethan, Ralph has been accused of raping a woman. Alice had said that she had got him drunk and then face fucked her while she was mm -hmm. unconscious. Uh, I believe it was Surfer who had said that you had a situation in college where you were accused of yeah. rape and it was related to somebody named yeah. Jory. Is there anything to that? Listen, What's the listen. story? I had addressed this four years ago in a video called hashtag me too, hashtag truth. It's on my bit shoot. We could play it. Uh, but if you go to my bit shoot channel, people's populist press, this video I put out is one of the first videos I put out in late 2018 when all the me too stuff was going around and essentially what happened, and my story hasn't changed from then, this is something I'm not ashamed of. This is something I had told a lot of people, like I had told this story on stream before, so it's surprising that Surfer thinks that this is some sort of big own. But yes, when I was in college in 2016, I was a fucking edgelord, poltard, and I was fucking DMing a girl on Facebook and I DM'd her some memes and some jokes that she didn't like. And she took it to the fucking college. And I was suspended for a semester because of some edgy comments that I had made. But it wasn't a fucking rape. It was to say that a lot of times with women, they get preferential treatment in college or other institutions. And you're just not going to be believed that you're kidding about certain stuff. So that's what happened with that. So far as the guy named Jory is concerned, he was a friend of mine that was kind of a troll guy. And he said to her, it would be funny if you reported him about this. And that's what happened. But it was six fucking years ago that this happened. And I don't know why that guy deserves to have motherfuckers come at him now about that. So that's what happened with that. And you so can go back why, and watch my why video do you think four years ago. So why is why do you think Surfer has made appearances like this and brought stuff up? I, I, I get that you guys had a falling out, but why I, has it continued past that? What's the story? I just I don't know. I think it's mental illness. I think I, I think we were so close as friends uh, to the point where people now assume that we must have been gay lovers or something <laughs> with the way that he reacts. I mean, he obsesses about me, obsesses about me when he does Bible study. I'm every bad character in the Bible. When he does any stream Bible, regardless, the topic is always seems to come around to me and how I was a motherfucker and this story, that story, the other story. But the thing is, if I was such a motherfucker, why was I your best friend for four years? And I understand there's bad feelings. And I said some shit about Surfer that I regret saying at the time when we had the breakup because I was emotional. But since that time, I've tried my best, aside from the odd little joke here or there that we're gay or that he scrubbed my shit off the toilet. I've tried my best to avoid it because me and him know each other's families. We know where they like, we know a lot about each other to the point where 
it doesn't make sense for me to fight with this guy. And I don't know why he wants to fight with me so badly. I think it's insane to tell you the truth. It w- was there. Uh, so with the initial breakup, as emotional as it was, I mean, cops got called right to the yeah. apartment. Who called the cops? Surfer called the cops. Uh, so why did Surfer call the cops? He called the cops because he thought things were going to get violent, but they did never got violent. He why, called... did he th- why did he think they'd get violent? Well, in the past, me and him had had fights when we were drunk or we were angry at each other, but nobody ever got hurt. And a lot of guys that have lived with another guy have had similar fucking experiences. That's not insane. And we had reconciled those experiences in the past. Was he asking for it, Ashton? Is that what you're telling me? He was, listen, there are some things that you just shouldn't say to another fucking person when you're like right up close to them, especially when the motherfucker is like 400 pounds, okay? Like, it is what it is, folks. It is what it is. (laughs) So you have a close relationship with Surfer, a bit emotional. Uh, You get into lover's spats. Was there any gay relationship? Did any any I, drunk? Listen, kissing? I wish, I wish, <laughs> but there was no gay relationship. Uh, it's funny to say that there fucking was, especially when you know he's crying. You know, videos I miss him, or I'm doing the same fucking thing. But listen, we were just really, really close friends. Um, we shared the same worldview, the same perspective on things. It's a real shame the way things went down. I regret the way that things went down. There are ways that I could have handled it better. But at a certain point, we have to let this go and fucking move on with our lives. I get it. I get it. I mean, but Chad is asking a reasonable question, I think. They (laughs) want to know, uh, when you were topping Surfer, did you spit in his mouth mouth or kiss him? Well, I would fucking... Sometimes you go to the neck, you know? You go to the neck, you mark your territory, (laughs) you give him a hickey... Then you, you know, pull on the hair, but then you, 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 you dial it back. You gently kiss the back of his head. You oh. whisper sweet nothings. It's oh. all going to be okay, my son. The ethno state will come any day now. Don't you worry. <laughs> We're going to win, okay? Oh. And Daddy Jim's going to lead us, and it's going to be Gamergate 3, okay? That's what I would whisper to him as we fucked. <laughs> yeah. Now, um... <laughs> okay, oh how do you come back from this? It seems like there's a lot of shit going on. What's your plan for coming back from this? Cause I feel like you've taken damage. I'm again, I think some of it's fucking astroturfed. I mean, I, I guarantee you Ralph right now, tits are jiggling as he, he's excited uh, said, yeah. as he, as he, you know, sniffs something more, you know, uh, akin to the poop he usually digs out. He's, he's very happy today. Um, but how do you come back from it? And can you I, come back from it? I just, I just think the bottom line is you got to put out entertaining shows and, you know, respond to some of the criticism of chat. You know, some criticism is that we pause too much. Some criticism is that, you know, there's too much America first, too much Ralph content, and they want more variety. And we're going to try and address the criticisms that chat have that are that are valid and constructive and continue to put on shows and continue to entertain people. And that's all you really can do. And going forward, play cards closer to the fucking chest have less you know, people involved well, in the operation. Uh, let, let me ask you a question. This one comes from, I'm guessing this is Surfer, that uh-huh. was uh, tweeted at me. I, it's a, a straightforward question. If PPP took down the Godwinson video because he felt bad about drunkenly doxing him, why is the video of me giving my address to the police up until this day? Well, to be honest with you, that was Surfer's decision to fucking call the police, and he has to live with it. But... The video is up because people need to know what fucking happened. Perhaps I'll put it up with that censored out now. Maybe that's something I should do, but I haven't thought about that in a long fucking time. And uh, a lot of the bad actors out there already have that. That's a fucking shame. I put up that video when I was very emotional and, and probably seeking revenge, but he's also done a lot of things very emotional to seek revenge and motherfuck me. So... It is what it is. Perhaps I'll take it down and edit out that part, but you also realize my full name is in there as well. So I didn't edit anything. And uh, if I had, maybe people would be like, well, what is he edited out? What the fuck? So that's why. And I want to say, uh, to answer your question, Jim, 
uh, like I really love doing this show. I, I know I know this has done damage uh, uh, to our show, but there is still a very uh, a large majority of people who love it, and we like doing it. Now I've been through this, as you know, fucking a million times. Okay, the the amount of shows and all that shit, and 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 sincerely, uh, doing the show with Ashton as bit like like this show in particular is the most fun and and like most wild show we I, I've ever been part a part of, and I'm willing to take some hate to keep doing it. Like I told Ashton, I, I'm on this ship until it sinks with you, bud. Because really, like, what, we're going to start our own shows now to, like, you know, all that. Or we truck through and we learn from our mistakes. Uh, and, and and for anyone out there, honestly, like, sincerely, if if you're disappointed in anything that you've heard today or any of the situation, uh, I'm sorry. And we're going to try to be, be better. But we're going to keep doing this show. And it's unfortunate all this happened, but it's the nature of the beast, and I know that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I do have a few follow-up questions. Is there a retard bell? There sure yeah. is. <laughs> sure. And Ashton, do you do you ring it when Andy won't shut the fuck up? No, yeah, he, he should. I he, do does. he does. He does. I, what I'm going to start to have to do is when it's excessive <laughs> pausing, like the pause just to laugh or to go, holy, then yeah. I'm going to have to start to fucking ring it. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's been ringing it for me. <laughs> uh, now, one of the, the other things, too, that came, I, I, this I, I could give a shit about, but I mean, I did see it brought up, and as long as we're talking. Uh, are there fake donations? You can do test donations. A lot of people are no. saying, oh, my God, these are fake donations coming in. A um, uh, hand to Christ, I swear, not one fake donation. Not one. No. Like, li all, like literally. All the shit on the level? I swear, yeah. Uh -huh. All legit on the level? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah. These people are very supportive. They're... But they're amazing, and and we, I, I thank him very thoroughly. And some people donate a lot, and I'm very appreciative. And it really helps the show keep going. We've never faked one donation ever. Okay, um, have you seen a hit in your donation since this power chat started? No. So it's been a consistent amount of support, uh, even with the fallout. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah definitely. And you think it'll be the same going forward? Yeah, I yeah. think I I think as long as you know we're honest and not talking about this earlier was a mistake. I agree with that completely. Um, but as long as we're honest and put on good shows, and we're consistent with them, and we promise that, especially after the like the whole fight thing, um, we're gonna be doing like other things as well, and we hope people can continue to uh, to support and we'll continue to put out content. You know, and I, even... think, I think the bottom line, as long as you continue to be entertaining and deliver what people want to see, you'll make money. If you're not entertaining and you fucking suck, you won't. And that's what I think the bottom and... line is on. <laughs> well, now, now, you know, one of the interesting things, I, I think, in, in comparison to <laughs> like uh, Matt Jarbo and Ralph, right? It's like when Matt fucked up, he apologized. When Ralph fucks up, he doesn't apologize, right? Mm -hmm. So are you two willing to say uh that you're felt at fuck boys and you made a mistake with how you handled no, the situation that's... well i'm not gonna say I, i'm that but i will you, you say won't tell I the audience no, as, a, as a show no, of no, that you're, Listen, that you're you, you, might, felt you, fuck might, boys. you might be my internet daddy but you're not my bdsm daddy okay <laughs> I don't know. Is I'll chat say... demanding it? You've got 3,700 people watching. Oh, no. Watching. no, no Are they no, chat's no. demanding it, I'll have to do Andy, it. Andy, Andy, put a poll oh, up and, no. and see if chat wants Ash, you to say that will. as an apology. They will, want that. they will want it, Jim, but it's too bad for them. It's too bad for them. I will say we were felted. That we, is were, true. we were that felted. Is... But, we were felted. But, but we not we, we made a, a mistake. I'm not going to be a bitch. You know, but I'm not your fucking personal asshole slave, Daddy Jim. I'm not asking for it. Your chat is. Look at them they're right asking, now. They're demanding it. What can we do? These are the people that financially support you and lift oh, you up I to know. heights of success. They I want know. to hear you say, I fucked I up. I'm a, I'm a felt I'm sure, boy. I'm sure they did. I think I'm they would sure be, they do. I think they would be more embarrassed if we did say it than if we didn't. <laughs> to be completely honest with you, Jim. But nice try, dude. <laughs> Or at least put the poll up. I'm curious what the percentage of chat thinks. Oh right, well, all right. I'll put the poll okay, up for you, Jim. We'll but poll. you're I'll, just, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll just give, ask them, are we I'll give are you we that? I'll give... fuck boys. Yes or no. <laughs> put that chat right. up. 
or as the uh, the poll. All right, hold on. For you, Jim, just because uh, Jim. you were my hero in Gamergate. Oh, yeah, Gamergate leading the way into a new uh, fucking revolution, yeah. This time, Jim, this time we'll get the feminists. This time. All right, there you go, Jim. There you go. There you go, chat. Okay, 99%. Uh, <laughs> I already know. Damn, no. 99% melted. <laughs> oh, Fuck. no. Oh, let me see. There we are. <laughs> now, are you going to leave that one up, or is this uh, live chat replay mysteriously going to disappear? Uh, well, the thing with the live chat replays is um, <clears throat> the reason that the ones that have been down are down uh, is because when you get like a music notification, so for instance, on the one that was recently down oh. with Andy Dick, I got claimed, no fucking word of a lie, for 10 seconds of Raspberry Beret in the background of Andy Dick's fucking RV, I had to mute that section. And when you do that, it fucks with the chat replay and takes it down. But it wasn't manually disabled. And yes, this chat replay will stay up as yeah. long as that doesn't happen again. Yeah. And that poll result will stay up? We're going to let that run for a little while? Uh... Well, I mean, it's already overwhelming <laughs> that we got felted, Jim. So... <laughs> It can only really improve from here. We might make a comeback. You never know. So I'm not saying that. you're down. And, I'm not saying you're down and out. I, I just, you know, like I said, I'm, I was coming on to ask the hard questions. Well, you yeah. did. I think you, you have asked some hard tough, questions. Yeah. You got me in a couple of corners. You know, you scored some uh, blows for sure. You did a great job, Jim. Well, I think I, I think the power chat thing really fucks me up. Um, not not particularly on YouTube. I mean, I think it was a mistake to use it. If you yeah. did know ahead of time, that's fucked up. No. Um, but I would worry about Ralph's audience, or I would worry about Nick Fuentes's audience when you've got people making federal plea deals and using power chat, and that information might be intercepted. You would be a pretty big fucking retard to use it. You know, in case anybody stream sniping their audience might hear that. I don't know. Well, but I'm oh no. that, I'm, I'm well, that's, that out. that's well, the one thing that's such a contradiction about it is it's such a scandal to use this because it's going, but they're using it all. All of them are using it. So it's kind Pearson's of a up. silly, it's kind of a silly line of attack from them because it's what they use to survive. So I don't know. I know it's yeah. weird, right? You'd think that they would address it. How do they address it? But uh, I'm sure they've got some excuse. I know that they're doing a subscription model. Luis was talking about it. Um, I wonder if that's going to be implemented like some kind of drop shipping thing or some like a retail arbitrage where you make it look like you're doing it, but really you're backed by somebody else. It's obfuscated. So I wonder if uh, Dick Masterson with his new NP2P2 double boogaloo is going to use uh, power chat to make this happen. Like if that's going to be the back end shit. Of I, I was, I didn't know about that because when Fuentes made a post on one of his alternate Twitter accounts about uh or when dick made a, a post about new project two two or three or whatever the fuck it is fuentes had liked that comment on his alt account so i wondered is there going to be some sort of integration between those two i have he, thought, no he probably it. liked it because his fucking employees are all the developers for the goddamn power chat well that's what i might be saying i don't know yeah. i don't know in particular but Okay, well, I, I, I've asked my questions that I wanted to ask. As, you know, people sent a few in. I, I got my answers. Uh, where you boys go from here, we'll see. Uh, do you think Godwinson's going to continue his line of attack? Will you have Godwinson on to have a discussion with him about this? Uh, I don't know, to be honest with you. I have no fucking clue what's going through his head right now. Um, I wish it didn't happen the way it's happened between me and him. We were good friends. Um, I know you've always said no internet friends, but we had interacted in real life and stuff like that. And uh, I don't know, I just felt, you know, stabbed in the back a bit by him. And, you know, it's just a shame it's happened. But I don't know. Whatever he wants to do is, is that's his business. And, and what about um, Surfer? Would you do a stream with Surfer to talk it no. out? No, no. Uh, that bridge is burnt. There's, there's just no value in that because all that's going to happen is... Uh, going after each other in such a way that it's just destructive to the two of us, and I have no interest in that. Which is why I try and not engage with him, because I don't even think that he realizes the damage he's doing to his own life and to his own family with some of the stories that he tells. You know, and, and sometimes he just gets drunk and, and says shit. Like, I heard him the other day say that he slept with an underage girl and shit. Like, like he needs to fucking chill the fuck out. Jeez. He's got to chill out. 
Like, I'm sorry. Maybe one day, years from now, me and him will fucking reconcile. But every day attacking each other uh, or him attacking me, like, it's just, it's not going to reconcile that way. I wish I could be friends with him again. But when one guy keeps talking shit, talking shit, bringing up details from your past, a few things are true, a lot of things are lies, but a lot of things are something with a seed of truth that's twisted into a whole different fucking story. And there's a lot of stories I can tell about him that I just don't have interest in because it hurts him and it hurts his family. I just don't want to deal with that. So that's why I don't interact with him. Oh, okay. I guess my last two questions <laughs> in, in relation to Surfer. Um... I that's so fucking stupid, but uh, I hear it go back and forth. Uh, did you get vaxxed to the max, PPP? Because no. that's one of his claims. Okay, and then what is with the high heel collection? Okay, I don't know where <laughs> he came up with this from, but even if it was true, who gives a fuck? <laughs> even you, fuck, like you have a foot fetish, Jim. Like, who gives a fuck? It's retarded. Yeah, but but he's saying that you have like a personalized a personalized okay, high heel collection. Where are the pictures of this collection? Like we lived together for and here's the thing. Where did I store it? I lived on the fucking couch. Where did I store the collection of heels? We filmed the whole apartment a million fucking times from every different direction during cooking with surfer. Where's the collection of high heels? That's just one that he's made up out of fucking thin air. That's one that's I just was at like his okay. house this weekend. And and I can Here's another more. one. Listen, if you here's another one that he brings up. Uh, <laughs> he talks about Ben. Yeah, when I was eight years old, uh -oh. I had a sleepover and my buddy grabbed my tit. <laughs> ten years <laughs> later ten years later, I'm not even he comes out as gay. So I tell the story. I've told the story on stream a million times. Um like that turns into there were gay lovers da, da 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 it's like listen man if i was gay lovers with him there's no doubt i was gay with you and then that leaves some uncomfortable questions but that's another story where it's like who even really gives a fuck I, I know but i mean when you, when you put them all together like surfer paints this picture of you running around getting your tits grabbed in high heels and being emotional with men is that how you're able to suss out nick fuentes is it like <laughs> gaydar? That's, it's the gaydar daddy jim is that what's going it's on just straight up what's going on my brother you were the real right, sussy boys. squad <laughs> well I, I think we did I, I think we did and like i got to ask the questions i want i don't know how satisfied chad is let's see what that poll's sitting at uh are we felt that fuck boys sitting at 82 percent uh, well, we got, 3, 3, we, got eight, we got 18 percent. Go, we got the 18 yeah. percent loyalists who were with us even during the darkest hour yeah. of the casino. So, uh, you know, and it's just that. So do you think I guess my last question to you is this. Uh, if you had a fucking time machine to go back and you just address the fucking thing, would you just do that? Yeah. 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 I even I'd said say. this in a drunken stupor. I just I was like. We should have just talked about it, <laughs> like, you know. But that's the uh, that's the risk of the online, like, or, or the live shows, right? It's hard to react to things, certain, you know, like, and, and you really learn the hard way. And yeah, we're sorry, guys. We didn't just talk about it immediately. We should have, you know. Uh, but yeah. And I, I guess I, I have like a PPS question. So like following up on that, um, how does it feel now to have, well, to probably be the only two people right now, at least at this moment, who Flamenco can shit talk for fucking up taking him down? Oh, uh, I don't know. Flamenco's got enough of his own problems. <laughs> yeah. talking any sort of uh, I, I know, but you didn't close the deal. So Flamenco showed up and he's like, hey, you know, uh, eat my shit. Like, oh, how is that? Well, like, maybe, what's your reaction? maybe we'll be dealing with Flamenco later on this is week. Is there a Flamenco I, special coming up? Yeah, there is. There is a Flamenco special <laughs> coming up. <laughs> the redemption. Whoa, this hey, time I'm actually going to play the clip. Leave them kids alone. <laughs> I mean, well, Jim, what's your opinion on flamenco? Has he disappointed you? Has the golden I, boy I let think, you down? So I think when the hentai leaks came out, uh, I thought it was more humorous than anything. Mm -hmm. um, and then when the the, uh, the pedo steam group shit came out, I was like, that looks really fucking bad. So I, I looked at it as they were talking about it. And it was the German guy who was in one group with him, who was in another group with a bunch of people that had like kid pictures and they're switching them around. 
I don't know. There's a lot of smoke there, man. And it's hard for me to ignore that and be like, oh, well, that's just got to be a fucking coincidence. You know, like uh, if you're in a situation where horny hackers attack you, which is such a bullshit, you know, excuse, and you have all your porn history leak and then people start looking through it and they're like, there's some there's some fucked up shit in here, man. How do you leave that open then to have your your other porn profiles picked apart and your steam like it, it's it's at the point where I'm like, is he just really fucking stupid or is there something really wrong with him? Because you would think like if somebody was a, a legit pedophile, they would be like running out of those steam groups, right? Like, he'd be like, holy shit, the whole fucking internet's going to be looking at me. I need to get the fuck out of here. And then it's the associations, too. Mr. Girl, Vito, Tox, the allegations of the Jannies and the Discord. And uh, there's just so many things that on their own, okay, that's not compelling, but... Altogether, look terrible. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it's just that I honestly was a lazy cunt that day didn't put the pieces together because i just thought well me and godwinson are gonna steamroll this fucking retard and you know sometimes it's just it's like a buster douglas mike tyson you it happens you fucking get complacent and lazy and then you get fucked i'll answer uh one question <clears throat> from someone who added me um so someone's like three three quarters way through the flamenco stream andy we sent you more evidence did you see what was happening during that stream did you think I could handle what was going on with the at replies and shit? Like, it was kind of hard to even know what was happening at, at, at a certain point. But a lot crazier shit has happened since then. Right, Ashton? There's a lot of crazy shit that's yeah, fucking happened. And maybe when it's, if, if it's organized properly, then we uh, fire off. Uh, so, yeah, that's... That's my my two cents. Well, yeah, like, like I said, I, I just don't get flamenco. I don't understand. It's, it's just it's so it's, it, it's so f- fucking weird. It, it's so fucking weird, and there's just so much weird shit there. You know, I saw the Augie video where he did like, like Augie's out there writing manifestos and shit on this guy at this point. Yeah. <laughs> it's the fucking shit that he's doing. And Augie um, li- liked him a lot, and was like, yeah, I treated him like he treated him like a yeah, like a little retarded brother, you know, like he was <laughs> uh, it's a big brother program, and he was the sped oh. in the group, you know what I mean? But yeah, um, uh, like I, I I don't know what the fuck the guy's issue is. Um, <laughs> I like that you know, Ralph. It, it, it's weird, you know. I want to bring it back because I know he's stream sniping, and so I just like to nudge him a little bit. Yeah. Um, you know, Ralph was talking about like association with people. Oh, you guys, because uh, you've streamed with them, I've streamed with them. Oh, it's terrible, you know, Flamenco, the pedophile. But Ralph, you worked with the guy, and he's still platformed oh, yeah. on Nick Fuentes's platform. He's making money. Nick Fuentes is getting this guy paid. Well, if anybody uh, can be blamed for the existence of Flamenco, it's Ralph. It's not but, you. But but I'd like to like take it a notch further. Um, what are you guys going to do a special on Lane Davis? Lane Davis? Isn't that his name? Wasn't that the guy that worked with Ralph who murdered his family? Oh, oh yeah. fuck! I forgot about oh, that. Oh yeah, actually, did, did, I was did, did Ralph, about that. Yeah, did Ralph forget about that? The business associate who Ralph—I mean, did Ralph feed into his delusions? Because it seemed like Ralph was joking in those articles about Lane being crazy and thinking these things, and then you know he went and murdered his family. Ralph, your business associate who wrote for you—it's weird, Ralph, how so many criminals work with you. It's what what was big tech? Didn't he have like assault on uh, women and children? His kid, it's yeah. Like, Cruelty to a child. <laughs> It's like a charge I've never even heard of. It was a charge that was so unique that it's like uh, there's a, uh, even lawyers were like, "What the fuck does this mean?" I, I don't know, but that's the the sort of crew that they have over there. But again, remember Fuentes says criminals are based. Criminals oh, well, they, are uh, awesome. they they must yeah. be. Based. I guess I guess that's that's how I'm ending this. Then is I hope you guys do a special on Lane Davis because I know he likes stream sniping you. I think it would be fucking educational. And entertaining for the uh, audience. Lane Davis. It, uh, it may very that. well be. You know, you could. Idea. You know, he's at a prison. You can write to. Maybe he has some things to say about the relationships with Ralph and what was going on behind the scenes. Maybe, yeah. maybe there's something we don't know. Maybe a journalist needs to reach out and just, you know, for the, for the show's sake, and ask Lane Davis, what was your relationship with Ralph like? I don't know. It'd be well, interesting. That's an interesting one, and that is on the books for sure. The dude. Ralph Lord. <laughs> The Ralph lore, the deep lore. You know, I thought I was the fucking master of that, but Jim <laughs> remembered something I fucking forgot. Holy well, shit. Well, re- remember, boys, as, as, as bad as it may get, remember, you've never worked with somebody that murdered their family like Ralph has. <laughs> and with that, uh, with, with that, I'm going to That's a positive. Right. All right, yeah. Jim. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you coming on. You're, you're easy, yeah. Jim. Well, uh, and, and I want to also say this. Uh,